Call out. L. Yu Ming stabbed with another shot, piercing through the blood ant's wound, without the gun handle. The blood ants screamed and struggled frantically. Dead. L. Yu Ming's spear twitched, and his powerful qi burst into the body of the blood ant, smashing its internal organs into pieces. Finally killed a blood ant. Without any delay, L. Yu Ming killed the other again. After a few minutes. Bump. As the final female ant fell to the ground, all three powerful blood ants were killed by L. Yu Ming. Close. Then, L. Yu Ming scrambled wildly, an array of light enveloped the eggs of blood ants in the cave, and collected the eggs of blood ants into the storage ring. L. Yu Ming did not go to count, nor did he know how many pieces he received. Two minutes later, all the eggs of blood ants in the cave were collected. Haha, <laughs> this was issued. L. Yu Ming couldn't help but grin. Afterwards, he manipulated the bloodline and swallowed the blood of three blood ants. As soon as his thoughts moved, L. Yu Ming appeared in the Supreme Temple and began to refine his blood. This refining is more than a day, all the blood of the three blood ants is refined. L. Yu Ming's cultivation was soaring, directly from the fifth martial arts master to the early stage of the sixth martial arts master. Now cultivation, the energy needed is really more terrifying. L. Yu Ming shook his head and smiled. This is the sperm blood of three third level blood ants with nine levels, which is four levels higher than L. Yu Ming's, and the blood and essence of blood ants are twice as rich as ordinary monsters. Three three level and nine level blood ants only allowed L. Yu Ming to upgrade to a level. It can be seen that the energy L. Yu Ming needs is terrifying. Now I am promoted to the sixth martial arts master. If I devour the blood of the third level ninth monster monster, it will take at least twenty to be promoted. L. Yu Ming smiled bitterly. Moreover, the level of the bloodline has not been improved, and I don't know how much sperm blood is needed to upgrade to the seventh bloodline. The corpses of these three blood ants must not be let go. The shells on them are rare materials for refining. L. Yu Ming waved his hand and put the bodies of three blood ants into a storage ring. It's almost time for the closing of the secret realm. Ming Cheng should wait outside, hurry out. L. Yu Ming flashed and ran out. Soon, L. Yu Ming came out of the blood ant nest. As soon as he came out, he saw Ming Cheng turning around anxiously. Brother Ming. L. Yu Ming cried. Tian Yun, you finally came out, I thought you were laid down by a few ants. Seeing L. Yu Ming. Ming Cheng took a long breath and grinned. A few ants, why did you do me? L. Yu Ming smiled, then moved his hand, and a storage ring appeared. Brother Ming, there are some eggs of blood ants, which are obtained from the blood ants' nest, you take it. L. Yu Ming said. No, this is what you got by strength, how can I take it? And I followed you into the blood ants' nest, and the harvest has been great. Ming Cheng waved his hands repeatedly and refused firmly. L. Yu Ming gave it again, Ming Cheng refused to accept it. Seeing this, L. Yu Ming did not insist, and put away the storage ring and, together with Ming Cheng, exited towards the secret realm. The exit of the secret realm is on a mountain peak to the east of the blood and secret realm. As soon as ten days had passed, the royal family and the elders of the Star Palace would join forces to open an exit and let them go out. Outside the Blood Ant Secret Realm, a light door emerged. Around the light gate, many figures appeared, all looking at the light gate. There are people from the royal family and people from the Ten Fangjian School, but the number is much larger than ten days ago. Moreover, some people are directly suspended in the air, and they are actually powerful in Wuzong Realm. On the other side of the royal family, Hua Qi was suddenly listed. At the forefront are the red-haired old man and Chu Wazi. Chu Wazi glanced at everyone in the royal family and sneered, saying, Red monster, what are you sending so many people to do? Would you like to wait and see that the people in the Star Palace have been killed and want to find us to settle the bill? With us a big battle. I'm just in case. I'm afraid that your disciples of the Ten Fangjian school will lose money in the secret realm, die inside, 
and will be angry and angry at that time, and it will be unfavorable to my students in the Star Temple. Red-haired old man sneered in response. Ha ha ha! Chu Wuzi laughed and said, My disciples of the Ten Fangjian School are suffering? Are you dying in it? Are you going to use the Star Palace? Impossible, such a thing will never happen. The world is unpredictable. Said the red-head old man. Never possible, and I tell you clearly that in the secret realm of blood ants, you can't help but kill. If my disciples of the Ten Fangjian faction really die in it, it's because of their poor strength, who can't blame, you're afraid we will do it. It's ridiculous. Chu Wuzi rode, calm and calm. This is what you said, remember it for me. The red-haired old man sneered. Red old monster, you are so confident, don't you think that what is called Tianyun can pose a threat to my disciples of Ten Fang Sword? I tell you, it's impossible, at this moment, that Tianyun has already died. I have the heroes of the Ten Fangjian school. Chu Wuzi sneered. Dead to the hands of your disciples of the Ten Fangjian school? I don't think so. Said the redhead. Not necessarily. Well, how about let's gamble? I have a celestial silver star here. I heard that you have a Yun Luokuo in my hand. I will use the celestial silver star. How about gambling Yun Luokuo with you? There is no cure for autumn. Many people were shocked by this remark. What? Star Mithril, Yun Luokuo? Gambling so much? Wu Zongjiang exclaimed. The Mithril star is a precious material for refining. It is a top-level material of level 4 and can refine level 4 spirit soldiers. Yun Luokuo, also a fourth-level elixir, can be refined into a fourth-level elixir. The fourth-level materials and elixir belong to Wuzong level items and are extremely precious. The star Mithril and Yun Luokuo are very top-notch in the fourth-level items. The value is not less than 100,000 spirit crystals. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. The red-haired old man mused. 100,000 spirit crystals, for the warrior realm, and even lower warriors, it is astronomical. But for Wuzong, it is much better. Wuzong, known as the master, in the raging empire, it definitely belongs to the first class strong, and belongs to the upper level strong. The big warrior is very different from one, and the price is naturally unusual. But 100,000 Lingjing is not a small number after all. Even if it is Wu Zong, it must be weighed. Red Boss, why? Don't you dare to gamble? If you don't dare to gamble, just say it straight, don't be hard. Chu Wuzi taunted. Who said I wouldn't dare to gamble? Gamble and gamble. So many people at the scene testified, I hope you don't take it. Said the red-haired old man. Ha ha ha. I'm afraid you are the one who is 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 the best. Chu Wuzi laughed heartily. He is 100% confident that he can win because Yang Zation is among the ten swordsmen. He was very clear about Yang Zation's strength. Yang Zation threatened to kill Tian Yun, as long as Tian Yun touched Yang Zation, he would die. The crowd waited quietly. Quite a while. Someone came out. Someone called. Sure enough, the light door flashed, and one figure after another appeared. Soon, dozens of young people came out, all of whom were disciples of the Ten Fangjian school. The elders of the Shi Fangjian faction, including Chu Wuzi, and a calm complexion, all of this naturally came as they expected. It's just that they didn't notice that the disciples of the Ten Fangjian school were all somber. They continue to focus on the light door. Afterwards, the light door kept flashing, and people kept coming out of the light door. Soon, 200 people came out, all of them were disciples of the Ten Fangjian school, and none of them were students of Jiangxin Temple. Red-haired elders, Huachi, and other elders of the royal family looked increasingly ugly and gloomy. How is it possible? Why hasn't anyone come out yet? 
Hua Kai's fists clenched, his eyes showing concern. Ha ha ha, the old red monster, I think you will have the Star Palace, most of it is wiped out by the whole army, you are defeated, hand over Yun Luokuo. Chu Wuzi laughed and was extremely proud. You. The red-haired old man looked ugly and gritted his teeth, autumn is no cure, don't be too pretentious, the time hasn't arrived yet. Until the last moment, no one may know. Haha, <laughs> old red monster, you really deceive yourself, okay, then wait and see. Chu Wuzi sneered. Elder Autumn, we. At this time, a disciple of the Shifangjian school wanted to speak. As soon as he said a few words, Chu Wuzi interrupted him. Chu Wuzi waved his hand and said domineeringly, Okay, you did a good job this time and worked hard but the people haven't gotten together yet to count the eggs of blood ants and wait for a while. I... The young man wanted to say it again, but Chu Wazi's face sank, and when he glared, he suffocated his words back. At this time, the light door shined again, and more than twenty young people appeared. These more than twenty people are all people who will be in the Star Palace. The red-haired old man and others were overjoyed. Well... It's just good luck. I don't know where to hide, so I lucked out my life, but I don't know how many eggs of blood ants I got. I don't have a blood refinement enough to refine it. Chu Wuzi sneered. The red-haired old man and others were silent, and they did not report much hope in their hearts. Over time, sparse and sparse, there have been some people, all disciples of the Ten Fangjian school. In the end, the Shifangjian sent out about 280 people. This made Chu Wuzi and other ten party sword factions start to look hard. The time is coming and the light door is closing. Once the light door is closed, they can't open it. They can only open it after three years. But at this time, there were so many people from the Ten Fang Sword faction. The point is that of the six geniuses who have realized the potential, only two have not come out. One of them was Yang Zation. It is estimated that the blood ant's nest was invaded, delayed. Chu Wuzi comforted himself. L. Yu Ming. Hua Qi stared at his eyes, staring straight at the light door. L. Yu Ming has not come out yet, he is really afraid of an accident. Time passed slowly, and the time before the light door closed was getting closer. However, no one came out. What's going on? What's going on? Chu Wuzi was anxious. Others are okay, but Yang Zation has not come out, how is it possible? Buzz. At this moment, the light door flashed slightly, and two figures appeared. Chu Wuzi, red-haired elders, and other elders stared at him. The silhouettes of the two figures slowly became clear. Tian Yun? How is it possible? Chu Wuzi roared loudly. It was incredible. Tian Yun, it is Tian Yun. The red-haired old man's eyes widened, then he was ecstatic and laughed. The two people who came out behind were naturally L. Yu Ming and Ming Cheng. Damn, this Tian Yun, must have found a place to hide, did not touch Yang Zation and other disciples, hateful. Chu Wuzi growled in his heart. Haha, Chu Wuzi, Tian Yun is alive, you lose hand over the mithril of the star, don't be fooled. Said the red-haired old man. I. Kaihoki Wazi's face was ugly, and he was really reluctant, but under the eyes of all eyes, he was really not good. It's all the sky clouds, why don't you die? He roared in his heart and blamed it on L. Yu Ming. But still helpless, clenched his teeth and took out a fist size, shiny silver, metal with starlight on it and handed it to the red-haired old man. This is the star Mithril, other Wuzong strong men, looking at the red-haired old man with some envy. Haha, <laughs> then I'm welcome. The old redhead laughed away. Then looking at L. Yu Ming, the more I looked, the more I felt L. Yu Ming's eyes. Why didn't Yang Zation come out yet? Chu Wuzi stared darkly at the light door. Bump. Suddenly, the light door vibrated violently, and then burst into a burst with a touch of light. How could this be? Yang Zation? 
Why didn't he come out? Chu Wuzi shouted. What the happened? Why didn't Yang Zhaishan come out, and so many disciples, what happened? The elders of the other ten party sword factions also shouted and were furious. Brother Yang Zhaishan, he is dead. Suddenly, a disciple of Shi Fangjian school shouted. The audience suddenly calmed down, Chu Wuzi looked at this disciple with a very ugly face and shouted, What are you saying? Yang Zhaishan is dead? How can he die? Who can kill him in the blood ant secret realm? Even in the face of the female ant, he can all withdraw, how can he die? Chu Wuzi roared, and his body burst into an extremely powerful atmosphere, staring at the disciple. Really dead, most of the brothers and sisters here have seen it. The disciple shouted. Yes, elder, Yang Zhe is really dead. Other disciples nodded one after another. Chu Wuzi's face was blue, and his eyes showed a terrible light. He stared at the original disciple and shouted, Why didn't you say it early? Elder Chu, I just wanted to say it, you didn't let me say it. The disciple was wronged. You. Chu Wuyuki almost spit out an old blood. Because www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Just now, this disciple really wanted to speak and was stopped by him, so that no other disciples spoke. However, just now, he was proud and proud, and was thinking of hitting the red-haired old man fiercely. He never dreamed that Yang Zhaishan would die in the blood and secret. The look just now was shameful when I remembered it. Say, how did Yang Zhaishan die? Chu Wuzi asked his teeth. He, Tian Yun, brother Yang Zhaishan was killed by Tian Yun. The disciple shouted El Yu Ming with one finger. What? The audience was shocked, except for those young people who had entered the secret realm of blood ants, everyone turned their eyes to El Yu Ming. Yang Zhaishan was actually killed by Tian Yun? How can that be? Tian Yun is so powerful. Even the red-haired old man, Huachi, and others showed shock in his eyes. Damn. Chu Wuzi burst into a cold murderous attack, Huo Ran turned around, and looked at El Yu Ming coldly, shouting, Tian Yun, say, what the did you do? Did it hurt Yang Zhaishan? Stab in the back. El Yu Ming's mouth widened and said, do you need to harm Yang Zhaishan? Bullshit, not insult. Can you kill Yang Zhaishan? You don't see enough of ten. Chu Wuzi was angry and didn't believe El Yu Ming's words at all. El Yu Ming sneered and did not explain. Elder Autumn, I have something. The young man from the Ten Fangjian sent out before. To shut up. Chu Wuzi drank angrily, and the disciple shut up immediately, but his face was flushed. Something. Say it quickly. Chu Wuzi thought of the previous thing, took a deep breath and sighed. Elder Chu, senior brother Yang Zhaishan, was really killed by Tian Yun. The two confronted each other. Brother Yang Zhaishan lost, and was killed by Tian Yun. The youth said. How is it possible? Have you looked carefully? Chu Wuzi asked aloud. Not only me, most of the brothers here are present. The youth said. Despite the ugly face, other disciples of the Shi Fangjian school nodded and admitted. How come? Chu Wuzi and others are still incredible. A peculiar genius who could kill the ten party sword faction in a star palace, this has never happened before. Elder Chu, you have to rule for us. This Tian Yun is simply a lunatic and a beast. He not only killed brother Yang Zhaishan, but also robbed our storage rings. All our brother's storage rings were slain by him. I robbed him of all our wealth and the eggs of blood ants that we hunted for blood ants during this time. A disciple of the Shi Fangjian school screamed. Ah! What? What? Chu Wuzi and all the elders of the Ten Fangjian faction were stunned, his mouth wide open, and he stayed there for a while. The old man with red hair, Huachi and other people on the royal side are not much different. His eyes widened, and he watched the landing stunned. Damn it, little bastard, I killed you. 
it was half loud, and Chu Wazi only reacted. He saw his hair standing upside down, his eyes almost screamed out, and there was a roar of rage, and the violent true energy screamed towards the landing. Not good. L. Yu Ming had been prepared for a long time, dragging the Ming city, traversing tens of meters in an instant, rushing to the red-haired old man and others. Autumn is not coming, what are you doing? The red-haired old man snarled, rushed out, and punched. Boom! The world shook, and the red-haired old man and Chiu Wazi made a right move, almost cracking the ground apart. Go away, today, I will kill Tianyun this small debris. Chiu Wazi stared fiercely at the land, roaring. Ha ha ha! At this moment, L. Yu Ming suddenly laughed. Little miscellaneous, what are you laughing at? Chiu Yubu blamed. Old man, do you really think that the Ten Fangjian faction is the master of the Scorching Empire, and I am a member of the royal family, and you have to kill me for no reason? Did you not put the four major doors in your eyes and the royal family? In your eyes! L. Yu Ming shouted loudly, and pressed him with the four royal schools together with the royal family. For no reason? You killed my disciples of the Ten Fangjian faction and robbed all my disciples of the Ten Fangjian faction. Shouldn't this be the case? Chu Wazi shouted. Ha ha, ridiculous, I ask you, is it not forbidden to kill or plunder? L. Yu Ming questioned loudly. Chu was stagnation, his face gloomy. He could not answer this question. Since killing is not prohibited, plundering is not prohibited, then it is normal for me to kill your disciples of the Ten Swords and their storage rings. Why should you kill me? And, before entering the secret realm of blood ants, all your disciples of the Ten Fangjian sent threats to kill me, I resisted, and went back to kill, shouldn't they? L. Yu Ming's eyes were shining, and he faced the autumn with no fear, without fear, and questioned loudly. Chu Wazi's face was ugly, and the other party of Shi Fangjian did not speak. L. Yu Ming is right. Nothing is forbidden in the Blood Ant's secret realm. Killing and plundering were originally the subject of the Blood Ant's secret realm. Okay, you have little sharp-toothed little things, what about that, I tell you, even if my disciples of the Ten Fangjian school want to kill you, you have to let them kill, you can't resist, you will die. Chu Wazi coldly said. He is overbearing and unreasonable. L. Yu Ming sneered and was too lazy to talk. This old guy was shameless and shameless. Autumn Wazi, why are you so shameless, I will star the palace, and only more than twenty people will come out, and everyone else will be killed by your ten sword sword, and the past, as you say, allow you I kill people who will kill the star palace in ten directions. I will kill the star temple. If it doesn't work, I will die. What kind of is this? Well, after that, you ten's word swordsmen will go back to Shifang Mountain. I will mine the Star Temple alone. The red-haired old man shouted. You are mining alone and thinking about beauty is the same in reverse. An old man from Shifangjian school sneered. Red old monster, you leave me, I will kill Tianyun today, otherwise, even you will kill together, when the army of ten swords sent me, the royal family will be destroyed. Autumn is extremely cold, and it is extremely domineering. Bold. Huachi shouted. Chu Wazi actually said that he would destroy the royal family. Autumn is not coming, your ten-party sword faction, the wolf child's ambition, and the world will punish. The red-haired old man roared. Chu Wazi's face was extremely ugly, and he was anxious just now, saying something like that but at this moment he couldn't help but regret. Even if the Shifangjian school has such ambitions, it cannot be said clearly, or it is not the time to say that. Autumn never comes, come, one battle, today, endlessly. The red-haired old man strode forward, resembling a lion, with all his hair open, apparently extremely angry. Today, Prince Tianyun Ben Baoding, who wants to kill him, kill me first. Hua Qi stepped forward, his tone cold and firm. 
Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Huachi was extremely strong. Stepping forward, several elders of Wu Zongjing of the royal family closely followed Huachi, and his body was filled with a strong breath. Damn, it's so dead. Chu Wuzi roared in his heart, but in the end did not shoot. Today, the Shifangjian faction has not yet reached the time of tearing the face with the royal family, and Huachi is the real prince. If the eight sons of the current emperor, if even Huachi kills together, it is to fight with the royal family to tear the face. At that time, the four sects joined forces to attack the ten faction swords, and the ten faction swords could not bear it. Moreover, this time the royal family has a lot of masters, even if he wants to do it, he is not sure. Okay, 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 the eighth prince, you are iron-hearted and want to fight against the ten Fangjian faction, I hope you don't regret it, and, do you think you can save Tianyun this way? Naive, let's just wait and see. Chu Wuzi roared loudly, waved his big hand, and left with the disciples of Shi Fangjian school. The people of the Ten Fang Swords were all gloomy and ugly. They were completely defeated in this trip of blood ants. Although a large number of Jiangxingdian students were killed, in their view, those are just a group of people. And the disciples of Shi Fangjian school also lost 60 or 70 people, especially when Yang Zhaishan was killed, that was a huge loss. Moreover, for the disciples of Shi Fangjian school, most of the storage rings were taken by L. Yu Ming, and most of the eggs of the blood ants fell on L. Yu Ming's hands. Ha ha ha! The red haired old man laughed, very happy. Tianyun, thank you, Elder Red, thank you, eight princes. L. Yu Ming stepped forward and thanked the red haired old man and Huachi for a fist. Tianyun, no need to pay more. Huachi lifted L. Yu Ming. Tianyun, the old man would like to thank you? Not only helped me win a mithril of the stars, but also suppressed the arrogance of the Shi Fangjian faction, which is really popular. The red haired old man laughed. They want to kill me, I just fight back. L. Yu Ming smiled. Haha, <laughs> let's go back to the Star Palace. The red haired old man laughed and waved. Immediately, the group returned to Jiangxing Hall. You first count the harvest, and tomorrow morning, come here to count the number of eggs of blood ants. In a large hall of Jiangxing Hall, the red haired old man ordered. Everyone nodded and dispersed. L. Yu Ming returned to the dormitory and hurriedly entered the Supreme Temple. He could not wait to see what he had gained. In front of him, a pile of storage rings piled up, there were nearly three hundred, all disciples of the Ten Party Sword School. L. Yu Ming began to count up. Put a piece of blood ant's egg and a piece of spirit crystal. Other things are also sorted out. There are too many things. This count, L. Yu Ming spent six hours. Looking at the things in front of him, L. Yu Ming was dumbfounded and then it was ecstatic. The harvest is too great. The blood ants eggs, obtained by disciples of the Ten Fangjian, plus the ones he obtained from the blood ants lair, were more than 23,000. Among them, there are more than 13,000 blood ant nests, and nearly 300 people from the Ten Fangjian factions also contributed about 10,000. More than 23,000, this is such a huge number. In history, no one has ever obtained so many eggs of blood ants. According to the six blood ant eggs can be exchanged for a blood refining pill, 23,000 blood ant eggs can be exchanged for more than 3,800. More than 3,800 blood refinements. L. Yu Ming's eyes shine straight. The accumulation before the second bloodline awakens, the more the better. L. Yu Ming used a storage ring to collect all the eggs of blood ants. Then, he looked at the pile of spirit crystals again. There are 620,000 spirit crystals. L. Yu Ming almost drooled. Coupled with his previous spirit crystal, it has already broken through 700,000 yuan. It's still fun to robbery. L. Yu Ming sighed. Of course, this is just thinking, he can't go to rob for no reason. 
in addition to the eggs and spirit crystals of blood ants, other things, such as various spirit grasses, elixir, spirit soldiers and various refining materials, are also piled up like mountains. However, most of the grades are not high, and a few of the three grades are mostly second grade and first grade. But so much is also amazing. Not to mention anything else, but the hundreds of storage rings are amazingly valuable. L. Yu Ming intends to find an opportunity to clean up all these miscellaneous things. After packing everything up, L. Yu Ming began to practice with satisfaction. The next day, L. Yu Ming came to that hall. Found the red-haired old man, as well as Huachi. Tian Yun. Huachi smiled and greeted L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming also smiled. In addition to them, there are several old men from the royal family. Soon, more than 20 students who participated in the Blood Ant Secret Area arrived. Okay, now take out the eggs that you got from the Blood Ant Secret Realm, and then take them to the elders of the royal family to bring them back to refine the blood refining pill. Under normal circumstances, three eggs of Blood Ants can be refined into a blood refiner. According to the rules, you hand in six eggs of Blood Ants and can be exchanged for a blood refiner. The red-haired old man said the rules again. Everyone nodded. Immediately, a young man stepped forward and took out a storage ring. The storage ring glowed, and suddenly the eggs of Ruddy and Ants appeared on the table. An elder began to count. A total of 62 blood ant eggs, 60, can be exchanged for 10 blood refining pill, the extra 2 blood ant eggs, the royal family out of the spirit crystal to buy. According to 300 pieces of spirit crystal one purchase, you are you willing? Asked the elder of the royal family. I will. The youth said. If the eggs of the blood ants are not refined, it would be useless to keep them. It would be better to sell them. 100 spirit crystals. On the side, L. Yu Ming took a breath, his eyes glowing hot. He wants to sell all the eggs of blood ants. How many spirit crystals can there be? Of course, just thinking about it, no matter how many spirit crystals, blood refining pill is not important. In the market, even if you have a spirit crystal, you can't buy a panacea like blood refining pill. Then count them one by one. Most of these Sin Dian practitioners got a lot of blood eggs, not a lot. They were only about 100, and the largest one was only 200. It was Ming Cheng, which surprised everyone. The eggs of blood ants he obtained had more than 360 eggs, temporarily ranked first. Ming Cheng grinned straight, he could get so much, thanks to L. Yu Ming, he and Landing Ming hunted blood ants in the blood ant nest, and got more than 200, plus his own, there were 360 many more. Now, Tian Yun. Said the red-haired old man. Uh. Uh. Everyone's eyes gathered on L. Yu Ming, revealing the look of extremely expectation. L. Yu Ming, but robbed most of the storage rings of the disciples of the Ten Fangjian School. How many eggs of blood ants can I get? Everyone is very curious. This, will this table be too small, I can't put it down. L. Yu Ming looked at the table and smiled bitterly. What? Everyone was shocked. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Is the table not big enough? This is the first time they heard this reason. Move the table. The red-haired old man shouted, his face full of excitement. Others immediately moved a few tables, several tables together, occupying most of the hall area. L. Yu Ming nodded slightly, took out a storage ring, and everyone stared at him. The storage ring glowed, and a small hill suddenly appeared on the table, which was a pile of blood ant eggs. Everyone in the scene stared. This, so much? How much can this be? One stuttered all the students in the star temple, almost biting his tongue. Oh my god, is this too much? Has Tianyun evacuated the entire blood ant's den? Another young man yelled. Start counting. The elders of the royal family reacted and began to count up in excitement. 
Soon after, the quantity came out. 23,153. The voice of a royal elder shuddered out this number. Sissy. The whole audience rang a breath of cold breath. Although it was expected, it was shocked by this number. Everyone was dumbfounded at landing Ming. With so many blood and eggs, how much blood refining pill can be exchanged for? 23,153 can be exchanged for 3,058, and there are five more eggs of blood ants, with the spirit crystal. The elder of the royal family announced, but he was interrupted by Huachi before he had finished speaking. Wait a minute, Tianyun obtains such a large number of blood ant eggs. It doesn't need to be so serious. The prince is the master. These blood ant eggs of Tianyun will be exchanged for 4,000 blood refining pill, round up an integer. Huachi announced. Yes, the eighth prince. The elder jotted down. Thank you eight princes. El Yuming clenched his fists. Of course there can be more than 100 blood refining pill, El Yuming certainly will not refuse. Immediately, the elders of the royal family collected all the eggs of the blood ants. There is of course no blood refining pill. You must wait until the eggs of these blood ants are made into blood refining pill before you can give them to El Yuming. El Yuming was not afraid that the royal family would swallow the eggs of his blood ants. Let me not talk about his relationship with Huachi, even if there is no such relationship, the royal family will not do so. Now the situation of the royal family is in urgent need of talents. If the royal family swallows the eggs of these blood ants, it is a blind eye and digs its own way. Therefore, El Yuming felt relieved. El Yuming, this time you have completely offended the Shifangjian school and made the Shifangjian school lose face. They will not let you go. Over time, the Shifangjian school will definitely have stronger genius. Come and find you, you must be careful. Before leaving, Huachi reminded El Yuming quietly. Relax, do you think I will be afraid? El Yuming laughed. Huachi froze for a moment, then smiled. Since he met El Yuming, who has not seen El Yuming afraid? Okay, I'm waiting for you to kill the quartet. Huachi laughed, and then left. After Huachi and others left, El Yuming left here and returned to the dormitory. Go to Daiyuan Cave first, consolidate the cultivation, and then purchase resources to break through the realm. After returning, El Yuming thought about it, and walked towards Daiyuan Cave. This time, he showed Huachi's token, and the strong gatekeeper gave him a pile of inscription stones for as long as he practiced. El Yuming secretly took over the inscription stone and entered the Daiyuan Cave. He didn't stop, all the way down. On the third and fourth floors, there are still people sitting cross-legged, who want to others' training chambers. When El Yuming passed by, they looked at El Yuming and their faces changed. Although El Yuming was in the secret realm of blood ants, although it was only a day, it has spread throughout the general hall of stars, and many people know the name of Tianyun. El Yuming's methods shocked everyone. El Yuming even gave a more nickname, called Ruthless. They looked at El Yuming's eyes, full of awe of awe. El Yuming just glanced at them at will, and continued to go down. After coming to the fifth floor, El Yuming still did not stay, and continued down to the sixth floor. The fire attribute of the sixth floor is more powerful than the fifth floor. El Yuming opened a secret room, walked in, and began to practice. El Yuming devoured the blood of the blood ants and repaired it to explode. The foundation was a little unstable. It just happened to rely on the aura of fire to stabilize the foundation. Ten days later, El Yuming's foundation was extremely stable, solid as a golden soup, without any flaws. At this time, El Yuming walked out of the Daiyuan cave. Anyway, you can come to practice at any time, and for how long, El Yuming does not matter. After walking out of Daiyuan cave, El Yuming walked out of the General Star Hall and walked towards the largest square city of the Imperial Capital. The Fang City of the Imperial Capital is extremely huge and covers an extremely wide area. Here, 
there are many shops and business associations. There are even many chambers of commerce that are not local chambers of the scorching empire, but come from other empires and bring some specialties of other empire. Near the Yundi mountain, there are 36 empires, the raging empire, but only a lower empire. Therefore, Huangdu Fang City is full of people at every moment. L. Yu Ming walked on the streets of Fang City, dizzying, looking east and west. Soon, L. Yu Ming came to a five story building with an extremely large area. The Bibao Pavilion, with three gold inlaid characters, is extraordinary. L. Yu Ming groaned a little, then went in. Son, do you have any questions? As soon as L. Yu Ming entered the pavilion, a sweet looking girl greeted her. Nowadays, L. Yu Ming has extraordinary temperament. Although he is dressed in ordinary clothes, he just stands alone and his extraordinary breath reveals, which makes people dare not ignore it. The girl naturally seemed very attentive. I'll buy some monster blood. L. Yu Ming smiled. Buy monster blood. The sweet girl was happy. Monster blood is generally used for refining or alchemy. It is of extraordinary value. Generally, it can be purchased by large customers. Excuse me, what level of monster blood do you want to buy? The girl asked, resisting the excitement in her heart. Third level ninefold monster monster blood. L. Yu Ming said. Now, if he wants to buy it, he will buy the blood of the third level ninefold monster and the third level ninefold below will not help him much. Three levels and nine weights. The girl suddenly exclaimed. Suddenly attracted the attention of others, and the crowd around them all paid attention to this side. L. Yu Ming frowned slightly, this girl's reaction was too great, right? What? No. L. Yu Ming asked. The girl held her small mouth, looked around, heard L. Yu Ming's words, and nodded hurriedly, saying, Yes, there, son, the third level ninth monster monster blood is extremely precious. Please follow me to the guest room, please the shopkeeper comes. It is good. L. Yu Ming nodded, as long as there is. Following the girl, came to a room in the back, and naturally someone made good tea. After a while, a chubby shopkeeper came with a smile on his face, and when he entered, he clenched his fists and smiled, This son, I heard that you want to buy the blood of the third level ninth monster monster. Good. L. Yu Ming said. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Young master, the blood of the third level ninefold demon beast is very valuable. The shopkeeper smiled. Oh? How many copies of Ling Jing are needed? L. Yu Ming asked. Essential blood of the third level ninth monster monster requires 25,000 pieces of spirit crystals. The shopkeeper replied. Wire. Even with preparations in mind, L. Yu Ming secretly took a breath. The blood of the third level ninth monster monster actually requires 25,000 pieces of spirit crystals, which is too scary. Son, the higher level of monster blood the harder it is to collect, and the cost of saving it is very large. This price is not high. The shopkeeper explained. L. Yu Ming nodded, of course, he understood. I don't know how many copies you need. Asked the shopkeeper. Just get twenty servings first. L. Yu Ming thought for a while and said. What? Two, twenty servings. The shopkeeper exclaimed and the fat on his face shook rapidly. Why? Not so much. L. Yu Ming asked with a frown. Yes, yes, absolutely. The shopkeeper shouted in excitement, knowing that a big customer is here today. Generally, Ming Refining Master, who buys the essence blood of Demon Beast, buys so few copies, which is used to make Alchemy Refiner. Where can I buy so much? Moreover, those who will purchase the third level ninth heavy demon essence blood are generally inscription masters above the Wuzong realm. There are very few people who purchase 20 copies of the third level ninth monster monster blood at one time. The shopkeeper's excited heart shivered. 
I will send someone to get it right away. The shopkeeper shouted, and then sent someone to fetch it. The shopkeeper, I don't know if you are here, how can you sell it? El Yuming asked. I still want to buy Yeadon. The shopkeeper was more happy and quickly replied, the third level ninefold Yeadon is much cheaper than the essence blood of the monster beast, because the Yeadon is easy to store and contains more impurities than essence blood. It is generally one-fifth the price of the same level of essence and blood, a third level ninefold demon pill, and about five thousand spirit crystals. Okay, give me thirty. El Yuming didn't think about it and said. Okay, son, please wait a moment, I will send someone to send it immediately. After that, the shopkeeper quickly got up and walked out. Halfway through, the shopkeeper walked in with a few girls, holding a few jade boxes. Son, you want the blood and demon. The shopkeeper smiled. El Yuming looked at it. Twenty copies of the blood of the third level ninefold demon beast and thirty copies of the third level ninefold demon pill, a lot. El Yuming nodded in satisfaction, then took out a storage ring and gave it to the shopkeeper, saying, The shopkeeper, here are six hundred and fifty thousand pieces of spirit crystals, you count it. The shopkeeper took it, the mind swept away in the storage ring, and the smile was even brighter, said, Son, because you buy so much at one time, our store has a discount. This time the item, only the sun 600,000 spirit crystals. Also, this is our VIP card, as long as the sun comes again next time, all items will be 20% off. The shopkeeper took out a golden VIP card and 50,000 spirit crystals, and handed them to El Yuming. Thank you. El Yuming was delighted, and naturally accepted it with no mercy. El Yuming will naturally not be polite if he can save 50,000 spirit crystals. Also, when he comes to buy things in the future, it is mainly 20% off, which also makes El Yuming very excited. With a wave of hand, all the blood and demon are collected. Beside, a few beautiful girls looked at El Yuming, their eyes glowing again and again. One shot is 600,000 spirit crystals, and in their hearts, El Yuming is a big figure above all. If it can be favored by such people, how good it should be. Several young girls thought to themselves, but they knew that this was impossible. How could such characters as El Yuming look at them? The shopkeeper, leave. El Yuming arched his hands and strode away. After spending 600,000 spirit crystals at once, El Yuming didn't feel heartache at all. They were all obtained from disciples from Shi Fangjian school anyway. As soon as he returned to the dormitory, El Yuming entered the Supreme Temple and could not wait to start practicing. First of all, El Yuming manipulates the bloodline, swallows a third level ninefold monster monster blood, and then refining it with all his strength. This time, El Yuming did not use it to improve his cultivation behavior but used all the energy of his blood to improve the level of his bloodline. Enhancing cultivation practice, demon pill is enough. Two hours later, all this blood was refined. On the bloodline, six blood red chakras are dazzling, but no seventh chakra has been born. With the addition of the blood of three blood ants, the blood of four third level ninth monsters has been engulfed before and after, but the bloodline level has not improved. The difficulty level of blood level upgrade can be seen. Then, El Yuming took out a third level ninefold monster blood and began to devour it. After swallowing, he took out another. In this way, fifteen copies of the monster blood were consumed in succession, and all of them were used to promote the blood vein itself. At this time, the blood vein shuddered and finally the seventh blood red chakra was born. When the seventh blood red chakra was born, the spirit-eating blood veins resembling long snakes, screaming in the sky, glowing all over the body, the body expanded at a rapid speed. It gets thicker and longer and longer. Finally, it turned into a giant python about 10 meters long, suspended above El Yuming's head. Evolved, the spirit bloodline has evolved, and it has evolved again. El Yuming was overjoyed. Biting the bloodline, when he was promoted to level 4, 
he realized an evolution. That time, a small insect with a long finger evolved into a small snake. And now, from a small snake, it has evolved into a python. Then what will it become after evolution? El Yuming was very much looking forward to it. The python roared with a long mouth, a powerful swallowing force erupted, which was several times more powerful than before. Continue to devour. El Yuming took out another monster blood, but this time, only half an hour, it was completely refined, and the seventh chakra became brighter. Afterwards, El Yuming refined all the remaining four monster blood in one breath. Bloodline level, want to upgrade to eighth level, do not know how much demon essence blood to consume. El Yuming secretly sighed. Immediately, El Yuming took out a demon pill and began to devour refining. Demon pill, refining and refining is much more troublesome than essence blood, but now, the power of engulfing the blood of the soul is greatly enhanced, and refining and rebuilding will not take much time. Within three hours, one was refined. El Yuming's cultivation practice is a step forward, but not much improvement. Continue to refine. After refining five, El Yuming's cultivation practice changed from the early stage of the sixth martial arts master to the middle stage of the sixth martial arts master. The energy required for promotion is greater than El Yuming thought. Carry on. In the next three days, El Yuming refined a total of 20 demon pill. El Yuming's cultivation behavior has reached the peak of the sixth martial arts master. Just one step away, you can break through the seventh martial arts master. But at this step, El Yuming continuously refined several demon pill, to no avail, it is difficult to break through to the seventh martial arts master. El Yuming knows that he has encountered a bottleneck. During this time, he has been improving too fast, and his realm is not keeping up. You must stop, experience training, and fight to continue to improve. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. El Yuming left the Supreme Temple and walked out of the dormitory. Brother Tian Yun. As soon as he left the dormitory, he met Ming Feng. Ming Feng. El Yuming laughed. Brother Tian Yun, my elder brother asked me to go to the Emperor Tian Yu battlefield together, would you like to go together? Ming Feng rode. Emperor Tian Yu battlefield. El Yuming's eyes flashed, revealing a trace of interest. The Emperor Tian Yu fighting field is very famous. It can be said that no one knows it, no one knows it. Because, he was not established by the forces of the Sun Empire, the Emperor Tian Yu battlefield was created by the Emperor Heaven God Palace. Emperor Tianjing Palace, that is an unimaginable and powerful force. Not to mention the scorching Sun Empire, even the 36th Empire of the Yundi Emperor, in front of the Emperor Tian Shen Palace, it is and disappears in no time. Emperor Tian Jing Palace, even in the entire Shen Huang continent, is also a very powerful force. The Emperor Tian Wu Battlefield, founded by the Emperor Tian Jin Palace, is distributed all over the Shen Huang continent, large and small, and I don't know how many. In the 36th Empire of the Emperor Yun, only one emperor of the emperor had a battlefield of Emperor Tian Yu. In the Emperor Tian Yu fighting field, you can fight and fight at will, and you can also earn a rich aura. This is a warrior's paradise and a warrior's hell. Here, human life is like a mustard, but as long as you have strength, you can win honor and wealth. El Yuming originally wanted to experience it, perhaps, the Emperor Tian Yu arena is a good place to go. Go we will find your brother. El Yuming smiled. Ha ha, let's go. Ming Feng was overjoyed and went to Ming City with El Yuming. When Ming Cheng saw El Yuming together, he was naturally overjoyed, and the three headed towards the Emperor Tian Yu fighting field. The Emperor Tian Yu battlefield, in the southern part of the imperial capital, covers a vast area. From the outside, the Emperor Tian Yu Arena is an oval building with a height of 100 meters. At the gate of the Emperor Tian Yu Battlefield, someone guarded. If you want to enter the Emperor Tian Yu Fighting Field, 
each person must pay 10 pieces of spirit crystal. This is the battlefield opened by the Emperor Tianjin Temple. No one dared not to pay it. Even the people of the Ten Fangjian faction, in the Emperor Tianyu battlefield, must be honest. The Ten Party Sword faction seems powerful, but it is only in the Scorching Empire. Faced with such forces as Emperor Tianjing Palace, then I don't know how far apart. Perhaps the Emperor Tianjin Palace walked out of a servant at will, and could destroy the Ten Sword Swords with his fingertips. Each handed over ten pieces of Ling Jing, and the three walked into the Emperor Tianyu fighting field. When I walked in, I realized that the Emperor Tianyu arena was wider than expected. Around the Emperor Tianyu battlefield, there are dense stands with at least dozens of floors, accommodating hundreds of thousands of people, no problem. In the center of the battlefield, there is a battle platform, which is 200 meters long and wide. At this time, two figures were fighting fiercely on the battle platform. All around, the shouts raged. L. Yu Ming glanced over, the crowd in the stands was bustling and not very dense, but L. Yu Ming estimated that there were tens of thousands of people. L. Yu Ming secretly lamented that the Emperor Tianyu battlefield is really making money. Even if only tens of thousands of people watch it a day, there are hundreds of thousands of spiritual crystals in a day's income. Kill. On the battle platform, two middle-aged big men, with a lot of killing opportunities, shouted in succession and killed each other. Boom. Boom. Both of them are the masters of the heavy training, and they have dozens of consecutive moves. The last man in the yellow robe is better, and he cut off the other's head with a knife. Haha, <laughs> I finally reached a six-game winning streak. The yellow robe laughed. Six-game winning streak? There should be a reward of a hundred pieces of spirit crystals. L. Yu Ming thought to himself. The rules of the Emperor Tianyu fighting field, everyone can take the stage to challenge, as long as they pay a fee of 50 yuan for the Jing Jing. At the beginning, it was a battle at the same level. The first five games are very random, you can challenge anyone, and there will be no rewards. Starting from the sixth game, the Emperor Tianyu battlefield will arrange a stronger opponent, and if you win, you will receive a reward of a hundred pieces of Ling Jing. Six consecutive victories, one hundred rewards, seven consecutive victories, two hundred yuan, eight consecutive victories, five hundred yuan, doubled later, to ten consecutive victories, there are two thousand spiritual crystal rewards. At the ten game winning streak, if you continue to challenge, you can't challenge a warrior of the same level, but you must challenge a warrior one level higher than yourself. Cross-level challenges, and, the Emperor Tianyu fighting field will not let you challenge casually, they arrange, are strong opponents. If you cross a level to challenge a winning streak, you will get 5,000 spirit crystal rewards, 2 consecutive victories, 10,000 spirit crystal rewards, 3 consecutive wins, and 20,000 spirit crystal rewards. For every extra winning streak in the back, the reward will be added to 10,000 spirits crystal. If you cross a level to challenge a 10 game winning streak, there will be a reward of 90,000 spirit crystals. At this time, if you continue to challenge, you have to fight across two levels. Of course, the rewards will be more abundant. Challenge a winning streak across two levels and you will have a reward of 100,000 spirit crystals, plus 100,000 for each successive winning streak. If you can win 10 straight victories across two levels, the reward can reach 1 million pieces of spirit crystals, which is extremely scary. The more you cross, the more scary the reward. This will naturally attract countless geniuses to challenge. Do you want to continue to challenge? In the Battle of Heaven, the referee of the Emperor Tianyu fighting field asked. Yes, of course. The yellow robe is confident. Okay, let me arrange. The referee said. Soon, a white-haired old man stepped onto the battle platform, and his cultivation was also a major issue for the martial artist. Boom. Without extra words, the two fought together. But this time, it was clear that the old man was better. 
he fought a hundred strokes or so, and fought back the blood of Huang Pao's spitting blood. I surrender. The yellow robe screamed quickly. Emperor Tianyu fighting field, killing at will, if you do not admit defeat, then only death. The big man in the yellow robe admits defeat, and the old man with white hair also stopped. Subsequently, Huang Baohan received a reward of a hundred pieces of Lingjing and went off the battle platform. The old man with white hair also got off the platform. Who else is going to challenge? The referee shouted and glanced at the audience. I come. A young man in his twenties jumped onto the battle platform, then registered and paid fifty pieces of spirit crystals. My cultivation practice, the second martial arts master, who came to enlighten me. The young people glanced at the audience, loudly. I'm here to teach. A great man leapt onto the battle platform and started with the youth, but after a dozen moves, he was defeated by the youth. Afterwards, people continued to challenge and were defeated by the youth one by one. Obviously, this young man is a genius with a very powerful combat strength. Five people in a row are all lost to him. Five game winning streak, a five game winning streak easily won by youth. Who else is fighting? The youth is full of enthusiasm. But for a time, no one stepped forward. After a while, an old woman finally jumped onto the battle platform. We want to test your strength. The referee said. The old woman nodded, followed the referee and walked into a stone door next to it. After the five-game winning streak, it is impossible for the Emperor Tianyu Arena to challenge you at will. Every opponent will test their strength. If they are not strong enough, they are not qualified to challenge. Otherwise, as long as someone finds a group of people to collude well, they can easily win the game and get rewards. In that case, the Emperor Tianyu battlefield should not die. Moreover, in that case, there is nothing to see in the fighting. The audience here is to watch the fierce battle. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Therefore, only those who pass the test and have the strength can challenge them. Or, some people have a historical record in the Emperor Tianyu fighting field, such as those who have won six consecutive victories then it is natural to play against those who will have six consecutive victories, and there is no need to test. It didn't take long for the old woman to pass the test and appear on the battle platform. Kill. Kill. The audience roared fiercely from the stands, looking forward to the battle platform. They need to see the fight, so that it is enough to stimulate. Kill. On the battle platform, the young people and the old women, driven by the surrounding atmosphere, screamed and killed each other. The young man used a sword, and the old woman used a slender sword. The two fought fiercely together. The old woman's knife skills are extremely fierce, and she has experienced experience and attacked fiercely. It is only a dozen moves, and the youth will lose. I. The young man was about to shout to admit defeat, and the old woman's sword suddenly accelerated. Boom. The young man confessed that he hadn't called it before he was cut off by the old woman's knife. It is good. Wonderful. Around the stands, there was a violent noise, screams and excitement. You killed this person and replaced it with a six-game winning streak. Now, will you continue to challenge? On the battle platform, the referee asked the old woman. Carry on. The old woman said. This old woman is very powerful. Obviously, she has been practicing for many years. The martial arts skills are very deep. She has won straight games and then won three games in a row and won nine straight games. At this time, the old woman shook her head and said that she would not continue to challenge. The more challenged, the person below must be stronger, she was not sure. The audience around was disappointed. They naturally wanted to continue watching, because the further down, the more exciting. The old woman received a thousand pieces of spirit crystals and left the battle platform. Next, who is going to challenge?
The referee's voice spread throughout the audience. I'm going to play. At this moment, L. Yu Ming got up and chuckled lightly. Brother Tian Yun, are you going to shoot? There was a beam of excitement in Ming Feng's eyes. Ming Cheng also showed its expectation. They were not worried about L. Yu Ming at all. They did not believe that L. Yu Ming would lose in the same battle. L. Yu Ming smiled, stepped out, and stepped onto the battle platform. The referee saw a smile on the court and said, This little brother, please register your training and pay the fee. L. Yu Ming nodded and took out 50 pieces of Ling Jing to register. Me, the sixth heavy martial artist, who will fight me? L. Yu Ming glanced around, his voice was not loud, but it spread throughout the audience. What? Master Lu Liu's Hong, so young. Most of the audience in the stands were surprised. The audience in the stands came from all over the imperial capital, and most of them did not know L. Yu Ming. Could it be the extraordinary genius from the five major schools? Someone muttered. For a while, no one came on the court. The younger you are, the higher your cultivation level is. They are generally geniuses, and their combat strength is difficult to measure. They don't want to die in vain. I know him. His name is Tian Yun. He is the peerless genius of the Star Palace. It is extremely powerful. Half a month ago, the Blood Ant Secret Realm killed the peerless genius Yang Zation of the Ten Fangjian faction. Most of the storage rings for disciples of the Ten Fangjian school. Someone shouted. It's him? So he is Tian Yun. In the stands, there were bursts of exclamation. In the past half a month, the name of Tian Yun spread throughout the imperial capital, and the secret of blood ants also spread throughout the imperial capital. While waiting for a genius, a battle at the same level, how do you fight? Yes. Someone sighed. L. Yu Ming smiled bitterly, but it wasn't good to be too famous. Now he doesn't even have a player who played a game. Who came to fight? L. Yu Ming shouted again. But no one played. After a while, a big man got up and said, Master Tian Yun, I will fight you, but we just learn from each other. How about it? It is good. L. Yu Ming was overjoyed and quickly agreed. He is not a bloodthirsty person, and does not necessarily have to be divided into life and death, as long as someone comes to power, he is satisfied. The big man moved on the battle platform and stood opposite L. Yu Ming. Some watched this time. The audience in the stands all showed expectant expressions. Although the name of Tian Yun has spread throughout the imperial capital recently, there are still very few people who have seen L. Yu Ming's action, and everyone naturally expects it. A big knife appeared in the middle-aged hands, watching landing cautiously. L. Yu Ming held a spear and stood indifferently. Bump! The middle-aged man did not hesitate any more and launched an attack offensively. With one shot, 18 knives were cut continuously, one knives faster than one knives. Daemon roared, blocking L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming did not rush to shoot, stepped on the volley step, and his body flashed slightly, leaving the scope of the attack of the Han. Come again! The big man shouted, the offensive was surging, and the Snow White Sword attacked L. Yu Ming layer by layer. However, L. Yu Ming's face was calm and indifferent, and his figure was like a cloud of flowing water, shaking slightly, so that De Han's sword light was completely lost. Call out! Suddenly, the spear in L. Yu Ming's hand pierced and pierced the sword of De Han. With just such a random stab, all Han's sword lights disappeared, and he was a thug himself. How could this be? The big man shouted, and L. Yu Ming Ming didn't use much force. He just stabbed a shot at random, and his knife skill was broken. He is a bit difficult to accept. Your set of swordsmanship is the Xian class inferior knife manship, which should have been rigid and soft, but you blindly pursued fast and pursued power, but instead fell down, so your set of swordsmanship has always been stuck in the first place. Four levels, it is difficult to break through the fifth level. L. Yu Ming said word by word, slowly. 
but these words fell in the ears of middle-aged Big Han, and it was indeed a thunderbolt. He was stunned, his eyes flashing, thinking about something. A moment later, the middle-aged Dashin was overjoyed, showing an expression of sudden enlightenment, and the sword in his hand was suddenly chopped out. There were twenty-seven sword lights in an instant, dazzling, and the power was stronger than before. Haha, <laughs> my sword skills have broken through. The middle-aged big man laughed, then looked at Liu Ming, suddenly clenched his fists, and bowed deeply, saying, Thank you, Master Tianyun, for pointing me out, otherwise I don't know when it will take me to break through. Master Yun's talents in heaven and earth are admiring the five-body cast. You don't have to be polite, you can make breakthroughs. It's your own perception. I'm just throwing a brick to attract Jade. El Yu Ming smiled slightly. Today, El Yu Ming has successfully cultivated even prefecture-level martial arts, and his vision is naturally different. The middle-aged Han man practiced nothing but Xian-level inferior martial arts. Although El Yu Ming had not practiced swordsmanship, his vision was there. Just now the middle-aged big man made consecutive moves, and El Yu Ming saw the weaknesses and shortcomings of the big Han man's knife, and he casually pointed out a few words. He didn't expect the middle-aged man's knife to break through in one fell swoop. Anyway? The gratitude of Master Tianyun, I'm so grateful. The middle-aged man saluted again, then turned to the battle platform. Obviously, he conceded defeat. The audience in the stands were stunned. Is this okay? Immediately, a grey-haired old man hurriedly jumped onto the battle platform, clenched his fists, and said very politely, Old Xiang Xiong Mu, please ask Master Tianyun to give advice. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. The old man looked at Landing Ming hopefully. L. Yu Ming was young, but his understanding of martial arts was surprisingly high. Just a few words from the big man just now, let the other party's martial arts break through, which made the old man's heart fiery. Nest, Xiong Mu, this old guy, is too cunning, and he is one step ahead of me. Damn, no one of you will fight with me. The next game, it's my turn to challenge. It's your turn? Why? Master Tianyun uses a spear, and I also use a spear. The next game is for me to play. It's me. In the stands, several masters of the six martial arts masters competed for it. Others were dumbfounded. These people are scrambling to challenge El Yu Ming, not because El Yu Ming is too weak, but because he is too strong. Such a thing is simply unheard of. El Yu Ming himself was a little dazed. But in this way, he did not worry that no one accepted his challenge. Please. El Yu Ming clenched his fists and said to the old man. Please advise. The old man clenched his fists, and then a long sword appeared. Call out. Jian Guang broke into the air and slammed towards the landing. As before, El Yu Ming did not rush to fight back, evading with his body, while observing the old man's swordsmanship. After more than thirty strokes, El Yu Ming took a random shot, almost the same as the previous big man, the old man's swordsmanship was broken, and his body retreated sharply. But instead of being frustrated, the old man looked at landing with excitement, and looked hopefully. El Yu Ming pondered for a while, and then explained the flaws and shortcomings of the old man's swordsmanship according to what he had observed before in his own understanding. After listening, the old man savored it and then exulted. His face was full of excitement. He respectfully greeted the landing and saluted, saying, Old deceased to thank Master Tianyun for his kindness. Seniors need not be polite. El Yu Ming laughed. Subsequently, the old man sat down on the battlefield with satisfaction. Master Tianyun, I'll ask you for advice. As soon as the old man stepped down, a big man would rush to the battle platform. I'm coming, it's my turn. On the other side, someone rushed towards the battlefield. It's my turn, you get me down. It's you who gets rid. 
the two roared, the murderess burst out, and they were about to fight. This. L. Yu Ming himself was almost the same as the crowd around for a while. Stop, challenge, come one by one, otherwise, disqualify you from the challenge. The referee shouted with a speechless expression on his face. He hosted the Emperor Tianyu fighting field for many years. This was the first time he encountered this kind of situation. The referee, did I challenge first? cried the middle-aged man. Nonsense, it's me. No one else gave in. Okay, you first, you are the last one. The referee sullenly pointed to the middle-aged Tehandeo first. The middle-aged man was overjoyed and said, Thank you senior. The other person was a little unwilling and stood aside. The middle-aged man jumped onto the battle platform and gave El Yuming a fist. He respectfully said, Master Tianyun, I also use a gun. Please also advise. After that, a spear appeared in the middle-aged man's hand. Please. El Yuming smiled slightly. Suddenly, the middle-aged man concentrated his mind, his gun shook, and a dozen or so gun flowers suddenly appeared in the air. El Yuming painted the gourd like this, evading dozens of tricks, allowing the middle-aged man to show the strongest martial arts again, and then easily defeated the opponent and pointed to the opponent's weakness. The middle-aged man was naturally ecstatic, and he left with great gratitude. Then, another person came on the court and El Yuming concocted according to law. In a blink of an eye, El Yuming won five straight. It's just that El Yuming's five-game winning streak is completely different from everyone else's. His opponent, every time he loses, is grateful for leaving. In this Tianyun, what really happened can happen. Ming Cheng sighed. Ming Feng nodded again and again, agreeing. After five straight victories, it is the sixth game. In the sixth game, he went directly to a well-known master. This master once won six consecutive victories in the Emperor Tianyu Arena. If you have a historical record, you don't need to test it. However, this person is still very polite to El Yu Ming. He knows that he is not El Yu Ming's opponent. He came up with the thought of asking El Yu Ming for advice. Master Tianyun, please advise. This person is also very polite. El Yu Ming nodded. As a result, Naturally, there was no suspense. El Yuming easily defeated his opponent and pointed at the opponent. Six in a row, seven in a row, eight in a row. Soon, El Yuming successfully won a ten-game winning streak. His ten-game winning streak, he won easily, did not even hurt one person. Tianyun, you have won ten straight games. If you continue to challenge, you have to cross one level to challenge the master of the seven layers of the martial artist. Do you want to continue? The referee looked at El Yuming and asked. Carry on. El Yuming nodded without hesitation. All the audience showed their expectation. How big is El Yuming's record in crossing the first level challenge? How many consecutive victories can be achieved? Crossing the first level challenge it is impossible for the Emperor Tianyu fighting field to let the ordinary martial arts 7th level martial arts warriors go up, and it must be the masters of the 7th level martial arts warriors. It is good. The referee nodded, and then looked around, saying, are the masters of the 7th master of the military martial arts challenging Tianyun on stage? I come. The referee's voice had just dropped and a young man in his thirties got up and stepped onto the battle platform. Yang Tai, you can shoot directly. Seeing this young man, the referee did not let this person test his strength. Obviously, this person was still quite famous in the Emperor Tianyu arena, and was recognized by the referee. Tianyun, despite the shot, I'm not comparable to those of the six martial arts warriors. Yang Tai looked very confident and looked at El Yu Ming. Please. El Yu Ming smiled slightly. Boom. Yang Tai exploded with all his strength, and the spear in his hand radiated a bright light, piercing towards the landing Ming cave. El Yu Ming's spear shook, the gun body shook, the air sent out a terrible wave, 
and a terrible shock wave rushed towards Yang Tai. Bump! Yang Tai was hit by this shock wave, his body was like a shell, he was shot and flew out, and fell heavily on the battle platform. Sissi! There was a cold breath in the audience. One move, just one move, did not even show any martial arts, but the body of the gun was shocked, and flew Yang Tai out of the battle platform. Strength, powerful strength. In the previous ten games, L. Yu Ming was polite and polite. After dozens of moves, he defeated the opponent and did not show any strong combat power. This made some people almost forget L. Yu Ming's strength. Now, I finally remembered that L. Yu Ming's fighting power was terrifying. Yang Tai struggled to get up, gave L. Yu Ming a horrified look, and stumbled away. Then, the challenge continues. Streak, unstoppable streak. Less than an hour later, L. Yu Ming has achieved a seven-game winning streak across the first level. There was a lot of discussion and excitement in the audience. A seven-game winning streak across the first level, you said, Kin Tianyun win a ten-game winning streak across the first level. It's hard to say, at this step, I am afraid that the Emperor Tianyu fighting field will not be able to sit still, and it will send a real strong man. So far, the Emperor Tianyu fighting field has not sent a death fighter. Yes, in my opinion, in the next game, the Emperor Tianyu battlefield will send a death fighter. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. There are two main challenges. One is to pick opponents on the spot. If there are no challengers on the spot, then the Emperor Tianyu fighting field will send masters. The Emperor Tianyu fighting field has unfathomable strength. It naturally has a group of masters. The masters sent by the Emperor Tianyu fighting field are called dead fighters. Listening to the name, you know that death fighters are all powerful and fearless. When you shoot, you will definitely meet the blood. Tianyun, please wait a moment. The referee said to L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming nodded. At the highest point of the Emperor Tianyu battlefield, a luxurious room with a window, you can see the panoramic view of the Emperor Tianyu battlefield. At this time, a few old men were watching. This Tianyun is so powerful that it's time to send a death fighter. One of the old men in black said. Yes, but the average death fighter is definitely not Tianyun's opponent. I suggest letting 18 go first. If 18 loses, let 17 go. Another old man said. I agree. I agree. Several other old men nodded. Subsequently, they passed the order. Soon after, a man with all his scars and an extremely tall and majestic figure rushed to the battle platform. The big man's body was filled with grief, and his eyes were like wild beasts, and he stared deadly. On the face of Dehan, two characters are engraved, 18. Number 18 is a dead fighter of the Emperor Tianyu fighting field, and it is still no 18. When the audience saw the big man, they all exclaimed one after another. It is said that among the dead fighters of the Emperor Tianyu fighting field, those with extremely strong combat strength are eligible to write on their faces. This 18 is one of them. It seems that the Emperor Tianyu fighting field attaches great importance to Tianyun. Nonsense, if Tianyun wins a 10-game winning streak across the first level, then it will cost 90,000 pieces of spirit crystals. How can the Emperor Tianyu fighting field let Tianyun get it at will? That's right. Wonderful, today's 10 pieces of Lingjinghua are so worth it. It is estimated that those who have not come will regret it. L. Yu Ming's eyes also moved slightly, looking at these 18. From the other party, L. Yu Ming felt a strong murderous spirit. Is the death fighter in the Emperor Tianyu fighting field? Finally a bit interesting. There was a smile on L. Yu Ming's mouth, a little war in his eyes. Tianyun, you have to be careful. 18, you won't be merciful. For the geniuses such as L. Yu Ming, the referee was quite kind and reminded. Thank you. L. Yu Ming smiled slightly. Okay, let's get started. The referee announced. 
roar. With the referee's announcement, the 18 made a roar like a beast. With a move in his hand, a meteor hammer appeared, and the meteor hammer issued a horrible roar and bombarded the landing. The meteor hammer belongs to the Kimon weapon, which is very difficult to practice, but once trained, it is also very powerful. The meteor hammer, really like a meteor, slammed into Al Yu Ming. But Al Yu Ming did not evade, and shot directly. Ding! The tip of the gun accurately pierced the meteor hammer, making a loud noise. The spear was not moving, but the meteor hammer flew back directly, even faster than the previous one. Eighteen fierce faces, his face changed a lot, his body leaped high, and then he avoided the meteor hammer. The meteor hammer blasted on the battle platform and issued a violent roar. I am afraid that the inscriptions will explode directly. I am afraid that this 18 combat power can be compared with the general martial arts fighters. L. Yu Ming moved. But the ordinary martial arts 8th martial arts warriors, in front of L. Yu Ming, were simply not enough to watch. Uh. Afterwards, L. Yu Ming stepped out and appeared like a ghost, appearing in front of the 18 bodies, and shot out at the 18. Boom. The 18-year-old iron chain was low-grade but it was useless. He was directly shot by L. Yu Ming. The man carried a meteor hammer and flew hundreds of meters before stopping. Win, Tian Yun wins, the victory is neat. The audience watched the landing song in shock. L. Yu Ming will win, they are not surprised, but L. Yu Ming Sheng is too easy, which is shocking. At the highest point of Emperor Tian Yu's fighting arena, the old men watched, their eyes flashing. This sky cloud is definitely a peerless genius, and a peerless genius. Unless he is also a peerless genius, he can fight him at a higher level than others. It is difficult for others to stop him. An old man sighed. Yes, this Tian Yun, I feel that most of his strength has not been exhibited. Even if it goes up to 16, it is not his opponent. Then let him win 10 straight games. Of course. This is a good thing, as long as we operate a little bit, then we will make a lot of money. Haha, <laughs> yes, let 17 and 16 go up. Not only did the old men feel unhappy, but their faces were full of joy. Next, a man with 17 faces engraved on his face still lost to L. Yu Ming. Nine straight. After the nine game winning streak, a woman in her 20s came up with 16 characters on her face. This woman is stronger than the previous 17 and 18, and she realized the trend. It's a pity that compared to Yang Zation, it's still a long way off. It's not L. Yu Ming's opponent at all. L. Yu Ming's fire broke out and easily defeated his opponent. Ten game winning streak, L. Yu Ming crossed the first level challenge and achieved ten game winning streak. According to the rules, you can get a reward of 90,000 pieces of spirit crystals. Tian Yun, do you want to continue to challenge? The referee looked at L. Yu Ming and asked. At this moment, everyone's eyes were gathered on L. Yu Ming, and his eyes were full of expectations. To continue the challenge, it is necessary to fight across two levels. A 10 game winning streak across one level, although rare, will still appear one every once in a while. But if you can fight across two levels, and you can overcome it, there are very few. Fighting across two levels, with a winning streak, there will be a reward of 100,000 spirit crystals. For every extra victory, the reward will increase by 100,000. How tempting is this? But there are too few people available. The six heroes of today's Scorching Sun are all geniuses who have overcome two challenges. Among the six heroes, there are five people all of which are four consecutive victories across two levels. Only the head of the six heroes, the peerless demon of the ten-party sword faction, Chu Chong Kong, only achieved a record of seven consecutive victories across two levels. This is also the highest record of the raging empire in nearly 100 years. Will Tian Yun accept it? I choose to continue to challenge. L. Yu Ming said without hesitation. Ten wins across one level, only 90,000 spirit crystals, too few. 
crossing the two levels is El Yuming's goal. Those rewards make El Yuming tempted, and he will not miss it. Wow! There was an uproar at the scene and everyone was excited. Tian Yun promised to continue the challenge and watched a good show. Challenges across two levels are not often seen, very rare. Seeing El Yuming agree, the referee's face smiled happily and said, Tian Yun, we need to arrange manpower for the two-level challenge. We can't proceed immediately. It takes three days to proceed. Are you willing? Three days later. El Yuming stunned, then nodded in agreement. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. $3,000. Suddenly, a clear voice sounded and spread throughout the audience. The pearl was stunned, because this voice was El Yuming. El Yuming took a fancy to this bottle of elixir. Since El Yuming bids, Ming Zhu will not bid any more. 3,100. In the lobby, someone continued to bid. 4,000. El Yuming smiled slightly and added directly to 4,000 pieces of Ling Jing. The audience was silent for a while, and El Yuming called for a price without hesitation, and added 900 spirit crystals at once. Ming Zhu, Ming Cheng, and Ming Feng were also a little surprised. Although this bottle of elixir is good, it only has a better effect on the low-level martial arts masters. Taking El Yuming's cultivation as an example, it is estimated that the effect is not great. I don't know why El Yuming is so interested. Are there any price increases? Du Ji asked. No one bid. Subsequently, Du Ji even asked three times, and no one bid. This bottle of immortality is naturally owned by El Yuming. After a while, a beautiful girl sent the elixir and El Yuming took out 4,000 pieces of spirit crystal and gave it to the girl. Pearl, this bottle of immortality, here you are. El Yuming took the elixir and handed it to Ming Zhu. Give, give me. The pearl froze. Aside, Ming Cheng and Ming Feng were also a little dazed. Is the panacea that El Yuming just auctioned for Ming Zhu? Just look at what you want, just take it and send it to you. El Yuming smiled slightly. This won't work. I can't accept such a valuable immortality. Although Pearl was very eager, she quickly refused. No need to be polite, just a bottle of immortality. El Yuming smiled. Sister, please accept it, but you can't waste Tian Yun's heart. Ming Feng said with a smile, his eyes blinked desperately at Ming Zhu, his eyes full of inexplicable smiles. Yeah, second sister, please accept it. Ming Cheng laughed like an old fox. Ming Zhu's face suddenly turned red, and I didn't know what I was thinking. Water vapor was blowing in his eyes, and his voice was as small as a mosquito. He said, Thank you, Master Tian Yun. After talking, he took the bottle in El Yuming's hands, his eyes full of joy. On the side, Ming Cheng and Ming Feng grinned and looked at El Yuming for a while and Ming Zhu for a while and nodded from time to time. What are you laughing at? El Yuming looked at the two men speechlessly. He didn't think much about it. He just photographed what Pearl wanted, so he took pictures, and he didn't need as many spirit crystals. When Chuan thanked him for entering the Hall of Stars, Pearl helped him. The auction continued, and one item after another took turns bidding. Some are extremely rare, the price is called tens of thousands of spirit crystals, and some are only hundreds of spirit crystals. But El Yuming was a little disappointed. These items had no effect on him, and he had no interest. Ming Cheng and Ming Feng, however, took a few fancy items and participated in the auction. Soon, more than 100 items fell into the hands of different people. The next item is the last item in this auction. Of course, it is also the most precious. At this time, Du's Highlang said. It's time to auction the finale treasure. At the scene, the atmosphere suddenly rose. Every auction, there will be a finale, which is definitely a treasure, very rare. El Yuming also got some interest. 
Du Ji saw the crowd rising, showing a satisfied smile, clapping his hands, and suddenly a girl dragged a jade plate and walked up. The jade disc was covered with gold silk gauze, and there was no sign of what was inside. To know this treasure today, we must know his role. As we all know, martial arts practice, although the physical body is not fundamental, but it is also an extremely important auxiliary way. The powerful physical body not only has strong vitality, amazing recovery, but also more it greatly enhances the warrior's combat power, and even has many other wonderful uses. Du Ji explained the role of the flesh. Is it a treasure that helps the body to cultivate? L. Yu Ming immediately became more interested. Many people at the scene also showed their expectations. Du Ji smiled, and then said, but physical training is extremely difficult, and it is very slow to practice through exercises, and it consumes a lot of energy. However, there are short ways to go. There are many treasures between heaven and earth, which can quickly refine the flesh and enhance the physical strength of the flesh in a short time. These treasures have strengths and weaknesses, and the effects are different. Du Ji didn't seem to be in a hurry and explained slowly, but the others suffocated and suddenly cried. What kind of treasure is it? Are you talking about it? Yes, what the is that, open it and see. Du Ji smiled and continued, want to know, very simple, I asked you a question, you will know. What are the treasures that have the greatest effect on the flesh among the many treasures in the world? What treasure has the greatest effect on the flesh? It's needless to say, of course it is a congenital liquid, what? You, you will not be a congenital liquid here. A sound rang out, a little incredible. There was a sudden silence on the court, a little shocked, but then all shook his head secretly. Innate solution? How is this possible? According to legend, the congenital essence is the essence of heaven and earth that can be born after millions of years, even tens of millions of years. Even many innate congenital liquids were born when the world first opened. The help to the flesh is huge, claiming to be the first in the world. Of course, there are different levels of congenital liquid. According to the different effects, it is divided into four levels. Inferior, middle grade, top grade, and top grade. But even if it is the inferior congenital liquid, it is also a rare treasure in the world, very precious. The fire spirit milk that L. Yu Ming obtained at the beginning can also refine the flesh, but compared with the innate original liquid, it is garbage. Ha ha ha, this friend guessed right, this treasure is the innate solution. Du Ji laughed. What? This time was amazing, the whole room burst into a pan. It was really a congenital solution, which exceeded everyone's expectations. How is it possible? It's actually a congenital solution. Get it, I must get it. Countless people shouted, with a fiery flame in their eyes, looking at the tray in the hand of the, the high platform, wishing to occupy it for themselves. In the VIP room on the 7th, L. Yu Ming's eyes also showed a fiery light. The three Ming Cheng siblings opened their mouths in surprise. Du Ji was very satisfied with the response of the crowd. The more enthusiastic the response, the higher the price. Du Ji reached out his hand and pressed slightly, said, quiet for a while. On the field, suddenly quiet down. This treasure, although it is a congenital liquid, is only the inferior congenital liquid, and the amount is not much. Du's Hideo. Everyone nodded, and it was only the inferior products that were normal. How could the innate original liquid above the middle products appear in the Scorching Empire, even if they appeared, not many people could buy them. At this time, Du Ji reached out and uncovered the gauze on the tray, revealing a red stone ball. Is this innate solution? Everyone showed a puzzled expression. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Du Ji smiled and explained, in this stone ball, the congenital liquid is sealed, the quantity is not much, only nine drops. Nine drops? Enough. Someone whispered. Instead, 
some people showed their excitement. Congenital liquid is too precious. If there are too many, not many people can afford it, but if there are only nine drops, you can try it. Moreover, even if there are only nine drops, the effect is very amazing. Nine drops of congenital liquid, I'm going to fix it. L. Yu Ming looked at the stone ball, his eyes showing what he wanted. His physical body, trapped in the second grade consummation for a long time, has not broken through, as long as he gets these nine drops of innate liquid, his physical body will certainly be able to advance by leaps and bounds and break through the third grade, easily. In that case, his combat power will be greatly improved. Nine drops of congenital liquid, after being studied by the elders of the Emperor Tianyu fighting field, there will be no mistakes, well, now the auction starts, the base price of each drop of congenital liquid is 10,000 pieces of spirit crystals, nine drops, the base price is 90,000 Chun Ling Jing, each price increase must be no less than 5,000 Ling Jing. Du Ji announced. Sisi. Many people took a breath, showing frustration. Although I had expected it, I was shocked to hear the price. With 90,000 spiritual crystals, most people extinguished the fire in their hearts. 100,000 spirit crystals. The price is high, but not everyone can't afford it, and immediately, someone bids, which came from a VIP room. VIP room number 3, listening to the sound, seems very young. 110,000. Immediately afterwards, an old voice came from the VIP room on the 9th. 120,000. In the hall, a voice suddenly sounded, and everyone looked at it as a tall and strong man. 150,000. In the VIP room number 3, the young voice sounded, but it became a little cold. 160,000. Immediately afterwards, VIP room number 9 followed the bid. In the hall, the big man's eyes flickered, staring steadily at the stone ball on the high platform, his eyes full of unwillingness. But in the end, he sighed and gave up bidding. The 160,000 spirit crystals have exceeded all his possessions. He can only give up. 170,000. VIP room number 3, continue to increase prices. 180,000. Number 9 VIP room, no compromise. At this time, L. Yu Ming did not bid, but there is no need to wait for it, the same. The VIP room number 3 and the VIP room number 9 are competing with each other for bidding. Soon, the price of the congenital liquid solution reached a height of 250,000. At this time, in the VIP room number 3, the voice was extremely cold. At this time, five young people were sitting in the VIP room number 3. It's just that the faces of the five young people are all very unsightly. Where did the old guy dare to compete with brother two men for the treasure, really looking for death? A slightly pale young man's murderous way. Yes, it seems that he doesn't know that we are disciples of Shi Fangjian school. The other said coldly. Among the five, sitting in the middle is a handsome young man in blue robe, his face was very cold at this time. He frowned, looking at the VIP room on the ninth, and said, This senior, I am Tu Men, a disciple of the Ten Fangjian school. These nine drops of innate liquid are of great use to me, and I hope the senior will give in. The words were very polite, but the voice was cold flooded with Ling Ling's killing opportunities, and a very powerful breath filled out from the VIP room number 3. This is clearly a threat. Disciples of Ten Fang Sword School The people in the hall were shocked together, and there was a fearful look in their eyes. Those of the Fangjian School of Autumn In the VIP room on the 9th, there was a voice of oldness. Inside, an old man was sitting, but at this time, there was a fearful look. Not bad. Two men returned coldly. Well, these nine drops of congenital liquid, let it be given to you young people. The old man in the VIP room on the ninth groaned halfway and finally sighed. The ten-party sword faction, in the Scorching Empire, is definitely a giant, and not many people dare to offend. 
The old man withdrew a smile on Ju Men's face. 250,000, and 250,000 are there any higher prices? Du Ji looked around and asked. This is a congenital liquid, rare in the world, but it rarely appears in the Scorching Empire. Its effect on the flesh is extremely amazing. Missing today, I don't know when I will encounter it. If you want it, hurry up and bid. 50,000 yuan, there is no higher price. Du Ji tempted hard. Just now, Tumen's performance made him very dissatisfied. This old guy. Tumen gritted his teeth and stared at Du Ji very uncomfortably. If his eyes could kill someone, Du Ji had already been pierced into a sieve. 300,000. At this moment, a clear voice suddenly sounded and spread throughout the audience, which also shocked everyone. Someone bid, and after learning that he was a disciple of the Ten Fang Sword School, he dared to bid. What is sacred in the end? Everyone's eyes looked at VIP room number 7 at once. That's right, L. Yu Ming just bid. And the price increase was 50,000 at once, which directly pushed the price to 300,000. 300,000, okay, this friend bid 300,000, and there is nothing higher than 300,000. Du Ji was overjoyed and announced. Bump. In the VIP room number 3, two men slapped the table fiercely on the table. The table was torn apart and his face was extremely gloomy. Where did the boy with short eyes know that we are disciples of the Ten Fangjian faction, and dare to bid, can't find death? The pale-faced youth shouted and spread throughout the audience. I have 300,000 spirit crystals, can you still bid? L. Yu Ming pouted, said lightly. Court death. Two men couldn't help but finally snorted and said, Boy, I'll limit you to five breaths and take back the bid just made, otherwise, I'll be ugly if I want you to die. If you have money, if you have no money, you're still here, go. This is L. Yu Ming's response, strong and domineering. At the auction, the audience was shocked. This mysterious person, so powerful, in the face of the Ten Faction Sword School, let them go? You. Chu Minki's complexion was blue, and a strong breath filled out, looming toward the VIP room number seven. Boy, I will kill you now. Chu Men roared. You can try it. L. Yu Ming responded strongly. The cultivation behavior revealed by the other party is the eighth heavy martial arts master, extremely powerful, but L. Yu Ming is not afraid. Dead. Two men roared, and walked out of the VIP room, he had to go to VIP room 3. Presumptuous. Suddenly, Du Ji snorted, and a terrifying breath burst like a mountain, pressing on two men, making Tia Ming's body tremble and unable to move. Wu Zong. This is the breath of Wu Zong. The audience was shocked, but I did not expect that this very friendly Du Ji was actually a strong man in the Wu Zong realm. Old guy, what are you doing? You can't find death, I am a child of the Ten Fangjian school. Two men shouted. What a ten party sword faction, dare to make trouble at the Dishan auction, kill. Du Ji shouted, a killing word, contains infinite killing intention. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandeo as soon as possible. Two men shuddered with excitement. He was usually used to doing prestige and blessings, and he just happily smelt just now. I finally remembered that this is the Emperor Tian Auction House, and Du Ji is the man of the Emperor Tian Jing Palace. Don't dare to let go. Thinking of this, two men's body was stiff there covered with cold sweat. Senior, senior, I was wrong. I was just anxious just now, and I hope that senior will not be surprised. Two men screamed in a hurry, pleading. Go back to the room. Du Ji shouted. When two men was amnesty, he hurried back to VIP room 3. Damn, it. After returning to the VIP room, two men uttered a low roar with a cold killer flashing in his eyes, extremely cold. Just now, he was so embarrassing that he would definitely become a laughing stock, thanks to L. Yu Ming. 
Check, I must find out who the kid is. I want to put him down. Tu Men growled. Brother Chu Ming, I know who the other party is. Suddenly, a young man who had never spoken out loud. You know. Tu Men looked at this young man. This person is Tian Yun, and the Star Temple Tian Yun, his voice, I will never forget it. The young man gritted his teeth. This young man was one of the six geniuses who participated in the Blood and Secret Realm last time, and the Fangjian sent six comprehensions. Tian Yun, is he? Well, okay, I originally came to kill him, and now I dare to rob me of the innate liquid, and I really do not live. Tu Men said coldly. Brother Tu Men, there are still two days before Tian Yun is going to cross the second level challenge in the Emperor Tian Yu battlefield. Then we will kill him, and we want to challenge the records of the six heroes of the Burning Sun. Dream. The pale youth sneered. Okay, let him live two more days. The nine drops of innate liquid will be given to him first, and then he will be killed. The innate liquid is not mine. Tu Men said coldly. Three hundred thousand spirit crystals, is there any higher price than three hundred thousand spirit crystals? In the hall, Du Ji continued to preside over the auction. The audience was silent. This auction did not target the strong men above Wuzong, and most of them were martial artists in the Grand Martial Realm. Three hundred thousand pieces of spirit crystals are not a small number for Wuzong not to mention the great martial arts master? Therefore, no one continued to bid. Du Ji even asked three times, no one bid, nine drops of congenital liquid, was successfully filmed by L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming paid the Ling Jing and put the stone directly into the Supreme Temple. This concludes the auction conference, L. Yu Ming and Ming Cheng and others returned to the General Star Hall. Immediately, L. Yu Ming entered the Supreme Temple and took out the stone. The size of the fist of the stone is held in his hand, and amazing energy is emitted. Inside, there are nine drops of congenital liquid. L. Yu Ming did not hesitate, holding the stone in his hand and squeezing hard. Click. The stone cracked open, and a thicker sperm of energy spread out. Then, a drop of congenital liquid leaked out of the stone crack. Congenital liquid, black, and ink, and a little gloss, very magical. L. Yu Ming sucked in his mouth, sucked this drop of congenital liquid into the mouth, put the rest in a jade box, ran the flame diamond formula and began to refine it. The congenital original fluid turns into endless essence and penetrates into the musculoskeletal bones. Under the method of flame vage raisana, L. Yu Ming continuously strengthens his body. L. Yu Ming's physical strength has increased madly. The body trapped in the second grade consummation began to break through. Two hours later, L. Yu Ming's body shuddered, his bones made a crackling sound like fried beans, and his muscles continued to squirm, half sounding, before calming down. Sanpin flesh body, finally reached the success of Sanpin flesh body. L. Yu Ming whispered, his face full of joy. The congenital liquid is really known as the world's first body treasure, just a drop of the product congenital liquid, so that L. Yu Ming's physical body can successfully break through to achieve a third grade physical body. The flesh reaches the third grade, which is more powerful, making L. Yu Ming's explosive power stronger, and the combat power can also be greatly improved. Carry on. L. Yu Ming whispered. Then he swallowed the second drop of congenital liquid again and began to refine it. When it comes to the third grade flesh, it is more difficult to improve than the second grade flesh, but with the help of the innate liquid, L. Yu Ming's flesh still progresses rapidly. After more than a day, L. Yu Ming cultivated the flame vage raisana to the point of great consummation in one fell swoop, that is to say, L. Yu Ming's flesh had reached the third grade flesh consummation. The eight drops of congenital liquid were all refined. If you want to continue to improve the physical quality, you must find a more advanced physical practice. L. Yu Ming pondered. The Flame King Kong tactics can only cultivate the flesh up to the third grade, which has reached the limit. Good physical strength, my combat power is now at least 30% higher than before. 
L. Yu Ming's eyes are extremely bright. At this moment, he looked, feeling a slight knock on the door outside. When the thoughts moved, he came out of the Supreme Temple and opened the door, but they were the three siblings of Ming Cheng. Brother Tian Yun, today is your cross-level challenge. Ming Feng said quickly. L. Yu Ming slapped his head, he was obsessed with refining congenital liquid, and almost forgot the time. Let's go. Immediately, the four hurried to the Emperor Tian Yu fighting field. At this time, the Emperor Tian Yu battlefield was already full of people. All positions are seated with people, which can be described by a crowd of people, no less than 300,000 people. Everyone pays the entrance fee of 10 pieces of spirit crystals. Today, the Emperor Tian Yu fighting field is the income of this item alone, and it is not less than 3 million spirit crystals. But at this time, the Emperor Tian Yu battlefield was a hustle and bustle. Why haven't Tian Yun come yet? What are you doing? Couldn't it be that you're not coming? No, then I'm not running in vain, retreating Ling Jing, I'm not watching. I gave up on a mission and came to see it, wouldn't it be so pitted? Among the crowd, two men and others stood there, and their faces were a little unsightly. Tian Yun, won't you know that the last auction offended brother two men, so don't you dare to come. I think Jukin is like that. Several disciples of the Ten Fangjian school deliberately talked loudly. This time, Shi Fangjian sent dozens of disciples. The upper level of the Emperor Tian Wu battlefield, several old men of the Emperor Tian Wu battlefield also frowned. What's going on with Tian Yun? Why hasn't it come yet? I have sent someone to pick it up. Several old men whispered. Suddenly, an old man moved his face and smiled, saying, Tian Yun, here. At this time, Tian Yun walked into the gate of the Emperor Tian Yu battlefield and strode toward the battle platform. Tian Yun, here. I don't know who yelled. The audience suddenly calmed down. Hundreds of thousands of eyes looked at the entrance. L. Yu Ming walked ahead, striding forward, followed by the three Ming Cheng siblings. Haha, Tian Yun is here, it seems that something has been delayed. How could he not come with his talents? Just now who said that Tian Yun was afraid to come, it was really the gentleman's heart with the heart of a villain. The audience was full of excitement, but several disciples of the Ten Fangjian faction looked ugly. Wasn't that what they said just now? Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Hey, it's just right, it's not a dead end. Tu Men said with a dark face. The three siblings of Ming Cheng boarded the stands, and Liu Mingjing walked onto the middle of the battle platform. All eyes focused on Liu Ming on the battle platform. Okay, now Tian Yun crosses the second level challenge and it officially begins. Who is going to fight? The referee announced loudly. I'll try it. An old man shouted loudly and boarded the battle platform. It's Mingxian's blame, he is the cultivation practice of the 8th heavy martial arts master, and he won a 7-game winning streak at the same level some time ago. In the 8th heavy martial arts master, they are both masters and qualified to be the candidates for the first battle of Tianyun. As soon as the old man came to power, someone recognized him. You can fight. The referee nodded and recognized Minchin Yugui's strength. Master Tian Yun, please. Ming Shan stared at Ming Ming with strange eyes, and exuded a strong breath on his body. L. Yu Ming smiled and a spear appeared in his hand. Bump. Ming Shan's footsteps slammed suddenly and rushed towards the landing. Wind Wand Method. Ming Shan shouted, and the leading cane in his hand roared to the landing like a whirlwind, one stick after another, endlessly. Ming Shan blamed it, and showed great strength as soon as he shot it. Even in the 8th Heavy Martial Arts Division, they were top-notch combat power. L. Yu Ming speared out and fought against Ming Shan. He did not exert his potential. Although the strength of Ming Shan's blame was not bad, he did not use it. After more than ten strokes, Ming Ming was swept away by Liu Ming. 
Ming Shan was defeated, which was expected by everyone. But the masters who come on the court will become stronger and stronger. The real challenge has just begun. Who will fight? L. Yu Ming glanced around. Tian Yun, I'll kill you. With a loud shout, a disciple of the Ten Fang Sword School jumped onto the battle platform. Zong Men disciples like the Shi Fangjian School, who are young enough to achieve this cultivation practice, are all geniuses and hardly need to test their strength. Tian Yun, the wise man, quickly returned the congenital liquid to Brother Chu Ming, and then knelt down in public to admit to me that the Ten Fangjian faction was wrong. In this case, I can consider discarding your cultivation behavior and spare you a dog's life. The disciples of the Ten Fangjian sent a cold drink, humiliating and arrogant. Moran. L. Yu Ming responded faintly. You, what do you say? Finding death, killing you, your things are still mine. Shi Fangjian sent his disciples to roar, the breath of his body exploded in full, and went to the landing. I have to say that this disciple of the Ten Fangjian school is very strong, and it is a lot stronger than Ming Shan, no wonder it is so arrogant. Unfortunately, his opponent is L. Yu Ming. Chant. The wind is integrated into the spear, making the spear's speed extremely fast. Everyone only saw a flash of a gun, and instantly appeared in front of the disciples of Shi Fangjian school. Boom. The spear pierced through the heart of the disciples of Shi Fangjian. The disciples of Shi Fangjian sent out a scream and fell to the ground without breath. One move spike. Good strength. The audience was shocked. Just now the disciples of the Ten Fang Sword School were very arrogant, but they were instantly killed. Across two levels, you can still kill with a single shot. Is Tianyun's strength too strong? The disciples of the Ten Fangjian school are not weak. Even in the Eighth Heavy Martial Arts Master, they are top strong men. The strength of this cloud is absolutely equivalent to the Nineth Heavy Martial Arts Master. So horrible. Can he really break the record of the six heroes of the Burning Sun? Many people talked in shock. At this point, L. Yu Ming has won two straight, and the five other players in the Hot Sun are only four in a row. Everyone looked forward to it. Court death. Among the disciples of the Shi Fangjian school, there was a loud roar and a figure that jumped high and landed on the battle platform, causing the battle platform to vibrate violently. It's two men. Tian Yun, your winning streak ends here. You want to break the record of the six heroes in the hot sun, impossible. Two men looked at landing with a clear look. Do you think you can stop me? Don't be the same as the one just now. L. Yu Ming smiled lightly. Don't compare me with him, Tian Yun, you are offending me with ten sorts and sentiments. Today, I want you to die extremely miserable. Tu Men said coldly, at the same time, the breath of his body was getting stronger and stronger, and in the strong breath, there was a momentum, the trend of gold. I forgot to tell you something. Nine drops of congenital liquid have been refined by me. L. Yu Ming suddenly changed his voice and laughed. What? You, you. Timing's sorrowful face was almost gone. Congenital liquid is of great use to him, he wants to kill L. Yu Ming, most of the reason is to want to seize the natural liquid. Now L. Yu Ming said that the congenital liquid has been refined. Chu Ming's eyes turned red with a violent roar, Tian Yun, you damn, it. Kang. The sound of the sword sounded, and a blazing sword gas slashed towards the landing. Sword energy, integrated into the momentum of gold, extremely sharp and indestructible. Uh. L. Yu Ming's spear shook, showing the wind, and shot at two men. Boom. The world roared, the battlefield continued to shake, and the terrifying air wave was madly rushing in all directions. The first move is equally divided. Kill. Two men didn't make a move and exhibited a storm-like attack. Two men's combat power is absolutely terrifying, and he is not as good as Yang Zation before, but he cultivates a lot higher than Yang Zation. Similarly, his combat strength is also a lot higher than Yang Zation. 
It is not difficult for two men to kill the opponent by leapfrogging. Boom! Boom! The two men played more than 20 moves in a row, shaking the space. This two men's combat strength is too strong to be played in the third game. He is determined to prevent Tianyun's winning streak. Yes, according to this view, Tianyun has the strength to break the record of the six heroes and the other five heroes, but unfortunately was blocked by two men. As long as Tianyun defeats two men and breaks the record of the five heroes, there will be no problem. There was a lot of discussion. Is this your strength? Too disappointing me. At this time, L. Yu Ming said suddenly. What? Tu Men was taken aback. Boom. L. Yu Ming's breath burst like a volcanic eruption. An extremely powerful momentum erupted. It is the momentum of fire, the momentum of wind and fire unites, and the power of terror is boundless. A long gun, breaking through all obstacles, stabs Tu Men. This gun cannot be evaded or blocked because it is too fast and too powerful. Do not. The dead souls of two men were all screaming, yelling wildly, bursting out of strength, and wanting to resist. But it was all superfluous. The spear pierced through it, pierced through his heart. The anger on the spear burst out, twisting his heart into pieces. Two men, die. The audience froze for a few seconds and then a violent noise broke out. L. Yu Ming killed two men and completed a three-game winning streak, but the strength he showed was too horrible. If there is no accident and no horrible evil genius, L. Yu Ming broke the record of the five masters and even broke Chu. The records of the sky may also be. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Your ten-party sword faction, who else will fight? L. Yu Ming looked at the area of the Shifangjian faction. But the disciples of the Shifangjian school were silent, joking, and even Tu Men was defeated. Among them, there are a few masters of the eight martial arts masters, but none of them are as strong as Tu Men. Are you still looking for death? Damn, wait for the geniuses on my silver list from the Ten Swords to come here and see how you die. The disciples of the Shifangjian school, each one gloomy, roared in their hearts. L. Yu Ming sneered, then glanced at the audience, but no one stepped forward. Tian Yun, in this case, my emperor Tian Yu battlefield sent people to fight. The referee said. L. Yu Ming nodded, half sounding, and a young man full of spirits stepped onto the battle platform. However, this person was not Chu Mingqiang and he was defeated by L. Yu Ming without a few moves. Four in a row. Next, the Emperor Tian Yu fighting field sent people to play again, still defeated by L. Yu Ming. The five-game winning streak has already broken the record of the five heroes in the Scorching Sun. But L. Yu Ming's victory did not stop. Next, Emperor Tian Yu's battlefield kept sending people to the court, and they were all the strongest among the dead fighters. One was stronger than the other. Unfortunately, all were defeated by L. Yu Ming. Six straight wins, seven straight wins. Chu Cheng Kong's record was equalized, but soon afterwards, L. Yu Ming won again. Eight straight. There was an uproar in the audience, and the record held by Chu Chang Kong was finally broken. God, Tian Yun is going against the sky, is his talent better than Chu Chang Kong? That's not necessarily. Although Chu Chong Kong was stronger in the warrior's realm, it was not much stronger than the other five masters. Chu Chong Kong was the second bloodline of the ultimate nirvana and the awakening of terror when he broke through Wu Zong. Far away, sit firmly on the throne of the six heroes of the Burning Sunday. Yes, although Tian Yun is strong now, when he arrives at Wu Zong realm, he may. That's what it says but it's also terrifying, and what is the limit of Tian Yun? How many consecutive victories can he win? Everyone was shocked to guess that Tian Yun would not be able to cross the second level and get a 10-game winning streak, right? Facts have proved that their speculation is being realized. In the ninth battle, Emperor Tian Yu battlefield sent a powerful master, stronger than Tu Men, but still not L. Yu Ming's opponent. 
nine straight. This made some seniors at the upper level of Emperor Tianwu's battlefield a little stunned. This little guy, the strength is really good, maybe in time, maybe I can join the Emperor Heavenly Guardian. We have to pay close attention, and the recommended credit will be not small. It's too early to join the Emperor Heavenly Guardian. It depends on how his Wuzong's second blood awakened. Now the urgency is to stop his winning streak, otherwise we old guys will lose money. Several elders were talking, feeling quite sad. Let number 10 go. He is the only one who won the top 10 number by virtue of the 8th training of the martial arts master. If he loses, we can't help. Just do it. Soon the order was issued, a young man in his 20s, naked slash topless, walked onto the battle platform. On his face, there was a number 10 on his face. Number 10, how could it be number 10? Some people who knew the inside story of Emperor Tianwu's battlefield cried in surprise. The dead fighters of the Emperor Tianwu fighting field, number 1 to number 10, are generally the best masters in the 9th Heavy Martial Arts Division. But now, the 10th is a young man of the 8th Military Master. Many people understand that this 10th must be extraordinary. It's a master, so it's interesting. There was a hint of war in Liu Ming's eyes. This number 10 did not exhale a strong breath, but L. Yu Ming felt a little dangerous. Kill. There was a loud roar on the 10th, and a long spear appeared in his hand. In an instant, dozens of lances were stabbed, and they slammed towards the landing. I actually used a gun, too. L. Yu Ming moved. Buzz. The spear shuddered and made a buzzing sound and there was also a burst of guns bursting out together with the tenth battle. I saw that on the 200-meter-long battle platform, two lights and shadows crisscrossed, and a gun burst into the air, roaring continuously, and terrifying. At the same time, there are three potentials on the field, constantly bombarded and confronted. This little guy named Tianyun is really amazing. Since he was young, he has realized both the two trends, and they are both small, especially the trend of fire. They are almost approaching the big one. Yes, the momentum of the number 10 mountain is also approaching Dachen, which is similar to the fire of Tianyun, but the combination of Tianyun and fire is stronger. If the repair of number 10 is too strong than Tianyun, I am afraid it has fallen. Lost. In my opinion, it is also a matter of time before losing. At the top of the fighting field, a few old men watched and discussed. In a blink of an eye, Liu Ming had more than a hundred moves with the number 10 war. Happy, happy. Liu Ming's eyes are extremely bright, and the war is getting more and more courageous. On the town demon gun, the trend of wind and fire gathers, forming an amazing destructive power. In this battle, L. Yu Ming used all his strength except that the ground-level martial arts and bloodline did not erupt. Now how powerful L. Yu Ming is, the fourth layer of War Dragon's direct truth, the third grade flesh is complete, and the momentum of the wind and fire gathers. The general warrior of the Nineth Peak cannot take L. Yu Ming's several moves. This shows that the tenth is powerful. The audience of more than 300,000 people all held their breath and stared at the battle platform fearing to miss the most important scene. Boom. Boom. In a blink of an eye, another hundred tricks passed. On the tenth, an astonishing killer broke out, like a beast, not afraid of death, but was still suppressed by L. Yu Ming. Bump. Another hundred strokes, number ten was shot by L. Yu Ming, slid a few hundred meters, and fell off the battle platform. Roar. Roaring on the tenth, despite the injury, he wanted to rush to the battle platform. Enough. The referee shouted, the tenth body shuddered, and stopped, showing fear in his eyes. In this scene, Tianyun wins. The referee announced. Call. The audience all exhaled. They were so nervous just now. Many people were holding their breaths and their faces were flushed. Only then did they exhale for a long time. Then, there was a tremendous uproar. More than 300,000 people talked excitedly. 
across the second level, ten straight victories, it's terrifying. The scorching empire hasn't happened in at least 500 years. A miracle, a miracle, after today, the name of Tianyun will spread its name to the world. If Tianyun grows up, it is comparable to Liuja, even stronger. I am witnessing the birth of a miracle. Among the crowd, the three Mingcheng brothers and sisters were trembling with excitement, and the people of the Ten Fangjian factions were pale, without any trace of blood. Liu Ming, will you continue to challenge? Immediately afterwards, everyone thought of this problem. Fight across three levels. Moreover, it is not a simple cross three levels, and it will not face the ordinary giant martial arts ninth martial arts warrior, it is definitely a master, and it is definitely stronger than the tenth. Will Tianyun continue? Countless people are looking forward to it. This little guy, won't you really continue? A few seniors smiled bitterly at the top. If L. Yu Ming goes on fighting, they will all lose money. Tian Yun, will you continue to challenge? The referee looked at L. Yu Ming, but there was a trace of tension and speechlessness in his eyes. He had the same thoughts as the old men. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. L. Yu Ming, you can rest assured that the Emperor will do his utmost. Before long, he must find out where your father is. Hua Zheng Xing said with a straight face. L. Yu Ming thanked your majesty first. L. Yu Ming clenched his fists to salute, this time, sincerely. Although he knew that Hua Zheng Xing helped him in this way, it was nothing more than his talents and his desire to win him over, but what does it matter, as long as it is beneficial to both parties? Hua Zheng Xing smiled and seemed quite satisfied. Then he took out a gold-plated invitation and said, L. Yu Ming, three months later, is the emperor's 60th birthday. This is an invitation. After three months, you can must attend. With a move in L. Yu Ming's heart, he did not refuse. He took the invitation and said, Your Majesty, rest assured, L. Yu Ming will definitely arrive. Ha ha, L. Yu Ming. There are not many people who can let my father and emperor send invitations in person. There are only five major gates, as well as the emperor's minister. Hua Qi laughed. L. Yu Ming, during this time, you should practice well, and then the five major gates will gather in the imperial capital, and the geniuses in the silver lists of each sect, and even the gold-level disciples will come. Will trouble you, be careful. Hua Zheng Xing cautioned seriously. L. Yu Ming thanked again and chatted for a while. L. Yu Ming and Hua Qi got up and left. Sit the star hall and L. Yu Ming pan on the bed. Dad, what have you been like for so many years? Why did the Ten Fangjian faction imprison you because of that bronze pendant? Dad, the baby is useless, and I can't save you now. L. Yu Ming clasped his hands tightly. The strength is still too weak. If he is really strong enough now, he can directly kill the Shi Fangjian faction and force the Shi Fangjian faction to release people. But now, he is still too far away, he urgently needs to quickly improve his strength. Wu Zong, I have to reach the Wu Zong realm as soon as possible. Wu Zong, in the Scorching Sun Empire, can be regarded as a real master. Only when he speaks can he have the right to speak and he can walk in the sky, which is very helpful to me. In the battlefield of the Emperor Tianyu, after a series of battles, I feel that my bottleneck has been loosened. Tomorrow I will buy a group of demon pill and try my best to improve the situation. Immediately, L. Yu Ming appeared on the third platform of the Supreme Shrine, put the spirit crystal, and began to fight against self. The next day, L. Yu Ming went out early and walked towards Fangxi. It is still a treasure hall. Son, you are here, please inside. The girl who received L. Yu Ming the last time she saw L. Yu Ming, her eyes lighted up, and she landed with a landing sound, and came to a VIP room. Ha ha ha, son, I've disappeared for days. Soon, the shopkeeper came in. Master, this time, what do I need to buy? The treasurer, 
the third level and ninefold demon pill, give me a hundred. L. Yu Ming said. One, a hundred. The shopkeeper was taken aback. Good, is there any problem? L. Yu Ming frowned slightly. Doesn't Bibayoj have that much inventory? No, no problem. The shopkeeper shook his head quickly. Just now, he was just shocked. He didn't understand what L. Yu Ming was buying so many Yeadan. Also, the essence blood of the third level ninth monster monster, here are twenty copies. L. Yu Ming continued. Okay, okay, wait a minute, come soon. The shopkeeper nodded again and again, his face was full of smiles, and fart went out. Soon, the shopkeeper brought over a hundred demon phantoms and twenty demon beast essence blood. Young master, these jinx you and Yeadan, the original price, was one million spirit crystals, but the master has a VIP card, discounted 20%, a total of 800,000 spirit crystals. The shopkeeper smiled. L. Yu Ming nodded and had a VIP card, which was really good, which saved 200,000 pieces of spirit crystal. L. Yu Ming simply handed over the Ling Jing, collected the essence blood and the demon pill, then nodded and bowed at the shopkeeper, and left the Babao pavilion in the eyes of a group of beautiful shop assistants. Back to Jiangxing Hall, L. Yu Ming walked directly towards Dai Yuan Cave. With the practice of Dai Yuan Cave, the effect is the best. On the sixth floor of Dai Yuan Cave, L. Yu Ming walked into a secret room and sat cross legged. The flash of blood flashed, and the blood biting of the spirit appeared. A python of more than 10 meters in length, with distinct scales, is suspended above L. Yu Ming's head. L. Yu Ming took out a demon pill, the giant python opened his mouth and sucked the demon pill into the mouth, and at the same time, there was also a massive amount of fire aura. Now the spirit devouring bloodline reaches level 7, and the speed of devouring the world's aura is terrifying, faster than the level 9 bloodline. Massive fire attribute aura, plus the power of the demon pill, cannot be refined by the blood vein and poured into L. Yu Ming's body. The bottleneck of the sixth peak of the Grand Martial Arts Master has finally begun to loosen, and there are signs of breakthrough. Add two more. With a move of his hand, he took out two demon pill and was swallowed by the giant python. Boom! Rolling energy continuously poured into L. Yu Ming's body, and finally turned into a roar, the seventh martial arts master made a breakthrough. Breaking through the seventh layer of the grand martial artist, L. Yu Ming's bloodline is even more terrifying, constantly absorbing the external aura, and the external aura forms a funnel shape, which is constantly swallowed by the spirit blood. At the same time, L. Yu Ming took out Yeadan and continued to devour it. The true energy in L. Yu Ming's body skyrocketed wildly. A few hours later, this vision disappeared. The seventh heavy martial arts, the true energy is twice as thick as the sixth heavy martial arts, but it is not enough, we must continue to break through. Later, L. Yu Ming continued to devour Yeadan and cultivated. Every day, he spends half of his time practicing the dragon dragon tactics, devouring the demon pill, improving his cultivation practice, and other time is used to comprehend the trend of fire and figure out the martial arts. Time flies, a month, and blinks. One hundred demon pill has been swallowed up by L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming's cultivation practice has been promoted to the seventh peak of the grand martial artist. Yes, a hundred third level and nine level demon pill can only make L. Yu Ming's cultivation base rise to the seventh peak of the great martial artist. By the seventh warrior of the grand martial artist and the third level and ninefold demon pill, the effect is much worse. Twenty copies of the third level ninth level monster monster's essence and blood have all been devoured, all used to upgrade the bloodline level, but the bloodline is still level seven, and there is no breakthrough. L. Yu Ming estimates that, unless it is the essence blood of Wu Zong realm, otherwise, the level of blood veins is very slow. Wu Zong jinx you. Thinking of this, L. Yu Ming smiled bitterly. Wu Zong's essence blood, that is, the fourth grade monster blood, the price, L. Yu Ming had a headache when thinking of it. The sixth floor of Dai Yuan Cave, 
the fire aura is still weak, go to the seventh floor. L. Yu Ming's eyes flashed. On the seventh floor of Dai Yuan Cave, it is said that the Wu Zong level strong person can go down, because the fire attribute aura is too rich and violent, and the warrior in the state of the Grand Martial Artist is going to be very dangerous. However, L. Yu Ming has the spirit blood, and he is not afraid at all. He just intends to use the rich and violent heaven and earth aura to help him break through the realm and understand the fire. He feels that the fire is very close, already very close. Go out of the secret room and walk towards the seventh floor. As soon as he reached the seventh floor, L. Yu Ming seemed to have arrived in the crater, and the horrible and violent fire type aura was constantly striking towards the landing. Okay, such an environment is what I need. Opened a secret room, walked in, and then manipulated the spirit eating bloodline, the violent sky and earth aura, and constantly gathered to the landing sound. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. A few hours later, L. Yu Ming stopped practicing and began to understand the fire. The time flickered and another month and a half passed. On this day, the secret room stone door opened, and L. Yu Ming came out from inside. There was a smile on L. Yu Ming's face. Obviously, during this time, he had gained a lot. In half a month, the day of the emperor's birthday, L. Yu Ming intends to ask his father about the situation. After leaving the General Star Hall, he walked to the street and headed towards the palace. At this moment, the people on the street suddenly looked up at the sky and there was a lot of discussion. Who is that person? It was so bold that he dared to fly over the imperial capital blatantly. Someone called. General Wu Zong's strong men are prohibited from flying above the imperial capital. Only those overlord level characters have no such restrictions. Now, does anyone dare to do this? L. Yu Ming also looked up. In the sky, a young figure, in his twenties, was wearing a red robe, tall, and was walking in the air, heading deep into the imperial capital. It is Ling Yanji, one of the six masters, Ling Yanji. Someone exclaimed. What? Actually Ling Yanji. Many people were taken aback. L. Yu Ming also blinked. This is actually Ling Yanji, Lin Jianqi, the strongest of the younger generation of Chixiao Valley the five major sect of the Scorching Empire, and one of the six heroes of the Scorching Sun. This is the first time L. Yu Ming has seen the six heroes in the hot sun. Brother Ling, wait a minute. At this moment, a light drink came from behind, and then, a young man wearing a white robe and a crown like jade came out of the air. It is Feng Wuji, Xian Yuan Sword School's Feng Wuji. Another six heroes. Someone shouted. He's just windless. L. Yu Ming moved. In the Xian Yuan Sword School, L. Yu Ming did not know how many times he heard Feng Wuji's name. Feng Wuji is the pride of the younger generation of the Xian Yuan Sword School. He is undoubtedly the first person to press the same generation. Although Duan Mulan is known as a peerless resource, he is still young and cannot fight against the wind. L. Yu Ming spent more than a year in the Xian Yuan Sword School. This was the first time he saw a real person. Brother Feng, you came so fast, let's go together. Ling Yanqi smiled and waited for the wind to arrive, the two walked side by side and disappeared into the sky. Oh my god, today there are two heroes in the scorching sun today, which is very rare. Yeah, I usually want to see one, it's all difficult, and now there are two at once. The 60th birthday of His Majesty the Emperor is coming, no matter what, the five great sects are always required to do their looks. They will definitely gather in the imperial capital, and the geniuses of the five great sects will come together. It is inevitable. Will the six heroes come together and start a fight? I'm looking forward to it. It's hard to say. Among the six heroes, Chu Chong Kong is unmatched, but the other five have never fought. I don't know who is strong and who is weak. It would be nice if there was a summit match this time. On the street, countless people talked. 
as for what can not fly in the imperial capital, they are directly ignored by them. The six heroes of the scorching sun cannot fly in the imperial capital, so who else can? They are the future overlord of the scorching empire, and in the future, the entire scorching empire will be their world. L. Yu Ming didn't say anything, and continued to go to the palace, but in his eyes, there was a flash of light. Six heroes in the scorching sun, sooner or later he will reach this height, or even surpass. Entered the palace smoothly and saw Huachi. It is a pity that although the royal family dispatched a lot of manpower, until now, there is no news of his father L. Yu Yuntian. L. Yu Ming sighed and could only wait. After talking with Huachi about the current situation and discussing it, L. Yu Ming left the palace. When we arrived at the gate of Jungxin Temple, we found that a large number of Jungxin Temple students had gathered, and they were now dispersing. Tian Yun, he is back. Damn, he only appeared at this time. Why didn't he show up just now? It's all his fault. All around, muttering voices were heard from the students. Of course, the voice is very light, afraid of being heard by L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming frowned, somewhat unknown. Brother Tian Yun. At this moment, with a light whisper, Ming Feng came over. Ming Feng, what's going on? L. Yu Ming asked. Brother Tian Yun, is a ten party sword school. Just now there were disciples from the ten party sword school. They threatened to abolish you but you were not there. Everyone said you were retreating. Those disciples from the Ten-Party Sword School wounded. More than a dozen generals in the Temple of Stars have an arrogant attitude. Ming Feng whispered. Another Ten-Party Sword faction. L. Yu Ming's eyes flashed. Brother Tian Yun, I think you should avoid it for the time being. It is said that among the disciples from the Ten Fangjian School this time, there are geniuses on the silver list of the Ten Fangjian school. Very powerful. Ming Feng said a little worried. Notify me if they come again. L. Yu Ming left a sentence, very strong, and then went to the dormitory. The next day, L. Yu Ming lived in a dormitory and practiced various martial arts on the third platform of the Supreme Temple. The time flew, and half a month passed. In the past half month, the imperial capital gathered together, and the geniuses of the five great gates gathered. Not only the geniuses in martial arts realm, but also the geniuses in great martial art realm, and even various gold disciples can occasionally be seen. However, in the past half month, although all the cases were gathered, they were very calm. Even the disciples of the Shifangjian school did not come to L. Yu Ming again. But everyone felt that the atmosphere was wrong as if it was on the eve of the storm, and it was extremely depressed. Half a month later, the 60th birthday of His Majesty the Empire Emperor Hua Zhengxin was just the beginning. Earlier this day, Hua Qi took a veterinary vehicle to pick up L. Yu Ming. Together with Hua Qi, came to the palace. The birthday banquet was held in the front yard of the Imperial Palace. It covers an extremely large area, but only a few dozen tables were placed. Because the people who can come here are all people with distinguished status, so there are not many people. L. Yu Ming followed Hua Qi and sat on a table on the right. As time passed, more people grew up. Some of the brothers and sisters of Hua Qi, as well as the concubines in the palace, the minister of the prince, etc., were all seated one by one. The lord of Chixiagu and the elders are here. Shouted all over the audience. All the princesses and princesses of the concubine changed their faces and stood together. L. Yu Ming didn't want to be too special, and also got up. At the gate, a group of six people came in droves. The headed person, middle-aged, with a bearded beard and a red robe, is extremely burly. His eyes shot, everyone seemed to feel a sea of ocean surging towards everyone, terrifying. Behind him, there are four old men also wearing red robes, but with red rims on the red robes. This is the elder of the golden robe of Chixiagu. The last one is a young man, but Ling Yanchi, one of the six masters. Have seen Lord Chixiagu. 
All the concubines, princes, and princes' ministers salute to the master of Chixiaga Valley. It can be seen how the royal family has fallen, respectfully respecting the five major sects. Haha, <laughs> don't need to be rude. Your Majesty, haven't you arrived yet? The owner of Chixiaga laughed, very arrogant, found a chair at random, and sat down. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Haha, <laughs> Brother Ling came so fast, the Emperor was far away and forgive. With a bold laugh, Hua Zhengxin took a few guards and strode forward. The other concubine ministers and princesses saluted Hua Zhengxin again. Lord Chixiaogu stood up and slightly clenched his fists, I have seen your majesty, congratulations to your majesty's 60th birthday, this is a small profit, please also accept your majesty. The owner of Chixiaogu took out a jade box and gave it to Hua Zhengxin. Brother Ling is welcome. Hua Zhengxin laughed, took the jade box and gave it to a guard. The head of the Xianyuan Sword School and the elders are here. At this time, another shout sounded. El Yuming looked around. I saw Lin Suiai, the head of the Xianyuan Sword School, and came in with a few golden robe elders. Among them, Feng Wuji also followed. Lin Shui has commented on Your Majesty and wished His Majesty a life longer than Nanshan. This is a little gift. Please accept it. Lin Suiai came and also took out a jade box and handed it to Hua Zhengxin. Brother Lin is here, it is the honor of the emperor, why be so polite, please sit down. Hua Zhengxin accepted the gift and said politely. At this time, there was another cry, but one of the five sect gates, the sect master and the elders, arrived. Among them, one of the six masters, the first genius of Gihudea Zong, Shang Guanyun also arrived. Five major gates, three. Soon, Tianzhi religion, one of the five major schools, arrived. Everyone was seated, and Hua Zhengxin chatted with the four heads. Ten Fangjian sent the head and the elders. Zhen Tianwang is here. There were several shouts in a row. Everyone was shocked, El Yuming looked towards the gate. A group of people came in. The headed person, dressed in a Chinese costume, looks like a sword. Although he is middle-aged, he is very handsome. He just looks at it and feels that this person has a tendency to swallow mountains and rivers. Beside him, there is a big man about 50 years old, with a tiger's back and a waist, wearing a dragon dragon robe. The person headed is the head of the Shifangjian school, Chu Wuyang, beside him, the Zhentian king. Hua Qi whispered in El Yuming's ear. El Yuming nodded and looked at the big man in Jiao Long robe. He said, he turned out to be the king of heaven. El Yuming still remembered that when he first arrived in the imperial capital, he learned a hard lesson Hua Qi, the son of Zhen Tian King. Thinking of Hua Jia, El Yuming found that there was a murderous look behind King Zhen, who was staring at him fiercely. Who could it be not Hua Jia? El Yuming smiled slightly at Hua Ji and pointed to his crotch. Hua Ji blushed and almost spit out blood. Obviously, El Yuming refers to his frightening pants. But with so many big people on the scene, he dares to attack, and he can only grind his teeth to endure. Haha, <laughs> Brother Chu is here, the Emperor is honored. Hua Zhengxin hurriedly got up and smiled, clenching his fists towards Chu Wuyang. The other concubines, princesses, and princesses also got up and saluted respectfully. Your Majesty, you're welcome. In a hurry today, I forgot to bring a gift. Please forgive me. Chu Wuyang nodded faintly. There is no trace of respect between words, it can be said that it does not care at all. In the worst case, the Emperor is not taken into consideration at all. The other heads of the ancestors, how much will be courteous salute, but Chu Wuyang's attitude is cold, not to mention salute, and even the birthday gifts are directly said to have no time to forget. What a childish reason! The other heads are a little ugly. Hua Zhengxin was even stunned, and then barely squeezed out a smile, saying, 
Brother Chu is here, gifts and the like are free, please sit down. Second brother, I and the head of Chu also forgot to bring gifts, don't be surprised, haha. <laughs> Zhen Tianwang smiled and sat down on the side. Hateful. Huakai's body was shaking, and his teeth were gurgling. Chu Wuyang and Zhen Tianwang's attitude is the contempt of Qi Kuakuo, even ignoring the emperor's authority, and he did not take this scorching empire emperor's eyes at all. A faint anger flashed in Hua Jensing's eyes, but he was hiding well, and a smile appeared on his face. He returned to his seat and picked up his glass. He said, Today everyone can come, the prince is honored, come, this emperor honors you with a cup. Everyone toasted and then drank. Ha ha, happy, you are the pillars of my scorching empire, the emperor. Hua Zheng Xing said with a laugh, but at this time, he was interrupted. Okay, your majesty, the wine has been drunk. Congratulations are also congratulated. It's time to talk about business. Chu Wuyang's faint voice directly let Hua Zheng Xing say half of it, stuck there. Hua Zheng Xing, as well as some princes, all looked ugly. It would have been extremely rude to interrupt others, let alone a monarch. Chu Wuyang, this is completely complete, did not put the royal family in mind. Autumn Wuyang, today was originally for His Majesty He Xiao. This is the right thing. Besides, is there anything else? Lin Sui I looked at Chu Wuyang coldly. Chu Wuyang's attitude is too much. Hua Zheng Xin glanced at Lin Sui I gratefully. Of course there are other important things. His Majesty's He Shao matter is big, but it is much smaller than this matter. Chu Wuyang glanced at Lin Sui I lightly, glancing deep in his eyes, and then looked around, saying, You guys, what do you think of the state of the raging empire now? Everyone's eyes moved on the field and they didn't understand what Chu Wuyang asked. After a while, an old man clenched his fists and said, Now my scorching sun empire, with the help of His Majesty the Emperor and all the masters, the national power is flourishing and surpassing other countries, it is just around the corner. This old man, the Prime Minister of the scorching empire, was loyal to the royal family. Fart. Chu Wuyang shook his sleeves and yelled. The Prime Minister's face was flushed, his Prime Minister was actually scorned by the public, so what is his face? But in the face of Chu Wuyang, he dared not refute, and could only hold back. Hua Jensing's complexion is also very unsightly. To scold the Prime Minister is to scold him indirectly. Now the 36 countries of the Emperor Yun, all countries are striving to govern, and their strength is constantly improving. Around the raging empire, strong enemies are looking around, and the countries are watching. Most of the strengths are stronger than the raging empire. Don't you not know? Among the 36 empires of Yundi, the strength of the raging empire belongs to the lower reaches, and it is almost at the bottom. Chu Wuyang looked around, loudly. Everyone's face changed slightly. Chu Wuyang was right about this. Among the 36 kingdoms of Yundi, the strength of the raging empire really belongs to the downstream. And the surrounding countries are also eyeing. I have such geniuses in the scorching empire. There are many strong men in the past, but why are they getting weaker and weaker, do you know what the reason is? Chu Wuyang asked. Everyone frowned, not knowing what Chu Wuyang sold. Seeing that everyone did not speak, Chu Wuyang smiled faintly, and said, that is, the strength of the raging empire is too scattered, and it is strange that the strength is not weak. Oh? Chu Wuyang, then what do you do as you say? Lin Sui I asked with a frown. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Of course it is necessary to combine forces. I propose to establish a Scorching Sun Alliance. All the sect forces of the Scorching Sun Empire must join this alliance, recommend an lord, and then swear that everything will obey the lord's orders. In this way, the Scorching Sun Empire can become strong and resist foreign enemies, becoming stronger and stronger. 
Chiu Wiang shouted loudly. Ha ha ha, Chiu Wiang, your purpose is finally exposed. You want to be the leader of this world and order the world. Lin Sui I laughed. Lin Sui I, what are you laughing at? I think Chiu Zhang's proposal is good, and besides Chiu Zhang, who is qualified to be the leader of the Scorching Sun Empire. Zhen Tian Wang got up and shouted. Zhen Tian Wang, this is bad, the Scorching Empire, the royal family is orthodox, why bother to get so troublesome, what kind of Scorching Sun Alliance, we directly take orders from your majesty, or not? The Lord of Chixiagu retorted. The world of martial arts, the strong is respected, IMHO, your majesty, he does not have this qualification. Chu Wiang said coldly. Giggle. Hua Zhengxin clenched his fists suddenly. Insult, this is naked slash naked insult. This is equal to the face of the emperor in public. Damn, damn. Hua Qi groaned in the mouth, trembling because of the excessive atmosphere. Bump. An old man with white hair slapped the table fiercely, and suddenly stood up, raised his trembling hand, pointed at Chu Wiang, and yelled angrily, Autumn Wiang, you are indifferent to the following. Sin should be dead? I see you dead. Chu Wiang's eyes flickered, and two sword chi flashed out of his eyes, almost to the extreme, with almost no warning. Poof. The old man was pierced by sword gas and the old body appeared with two sword holes. No blood flowed out, but there was no vitality. Teacher. Hua Zhengxin roared. This old man was Hua Zhengxing's teacher and emperor's teacher, but was killed by Chu Wiang's eyes at this time. Chu Wiang, you are too much. Hua Zhengxin rushed to the crown, glaring at Chu Wiang. But Chu Wiang just smiled, as if he had killed an ant, and said, this old guy, hesitantly wants to destroy the plan of ruling the country and Anbang. I suspect that he is a spy sent by other empire to destroy my raging empire. Waiting for the characters, they must be beheaded as soon as possible. Understatement, in a few words, an emperor teacher is described as a spy. Some of the royal family such as Hua Zhengxing and Hua Qi were so angry and humiliated that they were helpless. The strength of the Shifangjian faction is too strong. Hua Qi held his hands tightly, and because of excessive force, his nails had penetrated into the flesh, and blood was flowing, but he didn't feel it. El Yuming frowned, and once he shot Hua Qi's back, a real energy poured into Hua Qi's body, and Hua Qi calmed down slowly, otherwise he would hold back the internal injury because of excessive excitement. What did you think of my proposal just now? Chu Wiang glanced and asked. I agree with Chu's proposal. At this time, Tianxia's leader smiled faintly. As soon as the Lord Tianxia made this remark, the faces of the heads of the other three great schools changed in unison. How could Tianxia Jiao agree? Has it been united with the ten-party sword faction? If this were the case, then the situation would be serious. The ten-party sword faction was already extremely powerful. With the addition of Tian Shijiao, the balance of the Scorching Empire would be broken. Haha, <laughs> Yu Xiang, really understand my heart. Chu Wiang laughed, and then looked at several other sects. Autumn Wiang, don't dream, my Xian Yuan Sword School will never agree. Lin Sui I sneered. I am Chixiagu, and I will not accompany you. I'm Ghost Moon Sword Sect, and I'm not interested. Sovereigns of Chixiagu and Gihu Daezong also refused. Chu Wiang's face was gloomy, then he looked at Hua Zhengxing and said, Your Majesty, how about you? Me? Ha <laughs> ha, since the ancestors founded the Lai Empire, which has more than 2,000 years of history, how can I bury the foundation for thousands of years in my hands, please forgive the Emperor, it is difficult to agree. Hua Zhengxing said coldly. Hua Zhengxing, you have to think clearly. For the sake of your Hua family, tens of thousands of lives, think carefully. In Chu Wiang's eyes, the killer flashed coldly. Autumn Wiang, what are you doing? 
Do you threaten your majesty? Do you really think that the Ten Fangjian school is invincible? Lin Suiyi rushed to the crown in anger and shouted loudly. I don't know if my Ten Party Sword faction is invincible in the world, but you can still do it by destroying your Xian Yuan Sword faction, why? Would you like to try it? Chu Wuyang's tone was cold. Try it, see how you destroy my Xian Yuan Sword school. Lin Suiyi did not give in, the breath of his body emerged, and a dreadful sword gas rose into the sky. In this sword spirit, there is a momentum that is terrifying. Lin Suiyi, I haven't fought for decades. Today I want to see what you have developed. Boom! As Chu Wuyang's words fell, he also exploded into a very strong breath. Similarly, there was also a sword rising into the sky. Boom! Lin Suiyi and Chu Wuyang's sword spirit met in the air and slammed together. With a tremendous roar, the entire emperor shook, and where the two swords collided, a beam of light was formed, which rushed straight to the sky and slashed the clouds in the sky. At this moment, all the people in the imperial capital stared at this beam of light with amazement. Even farther away from the imperial capital, you can see this beam of light. Everyone is guessing what kind of existence this is fighting. In the palace, El Yu Ming watched in shock. Is this the power of a sect, the hegemon of the scorching empire? Sure enough, it was terrible, like a sea like a sea, unfathomable. Ordinary Wuzong, in front of them, can be killed with a finger. In the move just now, the two didn't really start, they just intersected. If you really do it, the emperor will be destroyed. The momentum, the momentum is strong, the momentum of the two is absolutely complete, and even, there is a hint of meaning in it. L. Yu Ming's thoughts changed sharply. After the situation is completed, you can understand the meaning based on the situation. Such as the meaning of fire, the meaning of wind, etc. The meaning is the essence between heaven and earth, which is extremely powerful. Only by comprehending the meaning can one enter the realm of King Wu. Lin Sui I, today, I will cut you first. Chu Wuyang screamed, sword rushed to the sky, and disturbed the situation. I'm afraid you won't succeed. Lin Sui I's long hair is flying, very strong, and he will never give up in the face of Chu Wuyang. Boom! Boom! At this time, Two successive breaths erupted, terrifying, and no difference between Lin Suiyi and Chu Yang. It is the Lord of Chixiao Valley and the Lord of the Ghost Sword Sword. The momentum of the two joined forces with Lin Suiyi, pressing against Chu Wuyang. Autumn Wuyang, do you really think that the Burning Sun Empire is the world of your ten-party sword school? Don't go too far. Lord Chixiaogu said. Qi Xiaogu and Xian Yuan Sword School have always been friends, and he naturally stands on Lin Suiyi's side. Sect Master Giyu Dao did not speak, but his attitude said everything. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Chu Wuyang's face suddenly changed. The combination of the three overlord characters made him feel extremely stressed. Lin Suiyi, what are you doing? Do you have a handle on Chu in the palace, are you sure the royal family is in your eyes? Chong Xiao, the king of the town said. Many people despise that Chu Wuyang didn't really take the royal family's eyes into consideration. He just humiliated the royal family just now, and didn't see the king of the town jumping out to speak. But now he jumped out and pressed Lin Suiyi and others in the name of the royal family. Despicable enough. Shameless enough. Okay, 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 Lin Suiyi, Ling Potion, let's wait and see. Chu Wuyang even said a few good words. His eyes were unusually cold. He swept through Lin Suiyi, Lord Chixiaogu, and others, and finally fell on Hua Zheng Xing. He said, Hua Zheng Xing, you, please do it yourself. The voice was cold and the threat was very obvious. Talk wave your hand, walk in the air, and leave first. Others from the Ten Fang Sword School followed. Brother, you are so unknown, 
the Hua family will soon be destroyed in your hands. Zhen Tianwang stared angrily at Hua Zhengxing. General Trend? It is the general trend to turn the entire Chinese family to the Shi Fangjian faction and be a slave to the Shi Fangjian faction. Hua Zhengxing opened his mouth and looked sarcastically at King Zhen. You. Zhen Tianwang looked ugly, then snorted heavily and took Hua Ji and others away. Just before leaving, Zhen Tianwang's eyes glanced at L. Yu Ming, making L. Yu Ming's body covered with sweat. That was the murderous opportunity of Chiguo Guo. Your Majesty, I'll say goodbye first. The leader of Tian Shijiao smiled, got up and said goodbye, and left the people of Tian Shijiao. Of the five major gates at the scene, only three remain. The birthday banquet continued, but no matter whether it was Hua Zhengxing or Lin Suiai, the heads of the three major sects, his face was extremely dignified. Today, Chu Wuyang suddenly proposed the creation of the Lai Sun Alliance, and Tian Shijiao also agreed. They guessed that Tian Zhi religion was mostly united with the Ten Fang Swords. This is a remarkable event, and the future balance of power in the Scorching Empire will be broken. The Scorching Empire will enter a troubled autumn. The atmosphere of the birthday banquet was very depressed, and not long afterwards, the three major sects also left. Soon, L. Yu Ming also got up to leave. L. Yu Ming, you also saw what happened today. The Ten Fangjian faction is simply a wolf child's ambition and lawlessness. Hua Qi sent L. Yu Ming to the entrance of the palace and gritted his teeth. L. Yu Ming patted Hua Qi on the shoulder, without saying much, and returned to Jiangxing Hall. Returning to the Star Palace, sitting on the bed, L. Yu Ming's thoughts flew, and it was difficult to calm down. An emperor's birthday feast today made him truly see the turbulent dark tide of the Scorching Empire. He has a feeling that the Scorching Empire and the chaos are coming, and in the near future, I am afraid that a terrible storm will blow. However, because of the relationship between his friends and relatives, he has been caught in the whirlpool and is difficult to stay out of the matter. What can be done today is to improve the strength as much as possible, without strength, it will only be crushed into powder in this storm. Take a few deep breaths, adjust your mood, and start practicing. Somewhere in the imperial capital, there is an extremely luxurious palace group, even more luxurious than the imperial palace. Here, it is the residence of the ten-party sword faction in the imperial capital. Deep in the palace, in a large hall, Chu Wuyang sat on the top, and below, sat the elders of the golden robe with ten swords. Bump! Chu Wuyang's heavy school table, with a somber complexion, said, Xian Yuan Sword School, Chixiagu, Giyu Daezong, these three sects, I have long known that they disagree, a group of things. The leader, especially Lin Suiai, is aiming at the leader everywhere, and actually dare to work with the leader, it is really not self-control. A golden robe elder said. Humph. Lin Suiai, Xian Yuan Sword School, will not be arrogant for a long time. Chu Wuyang sneered. To ponder for a while, Chu Wuyang said, it is time to let them know the strength of my ten-party sword faction, subpoena it, let the younger generation start first, attack their morale, and let them understand how unbearable they are called geniuses. Hit. Yes. The elders in golden robe should be in unison. Three days later, a news, like a storm, swept the entire imperial capital. Ten Fang Sword School, Guan Hong, one of the six masters, challenged Xian Yuan Sword School's Wuji, and Qi Xiaogu Ling Yanqi. Location, the highest peak in the imperial capital, the top of the sunset. As soon as the news came out, everyone was crazy. The six heroes of the Scorching Sun, in addition to the ten-party sword faction, the other four sects, each sect has one person. There are only two of them. One person is in the sky and the other is Guan Hong. Chu Chong Kong, the first of the six heroes, is extremely powerful, and is able to overwhelm the other five people without any suspense. The other five people never played, and no one knew who was stronger. Now, is it finally duel? 
countless people rushed towards the setting sun peak, wanting to see the battle of the six heroes. When El Yuming ended the three-day retreat, as soon as he walked out of the door, he saw Ming Feng hurriedly. Ming Feng, what's so anxious? El Yuming asked. Brother Tianyun, go quickly and go to the setting sun. The six heroes are going to fight each other. Guan Hong challenges Feng Wuji and Ling Yanji. My elder brother they have already rushed away and told me to come to you. Late. Ming Feng gasped hard. The showdown between the six heroes. El Yu Ming was stunned, and then his eyes shone brightly, caught Ming Feng, and stepped out. It was already fifty meters away, and only one word sounded, Go. El Yu Ming grabbed Ming Feng and performed volley steps, as fast as the wind, and hurried towards the sunset. The setting sun peak is located in the western part of the imperial capital. When El Yu Ming approached the setting sun, he saw an amazing scene. In all directions, innumerable figures converge into long dragons and rush towards the setting sun. The number of people cannot be discerned at all. Among them, there are even strong men of Wuzong realm. With the flow of people, El Yu Ming quickly approached the setting sun. Boom! Boom! At this time, on the top of the setting sun, a horrible roar sounded. The war has started and Guan Hong and Feng Wuji have started a war. Someone shouted. Go, go, and see. Uh. Uh. One figure after another climbed towards the setting sun. El Yu Ming grabbed Ming Feng, as if he had no weight, and stepped on a green grass, the figure shot forward slash shot for hundreds of meters, and kept approaching the top of the mountain. Boom. On the top of the mountain, roaring continuously, El Yu Ming looked up and saw that there were two continuous impacts of the figure above the top of the mountain, the sword gas was shocking, and the terrifying shock wave waved outward. A suffocating pressure pervades the radius. Good fighting strength! El Yu Ming's eyes flashed. With his eyesight, it is natural to see that one of them is the wind of the Xian Yuan sword school. The other person is tall and imposing. The war sword in his hand is an extremely large giant sword. If he wants to come, it is Guan Hong. El Yu Ming was extremely fast, and in just a few minutes, he reached the summit. By this time, Guan Hong and Feng Wuji had already fought hundreds of moves. Feng Wuji, lose it. Guan Hong Chong Xiao, then cut out a shocking sword. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. This sword seems to be able to cut through the sky, powerful, horrifying. Feng Wuji also shouted, slashing out a sky-shattering sword light. Boom! The horrible fluctuations sounded, and the space was violently stirred up by the powerful sword gas. Then, the windless body suddenly retreated, the body trembles, and the blood of the mouth is benefiting from the blood. Feng Wuji was injured, Feng Wuji was defeated. Suddenly, shouting shouts broke out around the setting sun. Countless people shouted in excitement. The other five heroes of the six heroes in the scorching sun finally got the winner. Guan Hong defeated Feng Wuji. The Ten Fang Sword faction is really too strong. Not only does Chu Chang's air force crush the heroes, but even Guan Hong is so powerful. The first sect of the Scorching Sun Empire really deserves its reputation. In the future, the Ten-Party Sword faction will be stronger. Many people sighed. Feng Wuji, you are nothing more. Guan Hong is majestic, standing proudly in the air. Feng Wuji's cheeks appeared on his face, and he sighed a long way, saying, Guan Hong, I didn't expect your situation, it's already done, I'm not wronged. Guan Hong smiled proudly and said, Feng Wuji, in my opinion, you are not qualified to call me, the six heroes in the scorching sun will be changed to five heroes in the future. As soon as this remark came out, many people's faces changed greatly, and Feng Wuji's face was even more ugly. Guan Hong's remarks are to kick Feng Wuji out of the six heroes of the scorching sun. If this is the case, it is not Feng Wuji who is attacking but the entire Xian Yuan Sword School. 
The reputation of the Xian Yuan Sword School will be greatly affected, and even some geniuses will not choose to join the Xian Yuan Sword School in the future. Guan Hong, you're just lucky to win Brother Feng, what is arrogant? Aside, there was a roar. L. Yu Ming looked around and found the sky beside him, and there were still a few people standing. L. Yu Ming was attracted by the war between Feng Wuji and Guan Hong just a moment ago, and he didn't pay attention. At this time, he discovered the few people. There are a total of four people, three of whom L. Yu Ming had seen before at the Emperor's birthday banquet. Qi Yang Guzling Yanqi, it was him who made the noise just now. In addition, there is Shang Guanyun of Giyu Daezong, and Zhou Lian of Tian Shi Jiao. There is another person, very young, only 24 or 4 years old, carrying a broad sword, standing proudly. Guan Hong's eyes turned to Ling Yanqi. Guan Hong, this time you threatened to challenge me and Brother Feng. Now it's my turn, and I won't take advantage of you. Now you can exercise your interest and adjust your interest rate. When you recover, fight against me. Ling Yanqi continued. Ling Yanqi, who said I'm going to fight you? There are others who deal with you. Guan Hong smiled coldly. Others. Ling Yanqi was stunned for a moment, and she looked at Shang Guanyun and Zhou Lian for help. Ling Yanqi, you read the wrong place. It is me who fought you. The young man carrying the war sword stepped out proudly. You. Ling Yanqi froze. The rest of the audience was stunned. This young man knew at a glance that he was a disciple of Shi Fangjian school, but almost no one knew it. The Shi Fangjian faction actually wants a young person with no fame to fight Ling Yanqi? Is this pride or insult? Ha ha ha, Guan Hong, are you sure that he is qualified to fight me? Ling Yanqi's eyes were full of anger. If you have the qualifications, you will know after fighting. Guan Hong sneered. Six heroes in the scorching sun will be replaced from now on. The young man said proudly. Ha ha, boy, are you confident? Ling Yan smiled angrily. Not self-confidence, but strength. Remember, the one who lost you is called Chu Changli. The young man shouted, the breath of his body erupted and the war sword behind him spun out of the air automatically, soared into the sky, and a sword was cut to Ling Yanqi. This sword shook the earth and earth, terrified. In an instant, most of the audience's faces changed, shocked. Because this sword is too strong. In the sky, Ling Yanqi's face became very dignified, and there was a fierce wave in his body. A battle grass appeared in his hand. The battle grass waved, and a flaming giant eagle formed with a blaze, striking towards Chu Chang. Boom! With a roar, Ling Yanqi and Chu Changli backed back together, then roared and fought together again. It's too strong, this long and fierce autumn, who exactly is it? The name is not well known before, the combat strength is so strong, I can actually fight Ling Yanqi. I'm afraid it is a secretly trained genius of the Ten Fang Sword School. On the setting sun, countless people watched the battle in the sky, and there was much discussion. In the sky, the wind is unscrupulous, and Shang Guanyun and others are also dignified. Guan Hong showed a sneer in the corner of his mouth. Boom! Boom! Roaring constantly, a hundred tricks passed in a blink of an eye. Bump! At this moment, a loud trembling noise followed, and a figure flew back. It is Ling Yanqi. Quietly on the field, is Ling Yan defeated? Uh. Ling Yanqi got thousands of feet on the hind legs before stopping. He stood still in the void and stood still. Suddenly, Ling Yanqi shuddered, and a blood arrow shot from his chest. At this time, the crowd saw a long sword wound in Ling Yanqi's chest. Defeat, Ling Yan was defeated, defeated by an unknown young man of the Ten Fangjian school. The setting sun peak was in an uproar. This news, like a whirlwind, passed from the setting sun peak to the entire imperial city in a frenzy. The Shi Fangjian faction was too strong. First, Guan Hong defeated Feng Wuji, 
and then a young man came out to defeat Ling Yanji, one of the six masters. It is amazing. From now on, the pattern of the younger generation in the scorching sun will undergo substantial changes. Is it to let Feng Wuji and Ling Yanchi out? Add one more. In any case, the reputation of the Shi Fangjian school will reach its highest point in history. In the sky, Ling Yanchi's body trembled slightly, and his eyes showed incredible colors. I said, I want you to remember, the one who lost you is called Chu Changli. Chu Changli smiled proudly, with a hint of contempt in the corner of his mouth. Brother Ling, are you okay? Feng Wuji appeared beside Ling Yan's naked body, and entered a real chi. I'm fine. Ling Yan Chi smiled miserably. Feng Wuji sighed. Today, he and Ling Yan Chi are completely defeated. It is conceivable that in the future, the reputation of the Xian Yuan sword sect and Qi Ziyogu will fall sharply, while the Ten Fang sword sect will be more prosperous. Wonderful, wonderful. The heroes of the Ten Fang Sword School are really admirable. Tian Shao Zolian clapped his hands, then looked at Shang Wenjun and said, Brother Shang Guan, since today is coming, why not fight? Fight to fight. Shang Wenjun is very direct, compelling Zolian. Everyone was very excited, and there were two scorching suns and six heroes to fight. Boom! Without any warning, Shang Guan Yun and Zhou Lian started, and the two fought together, fiercely. Ming Feng, you are here to watch, I will go first. But at this time, L. Yu Ming said to Ming Feng. Ah! Brother Tian Yun, the duel is not over yet. Ming Feng was very surprised. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Go ahead and watch. L. Yu Ming smiled, and then moved, toward the sunset. He came not to see the victory and defeat between the six heroes, but to see their strength. Now, he probably knows the strength of Lijijija, so there is no need to look down. The six heroes of the Scorching Sun, who wins and loses, he does not care. Unfolding. L. Yu Ming was like a gust of wind, and soon returned to the dormitory. Sitting on the bed with his eyes closed, a picture of the fierce battle of the six heroes appeared in his mind. Lai Huja's strength, he probably already has a bottom. Feng Wuji, Ling Yanji, Guan Hong, Chu Changli, etc., all of their cultivation practices are at the peak of Wuzong Triple, but the combat power is extremely terrifying at least Wu Zong's five-fold combat power. You know, that is Wu Zong. The higher the Budo realm, the harder it is to fight across levels. The Wu Zong realm, capable of fighting across one level, is already a peerless genius, let alone two levels. And Guan Hong, Chu Changli's victory, is nothing more than strength or martial arts, only stronger. Six heroes in the scorching sun, really deserved reputation, only in their twenties, and many older masters are no longer their opponents. L. Yu Ming thought secretly. However, L. Yu Ming did not feel discouraged, but burned a blazing flame. Although the six heroes of the Scorching Sun are strong, he is confident that it will not be long before he can catch up with and even surpass them. After thinking for a while, L. Yu Ming went to the Star Palace, and once again came to the Bibeo Pavilion, and purchased the last 400,000 pieces of spirit crystals on his body, all of which purchased the third level 9 heavy demon pills, just 100. After buying the Yeadon, L. Yu Ming went into the Kamikaze Valley. The hard training continues. Every day, L. Yu Ming gains, whether it is cultivation, martial arts, or potential, there is progress. The time was in a hurry, and it was another month and 100 demon pills had all been refined by L. Yu Ming. At this time, he walked out of the valley of Kamikaze. He returned to the dormitory, but did not walk in, but went to Ming Feng's dormitory. He asked Ming Feng to inquire about the situation of the imperial capital in this month. He has a hunch that this month, the emperor will not be calm, there must be many things happening. Came to Ming Feng's dormitory, but found that Ming Feng was not in the dormitory. 
Is it in Ming Cheng? Moving in his heart, L. Yu Ming walked towards Ming Chen's dormitory. Now Ming City has long replaced the position of the top ten masters of Bai Qi Wei Dian, and lived in a courtyard. When I came to the Ming Cheng dormitory, I found Ming Feng and Ming Zhu were here, sitting on the stone benches in the yard with Ming Cheng, chatting to the sky. Brother Tian Yun, are you out? Seeing L. Yu Ming, Ming Feng said with a smile. L. Yu Ming, others say that I am a madman. I think you are the real madman. At this time, you can still retreat in peace. Ming Cheng laughed. Oh? Why can't I retreat in peace? During this time, the emperor has a big event. L. Yu Ming asked with a smile. Of course, during this time, the imperial capital is simply surging. Ming Cheng Road said, one month ago, the fierce sun and the six heroes confronted each other. Feng Wuji and Ling Yanqi defeated, but Shang Wenjun and Ziyu Lian battled each other. There were thousands of moves, no matter the outcome, but this matter did not calm down. After the day, there was a fierce confrontation between the gold class disciples in the major schools, but the Ten Party Sword School was extremely powerful. The Ten Party Sword School also had the upper hand. About ten days ago, the Ten Party Sword Faction sent the warrior of the Grand Martial Artist Jus Hong to challenge the Xian Yuan Sword Faction, Chixi Iagu, and the warrior Jus Hong's warrior of the three sides of the Star Palace. The Star Palace was defeated first. The strongest group of people were swept away by a disciple of the Ten Fang Jian and had no power to fight back. Later, Qi Ziogu and the Xian Yuan Sword Sect were also defeated. The disciples sent by the Shi Fang Sword Sect were too strong. In the realm of the martial arts master, they were invincible, like the disciples of the Xian Yuan Sword Sect on the Silver List. Almost defeated. Ming Cheng talked about the general situation. L. Yu Ming was also secretly surprised. This month, there are really many things happening in the imperial capital. Over the past month, the reputation of the Ten Fang Sword School has been in full swing, while the Xian Yuan Sword School, Chixi Iagu, etc. have experienced a decline in their attractions, especially the royal family, and they have been suppressed even more. It is said that the Xian Yuan Sword School has mobilized the Kirin Academy the genius of the special bloodline in the game came, and he wanted to compete with the genius of the Ten Party Sword faction. Ming Cheng Road Big Brother, the ninth genius of the great martial artist who shot this time with the Ten Fang Sword School has a special bloodline. If the Xian Yuan Sword School, or the special blood genius of Qi Ziyogu comes, there may be a battle. The Shining Eyes of the Pearl It's not easy to say, I heard that some of the strongest people in the Ten Martial Arts Martial Arts realm haven't shot yet. Ming Cheng Road No way. Ming Cheng and Ming Feng were endless. Ming Cheng, Brother Ming Cheng, something serious happened. Suddenly, a young man hurried in. Che Yuan, what happened? Ming Cheng asked the young man. I heard that the special bloodline genius of the Xian Yuan Sword School has arrived, and the disciples of the Shi Fang Sword School have come to challenge. Youth Road. What? So quickly, let's go and see. Ming Cheng shouted, then looked at L. Yu Ming, said, Brother Tian Yun, do you want to go together? L. Yu Ming's eyes moved, and he nodded and together with the Ming city, they rushed towards the Xian Yuan Sword School in the Imperial Mansion. When they arrived, they found that the door of the Xian Yuan Sword School was already full of people. At the forefront are dozens of disciples of the Ten Fang Sword School. A disciple of the Ten Fang Sword School stood at the gate of the Xian Yuan Sword School's mansion and shouted arrogantly, The Xian Yuan Sword School's garbage, quickly get out of me! What special bloodline genius! I guess, is still a group of garbage. Ha ha ha. The other Shi Fangjian disciples laughed and filled with contempt. Several Swan Yuanjian sent guards to the gate, the complexion was blue. The waist of the Xian Yuan Sword School hasn't rolled out yet, do you want to be a turtle with a head down? The young man in the front continued to shout. Tian Yun, this young man, named Wu Kui, is extremely powerful. During this time, 
he alone swept through the master martial arts masters of the Xianyuan Sword faction. Ming Cheng whispered beside El Yu Ming. Squeak! At this time, the door of the Suanyuanjian school's mansion opened, and several young men and women came out. There are four people in total, three men and one woman, all of which are breathtaking. Well, Wu Kui, don't think that you have defeated the wastes of the four courtyards, and you will be invincible. Comparing us with those wastes is your biggest mistake. A young man with a tomahawk walked out, said coldly and proudly. El Yuming could not help but whispered, the people of Kailan Academy were really a virtue, no matter how strong or weak they were, they were all high-looking. Of course, except for Kai Yu, El Yuming added a sentence to his heart. Oh, special bloodlines are also divided into different levels. Some special bloodlines are garbage. In my opinion, you are similar to those garbage. Wu Kui smiled contemptuously. Court death. The young man carrying the battle axe of the Xian Yuan sword roared with rage, and the tomahawk behind him flew out automatically, and the young man held his hand. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Cut. The Xian Yuan sword sent the youth to drink, and the tomahawk in his hand fell down. In the battle axe, there is a terrible momentum. Obviously, geniuses like these who stood on the top of the great martial arts masters all realized the trend, and the fire was not weak. Trick and worm. Wu Kui sneered, slamming a punch, a terrible punch, on the axe. Boom. With a loud bang, the young tomahawk figure retreated slightly. Damn it, burst me. The tomahawk youth roared, and an ancient tomahawk floated over his head. There were six blood-red chakras on the tomahawk. This is his special bloodline. The tomahawk shakes and merges with the youth, making the youth strong. Crack the sky! The young man shouted and slashed out. This axe can open mountains and split the sky. It is twice as powerful as the axe just now. Buzz! At this time, Wu Kui's body also flashed, and then, a vast mountain appeared on Wu Kui's head. The mountains are ancient, such as the ancient and desolate magic mountain. Wu Kui's bloodline is actually a big mountain. There is no doubt that this is also a special bloodline. Curious, Wu Kui's bloodline is actually a big mountain, and he has never seen him use it before. Someone called. Pillar Magic Mountain. Wu Kui roared, punched out, and his terrifying punches turned into a vast demon mountain suppressing towards the tomahawk youth. Cleave me! The tomahawk youth shouted, and the tomahawk slashed on the mountain. Boom! With a violent shock, the mountain was not split. Instead, the tomahawk youth was shocked, and his body was suppressed by the heavy mountain and hit the ground. With a scream, blood and flesh splattered, and the tomahawk youth was directly crushed into meat by the mountain. A special bloodline genius was killed. Hey, the special bloodline contains ancient mysterious secrets. Only by comprehending the mysterious mysterious magical powers can the power of the special bloodlines be maximized. One can only use special blood to comprehend the potential, the waste of practicing martial arts, what uses it to stay in the world. Wu Kui's mocking voice sounded. The remaining youths of the Xian Yuan Sword School looked ugly. Now, who of you will play? Wu Kui looked at the remaining people. In the realm of the Grand Martial Artist, the time for the bloodline to erupt is increased to an amazing ten minutes, which can already support a long battle. The remaining members of the Xian Yuan Sword School looked at each other, their faces dignified. No one came out for a while. What? Dare not to play, it's really a bunch of waste. This is the strength of your Xian Yuan sword faction? It's really disappointing, I tell you, there are five people in the ten square sword faction, who are stronger than me. Wu Kui sneered. What? There are five people? Impossible. Someone shouted. Wu Kui's remarks shocked the audience. 
Everyone thought that Wu Kui's strength was definitely the strength of the top ten among the ten Fangjian factions, and may even be the strongest in the realm of the ten Fangjian factions. But now Wu Kui actually said that there are five other ten sword sword factions stronger than him. How is this possible? If it is true, is it too scary? Oh, Yu Xianyuan sword faction, even my sixth in the ranking cannot beat, in my opinion, simply withdraw from the five major schools. Wu Kui continued to ridicule. Damn, I'll fight you. Among the remaining three members of the Xianyuan sword school, a young man carrying a war sword came out. There is nothing to say, the war broke out directly, but unfortunately, Wu Kui is really strong. This young bloodline carrying a war sword is an ancient war sword. Its strength is stronger than the previous Tomahawk youth, but it still loses to Wu Kui. More than 30 moves in the war, the young man carrying the sword of war was coughed up by Wu Kui's big mouth. If it were not for his strength, he would have to be suppressed into flesh. The Xian Yuan Sword School defeated another one. Ha ha ha, who else? Hurry up and fight. Wu Kui laughed extremely arrogant. The two remaining members of the Xian Yuan Sword School were extremely ugly. Their strength is not as good as that of the young man carrying the sword of war. Going up, it is only to insult him, and he may even lose his life. However, they are already the strongest among the great martial artists in the Xian Yuan Sword School. Who else comes up? Don't you dare to fight Lin Chan? It's really a waste. Wu Kui laughed. Among the crowd, L. Yu Ming looked at him coldly, with no intention of shooting. Xian Yuan Jian defeated, what to do with him? He has no interest in shooting. Above the sky and among the clouds, Lin Sui I, the head of the Xian Yuan Sword School, and several elders in gold robes stood among them, looking down with a dark face. Unexpectedly, the Shi Fangjian School secretly cultivated so many peerless geniuses in the past years. This Wu Kui has already learned a little secret art from his bloodline. The general special bloodline is not his opponent at all. A golden robe elder sighed. Unfortunately, Duan Mulan broke through the Wuzong realm, and if he is still in the realm of the warrior, he will definitely be able to defeat him. Another golden robe elder said. Afterwards, they all fell silent. Now that the defeat is settled, what they have to think about is how to reduce their influence as much as possible. Brother Wu Kui, it seems that they dare not go any more. Alas, it is really disappointing. Originally, I thought I would have a decent opponent. Another disciple of the Ten Fangjian School sighed. Yu Xian Yuan Sword School, it is best to withdraw from the ranks of the five sects as early as possible, so as not to be disgraced, haha. <laughs> Wu Kui laughed. Among the crowd, L. Yu Ming shook his head with a smile, and would walk out. Tian Yun, are you? Stop me. At this moment, a loud roar suddenly sounded. L. Yu Ming froze, stopped, and turned to look at it. A disciple of Shi Fangjian school, with a gloomy face, gritted his teeth and stared. Obviously, this disciple of the Ten Fangjian school had seen him before and recognized him at this time. On L. Yu Ming's side, other people were terrified and could not help but step back. Around L. Yu Ming, there were only three Ming Cheng siblings. He is Tian Yun. Wu Kui's eyes looked to L. Yu Ming. Yes, this person is Tian Yun, and he has repeatedly opposed my ten Fangjian factions, and it is a crime that deserves death. The young man who recognized L. Yu Ming was full of murderous ways. During this time, other brothers went to find him, but he hid like a turtle with a head down, and today I finally saw it. The young man added. Hide. L. Yu Ming was a little speechless. He just closed his doors and practiced. When did he hide? All right, then solve it smoothly. Wu Kui smiled coldly and approached Landing Ming. He looked at Landing Ming coldly and said, Tian Yun, isn't it? You should know that the great sin you committed is unforgivable. So, give you a chance, self-discipline, so that I can call the shots and leave you a whole body. Wu Kui carried his hands on his back 
a high expression. L. Yu Ming looked dumbfounded, this man feels too good about himself, can he let him punish himself? What happened to your head, or did your mother accidentally squash your head when he gave birth to you? L. Yu Ming stared at Wu Kui one by one. Boom! As soon as the words came out, the people watching around didn't hold back, and laughed out loudly. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. They actually don't want to laugh, but L. Yu Ming's words really make them unbearable. Especially Ming Feng, he burst into tears with a smile. Even the other disciples of the Shi Fangjian faction couldn't help but laugh out loud. Wu Kui's face turned into pig liver, and his eyes turned red suddenly, his whole body shuddered, and he roared, Miscellaneous, let me die. Boom! Wu Kui blasted L. Yu Ming with a punch, and his fist was condensed into a mountain, which was amazingly powerful. L. Yu Ming sneered, without a slight concession, he punched out. Bump! L. Yu Ming's fist hit the mountain that Wu Kui hit and a scene of people's eye-popping eyes appeared. The mountain roared and burst with a blow from L. Yu Ming. Bump bump! Wu Kui retreated seven or eight steps, one fist trembling. People watching around took a breath. L. Yu Ming actually retreated Wu Kui with a punch, how could this be possible? Wu Kui's strength just revealed was amazing. He overwhelmed many masters of the Xian Yuan sword faction. It was simply the invincible presence of the martial arts realm. Now he is repelled by L. Yu Ming. A few months ago, L. Yu Ming showed a very strong combat power in the Emperor Tian Yu arena, and was able to achieve a 10-game winning streak across the second level, which was terrifying. But his cultivation behavior is only the sixth grade of the Grand Martial Artist. Wu Kui, however, is the ninth peak of the Grand Martial Artist and is a peerless genius. Before this punch, no one felt that L. Yu Ming could fight Wu Kui, but the fact was beyond everyone's expectations. Damn! Wu Kui roared, his breath more frightening, like a furious lion. What's it called? You are too weak. Isn't Ten Fangjian faction stronger than you? Go together. I don't have so much time to play with you. If you want to shoot, hurry up and go together. L. Yu Ming glanced at the other disciples of the Shi Fangjian school and said lightly. What? What? The disciples of the Shi Fangjian school froze. The audience froze around. L. Yu Ming actually wants to challenge all the masters of the Shi Fangjian faction, is he crazy? In the sky, Lin Sui Ai's eyes flickered and stared at the land. This young man has good strength but he is too small to look at the genius of the Shi Fangjian faction. A golden robe elder shook his head. It's not the genius who underestimates the Shi Fangjian school, but this young man has this confidence. Lin Sui I said. Having this self-confidence? The leader means, can this little guy challenge the many masters of the Ten Fangjian faction, and still can't win? How is this possible? Even Chu Chong Kong was not so strong when he was in the realm of the martial arts master. The elder of the golden robe said. No war yet, who knows? Lin Sui Ai showed a faint smile. The other elders in the gold robe were a little puzzled. Arrogant, too arrogant. He is looking for death. Kill him. Many disciples of Shi Fangjian school roared. Tian Yun, since you are so confident yourself. Don't blame us for winning. Let's do it together. A heroic young man said coldly, stepped out, and appeared on L. Yu Ming's side, forming a horn with Wu Kui. Boom! Then, from this young man, an amazing breath erupted, and then a bloodline in the shape of a battle sword emerged. There is no doubt that it is a special bloodline. As soon as the bloodline came out, a stunned sword rushed to the sky and the breath was stronger than Wu Kui. Uh! Uh! Immediately, the figure flashed, and four more figures appeared around L. Yu Ming, surrounding L. Yu Ming. The four of them, each with a blood vein suspended above their heads, two of them are special blood vessels, and two of them, although not special blood vessels, 
are also extremely powerful and heterogeneous. Every breath is powerful and terrifying, and every breath is stronger than Wu Kui. Several special bloodline geniuses of the Xian Yuan Sword School, with a pale face and no blood, his eyes are full of gloomy colors. The people who looked around, also widened their eyes in shock. Previously Wu Kui said that there are five people in the Ten Fang Sword School who are stronger than him, and they still don't believe in people. They think Wu Kui intends to raise the Ten Fang Sword School. But now, they know that what Wu Kui said is true. Ten Fang Jian faction really has five geniuses, stronger than Wu Kui. This is so amazing, countless people were shocked by the strength of the Shi Fang Jian faction. Such a genius, one is enough to sweep the genius of the same level, not to mention six. Tian Yun is over, I will die here today, but it is a pity that a genius will not be weaker than Lai Uja in time. Everyone sighed again and again. Do it. At this moment, Six peerless geniuses started to work together. Boom. Boom. Six different attacks, from different directions, blasted towards the landing. Each one is terrifying, and each one is forced to force Wu Zong's power. Grand martial artist and Wu Zong, they are two completely different realms, the gap is as big as the difference between the world and the world. Very few people have the power to contend with Wu Zong in the realm of the great martial artist. Now, the six members of the Shi Fangjian faction have almost the same strength as Wu Zong. I can imagine how terrifying it is. Wind, fire. El Yu Ming whispered, a right hand gripped in the air, a spear condensed out, and the spear blended into the wind and fire. Boom. Immediately, El Yu Ming's legs bent slightly and with a sudden force, the ground under his feet burst into a big hole, the floor cracked like a cobweb, El Yu Ming's body, like a cannonball, rose into the sky like a cannonball. Whistling. Boom. The attack of the six teammates was shot by El Yu Ming into a big hole, El Yu Ming swayed straight up and rushed to the sky. Rush up and surround him. A genius from the ten-party sword school shouted, and then the sound of breaking the sky sounded and six figures popped from the ground and rushed into the air for hundreds of meters. Humanity palm. El Yu Ming whispered, slamming his palm down. Call. Between heaven and earth, aura of madness surged towards Ming Ming, a huge palm print emerged from the sky, with clear stripes on the palm, as if it were real. The huge palm prints slammed down, and wherever the palm prints passed, the air continued to burst, terrifying. Not good, join forces to contend. Six people from the Ten Swords sent a complexion of face, and gave a horrified roar. The six of them tried their best. Suddenly, six terror attacks gathered together and blasted toward the immense palm. Suppress me. El Yu Ming's eyes flashed with lightness and he sipped. Boom. The palm seal intersects with the attack of the six, and the strength swept through forming a terrible shock wave, rushing in all directions. Not good. Below, the crowd's face changed drastically and fled. Bump. Bump. The ground was swept by strength, and huge huge pits were exploded. Bump. Immediately, there was a tremendous loud noise, and the attack of the six members of the Ten Fangjian sent by the six people was smashed by the palm print. The palm print continued to be suppressed. How could this be? Wu Kui shouted. Six Fangjian sent six geniuses to escape, but they were already under the envelope of humanity and could not escape. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Boom. There was a tremendous roar, and ten Fangjian sent six great geniuses. They were directly hit by the huge palm prints and hit the ground, hitting six big pits, and the smoke was filled. In the distance, countless people stared at this scene in a daze, time seemed to freeze at this moment, even breathing was forgotten, just wide eyes, staring in a daze, let the Buddha want to imprint this scene forever in the bottom of my heart. Because it was so shocking. Of the six peerless geniuses of the Ten Fang Sword School, 
just take out a warrior who can sweep almost all the martial arts realm of the raging empire. But now, the six men have joined forces, but they were defeated by El Yu Ming. Even a fool can see the difference. The remaining three special bloodline geniuses of the Xian Yuan Sword Sect, weirdly watched Landing Ming, as if they didn't believe that there was such a genius in the world. Then, in the eyes, the gloomy color became stronger. Before coming to the imperial capital, they were arrogant and upright, pretending to be a special bloodline, the darling of heaven and earth, and looked down on the ordinary bloodline warrior. I think that in the world war I, there is no one stronger than them. But it didn't take long for the emperor to receive a fatal blow. Was swept by Wu Kui alone, in front of Wu Kui, they are not opponents at all. But it was such an opponent that they looked up to, joined by five stronger geniuses than Wu Kui, but was defeated by El Yu Ming. This simply subverted their perception of the world. The blow to them was too great. Hey, in the past, we dominated the Xian Yuan Sword School. We thought that the world was invincible, and it was difficult to find opponents at the same level. It turns out that we have been sitting in and watching the world. Of the three, the only woman sighed softly. The other two's eyes flickered, and then they sighed. There are people outside, and there are days outside. They didn't really understand this truth until today. In the sky, Lin Suei, as well as several elders in gold robe, were also dumbfounded. Awesome, it's really awesome. The Star Palace is so genius, depending on age, is it twenty? A golden robe elder sighed, full of envy. In fact, L. Yu Ming's actual age is less than eighteen years old, just with Yi slash Rong slash mask, it looks like a twenties. The second level of the prefecture level palm mastering is the greatness of fire, the greatness of wind, the ingenuity is very strong, the genius, the real genius. Lin Suei's eyes shone brightly, even though he was optimistic about El Yu Ming before, he still sighed again and again. Big Brother Tian Yun is powerful, Big Brother Tian Yun is invincible. Ming Feng reacted and shouted excitedly. At this time, the smoke and dust were dispersed, and everyone saw that there were six big pits on the ground, and the six geniuses of the Ten Fangjian faction lay motionless in the big pit, covered with blood. Although he still had breath, he didn't die, but he didn't know how many pieces he had broken. Without a month or two of rehabilitation, he wouldn't want to recover. What genius! But so! El Yu Ming glanced at Wu Kui and others lightly and said. Wu Kui's popularity almost spewed out another blood. If it wasn't too hurt, they would all scream. Annoyance, regret. During this time, they swept the Xian Yuan Sword School and pushed the many geniuses in the Star Palace and Chixiao Valley into a rainbow, pushing the prestige of the Ten Fang Sword School to the top. But now, the six of them have been defeated by El Yu Ming. This is a joke. The reputation of the Shi Fangjian faction was definitely a huge blow. Their efforts during this time amounted to vanishing under the palm of El Yu Ming. Ha ha, good. An elder in a golden robe laughed in the sky. El Yu Ming glanced at Wu Kui and others lightly, turned around and strode away without any further action. Several people in Ming Cheng quickly followed. The audience, countless eyes, also followed the landing Ming Ming, looking at the back of Ming Ming away. This is a lonely, determined, unyielding back. In the sky, Lin Shui wanted to see Ming Ming's back, and his heart shook. In his eyes, Tian Yun's back was superimposed on another young back, so similar. L. Yu Ming. Lin Sui I whispered in his mouth, his eyes shone brilliantly for a long time, and turned into a long sigh. This long sigh contained a trace of regret. Maybe, my choice is wrong. Lin Sui I sighed. Seeing Diane, L. Yu Ming's room. L. Yu Ming sat cross legged on the bed. Now, my practice is very close to the Grand Martial Artist Zhu Hong, and I must break through the Grand Martial Artist Zhu Hong as soon as possible. In this way, I can refine the blood refinement pill, improve the second blood vein and prepare for awakening the second blood vein. L. Yu Ming thought secretly. Before the Emperor's birthday, 
Al Yu Ming retired in Dai Yuan Cave for three months. One month ago, 100 enchanted pill was refined, and the cultivation ground reached the seventh peak of the martial arts master. In the next two months, Xiu made a breakthrough and reached the eighth level of the martial arts master. In the past month, he refined 103rd level ninefold monster beast demon pill, Xiu Wei successfully entered the eighth peak of the martial arts master. With his current cultivation practice, coupled with the three palms that has reached the second level, and the fire that broke through to Dachen, it is normal to beat Wu Kui and others with one palm. The defeat of Wu Kui and others has not been put in his mind at all. In his view, this is a trivial matter. His current goal is to break through the Grand Martial Artist Zhuzhong as soon as possible, and then impact the state of Wu Zong. Immediately, L. Yu Ming began to practice. In a blink of an eye, three hours passed. This is, L. Yu Ming suddenly opened his eyes. Because, he felt a terrible killing opportunity, enveloped him, and at the same time, an extremely dangerous feeling occurred, causing his heart to tremble slightly, and his hair was blowing up. Not good. Without time to think, without any hesitation, L. Yu Ming rose to the sky and rushed towards the ceiling. Laugh. At this time, a horrible sound of breaking the sky sounded, a hundred meters long, a brilliant sword light, slamming into the landing dormitory. Boom! L. Yu Ming's dormitory, including the other rooms up and down, burst into pieces suddenly, with gravel and wood chips all over the place. The entire floor is split in half. Uh! L. Yu Ming rose from the broken wood. Tian Yun, Dai! With a cold drink, L. Yu Ming saw that in the sky, there were two young men coming from the sky. Laugh. One of the young men in the yellow robe cut out with a sword, and another horrible sword light slashed to the landing. Jian Guang's speed was incredible, and L. Yu Ming immediately came to him. Good done. L. Yu Ming growled, and in front of him, four consecutive ancient shields condensed out. Shields on all four sides stacked one behind the other, blocking L. Yu Ming in front of him. Boom! Jian Guang cut on the shield, and the shield shook violently. Then, the first shield burst, then, the second side, the third side. Just a breath, all the shields exploded. But it was just a time for breathing. L. Yu Ming's blood burst, and the powerful force of swallowing spread all over his body. At the same time, his body receded madly, and took out the town demon gun in front of him. When Jian Guang cut the Jinyeo gun, L. Yu Ming was shocked, as if hit by a mountain, his body hit the ground like a shell. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. L. Yu Ming fell sharply, and when he was about to fall to the ground, he burst out with real energy his feet stomped heavily on the ground, and his body continued to drift backwards. Want to go, have you gone today? In the sky, the young man in the yellow robe drank coldly. He was frightened. With his cultivation practice of Wu Zong's double peak, it was a surprise attack. Two consecutive swords did not kill L. Yu Ming, which made him feel extremely insulted. Dead. The young man in his yellow robe holds the sword in both hands and slashes out. A terrifying sword light, hundreds of meters long, cut through the void and instantly approached L. Yu Ming. Brother Huang, let me do it together. On the edge of the young man in the yellow robe is a young man in the white robe. At this time, the war sword comes out of the sheath, a sword pierces out, and a peerless sharp sword gas comes to L. Yu Ming Dong. At this moment, L. Yu Ming's eyelids only jumped as if facing death. Block, block. L. Yu Ming's eyes were red, and his true energy was running to the extreme. In front of him, there were four ancient shields condensed out and blocked in front of him. Humanity Palm. L. Yu Ming waved a hand and displayed a human palm. A huge palm print appeared in front of him, entrained by the wind and fire, and blasted forward. Boom. With a tremendous roar, the whole film shook the dormitory area of the Star Palace violently, screaming out of the dormitory, 
and fled. L. Yu Ming's humane palm prints, ancient shields, smashed, and terrifying power blasted on L. Yu Ming. Bump! L. Yu Ming was like a cannonball. He flew backwards, continuously struck two dormitory buildings, and flew hundreds of meters away. With a long gun, L. Yu Ming drew a deep mark on the ground, and then stopped, his body trembling and a spit of blood spewed out. Not yet dead. In the sky, the two young men were horrified. With their cultivation ability and combat power, under one sword, Wu Zong's master master was to be killed, but L. Yu Ming was blocked, but he was injured but did not die. This is amazing. Kill. The two youths made a murderous attack, with cold eyes exposed, and killed L. Yu Ming. Stop. A few roars, several streamers quickly broke through the air, the speed was extremely fast, and immediately went to the dormitory building. It is a few elders in the Star Palace. Go away. The young man in the yellow robe and the young man in the white robe are extremely overbearing. Bump. Bump. The elders of the three general star palaces were not opponents at all, and were cut hundreds of meters away. Stop it, Yu Ten Fangjian school is too much, openly kill me in the star palace, and the students who will be the star palace, I see how your Ten Fangjian school will explain to the royal family. An elder shouted, looking at L. Yu Ming, anxiously. L. Yu Ming is now a peerless genius in the star palace and the hope for the future is absolutely nothing. But the two youths of the Ten Fangjian faction were the gold disciples of the Ten Fangjian faction, and their cultivation bases reached Wuzong's double peak, and they were even more extraordinary geniuses. Their combat power could even be compared with Wuzong's triple. Of the three of them, Wuzong is the strongest and the other two are Wuzong and he is not an opponent at all. Account? Why do I have to deal with the royal family when I am acting with the Ten Fangjian faction? It's a joke. Heavenly clouds are fighting against the Ten Fangjian faction. They have killed many geniuses of the Ten Fangjian faction. Otherwise you will die. The young man in the yellow robe shouted and was overbearing. The three elders of Xingdian looked ugly, but they stood firm in front of L. Yu Ming. Puff. L. Yu Ming spewed out another blood leaning on the ground with a spear, standing straight in the figure, looking towards the sky. Sure enough, he was a disciple of the Shi Fangjian faction. It seems that the Shi Fangjian faction has already been pressed, and actually sent a gold-level disciple to kill the Star Palace directly. Along with this, his eyes fell back to the direction of the dormitory, where there was already a ruin, and there were constant wails. At the beginning, the sword, L. Yu Ming avoided it, but other people did not have this strength. At least ten people died under the sword and more injured. Fortunately, Ming Feng had lived in Ming Cheng all the time, otherwise it would be dangerous. Damn! L. Yu Ming held the gun tightly, and the murderous eyes filled his eyes. Brother Huang, why so much nonsense, just kill it. The white robe youth is even more ruthless, and his eyes are like swords. He stepped out and rushed forward. Hold it, and soon a master will arrive. An elder screamed, bursting out of strength, and killed him. The same is true of the other two elders, but they are not opponents at all. After more than ten moves, they are injured and retreated. There is even an elder Wu Zone with a heavy arm missing. Do not control yourself. The young man in yellow robe sneered, full of disdain presumptuous. Suddenly, there was a roar, a snow-white blade of thorns, chopped from the sky, cut through the void, and arrived in a flash. Not good, Wu Zong is fourfold. The two young men's faces changed, each slashing a sword, but they were swept away by the sword, and flew directly for thousands of kilometers. Call out! In the sky, several streamers came instantly. A total of three people, two old people, a young man. Huachi, this young man, was Huachi. He was enveloped by the true energy of an old man, so he could walk in the air. Prince is here, see who can kill Tianyun. Huachi's eyes were as strong as electricity, 
and he was forced to stare at two youths with ten swords. The eighth prince, the sky clouds are against my ten party sword faction. This is to destroy the relationship between the ten party sword faction and the royal family. The yellow robe said coldly. You don't need to worry about this, the prince will naturally find out, now, you get out of the star palace. Huachi is cold and very strong. You, surnamed Hua, I call you eight princes, to give the royal family face, don't give your face shame. The young man in yellow robe exasperated. How dare Huachi this dare to tell him to go? He is a golden disciple of the Ten Fangjian school, and he is above all. In the five great sects, the gold level disciples are very rare, and each of them is a figure in the Sacred Sun Empire. Their status is not much worse than those of the Golden Robe Elders. Because of their unlimited potential, they will become elders in the future with almost no problems. Now, the ants of Hwachi scold them. What about the Eighth Prince? Their eyes were very cold. If you don't roll, let you roll, I tell you, the royal capital, after all, the royal capital of the royal family. Hwachi drinks coldly. Beside him, two old men burst into a strong breath. One Wuzong triple, one Wuzong quadruple. The faces of Huang Bao youth and Bai Pao youth showed a dreadful expression. If it is Wuzong triple, they can still fight, but Wuzong quadruple, they are not opponents, they are too far apart. Okay, 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 the eighth prince, let's wait and see. The young man in Huang Bao said three good words in a row but his voice was very gloomy. Then he looked at El Yuming and said, Tian Yun, have the ability, don't leave the Star Palace in your life, we will wait for you outside the Star Palace, see how long can the royal family protect you. After speaking, the young man in yellow robe and the young man in white robe walked away and disappeared into the air. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Looking at the sky, El Yu Ming's surface was calm, but his heart was choppy. Wu Zong, Wu Zong, we must break through Wu Zong as soon as possible. Now I seem to be almost invincible among the great martial artists, but it is still not enough to meet the strong Wu Zong. When you break through Wu Zong, it will be when you die. El Yu Ming's eyes flashed through the killing machine. Quickly rescue the injured and clean the dormitory building. Command the elders of the Star Palace. Aside, Huachi also showed a strong killing in his eyes, as well as unwillingness. It was blatantly killed into the General Hall of Stars, several buildings were destroyed, dozens of General Hall of Stars students were killed, and even more were injured. The people he brought, obviously have the strength to leave the other party, but they could only watch the murderer leave, helpless. This humiliation made Huachi tremble all over. Halfway, Huachi took a deep breath and walked to El Yu Ming's edge, saying, Tian Yun, is your injury okay? It's okay. El Yu Ming smiled. Although he was not injured lightly, he didn't hurt him at all, and he would heal in a short time. I really didn't expect that the Ten Party Sword faction would dare to kill the people in the Star Palace now. It is becoming more and more lawless. In the past, there will be scruples. Huachi Road. This time, thank you very much. El Yu Ming said. Thank you for thanking me. El Yu Ming, today I happened to have something to find you, but I didn't expect it to happen just now. Oh? What's the matter with you looking for me? El Yu Ming asked. About your father. Huachi whispered. My dad. El Yu Ming was shocked in his heart, his eyes shining with hope, and trembling, don't you? Hua Qi nodded, and then said, we speak at the edge. The two went to a place where no one was. El Yu Ming, I have found your father's news. Hua Qi rode. My father, where is he? Is it in the imperial city? El Yu Ming asked with a trembling voice. Hua Qi shook his head and said, originally in the imperial capital, imprisoned by the ten-party sword faction in a very secret place in the northern part of the imperial capital, but seven days ago, 
a group of unidentified people suddenly attacked there. Mitty, your father, has been robbed by the gang. What? Robbed by a group of unknown people. El Yuming was shocked in his heart and asked, Why did that group rob my father? Hua Qi shook his head and said, I don't know this. However, we have found out that the group of people is rushing to the deserted wilderness, and the people of the Ten Fang Sword School are pursuing it with all their might. Quiet wasteland, I'm going to save my dad. El Yuming showed anxious colors. El Yuming, wait a minute, don't worry, don't forget, the disciples of Shi Fangjian School are still waiting for you outside. Hua Qi shouted. El Yuming took a deep breath and calmed himself down. Yes, to go to the deserted wilderness, first of all, we must solve the two disciples of the Ten Fangjian School. El Yuming, those two disciples of the Ten Fangjian School, I will find ways to send them away. Also, my father and emperor have sent four masters before and went to the deserted wilderness in secret. Speaking of which, a sword-shaped jade card appeared in Huachi's hand and handed over to El Yuming, saying, This is a Wan Li musical note. There is also a Wan Li musical note in the hands of the four masters sent by my father and emperor. You can use this to send them voices, and you can receive each other's messages within a thousand miles. Huachi, thank you. El Yuming took it, and sincerely thanked him, Huachi really helped him a lot. I said it and I don't need to thank you. Go here, be careful. Hua Qi rode. El Yuming nodded and said with a smile, When I come back, I will celebrate the wine. Okay, I'm going to elicit the two of the ten-party sword faction now. Hua Qi nodded, with two old men, his figure flashed out of the General Star Palace. About half an hour later, the figure of Hua Qi appeared and said, El Yuming, you can start. El Yuming nodded, took out a set of black robe and hat and put it on, his figure moved, disappeared without a trace. El Yuming went out of the General Star Hall and walked along some small streets towards the north. After passing seven or eight streets in succession, no disciples of the Ten Fangjian faction were found. Stop! Just as El Yuming relaxed his vigilance, a squeak of jingle sounded. Uh! A sound of breaking the sky sounded, and a pretty figure appeared in front of El Yuming. Xia, Xia Nianqing. El Yuming was shocked, staring at the person in front of him in a daze. The girl in front of her, pretty and unparalleled, was wearing a short skirt, a pair of slender white and tender thighs were exposed, and her eyes were blinking and staring. Not Xia Nianqing, who can it be? He never imagined that he would meet Xian Nianqing here. What did Xian Nianqing stop him? He is easy to change now, and with his black robe and hat, Xian Nianqing cannot recognize him. Cough, this girl, you stop there, I don't know what is going on. El Yuming coughed a few times and lowered his voice. It sounded like a big man in his thirties. El Yuming, what do you pretend to find? I finally found you, come and fight me. Xian Yanqing mouth slightly raised, disdainfully said. What? El Yuming suddenly froze, Xian Yanqing really recognized him, how is it possible? Did he show any flaws, but he looked around and showed no flaws. But Xian Yanqing why he was El Yuming? El Yuming took off Dou Li, revealing an easy-going face, and said, Girl, look. You really admit the wrong person. Humph. Xian Yanqing's mouth turned slightly, the disdainful color was more intense, said, El Yuming, you still pretend to me, even if you are easy to look like, I can recognize you, how easy you look, your smell is I can't change it. It's just that my nose is special. As long as the person I smelled, he will be gray, I can recognize it. This will do. El Yuming was speechless. He did everything, but he didn't count it. Ha ha ha, girls yet, what a coincidence. I haven't seen you for many days. I miss it so much. Unfortunately, I'm in a hurry now. Please give it up. Let's change the day. El Yuming laughed, 
showing his original voice, laughing. Hey, L. Yu Ming, it's hard to meet you, you don't want to go, I said last time, see you again, you will step on you hard, come on, and confront me. Xian Yanqing looked at landing badly. I said, I don't have time now, I want to fight and accompany you later. L. Yu Ming's voice sank, he had to rush to the deserted wasteland, how could there be time to accompany Xian Yanqing in a duel? I don't care. You don't want to leave today. Xian Yanqing was very arrogant and stopped in front of Liu Ming. Step aside. Liu Ming took a cold sip and pushed out with a palm, and a powerful true air spewed out, trying to push Xian Yanqing away. But unexpectedly, Xian Yanqing's figure moved slightly, and there was also a strong qi outflow, which counteracted Liu Ming's qi. Good strength. Liu Ming's eyes moved and was a little surprised. After a while, Xian Yanqing's cultivation behavior also reached an astonishing point. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Xian Yanqing was also surprised. Obviously L. Yu Ming's strength was beyond her expectation. Okay, your strength is good, just fight me. Xian Yanqing's eyes shone brightly. Neuropathy, I have no time to accompany you. L. Yu Ming snorted coldly, then rose into the sky and ran to the distance in a hurry. Want to leave, stop thinking. Xian Yanqing drank, a pair of beautiful legs and a kick, the body seemed to have no weight, chasing towards the landing Ming speed, the speed was incredible, not slower than L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming was shocked and stretched the volley to the extreme. He walked into the air and walked for hundreds of meters. Soon, he left the imperial capital and headed northwest. In the rear, Xian Yanqing followed, and even walked briefly in the air. This stinky lady is really sick, forget it, just follow it. L. Yu Ming was speechless, let her follow, he took care of himself and moved forward quickly. The dead wilderness, on the northwest border of the Scorching Empire, is a dead wilderness with a very wide range, spanning three empires. It is the land where the three empires border. To the north is the Yunyu Empire. To the northwest, it is the Middle Empire, the Blood Zhao Empire. Empires are divided into Lower Empire, Middle Empire, Upper Empire, and Super Empire according to strength. The Scorching Sun Empire and the Yunyu Empire are inferior empire. Emperor Yundi's 36 Empire, there are 8 Middle Empire, the rest are Inferior Empire. The Middle Empire is at least 10 times stronger than the Lower Empire, and it is no different. With L. Yu Ming's current cultivation practice, it takes 4 or 5 days to reach the deserted wilderness. After a day and night, L. Yu Ming was so angry that he stopped and meditated to recover. Not far behind, Xian Yanqing also panted, fragrantly stopped sitting cross-legged on the ground. It's really persevering. L. Yu Ming was quite speechless. Three hours later, L. Yu Ming's true energy had completely recovered, and he saw that Xian Yanqing also stood up. Well, I'm really in a hurry, and I will fight you when this thing is over. L. Yu Ming said. Well, who knows where you went when you arrived, you treated me like that, I said, you must step on your feet. I said, you must do it, if you want to run, I will follow you, wait for you to finish things, I will teach you again. Xian Yanqing gritted his teeth. L. Yu Ming is speechless, this girl's temper is too weird. Forget it, forget it, follow it if you want to follow. L. Yu Ming said silently. Then, L. Yu Ming continued to hurry, and Xian Yanqing followed along. In a blink of an eye. Four days have passed, the deserted wilderness is already in sight. Standing on a mountain peak, looking ahead. The lonely wilderness, very wide, like a huge giant beast, lying in front. The two stepped out and walked towards the deserted wasteland. When I walked into the deserted wilderness, I realized that in the deserted wilderness, it was not completely dead, and you could see trees and weeds. It's just that these trees and weeds have no leaves and look lifeless. All around, there was silence, 
and there was no sound of insects and birds singing. But El Yuming and Xianianqing did not dare to carelessly, because the deserted wilderness, but the famous Jedi, contains great danger. Roar! At this time, the two saw a giant black tiger running in the desert forest. This giant tiger, with a strong breath, is actually a three-level double monster. Hey! At this moment, in front of the giant tiger, a big tree without any leaves suddenly flew down a black mist. The black mist rolled towards the giant tiger, then flew away and disappeared on the big tree. Below, a tiger-shaped skeleton is left. The scalp that El Yuming and Xianianqing watched is numb. They can see clearly that the black mist flying out of the big tree just now is a very small ant, but the number is too large, and the power is also terrifying. The third-level double monster beast giant tiger did not even scream, it turned into a bone. The lonely wasteland is really strange, so be extra careful. The two continued to move forward, and there was no danger on the way, and they quickly penetrated more than 300 miles away. Uh! Uh! Suddenly, the sound of breaking the sky sounded, the figure flashed, and eight figures appeared in front of El Yu Ming. The two froze, and stopped. Ten Fangjian faction is here to work, this area, we have temporarily requisitioned, please come back. Headed by a middle-aged Dehan Dao. Abnormal tone of voice. Oh, when the lonely wilderness became the ten-party sword faction, I heard it for the first time. El Yuming sneered. I said it's ours, it's ours, boy, don't feel sick anyway, otherwise, this place will be your burial ground. The middle-aged man's eyes froze, and his body exuded a faint murder. At this time, El Yuming did not bring a hat and these people from the Ten-Party Sword School obviously had not seen El Yuming and did not recognize it. El Yuming glanced at everyone from Shi Fangjian faction. The headed man is very rich in breath and has Wuzong's heavy cultivation behavior. The other seven are masters of the all-round master martial arts. Obviously, this time the Ten Fang Sword sent out a lot of force to hunt El Yu Yundian. Okay, let's go. Suddenly, El Yu Ming said, then turned around and left. Xian Yangqing's eyes flickered, and without further ado, he turned away from landing. Behind, a strong murderous opportunity burst out in the eyes of the middle-aged Hans of the Shi Fangjian school. These two have suspicious signs and would rather kill by mistake than let go, kill. The middle-aged man waved his hand. Kill. Immediately. The master swords of the two master martial artists Zhu Hong were unsheathed, and they were respectively killed by Landing Ming and Xian Yanqing. The speed was extremely fast, and immediately behind them, the broad war sword slashed down towards the top of the two. But at this time, El Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing suddenly turned around. El Yu Ming waved his hand, and a spear appeared, directly piercing the night warrior who had killed him. Xian Yanqing flicked his fingers and the roar sounded, and the other person's head suddenly flew high, blood splattered. El Yu Ming was a little surprised. He could see that Xian Yanqing's Xiu Wei had actually reached the ninth military master. It seems that Xian Yanqing got some adventures during this time, otherwise Xiu Ning could not progress so fast. Because of his blood-sucking spirit, his cultivation ability will skyrocket. But Xian Yanqing didn't eat the blood of the soul, and the cultivation breakthrough was not slower than him. It was really amazing. I already knew you would do this. El Yu Ming looked coldly at the rest of the Shi Fangjian faction. In an instant, the two masters were killed, leaving the middle-aged Dehan and others both stunned, and then issued a roaring roar, You dare to kill my disciples of the Ten Swords, find death, kill, kill them. The middle-aged man exuded a terrifying breath and rushed to the landing. The remaining five great martial arts masters and nine warriors, then killed Xian and Qing. Wu Zong is the first one, just try my strength. El Yu Ming's eyes showed war, and his spear shocked and rushed towards the other party. During this period of retreat, he had gained a lot, his combat power increased sharply, and he himself did not know what level he had reached. I did it twice before, 
once was the warrior of the ninth peak of the Grand Martial Artist, and the other time was the genius of the two peaks of Wuzong, twice, once too weak and once too strong, and could not well test Al Yuming's battle. Force. This Emperor Wuzong has a heavy weight, just right. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. District Warrior, dare to fight with me, die. Middle-aged Wuzong sneered. In his view, El Yuming is purely overstretched and seeking death. Uh. The middle-aged Wuzong's war sword was cut off to landing Ming's head, and he wanted to cut off El Yuming's head with a sword. Buzz. Call out. El Yuming's spear shuddered and stabbed again, and a dazzling spear pierced towards the front. Gun Mang intersects the middle-aged Wuzong's war sword, and the middle-aged Wuzong's complexion changes suddenly. Boom! A sharp, tremendous force of Pang Bo blasted towards the middle-aged Wuzong. The middle-aged Wuzong shook his body and retreated backward, sliding back dozens of meters in the mountains and forests, and the ground was dragged out of a deep gully. Master Warrior, how can there be such a strong force? Middle-aged Wuzong roared in his heart. This is your strength, so why not kill it? El Yuming raised his gun and then killed him. The spear pierced, and a splendid spear burst out. The middle-aged Wuzong did his best, but still lost. After six strokes, El Yuming was shot with a scream and flew out screaming. Uh! El Yuming chased up and the spear fell from top to bottom. Bump! Middle-aged Wuzong screamed again. His body was smashed into the ground and smashed the ground out of a big pit. He was lying in the big pit, with blood constantly spraying from his mouth, making it difficult to move. The figure flashed, and Xian Yanqing appeared next to him. Obviously, the five warriors of the nine heavy warriors had been resolved by her. Middle-aged Wuzong lying in the big pit, looking at the two young men, his eyes were shocked. Where is this young man coming up? It's terrifying, and the fighting power is terrifying. Is it the genius of the Blood Zhao Empire? Middle-aged Wuzong thought so. In the Scorching Empire, he had not heard of such a powerful military martial artist. Unless it is a middle empire like the Blood Zhao Empire, it is normal to have such a genius. Say, what are you doing now, who are you chasing? Where is it? El Yuming stared coldly at middle-aged Wu Zong and asked coldly. Did you go to the key of the Emperor Wu treasure? You want to get it, I tell you, the autumn sky of my ten-party sword faction is in front, and your great martial arts master wants to intervene, really looking for death. Middle-aged Wu Zong was angry. The Emperor Wu treasure key? Is Chu Chong Kong also in front? El Yuming looked a little dignified and puzzled. The head of Lai Huja, Chu Chong Kong, was actually hunting his father. And the Emperor Treasure Key? Is there still the Emperor Wu? Thinking of this, El Yuming was shocked. When Wu Zong went up, he was King Wu, known as the King, and he was extremely powerful. The huge scorching empire, whether there is now a king of martial arts, is a question. Such overlords as Lin Suiai and others did not reach the state of Wu Wang. But if the king of war is compared with the king of war, there will be a difference of tens of thousands of miles. No, even farther, there is no way to compare. The king of war goes up, and there are the three great realms of the three realms of spirit and god. The spirit and the gods go up in three realms. The Emperor Wu, with a crack in his fingers, the sun and the moon have no light, but he is the strongest person in the continent of the gods and the invincible peak. As for the Emperor Wu, there is no higher realm. There are legends, but they have always been legends. The Emperor's treasure key, is it related to the Emperor Wu? El Yuming had to be shocked. El Yuming didn't notice that when Xian Yanqing heard the Emperor Wu treasure key, his eyes flashed with light, full of surprises. So I advise you, let me go quickly, I can hide what happened today, otherwise, your end will be very miserable. Middle-aged Wu Zong threatened. What? But his voice fell, 
and immediately issued a screaming scream, because L. Yu Ming pierced his thigh with a shot. There is so much nonsense, saying, where have you chased, have you chased anyone you chased? L. Yu Ming asked coldly. The middle-aged Wu Zone was cold and sweating, screaming again and again, I said, I said, please don't kill me. He knew that he had encountered a ruthless character today, and he could only serve soft and beg for mercy. Say. L. Yu Ming sneered. From here onwards, it is the masters of the Yunyu Empire who have robbed the people we hunted down, and our people will soon catch up with them. Middle-aged Wu Zong shouted. Yunyu Empire. L. Yu Ming frowned, feeling the situation became more and more complicated, and then asked, How many masters have you come this time? In addition to the autumn sky, there are a total of seven people in the Wu Zong realm, and now there are six people besides me, and there are more than one hundred warriors in the realm of martial arts. The middle-aged Wu Zong answered honestly. I should have said everything. I beg you to let me go. I won't say anything about today. Middle-aged Wu Zong pleaded. Only a fierce light flashed deep in his eyes, secretly calculating, as long as L. Yu Ming let him go, he notified Chu Chong Kong, let L. Yu Ming too dead dead. Leave you alone. There was a sneer in the corner of L. Yu Ming's mouth, the murder flashed, and the spear burst out. Don't. Middle-aged Wu Zong shouted, but at the next moment, his cry stopped abruptly, because his heart had been shattered by L. Yu Ming. I will not leave a trace of hidden dangers. L. Yu Ming smiled lightly. L. Yu Ming, your combat strength is good, and I look forward to stepping on you. Xian Yanqing carefully looked at L. Yu Ming, his eyes showing a blazing glow. L. Yu Ming shivered and quickly diverged the topic, You don't want loot, I want it. After all, L. Yu Ming fumbled on the bodies of the Shi Fangjian faction, and at the same time manipulated the spirit bloodline, secretly swallowing the blood of several people. But here is the blood of a Wu Zone 1000 warrior, L. Yu Ming doesn't want to miss it. After the battle just now, L. Yu Ming had some understanding of his combat power. It's about the peak of Wu Zong's weight, and that middle-aged man is just the early stage of Wu Zong's weight. So under the carelessness, L. Yu Ming was defeated by a few moves. But such fighting power is not enough. Chu Chong Kong is the first of the six heroes, and the fighting power is absolutely terrifying, not to mention that there are other strong Wu Zong. It is difficult to rescue his father. We must constantly improve our strength. Soon, the blood of eight disciples of the Ten Fangjian School was swallowed by L. Yu Ming. In his hand, there are eight more storage rings. Hey, you can't swallow the storage ring alone. I want the storage ring of the Wu Zong warrior. Xian Yanqing shouted. Why? L. Yu Ming did not give it. No, I want to make up. Xian Yanqing grinds his teeth. Okay, but I will practice for a while, you help me protect the Fa. L. Yu Ming said. You, all right. Xian Yanqing gritted his teeth and finally agreed. The two left here and stopped in a valley more than 50 miles away. L. Yu Ming wants to refine his essence and blood, and hit the ninth heavy martial artist. Xian Yanqing snorted coldly, reluctantly giving L. Yu Ming a blow at the mouth of the valley. L. Yu Ming sat cross-legged, running the dragon. Rumble. The blood of Wu Zong, one of the most important warriors, was too rich, and it was continuously transformed into thick energy, which was refined by L. Yu Ming and transformed into true qi. L. Yu Ming began to impact the realm. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. About two hours later, a roar came from L. Yu Ming's body, and a strong breath burst out, and then all of them converged back. The Grand Martial Artist Ninefold, Breakthrough. Not far away, Xian Yanqing's eyes widened in surprise. To be honest, when she first saw L. Yu Ming, she was shocked because L. Yu Ming's cultivation speed was too fast. In the secret realm of the ancestors of the Dong Ai nationality, L. Yu Ming's cultivation base was one weight lower than her, 
and he was only a second-level martial artist. This is only about half a year later. L. Yu Ming's cultivation practice has been elevated to the point of horror. If she hadn't had an adventure in the past six months, the horror has been overtaken by L. Yu Ming. Just now, L. Yu Ming broke through again. She didn't know the magic of L. Yu Ming's biting blood, and was naturally surprised. Okay, let's go. L. Yu Ming smiled and got up to go forward. Xian Yangqing's beautiful eyes stared at Ming Ming, seeming to see him through. The two went deep into the deserted wasteland together. During this period, L. Yu Ming used the Wan Li transfer notes to convey the sound to the royal masters, and he quickly received a response. But L. Yu Ming did not converge with the royal masters, but walked separately. Get together, the goal is too big. At this time, deep in the deserted wilderness, somewhere in the barren forest. Light and shadow moved, a dozen figures in black robes appeared. These dozen people, there are some old people, and some middle-aged men. Among them, there is only one young man in his twenties. But everyone is headed by youth. Well, the ten Fangji unsent people are really lingering, biting like a dog. A middle-aged big man said uncomfortably. Hey! If you don't carry this waste person, how can the Ten Fang Sword School catch up with us? The other big man with a scar on his face said coldly, looking at the other person. This person, with a mess of hair, dragged to the waist, his face full of beard, hanging on his chest, hair and beard like a bird's nest, I do not know how long it has not been washed. Casually wear a worn out shirt with blood on it. His eyes were empty but he stared at the sky stunned, ignoring the scarred man. Seeing this, the scarred big man's eyes flashed with a murderous voice, and gave a deep cry, L. U. Yuntian, don't pretend to be crazy and sell silly in front of us, quickly hand over the emperor's key, tell the whereabouts of the emperor's treasure, otherwise, I will kill you with a knife. This messy man is L. U. Yuntian, L. U. Ming's father, who has disappeared for more than eight years. At this moment, L. Yu Yuntian's eyes moved, as if he had come back to look at the scarred man, revealing disdain, and said, Okay, then kill me quickly. You, you don't think I dare? Damn it, wait for returning to the Yunyu Empire. I want to make you suffer. I don't think you can tell me. The scarred man roared. I have been in the Shi Fangjian school for more than eight years. What means have I not experienced? I have not said, do you think you can do it? L. U. Yuntian's disdain is even stronger. Damn! The muscles of the scarred man's face shivered, making the scar tremble and tremble. He wished to cut L. U. Yuntian with a knife, but L. U. Yuntian had so many secrets in his heart that they must know. They ventured out of L. U. Yuntian for those secrets. Okay, wait to take it back to review slowly. The most important thing now is how to get rid of the pursuit of the Ten Fang Sword School and Chu Chong Kong. An old man with white hair waved. Scarred Han smiled hard at landing Yun Tianyan, and didn't speak again. What if it's catching up? I want to fight Chu Chong Kong. I want to see why Chu Chong Kong is included in the Yundi list. The only young man sneered. The three princes can't be careless. The Yundi list is the strongest list of the younger generation of the 36th Kingdom of Yundi. There are only 36 people on it. Chu Chong Kong can be ranked 36th. The strength is absolutely terrifying. Look around. The old man with white hair advised. But the youth just smiled, and obviously did not care too much. Let's leave here quickly. The white haired old man said. Leave? Can I leave now? Suddenly, a cold drink sounded from the sky. A rainbow light, one horse first, rushed towards this side, followed by six rainbow lights. The white-haired old man suddenly changed color and shouted in horror, Autumn sky, bad, go. No one can go. There was a cold voice in the rainbow in front. Call out. A dazzling sword light flew out, slashing towards the Yunyu Empire. Autumn Sky, I will fight you. The three princes of the Yunyu Empire shouted, 
and with a wave of their hands, a round wheel weapon appeared like a bright moon. The round wheel turned, cutting out the dreaded sharp edge and blasting toward the sword. Boom! With a tremendous roar, the ground was swept by the two men's sharp edge, and a gully of 100 meters appeared. Uh! As the space moved, a slender figure appeared in the air. Twenty-five or sixteen years old, his face is cold and handsome, like a peerless sharp sword, and a swordsman robe moves with the wind. This is the autumn sky, the first of the six heroes in the scorching sun, even in the entire Yundi mountain area, it is a famous genius and ranked in the Yundi list. Yin Zhuyu, it turns out to be you. Chu Chong Kong glanced, said. Ha ha, autumn sky, if there is a great chance, I want to swallow alone, I can't agree with Yin Zhuyu. Yun Yu the three princes of Yunyu Empire, laughed. Dare to move my autumn sky, only die. As soon as the death word fell, Chu Chong Kong started to work, and a brilliant sword spirit rose into the sky. He and the whole person merged with the sword and slayed towards Yin Zhuyu. Autumn sky, I want to see today, why are you on the Yundi list? Yin Zhuyu Chong Xiao, with the autumn sky battle. The fighting power of the two is extremely terrifying, and it is a lot stronger than Feng Wuji and others. Boom! Boom! The two were fighting in the high altitude, as two streamers kept banging on each other, and in a blink of an eye, they fought to the depths of the deserted wilderness and disappeared here. Kill! At this time, the strong Wu Zong of the Ten Party Sword faction also arrived and killed the people of the Yunyu Empire. At the scene, caught in a dogfight. Soon, the warriors of the realm of the Ten Fangjian sent the great martial arts rushers, making the scene even more chaotic. Be careful, don't kill Lu Yuntian. Ten Fangjian sent an elder to drink. The purpose of the war between the two parties is to compete for Lu Yuntian, so during the war, they avoided Lu Yuntian, fearing that they would kill him by mistake, and everything would be empty. The battle between the two parties was extremely fierce, but Lu Yuntian was left aside. Beyond the number here, Lu Mingzheng and Xianianqing went all out. Suddenly, the two heard a violent roar from the front. Someone is fighting, do the people of the Tenth Sword School have already caught up with my father? Let's go. Lu Ming's face changed slightly, and he rushed towards the place of war. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Xianian Qing was close behind, and for a few miles, for the two of them, it was an instant. Thousands of kilometers away from the battlefield, the two lurked in a pile of rocks, watching from afar. L. Yu Ming saw the messy figure in his hair at a glance. Father. L. Yu Ming was shocked. Although I haven't seen it for more than eight years, although Lu Yuntian has a messy hair and beard and is wearing a tattered dress, Lu Ming still recognizes it at a glance. This man is his father, Lu Yuntian. Damn ten party sword faction, actually tortured my father like this. Lu Ming's eyes revealed Ling Yun's murderous opportunity. How can I save my dad? Later, Lu Ming pondered. The Ten Party Sword Faction and the Yunyu Empire, the two sides add up to more than a dozen Wuzong Realm strongmen, and even two Wuzong Quadruple strongmen in the fierce battle. Among so many strongmen, it is impossible to save Lu Yuntian. It is impossible to get close at all. Once you get close, you will be discovered. And even if you can get close, you can't take away Lu Yuntian quietly. Once you are found, you will have to face the chase and killing of the two parties. In the face of such a powerful force, there is only one death. How to do? L. Yu Ming thought anxiously. After more than eight years, he finally found his father, and now he is not far ahead, but he cannot save him. At this moment, L. Yu Ming hated himself very much, hated his strength is too weak. I can save your father. Suddenly, Xian Yanqing whispered around him. What? Can you save my father? Really? L. Yu Ming was shocked and asked. Of course it is true, you believe it or not, 
forget it. Xian Yanqing gave him a blank look. No, I believe, I believe, if you can really save my father, I will do whatever you want me to do. L. Yu Ming sincerely said. Well, don't think about it. I saved your father to avoid your impulse, rushed out, and died here. How can I fulfill my promise and step you under your feet? Xian Yanqing sneered. L. Yu Ming touched his nose with a wry smile and said, How do you want to save my father? You also see it. Once they find out that my father was rescued, they will definitely stop fighting and try to kill us. I will use a mysterious technique called the magic of the celestial demon, which can condense a phantom that is exactly like your father. If I stay there, I can steal the beam and replace the pillar to save your father. Xian Yanqing explained. There are such mysterious mysteries. L. Yu Ming marveled. It's just a little skill, it's your ignorance. Xian Yanqing gave L. Yu Ming a disdainful look, his mouth slightly raised, revealing a trace of triumph. Wait for me here. When L. Yu Ming hadn't responded yet, Xian Yanqing's figure floated toward the front like a ghost. There was a layer of black mist on her body, which could not be distinguished in the night. Soon, Xian Yanqing was approaching L. Yu Yuntian. At this moment, L. Yu Ming's heartbeat accelerated, and his heart almost jumped into his throat. In the end, Xian Yanqing appeared quietly behind L. Yu Yuntian, a layer of black mist drifted toward the landing Yuntian. As soon as the black mist moved, L. Yu Yuntian's figure disappeared without a trace, but the next moment, L. Yu Yuntian reappeared in that position. But no one found that L. Yu Yuntian, who appeared later, had a dull look in his eyes. Xian Yanqing was filled with black mist and drifted towards landing Ming quickly. Seven or eight breaths came to L. Yu Ming. Go away, my celestial phantom can only persist for a moment, after a moment, it will disappear, and the other party will find out. Xian Yanqing's voice sounded. The black mist dissipated, revealing the figure of Xian Yanqing, and another figure, not L. Yu Yuntian, who could it be? Go. L. Yu Ming suppressed the excitement in his heart, pulled L. Yu Yuntian, performed a volley step, and Xian Yanqing hurried away outside the barren forest. Now, it is not a place to reminisce, it is now necessary to stay away from it. At the same time, L. Yu Ming sent a message to the masters of the royal family with thousands of miles of notes. The two are very fast, and in the dark, they are almost invisible to the naked eye. Half an hour later, the two had reached 200 miles away and stopped in a hidden mountain stream. This mountain stream was discovered inadvertently when L. Yu Ming came and was extremely secretive. His message to the masters of the royal family was about to meet here. After all, L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing are not Wu Zong, and they cannot fly in the air. If they take the landing to Yuntian, they will catch up, and it will not be long before they will be caught up by Wu Zong of the Fangjian sect. Only with the help of the royal family can L. Yu Yuntian be rescued. The two are young, is it also for the Emperor Wu Qi? I persuade the two to die this heart, Chu Chong Kong exhausted all means, did not succeed, you are the same. At this time, L. Yu Yuntian glanced at L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing, and said lightly. But Xian Yanqing didn't say anything, L. Yu Ming didn't say anything, just stared at Yuntian in a daze. Slowly, L. Yu Ming's eyes burst into tears and whispered, Dad. L. Yu Yuntian's body shuddered suddenly, his original eyes suddenly gleamed brightly, staring at the landing clankingly, and said, You, what do you call me? Dad? This is Ming'er, Daddy. L. Yu Ming reached out and brushed his face, revealing a beautiful face, and restored his original appearance. Looking at L. Yu Ming Ming's face, L. Yu Yuntian's body trembled violently. More than eight years ago, L. Yu Ming was less than ten years old, and because of his frailty and sickness, his appearance was very different from the present. However, the outline would not change and the feeling between father and son would not disappear. L. Yu Yuntian immediately recognized L. Yu Ming. Naruto, Naruto, really you, really you, I didn't have a dream. L. Yu Yuntian stared at the landing, 
his voice trembled, and he kept whispering, his eyes were full of surprises and incredible colors. He never dreamed that he would meet Liu Ming here. Dad, it's me, Ming'er is here to save you. Liu Ming intuitively felt sore nose and tears in his eyes. Ha ha, Ming'er, Ming'er, there are eyes in the sky, I can't think of me in my lifetime, but also meet Ming'er, and die without regret. Liu Yuntian sighed, tears streaming out. The boy did not flick with tears, but only when he was sad. Naruto, you're so grown in a blink of an eye, let me take a good look. Liu Yuntian rested his hands on Ming's shoulders and looked carefully. Ming'er, you can finally practice, and you have become a great master. Liu Yuntian's face was full of smiles, said. Dad, you, your cultivation behavior. At this time, Liu Ming discovered that Liu Yuntian's body had no real qi fluctuations, and his body was weak and lacked blood, even an ordinary person. My practice is long gone. Liu Yuntian smiled. Abolished, who is it? Daddy, was it done by people from the Ten Fangjian faction, it, it? Liu Ming's eyes were red, and Ling Xian's murderous radiated from his body. Minger, don't be impulsive. It's a blessing that our father and son can meet each other. The Ten Party Sword faction is too strong. That's how it matters. Liu Yuntian said. But Liu Ming was twitching in his heart. He knew that Liu Yuntian was worried about his safety, afraid of his impulse, and partying with Shi Fangjian. Daddy, who is it? Is it the entire Ten Faction Sword School, or someone else? Who is the mastermind? L. Yu Ming asked. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. L. Yu Yuntian wanted to do this, but he couldn't, no matter who he was, he would have to revenge ten times and one hundred times. If there is no revenge, is it still a man? He wanted to hurt L. Yu Yuntian's people, and the ending was ten times more miserable than L. Yu Yuntian. Liu Yuntian pondered for a while, and said, Minger, I tell you it is okay, but you must not be impulsive, this person is not your enemy, you promise me, I will tell you. Dad, I promise you that I won't risk death before I have enough strength. Liu Ming said. Okay, let me tell you, this person is. At this time. Uh. Uh. The sound of breaking the sky sounded and in the mountain stream, four figures rushed in. These four are all grey-haired old men, and their breath is very rich, all of which are masters above Wu Zong. Liu Ming's eyes moved, and a piece of ten thousand miles of musical notes appeared in his hand. One of the chubby old men in grey linen had a smile on his face, and a mile-long note appeared in his hand. Mr. Tianyun, long admiring his name, I didn't expect you to really save Ling Zun under the eyes of Chu Chong Kong, which is really admirable. The chunky old man clenched his fists. Senior is polite, it's just a fluke. This time I have to trouble Senior, and send us back to the capital. L. Yu Ming clenched his fists. You're welcome, it's a trivial matter, and it's not too late. Let's start as soon as possible. If the people of the Ten Fangjian School find this place, it will be trouble," said the chunky old man. Liu Ming nodded. At this time. Call out. Call out. In the distant sky, there were bursts of air breaking, and several figures crossed the sky and went away instantly. Liu Ming sees clearly that those figures are exactly the Wuzong strongmen of the Ten Fangjian School. Ten Fangjian sent so fast. The chunky old man's complexion changed greatly. Liu Ming's face also gloomy. This mountain stream is very concealed, surrounded by bushes and weeds, so the people of the Ten Fangjian faction did not find it just now, but after a long time, it will definitely be found. What should we do? If we go out like this, we will definitely be discovered. If Chu Chong Kong arrives, neither of us will be his opponent. Another old man said solemnly. Several seniors, would you please take Minger and let them go, Chu Chong Kong they want me, 
I will lead them away. Lu Yuntian said. No, Dad, it's not easy to save you back, how could you fall into the hands of Chu Chong Kong and others? Lu Ming said firmly. Even if he died, he would no longer let Lu Yuntian fall into the hands of the Shi Fangjian faction and be tortured. With a wave of his hand, the real energy surged, and the worn out clothes worn by Lu Yuntian fell into Lu Ming's hands. Lu Yuntian's face changed drastically and said, Minger, no. Others' faces also changed. Several seniors, I went out to lead them away. You took my father back to the imperial capital and handed my father to his royal highness the eighth prince. Lu Ming said to several old men. Minger, this is definitely not going to work, I don't agree. Lu Yuntian gave a low roar. Lu Ming smiled slightly and said, Dad, you can rest assured that Minger will be fine, we will see you all. Wait a minute, I will go with you. On the edge, Xian Yanqing said suddenly. You go together. Lu Ming looked at Xian Yanqing. Hey, don't think about it, I'm afraid you are dead, I can't fulfill my promise, and how can you lead the people of the Ten Swords, you don't forget, your father's cultivation is invalid, you run it's too fast, I don't wear it all at once, or let me take you away. Xian Yanqing pouted. Okay, just do it. It's my favor. Lu Ming said. Cut, who wants your favor? Xian Yanqing sneered. Daddy, take care. After all, Lu Ming will rush out. Naruto, no, come back. Lu Yuntian growled. But his cultivation practice was lost, and Lu Ming and Xian Yanqing came out of the mountain stream wherever they could catch up with Lu Ming. Out of the mountain stream, Lu Ming put on Lu Yuntian's clothes. I will take you away. Xian Yanqing pulled Lu Ming, unfolded his body, and ran towards the depths of the deserted wasteland. To attract the people of the Ten Fang Sword School, it is natural to lead into the depths of the lonely wasteland, so that Lu Yuntian can get away smoothly. After a few miles. Here, I saw them. A roar rang out in the lonely wasteland. Uh. Uh. There were several figures hurriedly chasing them towards the landing. It is the warrior of several heavy martial artists. We run together. Lu Ming pretends to be pulled by Xian Yanqing. In fact, he has shown his way of doing things. The two of them like a gust of wind go towards the depths of the deserted wasteland. The warriors of the ninth heavy martial arts master could not catch up at all, and they were far from each other. In a flash. Dozens of miles passed. Who dares to rob my ten party sword faction, find death? At this time, the sky exploded, and the sound of breaking the sky rang, and Wu Zong Yukong walked and came after him. Lu Ming and Xian Yanqing didn't pay any attention, and ran their teeth. In this way, running a full distance of hundreds of miles. Call out! Call out! At this time, there were six figures in the sky, which were the six Wuzongs of the Ten Fangjian School. At this time, they are getting closer and closer to Lu Ming. No matter how fast they are, they are still worse than Yukong, and they are slowly caught up. Call out! Call out! Two swords of gas slashed towards the landing Ming too, and the two flashed and fled, and they all escaped. After a while, it was more than a hundred miles away dead. At this time, an old man had already approached Lu Ming. This old man has a very strong aura on his body, and he is a powerful Wuzong strongman of the Ten Fangjian school. His face was cold, and the sword of war was wielding. They completely enveloped the two. Not good, block it. Lu Ming growled, and behind him appeared four ancient shields. And Xian Yanqing also gave a sip waved and shot, and a lot of black lotus appeared, blocking behind. Bump! Bump! The ancient shield exploded in succession with the black lotus, and the strong energy burst forth. With this force, Lu Ming and Xian Yanqing rushed forward thousands of kilometers. You are not Lu Yuntian, we are fooled. 
The old man gave an earth-shattering roar. Haha, now I found out that it was too late. My people took the landing to the sky and had already left the dead wilderness. You gangsters! L. Yu Ming laughed. Damn, damn, L. Yu Yuntian ran away, then kill you. The old man roared and continued to chase after landing. After chasing for a while, he cut out another sword. However, L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing made heavy efforts, resisting with a shield and a black lotus, and rushing forward. The old man in the sky almost vomited blood, and he was also shocked. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing know that only the master martial artist Zhu Hong has done it. Not only is it unbelievably fast, but even the ability to defend you is terrifying. Although there was a distance, it was terrifying enough to block his sword energy. Wu Zong is fourfold, really powerful. L. Yu Ming's eyes were solemn. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. In fact, he and Xian Yanqing were both uncomfortable, and both were injured, and blood bleed from their mouths. They gritted their teeth and ran forward. Soon, he ran hundreds of miles. No, the blood demon cave is ahead. The elders of the Ten Swords screamed. Quickly stop, enter the blood demon cave, you will die. Quickly stop them and ask Al Yu Yuntian whereabouts. Others from the Ten Fang Swords shouted. Not far ahead, thick fog shrouded, blood mist transpiration, boundless. At a glance, it is the place of great evil. Blood Demon Cave. L. Yu Ming frowned, he hadn't heard of it. Looking at Xian Yanqing, she also looked blank. Don't care anymore, people who look at the Ten Fang Sword School seem very afraid, the more dangerous the place, the more they can get away. L. Yu Ming decided to rush in. The castration kept on, rushing towards the Blood Devil's Cave. Damn! Damn, stop them. The elders of the ten faction swords roared again and again, desperately slashing a sword, but instead accelerated the speed of the two Lu Ming. Stay. Suddenly, there was a rage in the sky, and a glazed sword light came from the sky, terrifying. Master Sky Master. People from the ten fang swords shouted excitedly. Not good. Lu Ming and Xian Yanqing changed their faces suddenly. Although this sword spirit is still far away from each other, its power is to surpass that of Wu Zong's fourfold old man. Without hesitation, L. Yu Ming broke out his bleeding veins, and at the same time he condensed four ancient shields, and then burst out with a palm. Humane palm. A huge imprint of the palm, into the trend of wind and fire, boomed forward. Xian Yanqing was covered with black lotus in front of him, and took three black palm prints. Heavenly Demon Handprint. Call out. Jian Guang arrived in an instant, and the first was the collision with the humane palm print and the heavenly demon handprint. In a flash of sword, the bright, crystal clear light of Chu Chang Kong's sword spirit was even stronger, and the light shone across the sky. The palm prints made by L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing were washed away and continued to blast on the defensive martial arts of the two. Bump. Bump. Two violent roars, L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing shook their bodies, snorted, and a spit of blood spewed out, while the body flew backwards, crossing a kilometer in an instant. Into the Blood Devil's Cave. L. Yu Ming growled, and Xian Yanqing shot the palm forward again, and the strong force made the two retreat backwards. At the next moment, the two figures disappeared into the mist of the demon cave, and no trace was seen. Uh. Uh. Six figures appeared and stopped outside the Blood Demon Cave. Immediately afterwards, a sword flashed over, and Chu Chang Kong's figure also appeared here. However, his face was extremely gloomy, and his eyes were fixed on the Blood Area Demon Cave in front. Master Kong, don't be impulsive! An old man shouted, fearing that Chu Chang Kong was impulsive and rushed in. Blood Domain Demon Cave, the legendary Jedi unless there is a Wu Wang Shi way, otherwise rush into it, only die. Under the king of war, no one ever came out alive. 
Chu Chong Kong was silent for a while, and he did not rush in after all. You left a few people to stay here, if the two really came out, don't talk about killing. Chu Chong Kong ordered. Yes. Several others should bow down. Hey, Lu Yuntian, no matter who saved you, no matter where you are hiding, I will find you out. Chu Cheng Kong's voice was unusually cold, like a ruthless blade. Immediately, Chu Chong Kong stepped out and disappeared in a blink of an eye. Two people followed Chu Chong Kong, leaving four people waiting here. As soon as L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing rushed into the Blood Devil's Devil's Cave, they felt a whirlwind. After they stabilized, they found that they were in a desolate land. The ground is not grassy, and there is mist floating in the air, looking around, but found that there is no direction at all, and I don't know from which side I came in. This time I'm tired of you. L. Yu Ming looked at Xian Yanqing and sighed. Don't think about it. My purpose is to put you under my feet. Xian Yanqing said coldly. L. Yu Ming smiled bitterly, Xian Yanqing's temper was so weird, he couldn't figure it out. But in any case, this time I lost Xian Yanqing, otherwise I would like to save L. Yu Yuntian, it is definitely not so easy. Let's find a place to heal. L. Yu Ming said. Previously, they had continuously blocked the bombardment of Wuzong's quadruple powerhouses, as well as Chu Chang Kong's sword. Both of them were seriously injured. Humph! Xian Yanqing snorted, chose a direction at random, and walked forward. L. Yu Ming kept up. Previously, in the desolate wasteland, although desolate, there were still creatures. But here, there was absolutely nothing, the ground was reddish brown. There wasn't even a hay, the bare piece. The two went along the way and walked for dozens of miles, all around the same. There is no direction, no souls, no way to know where to go. Let's heal first. L. Yu Ming said. This time, Xian Yanqing didn't refute, the two sat down on the spot, Yungong healing. But at the next moment, L. Yu Ming opened his eyes. Because he feels that there is no aura of heaven and earth between heaven and earth, only a tyrannical and violent breath. Aside, Xian Yanqing was also somewhat uncertain. Immediately, the two took out the spiritual crystal and began to absorb the aura in the spiritual crystal to heal. Half a day later, the two's injuries have improved a lot, and continue to move forward. At this time, the two found that the blood mist around them was much thicker than before and the visibility around them was greatly reduced. With the cultivation of the two, they can only see a distance of hundreds of meters, and even further away, it is hazy. The two heightened their vigilance and moved on. As time passed, the mist became thicker and thicker. The visibility of the two fell from hundreds of meters to 100 meters, then 80 meters, 60 meters, 50 meters. Roar! At this time, a roar came from a distance. The two looked dignified. There are souls in the mist. I didn't touch one before for so long, but now it suddenly appears, full of weirdness. The two were highly concentrated and did not continue to move forward. They stopped and looked around. The mist is getting thicker and thicker, and the mist is like substance, like dark red blood. Roar! Roar! Around him, there were more and more roars, more and more dense, I don't know how many. Roar. Suddenly, there was a roar next to the two, a fierce anger burst out, the blood mist turned, and a whitish-white claw caught Xian and Qing. This claw, like the palm of a person, has long nails and sharp edges like a blade, and the arms are covered with green hair. Xian and Qing's face changed, and with a wave of his hand, a black lotus appeared blossoming petals flew out, and hit the pale white claws. Kang! Kang! The black lotus petals hit the pale white claws, and actually made the sound of gold and iron clashes, and Mars was shining. It was not cut off. But this blow also caused the pale white claws to retract, and the fog was tumbling, and the two seemed to see a tall figure and went away in an instant. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com 
update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. The two men's faces were more dignified. This blood area demon cave was too weird. The two played a twelve-point spirit and looked around. Roar! Behind, there was another wretched white arm with green hair, which caught L. Yu Ming. Bump! L. Yu Ming's spear was drawn out, grabbed in this hand, and with a touch, L. Yu Ming saw a figure being pumped away. Around, the roar was constant, some were full of fierce before, some, but like a scream of pain. Call! Blood mist raged and a tall figure slammed toward the landing. Before it arrived, a smell came over. This is... L. Yu Ming finally saw the whole picture of the monster. Adult type, with an unusually tall body, two heads taller than L. Yu Ming, green hair all over his body, blood red eyes and sharp teeth. Is this blood stiffness? L. Yu Ming was shocked. The so-called blood stiffness is a kind of zombie after the warrior died after a specific reason, but the whole body is invulnerable and extremely powerful. Without thinking about it, the spear pierced forward like Chong Hong. Puff! The spear pierced through the blood stiff body, but L. Yu Ming was not happy. Because he felt a blood stiff body, it was like an iron man. Although he pierced the blood stiff body, he lost a lot of energy. Buzz. The lance shocked and flew out the blood stiffness. But the roar continued, and there was a constant blood stiffness rushing towards the two. Some blood stiffness actually killed each other. Move back! L. Yu Ming cried. The two rushed to the rear, but the rear was still the same, blood stiffness rushed constantly, fearless to death, roaring constantly, full of shame, and constantly rushing towards the two. These blood stiffness is very strong, and the weakest is also the strength of the 7th and 8th heavy martial arts. The strongest is definitely at the peak of the 9th heavy martial arts, even approaching Wu Zong's combat power. The key is that there are too many, and it is difficult to kill, and the two suddenly fall into a passive state. Heavenly Demon Hand Print Xianianqing is filled with black true energy. A lot of black lotus flowers are flying around the body, his palms are waving, and the black palm marks fly out, flying one after another. L. Yu Ming's long gun flew, like a fire dragon, swept away, that is, five or six blood zombies flew out. But more blood zombies are coming. The two fought while shocking. But blood stiffness seemed to be endless, pouring from all around. The war continued in this way, more than an hour passed in a blink of an eye. The true energy of the two disappeared very much, and it was already sweating. If you can't go on like this, you will definitely die in exhaustion. L. Yu Ming thought quickly. Hey? The mist has faded. Suddenly, L. Yu Ming's eyes lit up. He found the mist around him faded, and the visibility gradually increased. Indistinctly, he saw blood stiffness in all directions, most of the blood stiffness actually killed each other biting each other. The mist has faded, and maybe these blood stiffnesses will recede. L. Yu Ming guessed. Because when they first came in, the blood fog was not thick and there was no blood stiffness, and then the blood stiffness appeared after the blood mist became thicker. L. Yu Ming guessed that the appearance of blood stiffness should be related to these blood mists. As time passed, the mist slowly faded. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing saw hope. But the next moment. Roar. An earth shattering roar came out, and the earth was trembling, and the earth was trembling, and in the distance, an unimaginable blood was filled. L. Yu Ming took a closer look, and his heart was beating fast. What kind of blood is there? It is obviously a behemoth. The behemoth had a height of at least 100 meters, like a mountain, running wildly on the earth. It looks like a huge male lion. The difference is that his whole body is formed by blood condensation, exuding a strong smell. It opened its mouth and screamed, screaming into the sky, and a breath like an abyss filled the sea. Then, he opened his mouth and sucked a blood stiffness into it, and disappeared. Blood demon, is this the legendary blood demon? Xianyanqing's voice trembled slightly. Not only her voice, 
but El Yuming felt that even her body was shaking. Go away! El Yuming took Xian Yangqing's little hand and ran back in a big step. This blood demon, too strong, has an unpredictable breath like the sea. They simply cannot compete. The two ran wild, and the blood stiffness on the side seemed to be terrified. They gave up attacking El Yuming and Xian Yanqing, and ran wildly. Roar! The earth and the earth were shaking, and the huge body of the blood demon ran towards landing Ming. No way! El Yuming felt bitter in his heart and used the strength of breastfeeding to run wildly, but the speed was still different from that of the blood demon. In a blink of an eye, the blood demon approached the two, blood red eyes, staring at them dully. Don't you die here today? El Yuming couldn't help thinking. No, I can't die. I just rescued my father. I haven't avenged him. I can't die. El Yuming shouted, with a firm look in his eyes, and his whole body was highly concentrated. Humanity Palm! El Yuming shouted and burst out. This palm made El Yuming's state reach its peak. Boom! A huge palm print is condensed out. The palm print is like a substance, which is twice as large as before. At the moment of life and death, El Yuming's humane palm actually broke through and reached the third level. Earlier, El Yuming worked hard in Daiyuan Cave and Kamikaze Valley for several months before breaking through to the second level. At this time, when he was alive, he broke through again. The humane palm of the third level is unprecedentedly powerful, striking the blood demon like a row of mountains and seas. Roar! The blood demon roared, and there was some disdain in his eyes, a mouth roared, a beam of blood spewed out, and hit the human palm. Puff! If the bubble is punctured, the humane palm of the third level is directly destroyed. The difference in strength is too great, and it is not a martial art that can make up for it. Roar! The blood demon roared and slammed towards the two. The blood basin opened wide, and a horrible suction was generated. Both El Yuming and Xian Yanqing had no resistance, and they were sucked into the blood demon's mouth and disappeared. Roar! The blood demon heart contented with a long roar, and continued to fight those blood stiffness. Seize! As soon as he entered the mouth of the blood demon, El Yuming grabbed Xian Yanqing's little hand, and the two of them followed the powerful attraction and went down. Don't let me go! At this time, Xian Yanqing's face was pale, and her eyes were full of horror, her hands clenched El Yuming's palm tightly. At this time, she is just like an ordinary little girl, fragile and pampering. Stop it, don't give up until the last minute! El Yuming yelled, he was really angry and wanted to get rid of that gravity, but it was useless, that gravity was too strong. After a few breaths, the two fell into a soft place, surrounded by a thick mist. This mist has a terrifying and corrosive power. As soon as the two fell, they felt hot skin pain. The two immediately operated the Chi Chi bodyguard, but there was not much effect at all, and the Chi Chi was rapidly consumed. After the battle between the two, the true Chi was not much. After a while, the true Chi was consumed. The blood red Yuvio gas began to corrode the flesh of the two. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Puff! Xian Yanqing suddenly spouted blood, his body wobbled and his face pale. With stand! El Yuming shouted. But Xian Yanqing shook his body, his eyes flickered, and said in his mouth, El Yuming, I want to step on you. After speaking, his body fell into a coma when he became soft. El Yuminki wanted to laugh, this woman, thinking about it at this time. The corrosive mist around makes the skin burn and sting. And this mist will also penetrate into the skin, making people fall asleep. Did this time really die here? El Yuming thought of it secretly, but there was infinite unwillingness in his heart. However, the body is really getting weaker and weaker, and the spirit is getting scarcer. Ah! I want to withstand, I want to go out alive, I want to set foot on the peak of martial arts. 
El Yuming roared in his heart and tried his best to contend. It is not his character to give in. But this mist is too weird and too strong to be useful without yielding. When El Yuming was about to fall into a coma, the world suddenly turned around, and the sky turned around, and El Yuming found that he appeared in another place. The Supreme Temple, here is the Supreme Temple. El Yuming was a little surprised and puzzled. Wasn't the Supreme Temple unable to enter when he was in crisis? He has tried it many times before, and he tried it before, it's useless, but I didn't expect it to come in automatically now. However, El Yuming looked around and was a little surprised. He found that he was not on the first three platforms, but on the top of the platform, below, there were long rows of steps leading to the bottom. On the other side, there is a palace, exactly the same as the palace he had seen on the first three platforms. Xian Yanqing was lying next to him, still in a coma. How can I appear at the highest place? El Yuming was a little surprised and looked at the palace. The gate of the palace was open, and it was dim, and there was a figure sitting cross-legged. Suddenly, the figure moved, actually got up and walked out. Stepping on. As the footsteps sounded, El Yuming's heart also jumped. It has been more than two years since I got the Supreme Temple, and El Yuming is very curious about the palace and the figures in the palace. He always wanted to see what was happening, but unfortunately he couldn't walk up, only to give up. Now, is it finally possible? Tread. With a slight footstep, a figure came out. This is a middle-aged man wearing a red jersey with a sun embroidered on it. He is extremely tall and majestic, with his back on his back and his eyes open, as if he can see two rounds of the sun appear. The breath he radiated from him was as deep as the vast universe. He stood at will and swallowed wildly and looked at the world. Facing him, El Yuming seemed to be facing the whole world. But at the next moment, the breath of the middle-aged man disappeared. Like a mortal, his eyes looked at El Yuming, a little complicated. El Yuming froze for a while before stepping forward, saluting with fists and saying, Late El Yuming, see him. You don't need to introduce, I have been following you for several years. The middle-aged man's voice sounded, full of domineering. Really? El Yuming thought to himself, and then said, This time, I would like to thank my senior for his help. Don't be happy, originally, I didn't want to save you, I just didn't want to waste a drop of essential blood in Kowloon. The middle-aged man laughed casually. Then, he looked at El Yuming carefully and said, Are you curious, wondering who I am? Where is this place? Yes, please tell seniors. El Yuming said. He is indeed very curious. Most of his achievements today are due to the Supreme Temple. Okay, I can tell you. Middle-aged man said, carrying his hands behind him, then walked back and forth a few steps, seems to be thinking. Half-sounding, the middle-aged man said, I am the Supreme Zhuyang. What? El Yuming was physically and mentally shocked, his pupils widened, revealing an incredible look. Are you the Supreme Master of Nine Yangs in Emperor Tianjing Palace? El Yuming asked. Besides me, is there a second Zhuyang Supreme? Middle-aged man said coldly. El Yuming took a breath, and he was horrified. Without him, Zhuyang Supreme is too big to come by. El Yuming has long heard of the reputation of Zhuyang Supreme, but for him, Zhuyang Supreme is just a legendary figure. Zhuyang Supreme, from Emperor Tian Shen Palace, is a disciple of Emperor Tian Shen Palace Emperor and Emperor Wu. He is known as the Supreme Master of Nine Yangs, cultivated infinitely close to the Emperor Wu realm, and is the invincible god of war in the Emperor Tian Shen Palace. Such a character, in just a few fingers, the 36th Empire of Yundi will be wiped out. Hiding in such a palace? Seemingly seeing El Yuming's doubts, Zhu Yang Supreme sighed and said, What you are seeing now is not my body. I am actually dead. This is just a ray of my remaining soul. What? Are you dead? El Yuming is unbelievable. 
with Zhu Yang Supreme's cultivation practice and combat strength, who can kill him? Even the Emperor Wu might not be able to kill him. Yes, I'm dead. It's my master who killed me, the Emperor of Emperor Tian Shen Palace, Emperor Yu Wu Emperor. Zhu Yang Supreme coldly said. L. Yu Ming was shocked, a little dumbfounded. Zhu Yang Supreme was actually killed by his master, Emperor Yu Wu, how is this possible? You must be surprised. Zhu Yang Supreme sneered. Good, quite unexpected. L. Yu Ming did not conceal. Ha ha ha, what's so unexpected, the old man Di Yi, is just a treacherous villain, and everything can be done. Zhu Yang Supreme laughed, his voice full of resentment, and monstrous murderous opportunities. Boy, do you want to know why Emperor Yi's old man would kill me, and why would you wake up the Zhulong bloodline? Zhu Yang Supreme Road Kowloon bloodline? Is my bloodline called Kowloon bloodline? But, what is Kowloon? L. Yu Ming was full of doubts, and of course nodded again and again. Okay, then I will tell you the original. Zhu Yang Supreme said, and then he explained the whole matter in detail. In Kowloon, there is a very ancient and tyrannical life between heaven and earth. The legend is that it is a kind of true dragon. A true dragon, with five claws, is called a five-claw true dragon. In Kowloon, there are nine claws, terrifying terror, invincible and invincible, and ordinary real dragons are too far apart. It is said that from ancient times to the present, only one Kowloon has appeared between heaven and earth. There is an ancient Jedi in the Shenhuang continent, which is said to be the ruins of Kowloon, which is extremely dangerous. With its powerful strength and terrifying blood, Zhu Yang Supreme has gone through the ruins of Kowloon once and obtained something. Among them, including two drops of Kowloon essence blood. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Although Zhu Yang Supreme came out of the Kowloon ruins successfully and brought back two drops of Kowloon essence blood, he was also injured himself. But what made him dream was that his master, Emperor Yu Wu Emperor shot him suddenly, severely wounded him, and deprived him of the blood of Zhu Yang. In addition, two drops of Kowloon essence blood were also captured by Emperor Yu Wu. However, Emperor Yi Huang still underestimated the Zhu Yang Supreme. The Zhu Yang Supreme's bloodline is a god-level bloodline. The mysterious mystery is infinite. At a critical moment, the Zhu Yang Supreme explodes the flesh and bloodline, and carries the Supreme Shrine with a ray of residual soul. And escaped. At the same time, it also brought out a drop of Kowloon Essence blood. Later, he turned the Supreme Temple into a bronze pendant to avoid the pursuit of the Emperor and Emperor Wu. After decades, he finally fell into the hands of L. Yu Yuntian. Ha ha ha, I now finally understand that Emperor Yi's hypocritical person accepted me as a disciple and preached my martial arts. From the beginning, he was a conspiracy. From the beginning, he planned to deprive me of the blood of Zhu Yang. He wanted to use me the bloodline of Zhu Yang struck that supreme realm. Despicable, insidious, the most insidious thing in the world is the old guy of Dai Ai. The Zhu Yang Supreme hysterical roar, his eyes filled with cold and biting murderous opportunities. Are you deprived of blood? L. Yu Ming whispered, looking at Zhu Yang Supreme, he couldn't help but feel some sympathy. How is Zhu Yang Supreme similar to what he experienced? The difference is that Zhu Yang Supreme is deprived of blood by people he respects, and he is deprived of blood by loved ones. Boy. You should know by now that the reason why you can reawaken the bleeding veins after the blood veins are taken is because I melted that drop of Kowloon essence blood into your body. The reason why I did that is because your experience is similar to mine and touched me. I want to cultivate you and cultivate you to be a peerless genius and a superpower, so that you can lay down the stairs in the Supreme Temple to let you growing up step by step, it's a pity that Bai Tai disappointed me, has a good talent, and act recklessly. Just now, you almost died. Do you know? Zhu Yang Supreme roared, answering L. Yu Ming's long-standing doubts. L. Yu Ming suddenly realized, 
but he smiled bitterly. The reason why he is in desperation is to save his father. If he can come back, he will still do so. Boy, take the Supreme Temple for refuge, this is not the case. The Supreme Temple is not a place for you to take refuge. How can you become a peerless powerhouse without facing the hardship of life and death? At the time, you can't come in. Zhu Yang Supreme's eyes were bright. L. Yu Ming was suddenly again, it turned out that every time the war, cannot enter the Supreme Temple, because Zhu Yang Supreme refused to let him in. L. Yu Ming nodded, which was exactly what he wanted. Every peerless strongman has been tempered by continuous life and death. Boy, now that you have integrated into the essence of Zhulong, and awakened the veins of Zhulong, it's amazing and can evolve continuously. I don't know what step I can reach. It's a limitless future. Zhu Yang Supreme Road. Thank you for your success. L. Yu Ming clenched his fists in salute, his face could not help showing a happy look. In Kowloon, there is a greater horror than a real dragon. Now that L. Yu Ming knows it, he is naturally happy. Zhu Yang Supreme glanced at L. Yu Ming and said with a sneer, Boy, don't be too happy too soon and you won't be in trouble soon. L. Yu Ming stunned and said, What do seniors say? I got a total of two drops of Zhulong Jinx Yu, and one drop fell into the hands of Emperor Yi. With the cultivation of Emperor Yi, I must have refined Zhulong Jinx Yu. Zhulong Jinx Yu can sense each other, you are still weak, and the Emperor can't sense you. According to my estimation, as soon as you break through the Wuzong realm, the Emperor can sense you in a moment. You will inevitably be deprived of blood again. Zhu Yang Supreme Road L. Yu Ming's face changed greatly. Is there such a thing? What kind of person is Emperor Yu Huang, the pinnacle of power on the continent of Shen Huang, a party hegemon who really wants to kill him and breathe his breath, can let him die tens of thousands of times? If Emperor Yi Huang discovered the Zhulong bloodline in his body, he was absolutely dead and no one could save him. Do you want him to stay in the realm of martial arts forever and not break through the realm of Wuzong? No, this is impossible. As a warrior, the goal of cultivation is to constantly break through and make yourself stronger. It would be harder for him not to break through the realm than to kill him. What should I do? Is there no way? L. Yu Ming's thoughts changed sharply. Suddenly, he saw a faint smile on Zhu Yang Supreme's face. As soon as his eyes lit up, he clasped his fists and said, Can seniors have a way? There is a way, but why should I help you? Nine Yang Supreme laughed lightly. L. Yu Ming was stunned. Indeed, why did Zhu Yang Supreme help him? Actually, you can ask me to help you, as long as you promise me a condition. Zhu Yang Supreme said suddenly. L. Yu Ming can have today's achievements, thanks to his predecessors. What predecessors have the conditions to say, as long as L. Yu Ming can do it, he will never say no. L. Yu Ming said. Well, my condition is that you promise to kill Emperor Yi and avenge me. Zhu Yang Supreme said one word at a time, his eyes were cold and murderous. Kill the Emperor and the Emperor. L. Yu Ming was shocked in his heart, and then smiled bitterly said, Senior, you are joking, with my cultivation, even if Emperor Yu Wu Emperor stood there and let me kill, I can't kill. It's not that L. Yu Ming has no confidence, but that the gap is too large and unimaginable. I'm not asking you to kill Emperor I now. I want you to promise to kill Emperor I in the future and wait for your cultivation to improve. Zhu Yang Supreme Road In the future L. Yu Ming whispered why? You don't have faith? That's the wrong person, but I tell you, you and Emperor Yi will have a battle after all. This is inevitable. It's hard to avoid starting from your integration into the essence of Zhulong, you don't to find him, he will also find you, sooner or later. Zhu Yang Supreme sneered. Senior, I promise you that one day, I will kill Emperor Yi. Suddenly, L. Yu Ming opened his mouth his voice stubbornly determined, abnormal. Zhu Yang Supreme's eyes lit up, and he laughed, Okay, 
Okay, I believe in you, and I tell you, if you can kill Emperor Yi and seize another drop of Jolong essential blood, you will get infinite benefits, even break through the Emperor Wu realm and enter a supreme realm. Seeing L. Yu Ming agree, Zhu Yang Supreme is extremely excited. In the past few years, he laid down those ladders just to cultivate L. Yu Ming, hoping that he could avenge him in the future. That. Senior, you also know that Emperor Yi is the Emperor Wu. It is too difficult to reach that level. Are there any benefits for you here, such as divine martial skill, divine elixir, and divine soldier? Feel free to give me dozens of samples. L. Yu Ming showed greedy eyes, staring at Zhu Yang Supreme. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Zhu Yang Supreme is a character who is infinitely close to the Emperor Wu, and his combat power is even more terrifying. It is a bit hard to hear. Such a character can be used endlessly without any hair, and it is not L. Yu Ming's character. Zhu Yang Supreme's eyelids jumped, and the corners of his mouth were trembling. God level martial arts? God level elixir? Dozens more? What is L. Yu Ming being a god? Chinese cabbage? Senior, what's wrong with you? Isn't your body uncomfortable? Why is my mouth trembling? L. Yu Ming asked in surprise. No, nothing. Zhu Yang Supreme took a deep breath and calmed herself down, then said, On this point, you may be disappointed. I escaped with a ray of residual soul. After I came out, I only took this supreme temple with a drop of Kowloon. Essence blood, as for the things I put on the first few platforms, I have accidentally obtained these years after I escaped. Also, on the platforms behind, there is actually nothing. I deliberately put a box on a platform, the purpose is to inspire you to work hard. Zhu Yang Supreme said a little awkwardly. Ah! The platforms behind are empty. L. Yu Ming dumbfounded, equivalent to speechless. After a while, he tentatively asked, There are no treasures, then there are always martial arts. The predecessor is Zhu Yang Supreme, and he knows many martial arts skills. A few. Cough. Zhu Yang Supreme Master coughed a few times and said, This, I'm afraid not. The martial arts I have practiced, the old guy of Di Yi knows all of them. As long as you practice the martial arts I have cultivated, you will probably be induced by Di Yi. When the Emperor Wu is strong, he is too strong. This this. L. Yu Ming was completely speechless. Dare to promise to help him revenge and kill Emperor and Emperor Wu Emperor, it turned out that there was no benefit at all. Eh, but don't disappoint you. I can't give you what I have cultivated, but I can still teach it to you. I have not only brought out two drops of Kowloon essence from the ruins of Kowloon, but also included one exercise and one martial art. That skill is the true dragon skill you practiced. That's a god level exercise. There is also a martial art that is matched with the true dragon skill. It is called Jolong Tianbu. This is also a god level martial art. Zhu Yang Supreme also felt a little embarrassed and said quickly. What? Really have martial skills? L. Yu Ming trembles in his heart, his eyes radiate a bright light, like two bright suns. What did he say about the god-level martial arts, the god-level elixir, it was completely a lion's mouth, and casually said, I never expected that Zhu Yang Supreme here really has god-level martial arts. God-level martial arts, and listening to the name seems to be related to Kowloon. With a wave of his hand, Zhu Yang Supreme flew a cheats from the hall. The cheats are not gold or jade, and no material can be seen. This is what Kowloon is doing. According to my speculation, it should be the martial arts founded by Kowloon. The power is terrifying. Even I haven't practiced it. It's really cheap for you. Zhu Yang Supreme gave the cheats to L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming took it hurriedly, opened it happily and looked at it. When I opened it, it was like seeing a real dragon with nine claws, walking in the sky, a terrifying air machine acting on L. Yu Ming, L. Yu Ming felt a sharp pain all over him, 
as if torn apart. At this moment, Zhu Yang Supreme waved his hand, and Zhu Long's cheats of heaven and earth closed, and the terrifying anger disappeared. Boy, don't get it, don't open it at will, otherwise you don't know how to die. Zhu Yang Supreme Cold Drink L. Yu Ming Cold Sweat DC, this is just a cheat book, too terrifying. Boy, this cheat book, there is a hint of Juji Chi, most people can't bear it, and, with your current cultivation practice and physical strength, you can't practice Jolong at all, at least you have to wait until you do it. In order to break through Wuzong's weight, the flesh can reach the fourth grade before starting cultivation. Zhuyang Supreme admonishes. Thank you senior. L. Yu Ming carefully collected Zhulong's cheats, but he sighed. This requirement is too high. It is better to break through Wu Zong. L. Yu Ming believes that it will not take long before he can break through, but it is not so easy to reach the sip in flesh. Don't look at L. Yu Ming has now reached the completeness of the third grade flesh, but it is very difficult to break through the fourth grade flesh. First of all, he must have a method that can cultivate to the four ranks of flesh. At the same time, he also needs an opportunity, otherwise it may be difficult to break through within a few years. I must meet these conditions as soon as possible. Holding the god-level martial arts, but cannot practice, this taste can be uncomfortable. Okay, next, I want to help you shield the breath of Kowloon's essence blood. You sit down, relax, and control the bloodline to emerge. Zhu Yang Supreme ordered. L. Yu Ming nodded, then sat cross-legged, his body glowing, biting the blood of the soul, no, it should be called Zhulong blood vein, emerged, quietly suspended above L. Yu Ming's head. The Supreme Master Zhu Yang sipped, and his body radiated infinite light. Then, a round of sun appeared above his head, but after a few breaths, another sun floated out. In the next minute, a total of nine suns were suspended from the Zhu Yang Supreme. Nine suns are suspended around Zhu Yang Supreme, like the of the sun. Town, seal. The Zhu Yang Supreme drinks lightly, and the nine suns emit endless brilliance. Then, the endless brilliance rushes toward the Kowloon blood vein, covering the body of the Kowloon blood vein, forming a ban, sealing off the breath of the Kowloon blood vein. Half an hour later, the nine suns around Zhu Yang Supreme suddenly disappeared, and Zhu Yang Supreme's body shook and almost fell to the ground. Senior, are you okay? L. Yu Ming quickly got up and helped Zhu Yang Supreme. I saw that Zhu Yang Supreme's face was pale, and his body actually became a lot weaker, as if it might dissipate at any time. Blocking the Kowloon bloodline requires a lot of energy. After I ban you, it will not be long before I fall into a deep sleep. I don't know when I will wake up. The Supreme Master Zhu Yang sighed. Senior, the graciousness of Senior, L. Yu Ming has nothing to do. L. Yu Ming paid his respects to Zhu Yang Supreme and was sincere. You just need to help me take revenge, and, one thing, I want to solemnly tell you, with my power, to help you block the breath of the Kowloon bloodline, but only for ten years, after ten years, my ban the force will dissipate and then the Emperor and Emperor Wu will feel you. Therefore, you have only ten years. In these ten years, you must continue to make breakthroughs and continue to grow. At the very least, you must also have the ability to escape the Emperor's pursuit. Otherwise, everything will rest. Zhu Yang Supreme Solemn Way Ten years, only ten years. L. Yu Ming moved. Why? Are you not confident? Zhu Yang Supreme said. Of course, ten years, time is enough. L. Yu Ming's eyes flashed, revealing a hint of war. Okay. Now, I'll subdue that blood demon by the way, after all, you are still inside it. Emperor Zhu Yang whispered, a wave of volatility radiated from his body, disappeared, and then he glowed in his hand, condensing a blood token. Handing the scarlet token to L. Yu Ming, said, this is the demon order, you can use it to control the blood demon. Okay, I have to say it. I will say everything in the future. Everything is up to you. 
After speaking, the Supreme Master Zhu Yang stumbled towards the hall. Senior, if L. Yu Ming succeeds in practicing in the future, he will definitely find a way to save the senior. L. Yu Ming cried. Save me? Wu Huang can't do it. Zhu Yang Supreme sighed, then walked into the hall and disappeared. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Looking at the lonely back of Zhu Yang Supreme, L. Yu Ming also sighed that a generation of Supreme, the strongest person in the world, finally fell to this step, which made people sigh. Ten years, ten years. L. Yu Ming whispered. In ten years, it is almost impossible to grow up to be able to contend with the Emperor and the Emperor, the difference is too great. Now, his cultivation ability is only the ninth heavy martial artist. Above the great martial arts master, there are Wu Zong, Wu Wang, the three realms of the spirit god, and above the three realms of the spirit god, it is the Emperor Wu. There are six big realms. The difference is too far away. No matter how difficult it is, I will try my best. If I don't try, how do I know if I can't? L. Yu Ming's eyes showed his perseverance. Then looked at Xian Yanqing who was still in a coma. The matter of the Supreme Master Zhu Yang absolutely cannot let others know, who knows whether it will be noticed by Emperor Yu Wu, or leave here first. L. Yu Ming si thought, and then walked over and pulled Xian Yanqing. After a moment of thought, he disappeared in the Supreme Temple. Roar! The blood demon roared and shook the earth. As soon as he came out of the Supreme Temple, L. Yu Ming discovered that they were not in the blood devil's stomach, but on the blood demon's back. The blood demon felt two more people on his back, suddenly violently thundering and roaring again and again. Blood raged, and Xiang Luan Ming and Xian Yanqing swept in. Devil Order! L. Yu Ming waved his hand. The demon order appeared, and suspended in the air automatically, an invisible wave radiated out and rushed to the blood demon. Roar! The blood demon roared, seeming to be terrified, with a low wailing, and finally knelt down. Bow your head! L. Yu Ming was pleasantly surprised. At the same time, he was also amazed by the means of Zhu Yang Supreme. Zhu Yang Supreme is just a ray of remnant soul, and at that time, in order to help him ban the Kowloon bloodline, the lamp was exhausted. Under that circumstance, a devil order was condensed, and the blood demon could be bowed to the ear. The strength is already incredible. Go ahead. L. Yu Ming patted the blood demon road. Roar. Gorfiend roared, got up and continued to run forward. Gorfiend is clearly the overlord of this area, with it leading the way, this area is unobstructed. Oh, am I dead? Suddenly, Xian Yanqing shouted and jumped up from the back of the blood demon. A pair of eyes glanced around. At the next moment, I saw L. Yu Ming and couldn't help shouting, L. Yu Ming, are you dead too? We've gone to the nether together? They all blame you, but I still have a wish. Xian Yanqing closed his eyes and lamented there. L. Yu Ming looked dumbfounded slash compared and was stunned for a while, before saying, who said I was dead? I live well. You are not dead? Then why are you with me? I know, did you catch my soul, what do you want to do? Actually, even my soul is not let go, you mean, and shameless, slash swing pervert. As soon as Xian Yanqing heard that L. Yu Ming was not dead, he began to scold, and his body kept shrinking. This this. L. Yu Ming was completely dumbfounded. He stared at Xian Yanqing in a daze. Xian Yanqing also stared at the big eyes and watched the landing cautiously. After staring halfway, he found that something was wrong. He looked around and yelled, So I didn't die, bad, why are we on the blood demon's back, hurry up find a way to escape from this place. Escape? You have to escape. L. Yu Ming, the old god was sitting there, his face relaxed and relaxed. You don't run away. Xian Yanqing turned his eyes and felt that something was wrong. Of course not to escape. If this blood demon leads the way, why use escape? 
Liao Yuming said faintly. The blood demon leads the way? Wait, what's going on? Why doesn't this blood demon attack us? Xian Yanqing found that the blood demon had been rushing on the road honestly, and it was diametrically opposed to the violent calling as soon as he met them. Relax, it has been conquered by me. L. Yu Ming said faintly. How can it be conquered by you? You can also conquer this blood demon. Xian Yanqing didn't believe her after a series of questions. This blood demon is extremely fierce and powerful. She estimates that even if she does not reach the level of Wu Wang, it will not be much worse. L. Yu Ming can subdue? How is this possible? But at the next moment, her beautiful big eyes suddenly widened. I saw L. Yu Ming whispering lightly, Little blood, stop. Then, the blood demon stopped and gave a low roar, seeming to please L. Yu Ming. Little blood, get down. Another flirty sentence. The blood demon fell down obediently. Xian Yanqing's eyes were almost exploding, and a small mouth could fill a duck egg. Her beautiful face was full of incredible. The blood demon was actually subdued by L. Yu Ming, and it was still the kind of obedience. The most important thing is what L. Yu Ming called Gore Fiend? Little blood? Xian Yanqing feels messy. Ha ha ha, how is it? Do you admire me very much? Do you have the urge to make a promise? Seeing Xian Yanqing's expression, L. Yu Ming felt very comfortable, and he laughed with a smug expression. The laughter of the mouth is about to crack to the ear. You are a big head ghost, hey, who knows what mean method you use to conquer this blood demon, hum, mean and shameless guy, sooner or later, I will step on you. Xian Yanqing sneered continuously, glaring at L. Yu Ming for a few moments and then turned to look at L. Yu Ming. But she was still shocked in her heart, and she was also curious about L. Yu Ming. She didn't know what method L. Yu Ming used to subdue the blood demon. L. Yu Ming smiled, he already knew Xian Yanqing's temper, too lazy to care about her. Then, the blood demon continued to hurry, and L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing sat on the back of the blood demon, and exercised power to heal the wound. After about half a day, the scenery ahead was different. In front, a huge, semicircular light curtain envelops the front, and L. Yu Ming they are inside this semicircular light curtain. This is a huge inscription formation. At this time, L. Yu Ming realized that the Blood Devil's Cave was in a huge array of inscriptions. No wonder that as soon as they enter the big formation, they will not argue their direction. The difference is that there is a stone door here. The shimmering stone door was huge and tightly closed, inlaid on the light curtain. This stone gate may be the exit. L. Yu Ming guessed. Instructed the blood demon to rush forward. Roar. Roar. Suddenly, two huge roars were heard on the huge stone gate, the stone gate glowed, and two huge beasts appeared in front of the stone gate. These two beasts are huge and radiate with blood. As soon as they appeared, they stared at them and rang them. L. Yu Ming's face changed, and immediately shouted, Little blood, destroy them. Roar. The blood fiend roared violently and rushed towards the two beasts. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing jumped out of the blood demon. Suddenly, the three behemoths were fighting against each other. The blood was rolling, the fighting was fiercely fierce, and the two beasts were also extremely powerful but unfortunately it was a bit worse than the blood demon. Soon, the two beasts were torn by blood demon and swallowed in several mouths. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandeo as soon as possible. After the two strange beasts were killed, Shimin remained silent. Little blood, break the stone door. L. Yu Ming shouted. The blood demon roared and ran towards the stone gate. Boom! It hit the stone gate heavily, and the stone gate violently shook, and the whole world seemed to shake. However, the stone door did not open. Carry on! L. Yu Ming shouted. The blood demon continued to bombard, the stone gate kept shaking, and finally, a gap was slowly opened. Boom! At this moment, 
Al Yu Ming seemed to hear a deafening roar outside the stone gate. How is this going? Al Yu Ming frowned. But he couldn't allow him to think more, strode forward, and shouted, Go, let's go out. Xian and Qing followed. Roar. At this time, the blood demon roared, stopped, and a thought came into Al Yu Ming's brain. Al Yu Ming probably understood that the blood demon meant that it grew up here and could not get out at all. Once it went out, it would wipe out the dust. It was a pity in El Yu Ming's heart that such a powerful blood demon, if he followed him out, then he could not sweep the raging empire, or even directly hit the ten party sword faction. What a pity! El Yu Ming shouted in his heart, but he had no choice but to lay down the blood demon and rushed towards the Shimin with Xian and Qing. The stone door was too big, although it only opened a gap, it was enough for the two to pass through. Uh! Uh! The two were shaped like wind. As they passed through the stone gate, they felt a whirl of the sky. At the next moment, the two found them standing on a hill. In the rear, the mist is diffused, and it is clearly the blood area demon cave. In front, the mountains and rivers are green and full of vitality. Only at this moment, the mountain in front shook, and a pillar of blood rose up into the sky, straight through the clouds, and could be seen for hundreds of miles. Rumble. On the edge, another mountain peak vibrated, and then, another pillar of blood rushed out, disturbing the situation. El Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing were dumbfounded. This is where? Why does it look so strange? And is this beam of light caused by the huge stone door they opened? Uh. Uh. At this moment, the sound of breaking the sky sounded, and then several figures appeared in the sky. It was a couple of middle-aged big men, the body was thick like a mountain, and they were obviously all powerful in Wuzong realm. Abnormal changes appear outside the Blood Devil's cave. Is there a treasure born? Hurry up and inform Zong men. Several big men whispered, and then stepped into the air, disappeared. But soon, some people came, some of them came from the sky. They were all powerful in the Wuzong realm, and some were martial arts in the great martial arts realm. Through the chat of these people, El Yu Ming learned a fact that made him stunned. This place is not actually in the territory of the Scorching Empire, but on the other side of the deserted wilderness, the junction of the Blood Zhao Empire and the Yunyu Empire. El Yu Ming they had run in the wrong direction before. El Yu Ming couldn't laugh or cry, and Xian Yanqing was squinting in that big eye. Rumble. The vibration became more and more intense, and finally, a total of nine blood beams appeared, rushing to the sky. At this time, no fewer than 100 people had gathered. This place is most likely the remains of the ancient Zong men, Yundi Palace. In the sky, a white-haired old man speculated. What? It's actually the Emperor Zong Men Yundi Palace. Someone was shocked and expressed doubts. That was the predecessor of Deifu, and he guessed that there should be nothing wrong. Yes, Deifu is the first ancestor of Blood Zhao. It has been around for a long time. I have great knowledge and I can't wait. Haha, <laughs> great chance. Nearby, there was an excited discussion. Emperor Zong Men Yundi Palace. El Yu Ming's eyes lit up. The Yundi Mountain Range is called Yundi Mountain Range because of Yundi Palace, which shows how powerful Yundi Palace is. This place is actually the remains of Emperor Yundi's palace. Everyone waited quietly. El Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing sat cross-legged on the side, while healing and waiting. With the passage of time, more and more people. Obviously, the news has spread. After seven days, in all directions, it was already full of people. Even the sky is full of people. There are Blood Empire Zhao, there are also Yunyu Empire. Of course, most of them are from the Empire of Blood Zhao. El Yu Ming secretly sighed that the Blood Zhao Empire was indeed powerful. Those who stood in the air were all master level strong men. Looking around, there were no fewer than a thousand people. The Blood Zhao Empire is worthy of being a medium empire and extremely terrifying. 
hundreds of masters and core elders came from Daifu. It seems that the remains of Yundi Palace are not ours. Yet, many other masters of Blood Zhao also came a lot of masters, and the imperial court of the Yunyu Empire also came. There are still many young strongs, such as the 50 supernovas of the Blood Zhao Empire and the 9 strong players of the Yunyu Empire. Nearby, from time to time came the voice of discussion. Quack! At this time, a sharp tweet rang through the sky, extremely harsh. Then, a huge crow appeared in the air. This crow is extremely large, with a wingspan of 30 meters, and it is covered with a fiery flame. The fourth level monster is equivalent to Wuzong Wujet. On the back of the crow, stood a young man in his twenties, wearing a fiery red robe embroidered with a big sun. He was carried his hands on his back and looked at those beams of light, with an air of glance. Yang Laihuji, is this person the Yang Laihuji? The Yang Laihuji ranked 33rd in the Yundi list. Anyone but him. Even the geniuses of the Yundi list are here. There was a commotion in the crowd. Obviously, the name of Yang Laihuji shocked people's hearts. 33rd of the Emperor's list? Is this person stronger than Chu Chong Kong? L. Yu Ming's eyes flickered. The 36 geniuses on the Yundi list can be said to be the strongest 36 among the generations of the Yundi 36 kingdoms. Time passed quickly, and in an instant, two days passed. At this time, the injuries of El Yuming and Xian Yanqing had already recovered. Boom! Suddenly, the nine blood-colored beams roared violently, and the light was vigorous, and then they came together. After a while, the blood light disappeared, and a huge black vortex appeared in the sky. The path of space transmission, here can lead to the remains of Yundi Palace. Rush! Suddenly, dozens of people rushed to the vortex. What? What? At the next moment, screams were issued, and of the dozens of people, more than half of them suddenly burst apart, and flesh and blood spilled to the ground. But the other half of the people rushed into the vortex and disappeared. What's going on? How is this happening? Why did someone die but someone rushed in? What are the limits? Everyone else at the scene stopped and dared not rush towards the whirlpool. An old man with white hair appeared in front of the vortex and observed carefully. Everyone recognized that he was a core elder of Daifu. The old man with white hair carefully observed it, half sounding, and said, If I read correctly, there should be inscriptions of the age category here. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. What? Year's inscription. Everyone was shocked. The inscriptions of the years belong to the supreme inscriptions, which are difficult to grasp if you want to master them. According to the old man's speculation, the age of the entrance is restricted here, and beyond a certain age, they will be killed by the inscriptions in the vortex. The white-haired old man said again. How old can you enter, how old can you not enter? Someone asked. The world is divided into 30 years old as a key point. Under 30 years old is a younger generation and belongs to the golden age of cultivation, so I speculate that here under 30 years old can enter, and over 30 years old, they cannot enter. The white-haired old man said. 30 years old? I'm over. I'm just 31 and unlucky. Many people over the age of 30 have a look of frustration and shouting out of luck while those young people under the age of 30 show great joy. The stronger the cultivation, the greater the joy. The older generation of characters cannot enter, and those who are cultivated to be powerful will naturally have an advantage. How can they not be pleased? Rush! Immediately, some young people under the age of 30 rushed up. Sure enough, all disappeared in the whirlpool. Ha ha ha, I am waiting for the ants but also want to fight with me. Yang Lu laughed greatly, and he was crazy. The only genius on Yundi's list is who is here alone. Who can compete with him? He stepped out, walked into the vortex, and disappeared. Other youths rushed in. 
Al Yuming estimated that at least thousands of people. During this period, there were also unbelievers over the age of 30, with the luck of the fluke, who wanted to take a risk, and were eventually strangled by inscriptions. After that, other people over the age of 30 no longer dared to try. We go in two. El Yuming said to Xian Yanqing. Xian Yanqing nodded and rushed towards the vortex together with El Yuming. Rushing into the vortex, the sky was spinning, and at the next moment, El Yuming found that he was standing at the foot of a mountain, in front of it, an endless vast mountain. Xian Yanqing is beside him. Not only that, everyone seems to be scattered, all gathered at the foot of the mountain. At a glance, all are silhouettes. Boom! Suddenly, not far from El Yuming, the war broke out. The people who enter here come from various forces, and some people already have hatred. It is normal for them to meet each other and have a war break out. After a while, a scream, a young man was killed. But at this moment, the mutation suddenly emerged. An inscription suddenly appeared in the sky, wrapping the slain youth group, and at the next moment, an astonishing scene appeared. I saw that the blood in the corpse of the youth, including sperm blood, was all drawn out. Under the action, it turned into a crystal and landed on the ground. This, is this a blood crystal? It's blood refining, it's true, I have it. What? If a person dies, he will be refined into a blood refining crystal, incredible. There was a violent noise from the audience. El Yuming was also shocked. The blood refining crystal, which is very similar to the blood refining pill, is used by the warrior to awaken the second bloodline. A blood refining crystal has the same effect as a blood refining pill. Isn't it? Just give it a try. Suddenly, a cold drink sounded. Among the crowd, a round of the sun emerged and burst. The screams continued, and a dozen people were killed. At the next moment, a large number of inscriptions appeared in the sky, wrapping the corpses, and then, all the blood of the corpses was drawn out and refined into blood crystals. If so, many people took a breath, and many people showed bloodthirsty light in their eyes. Kill. Kill. Suddenly, someone yelled and killed the people around him. No, go. Others shouted and rushed towards the vast mountains ahead. At the scene, there was a chaos and sky. In the sky, dense inscriptions appeared, and the blood of those killed was all turned into blood crystals. Kill. Someone also killed El Yuming. El Yuming swept it out with a spear and hit him with the other party, who was repelled. Xian Yanqing, go, we rush into those mountains. El Yuming cried. There are too many geniuses coming in this time. Most of them are young strong men in the Blood Zhao Empire, and there are many young strong men in the realm of Wuzong. With El Yuming's combat power, they can only be ranked at the level of the Middle Reaches. Had to temporarily retreat. The two rushed towards the vast mountains with great strength. Soon, they rushed into the mountains and continued to run deep into the mountains. In the rear, people rushed into the mountains. Thousands of people scattered among the vast mountains. El Yuming and Xian Yanqing ran for more than 200 miles before stopping. In the next period of time, this will turn into killing hell. El Yuming whispered. It can be imagined that killing others can turn into blood refining crystals. This is how crazy, the young people who come in will definitely hunt each other. Those young strong men in Wuzong realm, although they don't need blood crystals themselves, but they are sold and the price is extremely amazing. El Yuming, we have to break through the Wuzong realm as soon as possible, otherwise, we will be very passive. Xian Yanqing said. In this unfamiliar environment, facing strong enemies everywhere, the relationship between the two of them unconsciously came closer. Good, but if you want to break through, it's easy to talk about. Let's look around first to see if there are any treasures. El Yuming said. At the moment, the two chose a direction at random and ran forward. Call out. Call out. Suddenly, the sharp sound of breaking the sky sounded, 
and several sword chi, towards the two killed. Someone attacked. The two's faces changed and their bodies flashed, avoiding the attack. Then, the figure flashed, and eight figures appeared, surrounding them. The two of you are out of luck, now it's our blood refining crystal. Among the eight, a young man headed coldly. This man is the strongest of the eight, and his breath is very thick. He is a master of Wu Zong's weight. The other seven people are also the cultivation practice of the Grand Martial Artist Zhu Zhong. Six brothers, this female, with a long and beautiful national fragrance, was just killed. It's a pity. It's better to let me play first and then kill later. One of the chubby youths looked at Xian Yanqing with obscenity slash profaneness. His eyes were full of lewdness slash evil rays, and his crotch bulged high. Fat Lu, put away your color heart, where is this place, quick battle, or else you don't know how to die. Six senior brothers scolded. The chunky youth smiled Ken Ken a few times, but when he looked at Xian Yanqing, the flames in his eyes became thicker, but he didn't find it. Xian Yanqing saw the murder in his eyes. This guy is pitiful. El Yuming shook his head, and his heart was silent for the fat man. Even the little witch Xian Yanqing dared to be obscene, really looking for death. You are dead. Sure enough, a very cold voice came from Xian Yanqing's mouth. What? I'm dead? Do you want to kill me? Haha, <laughs> joke, you didn't see it. My six brothers are Wu Zongqiang. You are just a great warrior. In front of Wu Zong, you also want to kill me. Da da. Ah. My baby. The chunky youth began to be arrogant, but before it was finished, it uttered a scream. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. The chunky young man shouted a heartbreaking cry, a terrible cry, and his whole body shivered. I saw a blood stain on his crotch, and his gadget had disappeared. El Yuming tightened his crotch tightly. He just saw clearly. Xian Yanqing flicked a black lotus petal out of his finger, cutting off the stuff of the chunky youth. Seeing this scene, other young people also felt a chill in the crotch. Ah, brother Six, avenge me. The chunky youth continued to scream sternly. Bitch, find death, shoot, kill them. Brother Six roared and killed El Yuming first. He had to solve El Yuming first, and then torture Xian Yanqing well. Humanity Palm El Yuming was too lazy to talk nonsense and directly played the strongest move. A huge palm print formed abruptly on top of Brother Six's head, slapping down and down, powerful and amazing. The six brothers were frightened, and they never thought El Yuming's attack was so terrifying, and immediately broke out with all his strength to resist this move. Bump! With a loud noise, Brother Six was directly blasted into the mud, and a large pit was exploded on the ground. The smoke disappeared, and I saw Brother Six lying in the big pit like a pool of mud, already dying. The other six youths were stunned there for a while, and then they were shaking and sweating. One move, one move solved the six brothers who were Wuzong. Is this still the warrior of the Grand Martial Realm? The chunky youths forgot to scream and widened their eyes in horror. Run! A young man shouted, and six young men turned and ran. Wait for me! The chunky young man screamed, but his crotch hurt so much that he couldn't run fast, and his anxious tears came out. Want to run? Did you run? Xian Yanqing's voice was like the snow of winter, and the ice was extremely cold. She waved her hands and flew out black lotus petals. The chunky young man was the first to suffer, without even screaming, and was killed. Call out! Call out! The petals are empty, sharper than the sharpest blade. Screaming again and again, several breaths, all six youths were killed. At this time, the six brothers had lost their breath. In the sky, an inscription appeared immediately, and the blood of these corpses was drawn out, condensing blood crystals. But not everyone can condense blood refining crystals. 
L. Yu Ming discovered that only a warrior of the fifth bloodline can condense a blood refining crystal. Below level 5 bloodline, the blood gas collapsed before waiting to condense a blood refining crystal. And one of the young people, with a blood level 6, actually condensed two blood crystals. And the six senior brothers, as Wu Zong, awakened the second bloodline, his second bloodline was the ordinary bloodline of the ninth level, condensing sixteen blood crystals at once. Every time the bloodline is higher, the number of condensed blood refining crystals will double, and it has nothing to do with cultivation practice. A total of twenty-two blood refining crystals were condensed out of eight people. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing were evenly divided. Each one was eleven, and the two left here. Along the way, the two encountered several ambushes, but the strongest enemy was Wu Zong. They were both killed by the two and each received another dozen blood crystals. Although L. Yu Ming has four thousand blood refining pill, this kind of thing is more beneficial. The more the second bloodline is accumulated, the higher level bloodline may be awakened. According to Zhuyang Supreme, his first bloodline was awakened by Zhulong Jingxiu, but the second bloodline had nothing to do with Zhulong Jingxiu. His awakening was his own bloodline. L. Yu Ming's own bloodline is not too advanced. L. Yu Yao deprived him of his bloodline. The awakening is the fifth bloodline. From this point, it can be seen that L. Yu Ming's first bloodline will not exceed the fifth level. Therefore, his second bloodline is probably not too high, so he needs a lot of blood refining pill, blood refining crystal and so on. The second bloodline is very special. Some people may not have used a blood refining treasure such as a blood refiner to supplement the blood potential, but they can also awaken an extremely advanced bloodline, but it is not absolute. For treasures such as blood crystals, the chance of awakening advanced bloodlines is much greater. Half an hour later, the two appeared in front of a huge seven-story building. This building looks like a tower. In front of the tower, hundreds of young people stood facing each other, all staring at the tower. The gate of the tower was closed. I tried it just now. This gate is very heavy. It can't be opened by one or several people alone. I suggest that we work together to open the gate. As for the treasures inside, let the power speak. Cried a young man in Jinbao. Who knows if you will attack when we open the door? I can't worry. Exclaimed a skinny monkey. If you don't worry, you can go. Jinbao youth is very strong. You. The thin monkey youth looked ugly for a while, but he dared not refute. I want a treasure and no courage. I am destined to be a waste. I have nothing to do in my life. The young man in Jinbao taunted and then glanced at the others, saying, How about? Do you want to shoot together and open the tower gate? Okay, I promise to shoot together. I promised too. Almost everyone agreed. If you want to get the treasure inside, you can only open the door first. Together. The Jinbao youth shouted and punched a powerful punch. Shoot. Others also shot together and suddenly all kinds of sword chi, sword on, punching power, palm wind, etc., all blasted to the gate of the tower. Boom! The building roared, the light flashed, and the last bang, the door was opened. Uh! Uh! Immediately, dozens of people rushed towards the gate, fearing that the treasure would be taken away by others when they were slower. What? What? But at the next moment, a scream of screaming sounded loudly, rushing into the door dozens of people, at least more than twenty people screamed, and their heads burst into burst. And more than a dozen other people, all strong in Wuzong realm, blasted all around, seemingly fighting against something. Inscriptions appeared in the sky, all those young people who were killed were condensed into blood refining crystals. What is there? Outside the gate. Someone shouted in horror. I don't know, I can't see clearly. It's so weird, I won't go in. Someone kicked back. At this time, those strong Wuzong had rushed in and disappeared. A scarlet bug. L. Yu Ming's eyes were bright, staring at the gate. 
With his eyesight, he still saw the attack. It was a blood-red worm, as thin as a strand of hair, like a cicada. The key speed was too fast, and it was invisible to the naked eye. Unless you are a strong Wuzong, you can find out. As soon as this blood cicada rushes into his head, his head will burst. Walk into. The other Wuzong Qiang rushed in, and El Yuming and Xian Yanqing moved, following the crowd. Chant. As soon as he rushed in, a blood cicada shot at him, and he swept it out, swept the blood cicada away, and dashed in. Xian Yanqing is similar, following El Yuming. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. After El Yuming rushed in, he picked up a few blood refining crystals. Wo Chao, why are those two great martial artists so powerful? Outside, the warriors of the great martial arts division looked stunned. After El Yuming and Xian Yanqing rushed in, they saw a wide staircase, which leads to the second floor. Without hesitation, the two rushed up and found that the second floor was filled with shelves, and the shelves were empty, but there were several corpses on the side of the shelves. Obviously after being killed, the blood was drawn and condensed into caused by blood refining crystals. Obviously, the things here have been looted by those who rushed in first. Quick, go up. Get away. Die to me. It's you who died. At the scene, there was a chaos, everyone wanted to rush up, naturally a chaos, seven or eight people fighting together. Call. A young man with a battle axe chopped towards the landing with an axe. One body of Wuzong and one heavy repair are undoubtedly revealed. I really thought I was a soft persimmon. El Yu Ming's eyes were cold and his palms exploded, and a huge palm print blasted toward the youth. Bump. The young man's bones were broken directly and flew backwards, but he didn't die, because this young man also practiced martial arts skills, blocking part of the power of the human palm. Even so, the other young strong men were also shocked, all watching the landing song with fear. Where is such a powerful martial arts master, I have seen some of the strongest martial arts masters in the Blood Zhao Empire, there is no such person. Someone said solemnly. Everyone looked at Landing Ming and Xian Yanqing with fear. El Yu Ming was too lazy to take care of them, and rushed to the third floor with Xian Yanqing. Several shelves were also placed on the third floor, and the items on the shelves were also looted. El Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing did not stay in the slightest and rushed upward. Fourth floor, fifth floor, sixth floor. Up to the sixth floor, the two were always one step behind others and they were all looted. On the sixth floor, a fierce fighting sound was heard, and the sound came from the seventh floor. Without hesitation, the two rushed up. Boom! Boom! On the seventh floor, there are six young men in fierce fighting. One of them is the young man in Jinbao. This person's cultivation practice is double in Wuzong, and he is definitely a genius. The other five people are all Wuzong's top cultivation practices. The war was extremely fierce, and the six men fought together, but obviously, the Jinbao youth took the advantage. On the seventh floor, there are only two shelves with some jade bottles on the shelves. The shelf reads, Yu Yu and Gu Ling Dan, the fourth grade Chinese medicine. El Yu Ming was shocked in his heart, and then his eyes glowed with amazing light. Yaiwan Ancient Spirit Pill, a fourth grade Chinese medicine, can quickly improve cultivation, for Wuzong, the effect is very great. Outside, the price of Yaiwan Gilingdan is surprisingly high, and often has no price. I must get some. In this way, I can reach the peak of the ninth heavy martial arts master in a short time, and then devour the blood refining pill and blood refining crystal, condense the blood veins and break through the Wuzong realm. El Yu Ming thought quickly. At this place, El Yu Ming simply had no time to devour the blood of others. The blood of the warrior who died in war was all condensed into blood crystals, and he could not devour the blood. El Yu Ming's cultivation ability could not be improved in a short time. And it was the time when the Yaiwan Gilingdan appeared. 
you also want to fight with me, to death. The young man in Jinbao shouted, his eyes glowed like electricity, and there was a strong purple light on his body. The palm of his hand was a purple palm print. It was extremely powerful, and other young people evaded. Zi Song, there are so many people here. How do you want to swallow a united elixir alone? shouted another young man. Really? Then I will kill you first, Ziji Golden Dragon Palm. Zisong Chong Xiao, the purple light on his body was extremely intense. When it reached a certain point, the purple light actually turned into gold, and a palm blazed out, and a golden real dragon screamed out. Bump! The young man was hit by Jin Long and flew out directly. He coughed up blood, and his breath was sore. His eyes showed an extremely horrified expression. Isn't it possible now? Zisong gave the young man a cold look, then looked at the others. The other four youths' faces suddenly changed. Hurry up, if you don't, you will end like him. Zisong was compelling and looked at the others coldly. Zi Song, we have four people, and we may not be afraid of you when we join forces. A tall young man said unwillingly. As for El Yuming and Xianian Qing, he was directly ignored. Boom! As soon as the tall young man's voice fell, Zisong slammed past and a golden dragon rushed out. With a scream, the young man was directly torn in half by Jin Long. A whole body of blood and blood, condensed into sixteen blood refining crystals, was collected by Zisong. Want to join forces? This is the end. Zisong sneered. The remaining three people were terrified. Zisong was too strong. With his tricks, they were not opponents at all. They looked at each other and finally retreated to the sixth floor unwillingly. Don't you both get away. At this time, Zisong looked at El Yuming and Xianian Qing. Go away? You can show me one. El Yuming smiled faintly. In an instant, Zisong's complexion gloomed down and said, Boy. Do you know the consequences of your saying this? Now, you want to go, and you can't go either. The two great warriors in every district also want to get rid of the illusion. It's really whimsical, I don't know if the sky is high and the ground thick. A pair of Zisong stood high, overlooking El Yu Ming's gaze, and stepped towards El Yu Ming. Boy, it's self-discipline, or I do it. If I do it, you won't die so happy, and... Chick, if you swear to be my concubine and serve me for a lifetime, I promise to let you go. Zisong looked at Xian Yanking's eyes, flashing a blazing glow. Xian Yanking's appearance is indeed rare in the world. Any man seeing it is rarely inattentive. Just like your rubbish, worthy. Xian Yanqing sneered. Toast without drinking fines, then send you on the road together. Zisong burst into an icy killing on his body, slamming his palm towards the landing. A purple palm print came turbulently. El Yuming's eyes flashed and his palms exploded. Humane palms come together. Boom! The two palm prints roared together, and with a roar, El Yuming's figure shook slightly, while Zisong retreated three steps in a row before he stood firm. At this moment, there was an incredible look on his face. A large martial arts master, nine heavy martial artists, could actually beat him back with a palm. How could this be possible? Then, an extremely cold killer broke out and shouted, Damn, damn, go die. The purple light on Zisong's body was intense to the extreme, and then turned into gold, a palm blasted out, and a golden real dragon flew out. The golden real dragon has a strong potential. Zisong's momentum is very strong, reaching Xiao Cheng. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Humanity Palm El Yuming shouted and burst out again. With this palm, El Yuming did his utmost to integrate into the trend of wind and fire. Boom! The humane palm print collided with the golden dragon. A violent roar sounded and then the human palms shattered, and terrifying forces rushed to the landing, and El Yu Ming couldn't help but retreat. 
the fighting power of Zisong is indeed extremely powerful. L. Yu Ming found that with the improvement of his cultivation practice, the opponents he faced were getting stronger and stronger. When facing these young Wuzong, his advantages in many aspects were not so obvious. These young Wuzong strongmen almost all practiced prefecture level martial arts, and they all realized the potential, and the fire was not low. Although L. Yu Ming occupies a little advantage in martial arts and momentum, it is not big. Also, it is not surprising that Wu Zongqiang, the cultivation method, could be the Huang level exercises, generally the Xian level super grade exercises, and even some people practiced the prefecture level exercises. The higher the level of the practice, the thicker and more condensed the true energy produced by the practice. L. Yu Ming's true energy can't be five times that of these people, so the advantage is further reduced. It's even harder to fight over, so L. Yu Ming was repelled by Zisong. But I did not know that Zi Song was shocked in his heart. He was a peerless genius, not an ordinary Wu Zong double. With all his palms, he only repulsed L. Yu Ming without killing him, which made him incredible. Kill, kill, this kid's talent is higher than me can't stay in this world. Zisong roared in his heart and killed L. Yu Ming again. Sigh. At this time, Xian Yanqing also started, she condensed a lot of black lotus around her body, black petals flew, and enveloped towards the purple pine, while waving both palms, black palm marks whizzed out. Bitch, find death. Zisong shouted, running part of the force, and blasted towards Xian Yanqing. Boom. Boom. Suddenly, the three men fought together. Xian Yanqing's combat strength is also extremely amazing, no worse than L. Yu Ming, the two joined forces and became a tie with Zi Song. Zi Song's face was somber, and the more he fought, the more he was shocked. The three men fought with great vigor, but an inscription appeared on the walls around the seventh floor, and most of the power was removed. Otherwise, those primal spirits would be crushed. In a blink of an eye, it was more than fifty moves. On the sixth floor, the three Wuzong youths stood there, listening to the fierce roar from the seventh floor, and the three looked at each other. Who is Zi Song fighting with? Could it be the men and women of the former two great martial artists Zhu Zhong? But how is this possible? Two young martial arts masters, young men and women, can fight this with Zisong? What are they? Waste? They are unbelievable. Except for the two young men and women, there was no one else on it. The three decided to wait on the sixth floor. Die to me, die to me. Zisong roared, his golden light was boiling, and it was extremely rich. He roared in his heart and wanted to kill L. Yu Ming and Xian Yan Qing, but he couldn't succeed. After another moment, the golden light on Zisong's body began to dissipate quickly. Damn, damn, you two miscellaneous, dogs and men, wait for me, I will not kill you, and vow not to be human. Zi Song roared and waved several palms in a row to block the attack of L. Yu Ming and Xian Yan Qing. Then he ran out of his leg and ran towards the sixth floor, suddenly disappearing at the stairs. He maintained that golden state and was extremely exhausted. Now, he can no longer support it and can only run away. Otherwise, he will be killed by L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing together. On the sixth floor, the three young people were waiting. Suddenly they saw Zisong rushing down from the seventh floor, running wildly, and ran down. This made the three young people look straight at a daze. Are Zisong defeated? The three young men looked at each other and took a breath. Then, Without hesitation, they ran out of their legs. On the seventh floor, L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing looked around. There are a total of two shelves, each with a jade bottle, all of which are a kind of magical elixir. Half a person. L. Yu Ming smiled and then walked to one of the shelves, while Xian Yanqing walked to the other shelf. L. Yu Ming glanced at it and calculated it. There were 49 jade bottles in total. L. Yu Ming picked up a jade bottle and opened it, and smelled a strong medicinal fragrance. In the jade bottle, lay nine round, milky white elixirs. 
El Yuming was overjoyed, waved his hands, and received all of these jade bottles in the Supreme Temple. On the other side, Xian Yanqing also put away a Yuan Guling Dan, a smile appeared on his face. With these monolithic ancient pill, I will soon be able to rush into the Wuzong realm, and I will step on you under my feet. Xian Yanqing looked at El Yuming and said viciously. El Yuming was speechless, how could this chick always remember this broken thing? Immediately, Xian Yanqing went down first, El Yuming smiled, and followed. After going downstairs, there were no figures on some of the floors below. When the two of them came out of the pavilion, they found out that the people outside were also gone. In this mysterious environment, no one knows how long they can stay, and no one wants to waste time. Since this is not the case, they will definitely find other places. The two went out of the pavilion, chose a direction at random, and ran at speed. They want to find a secluded place, swallow a united elixir, and improve their cultivation. Half an hour later, the two passed a dilapidated palace. Flee quickly, inside is Zhao Hong, one of the fifty supernovas of the Blood Zhao Empire. Frightened shouts came from the dilapidated palace. Immediately, more than twenty young people ran out of the dilapidated palace in horror. Dead. In the dilapidated palace, there was a murderous cold drink, and immediately, a horrifying knife burst out. What? What? The screams of horror kept ringing, and more than twenty young people were actually killed by this knife. The inscriptions filled the sky, and blood crystals came out one by one. A young man with scattered hair and a long sword stepped out, waving his hands, all of these blood refining crystals were put away by him, and then his eyes looked forward. Ling Xian's murderous intention came out. Thousands of kilometers away, El Yuming and Xian Yanqing changed their faces. Go. El Yuming took a light drink and left Xian Yanqing quickly. This young man is so strong that it is simply not the two of them can now rival. Fifty supernova of blood Zhao, but a genius of the same level as the six heroes of the burning sun. Looking at the figures of Landing Ming and Xian Yanqing going away, Zhao Hong's eyes flickered, and instead of chasing, he turned and entered the dilapidated palace. Fifty miles away, a scream came from a valley. Duan Ling, one of the nine masters of the Yunyu Empire, don't, don't kill me. At the next moment, a tremendous sword gas burst out in the valley, and dozens of young strong men were beheaded with a sword, turning into blood crystals. No matter whether it is Wuzong No. 1 or Wuzong No. 1, it has not escaped the fate of being killed. Seeing this scene in the distance, El Yuming and Xian Yanqing didn't stay at all, turned around and left. Hundreds of miles away from El Yuming and between them in a ruin, Yang Laihuji laughed up in the sky, and around him, at least fifty young bodies were lying there, blood energy was condensed into blood crystals. In the mysterious realm, you are killing all the time. Only the strong can survive and seize the opportunity. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. An hour later, the two appeared in a secluded canyon. This place is very remote and inaccessible. It is a good place to practice. Without saying much, the two sat cross-legged and took out a united pill and began to practice. Take out a jade bottle. Open the bottle cap, and the fragrance will be filled immediately. Yi Yuan Guling Dan is a fourth grade Chinese medicine, which is of great help to Wu Zong and is valuable. El Yu Ming poured out one and swallowed it into his mouth. In an instant, the powerful blood of engulfing came from the Jolong bloodline, and the medicine of the Yuan Ling Lingdan was constantly swallowed and refined. Soon, the power of a panacea was refined, and El Yu Ming felt that it had been improved. The potency of a unitary ancient spirit pill is at least tens of times that of the third level ninefold demon pill. At this time, El Yu Ming opened his eyes and looked at Xian Yanqing. At first glance, he took a breath, and saw a huge black lotus floating above Xian Yanqing's head. This is obviously the bloodline of Xian Yanqing, but there are nine blood-colored chakras shining and moving around the black lotus. The bloodline of the ninth level, 
the bloodline of Xianianqing, is actually as high as the ninth level, which is really terrifying. You must know that Xianianqing has not broken through Wuzong and awakened the second bloodline. In other words, her first bloodline is up to level 9. This little witch is horror, no wonder the fighting power is so powerful, this is the real genius. L. Yu Ming secretly sighed, seriously, this is the first time to see the bloodline of Xianianqing. The first bloodline will reach the ninth level of the ordinary level. I really don't know what level the second bloodline of her awakening will be. L. Yu Ming couldn't help looking forward. Immediately, L. Yu Ming continued to refine Yi Wan Ling Lingden. The rolling energy is constantly transformed into true qi, and L. Yu Ming's cultivation is a rapid improvement. Soon, a bottle of immortality was refined, and L. Yu Ming's cultivation approached the mid nine year period of the Grand Martial Artist. Continue to refine. Half a day later, L. Yu Ming continued to refine twelve bottles of elixir, and the cultivation base was elevated to the peak of the Grand Martial Artist Nineth level. At this time, not far away, strong fluctuations also came out of Xianian Qing, and her cultivation behavior also reached the peak of the Grand Martial Artist Zhuz Hong. After reaching the pinnacle of the Grand Master Nineth layer, you can start swallowing the blood refining pill and blood refining crystals, and begin to condense the second bloodline to accumulate energy for awakening the second bloodline. This process is called coagulation, also known as half-step guru. In the process of coagulation, the blood is strong and stronger than the peak of the Grand Martial Artist Zhuz Hong. A piece of blood refining crystal appeared in Xian Yanking's hand, and she began to swallow it. Then, her spine radiated a thick blood. Without delaying time, L. Yu Ming took out a blood refining crystal and swallowed it. At the entrance of the blood refining crystal, it turned into rolling blood gas energy, was absorbed by the spine, and began to condense below the first blood vein. At that place, a blood red bright spot began to appear, which gradually became brighter with the influx of blood gas. After a few breaths, the blood of a blood refining crystal was absorbed, and L. Yu Ming took out several of them at once and swallowed them. The blood red light at the spine is getting bigger and brighter. Soon, the dozens of blood refining crystals that L. Yu Ming came here had all been used up. Then, with a scratch in his hand, there appeared a handful of blood refining pill, a brain stuffed into his mouth. After a while, grab another one. At this moment, he suddenly found someone in front of him, could not help opening his eyes. But he saw big bright eyes, staring at him in surprise. It is Xian and Qing. Wo Nest, what are you doing? To scare me. L. Yu Ming shouted. Xian and Qing flashed his eyes and asked, Do you have a blood refiner? How much do you have? I have a blood refining pill, how much is your business? L. Yu Ming said. You, can you give me some? Xian Yanqing seemed to find it difficult to speak and stutter. No, give you a breakthrough, step on me in the future. L. Yu Ming resolutely resisted. Hey, you don't think you'll give me the blood refining pill, can't I step on you? Xian Yanqing snorted coldly and gritted his teeth fiercely, revealing a few white and bright teeth. Immediately, he turned to the side. But within a minute, she came back, staring at Landing Ming with wide eyes. What do you want to do? L. Yu Ming asked silently. Bye, did I buy the blood refining pill head office from you? How many spirit crystals do you want, and make a price? Or you can exchange it for treasure. Xian and Ching said. Oh? Change it with a treasure? That's okay, so let's say a few treasures. If you have one, I'll change it. L. Yu Ming said. Well, you say it. Xian Yan Ching said. Xian Yang Essence, 10 Square Bones. L. Yu Ming reported the names of five kinds of treasures in a row. These five kinds of heavenly materials and earth treasures are all the materials needed to cultivate the fifth layer of War Dragon's true secret. It is a pity that after listening to the false Xian Yan Ching, they shook their heads and said no. You don't have any, then how do you change it, so, 
What dragon Yuan, Long Jing give me a little, I can also exchange with you. L. Yu Ming pouted. Long Jing, Long Yuan, I don't have either, but there is one dragon bone bead, do you think it will work? Xian Qing asked eagerly. What? Xiao Long bone beads? Do you really have them? Take them out and have a look. L. Yu Ming eagerly said. Xian Yangqing's palm glowed. At the next moment, a baby's fist sized, fiery red bone beads appeared in Xian Yangqing's palm. Really Jiao Dragon Bone Beads, or Fire Jia Long Bone Beads? L. Yu Ming was overjoyed. The real recipe for cultivating war dragons is not necessarily those kinds of materials. There are some alternatives, but these alternatives are more precious. For example, the things on the real dragon are invaluable, and possessing the same can make the real dragon warrior breakthrough. Jiao Long, although not a real dragon, has a real dragon bloodline, is also an extremely rare alien, and also has some functions. L. Yu Ming just spoke casually just now, but did not expect that Xian Yanqing really has such a treasure. Let me see. L. Yu Ming took the Jiao Long bone beads and looked closely. The dragon that produced the dragon dragon bead is very deep. As long as there is this dragon dragon bead and it is matched with another material, the dragon warrior can successfully break through the fifth layer. L. Yu Ming thought. How is it? Okay, just exchange 2,000 blood refinements with you. Xian Qing said. 20,000? The beauty you think, you are a big lion. L. Yu Ming was frightened and shouted. This is Jiao Dragon Bone Bead, but it took me a lot to get it. 2,000 blood refining pill, not many. Xian Qing said. 500. L. Yu Ming said. What? You cut too much? 15,000, no fewer. Xian Qing gritted his teeth. 800, no more. L. Yu Ming's lips shivered. 1,200. 900. 1,000, 1,000 blood refining pill, there can be no less, no less, I will not change. Xian Qing said viciously. Okay. Deal. L. Yu Ming agreed with a heartache. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. He took out a thousand blood refining pills and exchanged Jiao Long bone beads with Xian Qing, each taking what he needed. Xian Qing happily ran aside to refining. L. Yu Ming observed the Jiao dragon bone beads and was very happy in his heart. After collecting it, he continued to devour the blood refining pill. Two days later, all of the remaining blood refining pill was refined by L. Yu Ming, and L. Yu Ming's spine was full of blood. But L. Yu Ming was not eager to break through Wu Zong. He felt that it was not enough. He still needed to continue to refine treasures such as blood refining pill and blood refining crystal. At this time, Xian Yanqing sat cross-legged, the blood on the spine was more intense than L. Yu Ming, and there was a horrible fluctuation. The refining blood refining pill is obviously not as much as L. Yu Ming, but the fluctuation is stronger than L. Yu Ming, which is the reason for the talent. Half sounded, the blood light disappeared, and the horrible fluctuation hidden, Xian Yanqing opened his eyes. Do you still have the blood refining pill? The first question asked by Xian Yanqing after finishing the practice. L. Yu Ming spread his hand and said, I'm gone, I'm still too little. Then kill, there must be many blood refining crystals on other people. A trace of coldness flashed in Xian Yanqing's eyes. Just what I want. L. Yu Ming smiled faintly. Immediately, the two left here, chose a direction, and ran away. Two hours later, the two stopped in a barren mountain. Because the two felt that the second bloodline, which had not yet awakened, was throbbing and seemed to be attracted by something. Over there. The two went in that direction. Ten miles away, an endless stone forest appeared. Stone pillars stood there, these pillars were carved into various shapes, such as tiger, lion, wolf. There are even carved adult, real dragon, and so on. Uh. 
a uh. around there were many figures rushing towards the stone forest boom in the stone forest there was constant roar and there was clearly someone fighting L Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing looked at each other and rushed towards Shi Lin dead on the edge a young man of Wu Zong's weight came to L Yu Ming and was pierced into the heart by L Yu Ming the young man's lethal eyes widened and he was incredible now L Yu Ming has approached Wu Zong indefinitely he can be called a half step master and he is stronger than before an ordinary Wu Zong can be killed with a single stroke as soon as the young man died all the blood chi essence and blood were condensed into blood crystals there were 16 pieces which were collected by L Yu Ming at the same time the true chi was spewing and the storage ring of the young man was also collected by L Yu Ming moving on along the way many people wanted to start with L Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing but both were mercilessly killed the power of my wind and the power of fire are combined and the power is huge but it is only combined and it cannot be fully integrated if the two powers can be fully integrated the power will be even more amazing but how can the two potentials be fully integrated if it works it will be my killer l yu ming fought while thinking soon the two ran a distance of 10 miles and the kind of attraction to the blood was stronger soon a pit appeared in front surrounded by various patterns the two walked into the pit and looked at it for a moment in the pit there are all bones all kinds of creatures humanoid and all kinds of monsters between the white bones there are blood red crystals exuding brilliance blood refining crystals are all blood refining crystals what makes them attractive is the blood crystal this is not left now but left in ancient times this place is a burial ground or a place of ancient sacrifice Xian Yanqing seems to be talking to herself, her voice trembling. Blood refining crystals, blood refining crystals, these are mine. All around, there was a figure, and a fiery flame erupted in his eyes, looking down. Your find death. It's you who died. Wow, wow. Several figures jumped down the pit and fought in mid-air. At this time, Ku Luming and Xian Yanqing also jumped out of the pit. Suddenly, someone attacked him. Bump. L Yu Ming directly printed a humane palm, struck this young master of Wu Zong's weight into meat patties, and was condensed into blood refining crystals in the air. Xian Yanqing is also very powerful. The black lotus flew out and cut off the head of a master Wu Zong. As soon as the two fell down, They suddenly swept through the air, and the blood refining crystals were collected by the two. With just a few breaths, L Yu Ming collected hundreds of blood refining crystals. Looking around, there are many, some even buried in bones. Accept, accept. L Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing enjoyed it. Hateful. Others saw that their eyes were red, and they stopped one after another, rushing down and trying to compete for blood refining. Wang. At this moment, a knife fell sharply from the top. The screams sounded, and five or six young people were beheaded. Then, a young man with loose hair and a sword on his back appeared above the pit. Zhao Hong, Zhao Hong, go away! The rest of the people were frightened and flew to the sky quickly, trying to escape. But at the next moment, a knife flashed, and all of them were cut in half in the air. Dead. Zhao Hong casually glanced at L Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing in the pit, and then he was cut with a knife. The sword light is pale, the murderous opportunity is like the snow of winter, and the cold is extremely cold, covering both people. Humanity palm. Heavenly demon hand print. L Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing drink lightly and join forces to fight the enemy. Faced with such strong enemies, there is nothing to hesitate, only to join forces. Boom. With a roar, L Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing drifted back. Yap. Zhao Hong's eyes moved, and some surprises, said, "I didn't expect that two great martial arts masters could actually block me. It is really rare in the world, but today, 
you are still dying. Boom. On Zhao Hong's body, a powerful breath erupted, and a knife-like sword gleamed into the sky. Cut. Then, cut it with a knife. Retreat. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing didn't think about it, and they quickly retreated. Bump. Zhao Hong's knife was chopped on the thousands of bones in the pit. The bones suddenly shattered and irradiated randomly. Blood refining crystals flew into the sky and fell again. Roar. It is here that mutations burst. Under the pit, beneath thousands of bones, a loud roar came suddenly. A terrifying and fierce air rushed out from under the bones. Bump. Then, the bones of the pit burst open, and a creature rushed out. This creature, adult-shaped, is three meters tall, covered with green hair, long and sharp nails, and fangs in his mouth. Blood stiffness. This creature is exactly the same as the blood stiffness that L. Yu Ming encountered in the Blood Demon Cave. The only difference is that the eyes of this blood stiffness are golden, and the breath is much stronger than the blood stiffness encountered in the Blood Devil's Cave. The fierce anger is pervasive. Roar. As soon as the golden eye blood stiffness appeared, he pounced on Zhao Hong, and the nails on his paws were like a blade, grabbing toward Zhao Hong. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Court Death Zhao Hong drank coldly and chopped off with a knife. Ling Xian's knife slashed toward the golden eyes. When Dao Guang and nails cut together, making the sound of gold and iron fighting, and Mars was shining. Bump. A figure flew back far away, actually Zhao Hong. He was not enemies at all, and was caught in a claw with golden eyes and blood. Roar. The golden eye blood stiff roared and continued to chase Zhao Hong at a fast speed, like an electric light flint. Zhao Hong's face was extremely ugly, and there was blood spilling from his mouth. He had been injured by the move just now. At this point, the golden eye blood froze, he did not dare to fight, turned around and ran. The direction of his running was the direction of L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing. No, go. L. Yu Ming's face changed, and Xian Yanqing also turned and ran. The two of you dare to run? Don't hurry up and help me to hold this blood zombie, and die in the blood zombie's hands. You are still dying happy. When you fall into my hands, I want you to beg for death. Zhao Hong drank coldly and was overbearing. Wakao, what is one of the fifty supernovas in the Blood Empire, I think it is a complete fool, Xiao Qing, what do you think? A very disdainful voice came from L. Yu Ming's mouth. Xian Yanqing stumbled and nearly fell. What did L. Yu Ming call her? Xiao Qing? Xian Yanqing's eyes showed a fierce light and stared at Ming Ming. Xiao Qing, is that guy a fool? L. Yu Ming pretended not to know and continued to ask. Yes. Xian Yanqing squeaked with a bite of silver teeth, and only half a word spit out a word. L. Yu Ming is clearly taking advantage of her. Court death. Zhao Hong roared. He was about to explode, and wanted to strike a knife at the landing, but when he was mentioned, the speed became slower, and the golden eye blood caught up stiffly. Sigh. Although Zhao Hong escaped quickly, there was still a piece of cloth caught, and the piece of cloth that was captured happened to be in Zhao Hong's ass. Immediately, most of Zhao Hong's snowy buttocks were exposed. Zhao Hong screamed and jumped forward like an electric shock before he escaped the danger of being torn by a scratch, but at the next moment, he felt his buttocks chilling and turned his head to look at it, even more roaring. Hey, why is that guy in such a strange running posture? He always looks at his butt, is he sick? L. Yu Ming pointed his eyes and found Zhao Hong's strange whisper. Zhao Hong's face was flushed, and L. Yu Ming's murderous opportunity couldn't be more intense. He chased frantically towards landing Ming and the two, while golden eye blood froze behind chasing wildly. Zhao Hong is very fast and will soon catch up with L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing. Ha ha ha, go to die, boy. There is a beautiful woman to accompany you, and Huang Chuan Road is not lonely. 
Zhao Hong sneered, bursting with anger, boosting the speed to the extreme, flying over L. Yu Ming's head, arrogant. Behind, golden eyes blood stiff roared, staring at landing Ming and Xian and Qing, the murders permeated. Okay. At this moment, L. Yu Ming suddenly felt that the piece of town demon sent by Zhu Yang Supreme was glowing slightly. Does the town demon order to subdue the blood demon, there is still power to subdue this golden eye blood stiffness. A thought flashed in L. Yu Ming's heart. No matter, give it a try. L. Yu Ming suddenly stopped her body, and the demon had appeared in L. Yu Ming's hand unconsciously. L. Yu Ming, what are you doing? Xian Yan Qing was shocked. But L. Yu Ming just smiled to her without explaining. Damn it, L. Yu Ming, you can't die before I step on you. As soon as Xian Yan Qing gritted his teeth, he stopped and stood beside L. Yu Ming. Ha ha ha, these two cheap species are probably scared and stupid. Zhao Hong ran wildly until he was ten miles away before stopping, standing high in the sky and watching from afar. Roar! Golden Eye's blood stiff roared, one paw will be grabbed to L. Yu Ming. Stop! In L. Yu Ming's hands, the sedative magic light glowed, and an invisible wave rushed towards the Golden Eye blood stiffness. At the same time, L. Yu Ming sipped in his heart, and turned into an invisible wave, rushing into the Golden Eye blood stiffness body. All this was silent, even Xian Yan Qing didn't feel it. At this time, Xian Yan Qing was already covered with black lotus all over his body. But suddenly, the golden eye blood stopped stiffly, his mouth growled, but he did not continue to attack. Successful. L. Yu Ming's eyes lit up. Go back. L. Yu Ming again conveyed a command in his heart. The next moment, golden eyes snarled and snarled, turned around and ran back, then jumped out of the pit and disappeared. Xian Yan Qing was dumbfounded, his eyes widened, and said in a daze, This, what's going on? Ha ha ha, Xiao Qing, haven't you seen it yet? My L. Yu Minghong is lucky to be a pride of heaven, blessed by the heavens, what kind of golden eyes are blood stiff, when I see that I haven't escaped obediently, how dare I I do it? L. Yu Ming laughed violently, a villain got his way, and he was narcissistic. Cut. Xian Yan Qing despised and did not believe L. Yu Ming's gibberish at all. Then the silver teeth clacked and said, L. Yu Ming, I warn you not to call me Xiao Qing. Okay, Xiao Qing. L. Yu Ming answered. You. Xian Yan Qing straightened his teeth, and wished to bite L. Yu Ming up. In the sky in the distance, Zhao Hong also looked dumbfounded. What's going on? Why didn't the golden eye blood stiff attack those two? Zhao Hong's eyes almost burst into shock. Doesn't golden eye blood stiffness attack as long as you admit defeat? Zhao Hong was there to think about it. But he didn't dare to step forward in a moment and a half. The golden eyes were so stiff that he was fighting head to head. If he hadn't done a few moves, he would be killed. In the stone forest, L. Yu Ming glanced at Zhao Hong in the far sky a sneer in the corner of his mouth, and then said to Xian Yan Qing, Go, there are so many blood refining crystals, let's all take it away. Are you still going? Not afraid of the golden eyes and blood. Xian Yan Qing hesitated. What are you afraid of? I said, I was blessed by the heavens, and the golden eyes and blood froze to see me, and it was too late to run. Where dare to start, rest assured, with me in. It's okay. L. Yu Ming was sullen and smug, striding forward. Xian Yan Qing clenched his teeth and followed L. Yu Ming. When the two came to the pit, the golden eyes were stiff and there was no movement. With a smile on L. Yu Ming's face, he didn't worry at all and jumped directly out of the pit and started collecting blood refining crystals. Seeing this, Xian Yan Qing also let go of her heart, and somehow, she suddenly believed in L. Yu Ming's words a little bit. Bah, how is it possible? This guy talks a lot. Xian Yan Qing shook his head secretly and began to collect blood crystals vigorously. It's okay, it's really okay. In the distance, Zhao Hong saw this scene, and his mouth could jam a goose egg. 
Do I have to kill those two people in the past to seize the blood refining crystals? No, I am talented. I have a limitless future. How can I easily take risks? When those two guys collect the blood refining crystals and come out, I will kill them again, the blood refining crystal is not mine. Zhao Hong calculated well, but he was not in a hurry and waited in the air. Accept, accept, accept. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing harvested wildly and were extremely excited. After a while, the two collected more than 3,000 pieces each, and then the blood refining crystals in the pit were collected. Bikub www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. What should I do? That guy is waiting for us outside. No matter if we go out from that direction, he will probably chase us. Xian Yanqing looked at the sky and frowned. Why are we going out, it's not necessary to practice here. El Yuming smiled lightly, jumped into the pit, and sat cross-legged next to him. Cultivate here. Xian Yanqing is incredible. Trust me. El Yuming sent a voice to Xian Yanqing's ear. Xian Yanqing doubted it, but then thought about it. This guy El Yuming has never suffered a loss, maybe this guy really has any way. As soon as he gritted his teeth, Xian Yanqing went out and sat cross-legged, took out a handful of blood refining crystals, swallowed it, and began refining. El Yuming smiled, but also deliberately glanced at the sky, took out a handful of blood refining crystals, swallowed in one bite, and began refining. In the sky, Zhao Hong looked dumbfounded. Actually refining blood crystals here? Damn, it! Zhao Hong shouted in his heart, and the murderous opportunity burst out in his eyes. In his view, the blood refining crystals here belong to him. Now El Yuming and Xian Yanqing are actually refining his blood refining crystals, which is simply a sin of evil. But he was hesitant in his heart and didn't pass. Soon, El Yuming refined a handful of blood refining crystals, and took out another hand to start refining. One by one, it didn't take long for El Yuming to refine hundreds of blood crystals, and Xian Yanqing was similar. The golden eye blood stiffness hasn't appeared yet, it should be all right, smash it, let me die. Zhao Hong snarled and flew towards landing Ming. After a while, he approached El Yuming. Are you finally here? There was a sneer in El Yuming's mouth, no matter what. He continued to practice. Xian Yanqing was shocked and got up to resist. Little debris, die. Zhao Hong roared, and the sword would be cut off with one shot. Roar. At the pit, a loud roar came suddenly, and the golden eye's blood stiffly rushed out, killing Zhao Hong directly. Bump. Unexpectedly, Zhao Hong was swept by the golden eyes and blood, and he vomited blood, and his body flew away. Roar. The golden-eyed blood quickly killed Zhao Hong. What's going on? How could this be? The two miscellaneous pieces have been here for so long, not only collecting blood refining crystals, but also refining them here, and the golden-eye blood stiffness has not rushed out, why did it rush out when I came, I not convinced. Zhao Hong roared inwardly. But wherever you dare to stay, turn around and run. Jinyan blood stiffened and grabbed, squawk, Zhao Hong's pants were caught out of a big hole, revealing a snow-white butt, twisting wildly in the air. Hey! Your buttocks are showing up again, haha, eh? Why should I say again? El Yuming laughed. Xian Yanqing blushed and turned away. Ah! Zhao Hong suffocated the sky and screamed, dancing wildly, with an astonishing momentum but he was greeted by a claw of golden eyes and blood. Chant! Claws flew past, leaving five scars on Zhao Hong's body, as if cut by a blade, blood dripping. Zhao Hong vomited blood violently. He had been injured before, and his speed slowed down. He could no longer escape from the golden eye blood stiffness. To die together! Zhao Hong screamed and rushed towards landing Ming. El Yuming got up and looked at him lightly. The scene that made Zhao Hong vomit blood appeared. 
When the golden eye blood stiffness rushed near L. Yu Ming, he didn't even look at L. Yu Ming and continued to pursue him. Why? Zhao Hong roared, unwilling and puzzled. But it was useless. He was quickly caught up by the golden eye blood stiffness. He was talented and desperately resisted. After a few strokes, he was still torn in half by the golden eye blood stiffness. Zhao Hong, one of the fifty supernovas in the Blood Empire, and a genius of the same rank as the six heroes of the Scorching Sun, died in unwillingness, doubt and humiliation. His blood and sperm blood were all converted into blood crystals. 81. Zhao Hong condensed 81 blood crystals. His second bloodline is the King level first bloodline. L. Yu Ming took it all, and Zhao Hong's blood refining crystal. Roar. The golden-eyed blood snarled and appeared beside L. Yu Ming, standing there obediently. Xian Qing was stunned. She stunned for a while, and suddenly thought of the extremely powerful blood demon before him, who was also obedient in front of L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming, do you have any way to shock the monster? Xian Qing asked. Aren't I telling you? I am the arrogant of heaven, blessed by the gods, these monsters when they see me, are shocked to the heavens, naturally obedient. L. Yu Ming looked proud and looked at Xian Yanqing carefully. He said, How is it? Isn't it tempting? Would you like me to be a hotbed? Follow me, there are infinite benefits for you. L. Yu Ming looks like a stink. Warm you big head ghost, hum. I guess you must have some kind of treasure that can subdue the monster and pretend to be in front of me. There is no way. One day, I will step on you. Xian Yanqing sneered, twisting his proud neck, and went to the side to refine the blood crystal. L. Yu Ming grinned, and told Golden Eyes to stand still, and then took out Zhao Hong's storage ring. Regardless of the rest, L. Yu Ming took all the blood refining crystals inside. There are more than 500 in Zhao Hong's storage ring, there are actually more than 500 blood refining crystals which shows that at least hundreds of young masters died in Zhao Hong's hands. This time, it was all cheaper L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing are here to refine their blood crystals. During this period, other young people came here and were scared away by the golden eye blood stiffness. In a blink of an eye, another two days passed. L. Yu Ming has refined more than 3,000 blood refining crystals. Adding up and down, L. Yu Ming's refining blood refining pill and blood refining crystals have already exceeded 6,000. At this time, at L. Yu Ming's spine, the blood was extremely rich, and the blood gas was like substance. Okay, now break through the Wuzong realm and awaken the second bloodline. L. Yu Ming's eyes moved, and he immediately waved his hand, and hundreds of thousands of spirit crystals appeared around him. Afterwards, the War Dragon's recipe worked. Cyclone Danchen rapidly rotates, the dragon-shaped real chi in the body is endless, the spine, the blood veins are skyrocketing, and the blood gas explodes. At this moment, L. Yu Ming's essence and energy condensed to the extreme. Boom! Suddenly, a roaring sky roared inside L. Yu Ming's body, and a sperm of energy rolled up and rushed into the sky. Within a few tens of miles, Countless young strong men looked here. Furious, this is someone breaking Wu Zong. It's a terrifying atmosphere. This kind of power is too amazing. What kind of genius is it? When I broke through Wu Zong, the energy was less than one fifth of him, horror. Many people talked, and some people even came here, but with golden eyes and blood stiffness, they simply couldn't set foot. Some people even want to break through and they are directly killed by the golden eye blood stiffness. Others dare not break through anymore. The pillar of essence and energy disappeared after a while. Swallow me. At this time, L. Yu Ming's Jolong bloodline appeared, with a mouth full of breath, and a large piece of spirit crystal around him exploded, swallowed by the Jolong bloodline, and continuously transformed into L. Yu Ming's true energy. The true qi in L. Yu Ming's body is constantly increasing and improving. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, 
update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. It didn't take long for at least more than 200,000 pieces of spirit crystals to be absorbed by L. Yu Ming and transformed into true qi. L. Yu Ming felt that his true energy was ten times stronger than before. Wu Zong realm is really powerful. L. Yu Ming has already broken through Wu Zong's first realm. Bloodline, Awakening At this time, L. Yu Ming's spine was shocked, and the rich blood light diffused out. At the spine, a blood red light was extremely rich, as if something was coming out of the body. Awakening L. Yu Ming growled again. Bump. At the spine, blood exploded, and then an object came out. This was actually a stone tablet. The stone tablet, 10 meters high, was suspended above L. Yu Ming's head. There seemed to be handwriting on the stone tablet, but it was dim and indistinct. This is my second bloodline? Is it actually a stone tablet? Is it a special bloodline? L. Yu Ming secretly said. Buzz. The stone tablet shook, and a silver chakra emerged. The silver chakra represents the royal blood. A silver chakra represents the first class blood of the king. But this is not over yet, the stone tablet shakes again, the second silver chakra emerges, and then, the third silver chakra. When the third silver chakra emerged, there were no more chakras. King level third blood, this is the final level of Liu Ming's second blood. The three silver chakras are shining and dazzling. I was swallowed by more than 6,000 blood refining pill and blood refining crystal, and the awakened bloodline did not disappoint me. Liu Ming smiled, quite satisfied. With his own talents, if he has not swallowed more than 6,000 blood refining pill and blood refining crystal, it is estimated that he can only awaken the ninth level blood veins of all levels, and it is impossible to reach the king level. Call. The second bloodline vibrated, exuding a strong attraction, and the immense vitality of heaven and earth was absorbed by L. Yu Ming to transform the true qi. This is the blood of the king level blood, which is so wonderful. When you first awaken, you will have a chance to devour the heaven and earth aura, and then it will slowly subside. This opportunity cannot be wasted. In L. Yu Ming's hand, more than 200,000 pieces of spirit crystals appeared around him. These spirit crystals were obtained by beheading other young masters. Bump. 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 Pieces of spirit crystals exploded and turned into rolling energy, which was constantly absorbed and refined by L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming's Xiu Wei rose like a rocket. The first period of Wu Zong's first emphasis, but it didn't take long for L. Yu Ming's cultivation practice to break through to the middle period of Wu Zong's first emphasis but this is not the limit and is still improving. An hour later, L. Yu Ming's cultivation practice broke through to the top of Wu Zong's first heavy one stop, only one line away from Wu Zong's second heavy. At this time, the second bloodline stabilized and no longer absorbed the heaven and earth aura. Call. L. Yu Ming Chong took a breath, his eyes flashing like two lances blasted out. Feeling the almost endless true energy in his body, L. Yu Ming smiled. But in terms of true energy, it is much stronger than before there was no breakthrough. When the heart moved, the second bloodline lurked. Hey, it's just the blood of the third level of the king. What's so proud, look at me. Aside, Xian Yanqing has been paying attention to L. Yu Ming's breakthrough just now. He snorted at this time, sat cross-legged, and began to continue to refine blood crystals. L. Yu Ming smiled, didn't care, and moved his hand, and took out a jade bottle. It is Yi Yu and Gu Ling Dan, and he still has dozens of bottles in his hand. He plans to use Yi Yu and Gu Ling Dan to raise his cultivation base to Wu Zong Duo. Opening the jade bottle, the Kowloon bloodline appeared, with a mouth full of breath, and all of the 99A dragon elixir were inhaled. Breaking into Wu Zong realm, the energy required is even more terrifying. Even if it is a primitive spirit pill, too little quantity will have no great effect. L. Yu Ming simply devours the whole bottle. While L. Yu Ming refines the elixir, he part of his mind and observes Xian Yanqing. After more than an hour, 
Xianianqing stopped refining and refining blood crystals and began to break through. With Xianianqing's talent, breaking through Wuzong is not a problem. Soon, she successfully broke through, and a terrifying spirit rose into the sky. This spirit was no less than L. Yu Ming's, and it caused a sensation again. The people nearby were shocked, two consecutive breaths of energy, and each one was terrifying. Is there two geniuses here who are breaking through? Everyone was very curious. Boom! After the breakthrough, Xian Yanqing began to awaken the second bloodline. The blood was so bright that it was very rich, almost covering a few miles. L. Yu Ming was dumbfounded, and this blood was amazing. The momentum is ten times stronger than he had just now, no, not even. Hey! The blood was swept up and down, and an astonishing pressure spread out. For a moment, the blood light dissipated, and a figure appeared over Xian Yanqing's head. Yes, yes, Xian Yanqing's second bloodline is actually a person, a woman more than ten meters tall, curvaceous wearing a black gauze, sitting cross-legged on a black lotus. The woman's appearance was not clear, but her figure was so good that she exuded temptation everywhere, like a witch. The most terrifying and the most stunned L. Yu Ming is that this woman actually emits seven silver chakras. L. Yu Ming's eyeballs were stunned in the blood of Wang level and level seven, and his face was demented. He was so shocked. The blood of the Wang class is extremely difficult to awaken. Like Duan Mulan, the genius known as the encounter of the Duan Mu family for thousands of years, the future can surpass the characters of the wind and the bogey. And geniuses generally at the level of the six heroes of the scorching sun are awakened by the king level, and some people may not stop there. It can be seen how terrifying the seventh grade king. Genius, this is the real genius, Xian Yanqing clearly has no more blood refining pill and blood refining crystal than L. Yu Ming but the awakened bloodline does not know how much stronger than L. Yu Ming. This is the real evildoer. Even if Xian Yanqing didn't refine the blood crystal, he might be able to awaken the blood of the fifth blood of the king. At this time, Xian Yanqing opened his eyes and sipped, swallow. Hey! The heaven and earth aura between heaven and earth seemed to be crazy, and it rushed towards Xian Yanqing. The heaven and earth aura within a few tens of kilometers were twitched, and there seemed to be a strong wind blowing in the air. What's going on? I can't absorb the spirit of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth aura is under control. Within a few tens of miles, a cry of exclamation sounded. At the same time, Xian Yanqing's jade waved, and piles of spirit crystals appeared. There were hundreds of thousands of them all of which exploded and turned into an ocean of spirits, instilling in Xian Yanqing. Xian Yanqing's cultivation was madly promoted, Wu Zong emphasized the early stage, Wu Zong emphasized the middle stage. Soon, he rushed to the peak of Wu Zong first heavy, but did not stop, with a bang, broke the bottleneck and broke Wu Zong second heavy. Continue to improve, until the peak of Wu Zong's double, Xian Yanqing's cultivation for the promotion, only stopped. This, this is too scary. L. Yu Ming was dumbfounded. When he broke through, he suddenly awakened to the peak of Wu Zong with the help of the awakening of his bloodline, which is extremely rare, equivalent to the average number of years of hard work. But Xian Yanqing was even more terrifying and rushed directly to the peak of Wu Zong's double. This is the seventh blood of the king. Of course, this improvement is a one-off, and we will have to work hard slowly in the future. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. At this time, Xian Yanqing got up, and the rather proud person looked at L. Yu Ming and said, How is it? The third level blood of the king level, what's counted? Hey, take me now. Xian Yanqing Jiao sang, shot with a palm, a black palm print formed, extremely terrifying. Humanity palm. L. Yu Ming also shot with a palm, and his true energy surged, forming a huge palm print, which was blasted with Xian Yanqing's black palm print. With a loud bang, the two shivered and took a step back. 
You broke through Wu Zong's double. Xian Yanqing exclaimed. Of course. L. Yu Ming laughed. Before Xian Yanqing broke through, he swallowed twenty bottles of one element ancient spirit pill in a row and broke through Wu Zong's double in one fell swoop. Humph, don't think you broke Wu Zong's double, I can't step on you. Xian Yanqing drank, blood fluttered on her body, and her blood was about to burst. Roar. With a loud roar, golden eyes and blood stiffness appeared beside Xian Yanqing, staring at her with fangs open. Xian Yanqing screamed and hurriedly retreated, shouting, L. Yu Ming, you lie Pai. What's wrong with me? You said every day that you would step on me. Today, I'm going to put you under you. Hey, get started. L. Yu Ming sneered, snorted, and hurried to Xian Yanqing. At the same time, the golden eye blood stiffness also growled and pounced at Xian Yanqing. Xian Yanqing was shocked. Blood flashed on her body, and her bloodline was about to burst, but her golden eyes and blood stiffened and her mouth screamed. At the same time, L. Yu Ming threw a shot, and a palm force poured into Xian Yanqing Danchen, temporarily blocking her true energy. Later, L. Yu Ming took Xian Yanqing in his arms and threw it to the ground. L. Yu Ming's body pressed tightly against Xian Yanqing. Get away from me! Xian Yanqing screamed and struggled desperately. What's it called? As soon as L. Yu Ming exerted his strength, Xian Yanqing was temporarily blocked, and wherever he could resist, L. Yu Ming was so tight that he could not move. L. Yu Ming let me go, otherwise I won't let you go. Xian Yanqing yelled. Hey, now it is completely in my hands and I dare to threaten me, it seems that I used to be too honest, fart slash share. L. Yu Ming slaps and laughs with kinky slash swinging. This slap was directly photographed on Xian Yanking's full slash full curl slash buttocks. Snapped. A very loud voice sounded, Xian Yanking's body suddenly shuddered like an electric shock, his body was stiff there, and a pair of beautiful big eyes stared stunned. But L. Yu Ming didn't mean to stay at all. The beauty was in her arms, saying that no response was false. L. Yu Ming could not help but reached out a hand and walked on Xian Yanqing. L. Yu Ming, L. Yu Ming, I hate you, you do it, I must step on you. Xian Yanqing was soft all over, and inexplicable feelings were rippling in his heart. She gritted her teeth and scolded in a low voice. But she scolded and scolded and her tears went down. This time, L. Yu Ming was really a little bit of a waste of hands, and quickly let go of Xian Yanqing, saying, Hey, what are you crying for? I haven't done anything yet. But Xian Yanqing's crying was like the river that opened the gate, and she couldn't stop it. The crying one is sad, the crying one is pitiful, and tears are cascading like pearls on the ground. It seems that there is a great deal of grievance, and I want to vent from this cry. L. Yu Ming gaped. He felt as if he had done something terribly wrong. But he hasn't done anything yet. Therefore, he can only stay aside. After a while, Xian Yanqing stopped her tears, staring at the landing stair blankly, and suddenly gritted her teeth, Hey, L. Yu Ming, I will let you go for a while today, one day, I will step on you underfoot. This sentence again. L. Yu Ming was completely speechless. I'm leaving, will you come? L. Yu Ming asked. Hey, of course you have to go, you don't want to run away. Xian Yanqing followed Lang Ming with cold hum. There was a smile on L. Yu Ming's mouth, and the two left the stone forest. Of course, there are also golden eyes and blood stiffness, but L. Yu Ming took out a very generous black robe and hat so that golden eyes and blood stiffness would be put on, otherwise it would be too conspicuous. The two chose a direction arbitrarily and traveled along the way. On the road, they also met a few warriors with short eyes, which was solved by L. Yu Ming. After two hours. When. Suddenly, a bell rang from a distance, echoing between the world. The bell didn't know how far it came from, anyway it sounded like it was ringing in the ear. Curious bells, what does this represent? L. Yu Ming was a little curious. 
Xian Yanqing shook his head and said nothing. Let's go and see. Al Yuming said, saying nothing, spurt of real energy, Al Yuming rose into the sky and flew in the direction of the bell. Stepping into the realm of Wu Zong, I was finally able to do what I wanted. Xian Yanqing and Jin Yangxiu stiffened and followed Al Yuming. When? After a moment, the second bell sounded melodiously. It sounds similar to the previous one, but El Yuming clearly has a distance from the position of the bell. El Yuming they continued to fly towards the source of the bell. After a while, the third bell rang. It sounds the same size as the previous two, as if it sounded in the ear. Uh. Uh. From time to time in the air came the sound of breaking the sky, not only El Yuming, but others also heard the bell and went in the direction of the bell. Soon after, the fourth bell rang, at this time, El Yuming saw a mountain. This mountain, towering into the sky, is magnificent. And the bells came from the top of the mountain. When I came to the foot of Dashan Mountain, I found that Dashan was blocked by a heavy light curtain and could not enter at all. At this time, hundreds of young strong men have gathered at the foot of the mountain. A. Uh, a sword light flashed out and a young man wearing a swordsman's robe stayed in the air. Everyone was surprised, some people recognized this as Duan Ling and Yunyu Jujia. Next, masters appeared from time to time. In addition to Duan Ling, there are also fifty supernovas in the Blood Zhao Empire, and two people have appeared in succession. When? When? The bell sounded melodiously, and it would ring every moment. When the eighth sound sounded, a young man with hands on his shoulders, like a demon, came from the sky step by step. Yang Laihuji is here. Someone exclaimed. Even those geniuses at the level of the Blood Zhao 50 supernova have changed their complexions to the extreme. The genius on the Yundi list is too strong. At this time, more than a thousand people had gathered at the foot of the mountain. When? A moment later, the ninth bell rang slowly. When the ninth bell sounded, the light curtain that shrouded the mountain shook, and actually dissipated, turning into invisible, exposing the true face of the mountain. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. In front, there are eight roads leading straight to the top of the mountain. On every road, at every distance, there was a gleam of glittering objects, exuding precious light. That's a treasure. Yes, those who can stay here must be extraordinary. Many people's eyes glow. Look, there is a stone tablet with words on it. Someone called. At the intersection of each road, there is a platform. In front of the platform, a stone monument stands. The crowd looked up, then their eyes flashed. The meaning on the stone tablet is obvious. The above said that this was the way of competition for the disciples of Yundi Palace. Every road was set up with a large inscription array, and each road could only be accompanied by one person. In the eight roads, only eight people can pass, and on the road, there will be some treasure rewards. Everyone's eyes were hot. This way is mine. It's mine. Immediately, a dozen people rushed to the platform on the first road. Boom. But then, a fiery punch, like the sun, slammed toward the platform. More than a dozen young masters, without even screaming, were directly burned to ashes. A young man stepped up and glanced around. It is Yang Laihuji. Most people's faces have changed. Obviously, Yang Laihuji set foot on the first road, which has been owned by him. The second article. Someone rushed towards the second way. Call out. A steel bar swept across, and a dozen young people screamed and were swept out of the platform. A chaotic young man, holding an iron rod, walked onto the second platform. One of the fifty supernovas of Blood Zhao, Bloodstick Iron Demon. Someone exclaimed. Many people's eyes flickered and wanted to rush up, but the Iron Demon was so powerful that an iron rod swept through the thousand armies. Call out. A sword light, such as a fairy outside the sky, 
appeared on the platform of the third road. Duanling is one of the nine masters of Yunyu. Boom! On the sixth road, there also appeared a strong man, one of the fifty supernovas of Blood Zhao. Suddenly, the first road, the second road, the third road, and the sixth road were all occupied. The four of them stood on it, others stepped back, and no one went up to death. The remaining four roads are fiercely competitive. Groups of people rushed up, struggling to fight, and people kept falling. Being a person, this is the battlefield of Wuzong. Those martial arts in the great martial arts realm can hardly intervene. I want one. Xian Yanqing whispered, and then moved into the fifth way. Heavenly Demon Handprint Xian Yanqing's big demon handprint, I don't know what level of martial arts, as her cultivation ability is improved, the power is more and more scary. What? What? Several consecutive screams, the master of Wu Zongjing of seven or eight people was shot and flew by Xian Yanqing, and even a few people burst into the air. Good, who is this person? Someone was shocked. Don't want to die, leave me. Xian Yanqing is cold and overbearing. Some people did not believe in evil and wanted to rush up, beheaded by Xian Yanqing. The rest were helpless and could only be transferred to other roads. Then I have one too. L. Yu Ming's body moved, rushing toward the eighth road, followed by Golden Eye's blood stiffness. Die to me. A blade of light was slashed to the top of landing Ming's head, which was very powerful. It is a warrior with a peak of Wu Zong. It's you who died. The town demon gun appeared in his hand and swept out with one shot. Bump! The young man flew out like a shell, not knowing how far he flew out and disappeared. Boy, it's you! Suddenly, a cold drink sounded near L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming looked away, and was happy. Wasn't this the young man in Jinbao who robbed Yai Wan Lingden before? Jin Bao's youth looked around L. Yu Ming, and then showed a cold light sneeringly said, Boy, now you are here alone, I think how do you die? Really? It's up to you, I'm afraid it's far away. L. Yu Ming smiled faintly. Boy, your mouth is useless, die. The Jin Bao youth shouted, and his body exuded a violent breath. Wu Zong Triple, this Jin Bao youth actually reached Wu Zong Triple. Some time ago, his cultivation base was still at the peak of Wu Zong's double. It seems that these few days, the young men in Jinbao have also encountered adventures, making cultivation base breakthrough. Dead. The purple light on Jinbao's youth turned to gold, and a palm blasted out, and a golden dragon flew out, slamming toward the landing. L. Yu Ming didn't look at it, just pulled it out with one shot. Bump. The golden real dragon is like tofu, and L. Yu Ming's sparse rotten, violent gunman continued to sweep towards the Jin Bao youth. How could this be? Jin Bao youth shouted inconceivably. His training was to break through Wu Zong's triple, and L. Yu Ming was still alone. Originally, he thought that beating L. Yu Ming was a breeze, but it never happened that his most proud martial art was smashed by L. Yu Ming. At this point, he yelled and exploded with full force, wanting to resist. Bump! The violent gunman's lance, pumped on his body, smashed all his defenses, his body crackled and there was a chaos, the bones of his body didn't know how much he broke, and he fell like a pool of meat on the platform. Died. L. Yu Ming stretched his hand and sucked the Jinbei youth storage ring into his hand, and then killed him towards the others. Bump! Bump! L. Yu Ming shot directly and overbearingly, forming a huge lance with a spear and sweeping the thousand armies. Bump! Bump! Those young men, like broken sacks, were swept away by L. Yu Ming, repaired to be weak, and their bodies exploded directly. In an instant, only L. Yu Ming was standing on the platform at the 8th road junction with a gun alone. Who is this person? Too strong! Many people watched landing in shock and did not dare to step forward. In this way, the fifth and eighth roads were occupied by L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing, respectively. There is only the fourth way, 
and the seventh way, the competition is extremely fierce. Fighting ceaselessly, blood flowed into a river, and in the sky, inscriptions emerged, condensed blood crystals. After a while, the fourth road and the seventh road also have owners respectively. The fourth way is a bald young man with Wuzong triple peak strength, extremely powerful. Of course, it is still worse than the genius at the level of Lija and Lihuja. The seventh path is occupied by a short and fat young man, and this person's cultivation is also the triple peak of Wuzong. Eight roads, no one dares to challenge. Rush. Then, the people on the eight platforms rushed towards the road. L. Yu Ming also rushed towards the mountain road, followed by golden eyes and blood stiffness. Golden eyes are blood stiff, not human, so he can go on the road with L. Yu Ming. Not long after rushing out, the light and shadow in front flashed, and four tiger-shaped monsters suddenly appeared, blocking the front road. Obviously, these four monsters are all condensed out of the inscriptions, not entities. The four monster beasts are all the strength of Wuzong Triple. L. Yu Ming could see the strength of the four monsters at a glance. Roar! Roar! Four monster beasts rushed towards the landing. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Call out! Call out! L. Yu Ming's spear shook, and suddenly four guns burst out. Puff! Puff! The four monster beasts were pierced by the guns and turned into little energy to dissipate. Taking L. Yu Ming's current practice as an ordinary Wuzong triple, he is not his opponent at all and can easily kill him in a single stroke. After the four monsters were killed, L. Yu Ming stepped forward a dozen meters, where there was a light group, and there was a cheat suspended in it. With a real breath, the cheats naturally fell into L. Yu Ming's hands. 10 Swing Sword Tactics, Ground Level Martial Arts Looking over, L. Yu Ming was slightly disappointed. Swordsmanship, L. Yu Ming simply can't use it. Today L. Yu Ming's ground level martial arts have ancient shield tactics and three palms. These two martial arts are extremely ancient martial arts, and they are definitely top notch in the ground level inferior martial arts. In addition, Zhulong Tianbu's martial arts skills are not practiced. It can be said that for other martial skills, L. Yu Ming is not lacking for the time being. What he wants is a gun skill. He still uses the Xian level inferior martial arts gang gun tactics, which is not enough at all. However, after all, it is a prefecture level martial art. You can't use it yourself. It's amazing to sell. Some of the great geniuses of Dae Zong men certainly do not lack prefecture level martial arts, but many Xiao Zong men, even Wu Zong martial arts men who are in casual repair, simply cannot possess a prefecture level martial art. For a prefecture level martial arts, let them go bankrupt. Therefore, the price of a prefecture level martial art is at least 1 million Ling Jing. L. Yu Ming put away the cheats and went on. After walking for more than 100 meters, the light flashed, and there were monsters and beasts. This time, it was eight monsters from Wu Zong's triple early stage. There is still no slight hindrance to L. Yu Ming. Call out! Call out. Eight guns were stabbed, and eight monsters were killed. In front, there is another light group. This time, the light group is a spirit soldier war sword, this is a fourth grade spirit soldier. L. Yu Ming sighed, why is it all related to the sword? But anyway, it is a fourth grade top spirit soldier, the price is no lower than the ten swing sword tactics, L. Yu Ming naturally quickly put away. Then continue upward. But the next moment he was a little stunned, because he found a chunky figure. It was the short and fat young man on the seventh road. At this time L. Yu Ming found that the eighth road actually merged with the seventh road and merged into one road. The same is true for other roads, where the first and second meet. Articles 3 and 4 merge, and Articles 5 and 6 merge. Two people on two roads are about to meet. To the back, there are only four roads left. Obviously, the chunky young man also saw L. Yu Ming, 
his eyes flashed with fear, and his body flashed continuously, wanting to rush up quickly. But at the fusion point of the two roads, the light flashed, and a demon came out. There are sixteen monsters in total, and each monster has a stronger breath than before. Wuzong Triple Peak, sixteen monsters, are Wuzong Triple Peak strength. As soon as the sixteen monsters appeared, they threw themselves at the chunky youth. For a time, the chunky youth fell into a bitter battle. El Yu Ming quickly rushed over and burst out of the gun. Wu Zong's triple top monsters, who had no resistance at all, were killed by El Yu Ming one by one. In a while, there were no more than sixteen monsters. Shall I do it myself? El Yu Ming looked coldly at the chunky youth. The chunky young man's face is extremely ugly. Although he is a genius, he is at the peak of the triple martial arts master, but he can even fight with the general Wu Zong quadruple warrior. But it is clear that El Yu Ming is stronger than the ordinary Wu Zong's fourfold warrior. Despite being unwilling, the chunky youth finally gritted his teeth and turned away from here. After all, the treasure is precious, and the life is gone, then everything is empty. El Yu Ming waved his gun and killed the remaining monsters and walked towards the third light group. This time, the light group is still a martial art. El Yu Ming picked it up. Prestige martial arts at the prefecture level, 100 step fist. El Yu Ming was delighted. This time, it was actually a prestige martial art at the prefecture level. It was really amazing. You must know that a sect such as the Xian Yuan Sword School, the highest level of martial arts, is only superior to the ground level. The price is terrible. El Yu Ming put it away excitedly, and then glanced at the other road. The young man on the second road was the most unlucky. As the 50th supernova of the Blood Zhao Empire, he encountered Yang Six Pole. Without having to fight, he took the initiative to quit. In the battle with Yang Liuji, he lived to death. The third and fourth way, Duan Ling easily beheaded his opponent. The fifth and sixth road battles were the most intense and caused others to stop. Xian Yanqing had a fierce duel with another Blood Zhao 50 supernova. Xian Yanqing exhibited a terrifying combat power. The blood of the king level and seventh level blood is really too strong, and the battle with the other party is fierce. This is a fierce battle of six heroes. Hundreds of battles, and finally Xian Yanqing waved a hand, a huge, beautiful woman's arm appeared out of thin air, slammed the other side, and vomited blood. In this battle, Xian Yanqing wins. This chick, she has such a strong fighting ability. If she does her best, I will probably lose. It seems that after going out from here, I have to successfully train Zhulong as soon as possible. Break through the fifth floor, or my advantage will become less and less obvious compared to other geniuses. El Yu Ming thought secretly, and then continued to rush upward. After a while, another monster came out. This time, there were only four, but the breath of each was a lot stronger than the previous monster. Wu Zong's fourfold early stage, four monsters, are all Wu Zong's fourfold early stage. Four monsters roared to El Yu Ming roaring. El Yu Ming fought with a gun, Wu Zong's fourfold, not a single shot can kill in seconds, which gave El Yu Ming considerable pressure. El Yu Ming didn't show his humanity. He just played with a spear and wind and fire. He wants to take advantage of the war to understand the integration of the wind and fire. Bump. A monster was shot by El Yu Ming, but it didn't dissipate. The roaring rushed up again. In this way, a demon beast rushed up and was hit by El Yu Ming again. El Yu Ming's use of wind and fire has gradually become more skillful, but it is still far from complete integration. After hundreds of moves, the four monster beasts suddenly burst into contact, dissipating into the invisible. El Yu Ming was stunned. It seemed that after continuous blows, the energy of the four monsters had been exhausted and dissipated automatically. El Yu Ming smiled and stepped forward, where a fourth light group appeared. Inside is a jade box. El Yu Ming put it away, opened it, and was immediately delighted. In the jade box, 
it is actually a part of the monster blood. A total of 9 points, the jade box reads, this is the 4th level 6 heavy monster blood. L Yu Ming was overjoyed, Jufen's 4th level 6 fold monster monster blood, the price is higher than horror, equivalent to Wuzong's 6 strong strongman, the outside world wants to buy, it is already very difficult to buy. L Yu Ming carefully put it away. Continue to move forward, and soon, eight monsters from Wu Zong's quadruple early stage appeared. L Yu Ming still used the gun to practice. After a while, the eight monsters exploded and disappeared. What appeared in the light group this time made L Yu Weiwei a little disappointed. A prefecture level practice. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. L. Yu Ming collected the exercises and moved on. After walking for a while, L. Yu Ming found that the two roads overlapped again. Ahead, Xian Yanqing stood quietly, as if waiting for him. Xian Yanqing glanced at L. Yu Ming without speaking and walked forward. The light flashed, and sixteen monster beasts came out. This time it was sixteen monsters with four peaks of Wu Zong. Xian Yanqing fights with the monster. Xiao Qing, don't wait for me. L. Yu Ming rushed up and smiled. Xian Yanqing snorted coldly, glaring at L. Yu Ming fiercely, his palms shot continuously, and he seemed to regard the monster as L. Yu Ming, dispersing his anger on the monster. These monsters were miserable. Several were destroyed on the spot. This woman is really violent. L. Yu Ming whispered, the gun burst shot. The two of them worked together, and the monsters were killed after a short time. The two stood opposite each other, looking at each other in silence, and there was only one person who wanted to move on. Xiao Qing, continue to move forward, it is estimated that you will have to meet Yang Liuji, if you can, I will let you go. L. Yu Ming laughed. No, I'm not an opponent of Yang Liuji. This opportunity is given to you but I tell you that if you lose to Yang Liuji and lose the top treasure, I will never end with you. Xian Yanqing gritted his teeth. L. Yu Ming has golden eyes and blood stiffness around him, and may be able to compete directly with Yang Liuji. Xian Yanqing knows that she is not yet an opponent of Yang Liuji. Haha, thank you very much. L. Yu Ming laughed. Xian Yanqing scratched him, turned and walked down. At the foot of the mountain, more than a thousand people looked at the mountain one by one. They didn't know what was happening on the mountain, because after the mountain road was going up for a while, it was shrouded in a hazy glow, which could not be seen clearly. You said, what's on it? There must be treasures, and the stone tablet says that it is the way for Yundi Palace disciples to compete, and the reward must be extraordinary. Unfortunately, we are too weak to go at all. Among the eight people, I know the other six people. There are one man, one woman, and two young people, but I have never seen them before. As soon as L. Yu Ming's figure disappeared, the crowd below discussed. After that, they waited and wondered what treasures there were on the mountain road. Look, someone is down. It didn't take long for someone to scream, and when everyone looked at it, they saw the seventh path, and the short, fat young man came down. It's K. Dong, how did he come down, what happened? Everyone was puzzled. Look, the 50 supernova has also come down. At this time, the second road and the sixth road, respectively, walked down two people. These two are two of the 50 supernovae of the Blood Zhao Empire. How come 50 supernovas have come down, what's the danger? What about other people? Why didn't they come down, are they already dead on it? K. Dong, what's going on? Everyone speculated that someone asked K. Dong. K. Dong was silent for a moment, without concealing, and said the above things again. It turns out that after passing a few levels after going up, the two roads will converge, and there will be a battle with each other. It is no wonder that the disciples of Yundi Palace have tried it. It's not surprising that Yang Liuji defeated me, but according to K. Dong, on the fifth road, 
that beautiful woman actually defeated the 50 supernova, which is incredible. Yet, according to this speculation, Duan Ling will be defeated if he encounters the Yang Six Pole, and the two strange men and women will match, and the person who wins the final will face the Six Pole. Yang Liuji came to the end, without any suspense, I don't know those two strange men and women, who can win. Look, there will be results soon. Everyone waited while discussing. It didn't take long for someone to come down. It was Duan Ling, and he was staggered, and his clothes were covered with blood. Duan Ling was injured, did he and Yang Liuji start? I think that's probably the case. I really can't control myself. With him, he wanted to start his hands with Yang Liuji and could retrieve a life. It was already lucky. That is, even Yun Yuayu, the head of Yun Yujuja, is not an opponent of Yang Liuji. Hey, look, that woman is down. Suddenly someone shouted. Everyone looked at the fifth way and saw Xianianqing coming down from above. This woman is so powerful, defeated the 50 supernova, and actually lost. It seems that the other stranger is stronger. Really crouching tiger, hidden dragon, don't know if the man can compete with Yang Liuji. That's absolutely impossible. The man is too weak to cultivate, and it's too far away from Yang Liuji. That's right. Even so, everyone still stared at the mountain road closely, revealing the look of expectation. Who will come down early? On the mountain road, after Xian Yanqing went down, El Yu Ming continued to move up, and in front of him, there was a light group. This light group is actually a piece of withered vine. Withered vines are only half a meter long and have thick fingers. What is this? A piece of dead vine? What's the use? El Yu Ming was stunned, holding the dead vine, looking left and right, and he couldn't see anything special. It is like an ordinary vine with no vitality. Forget it, let's put it away first. After all, it was obtained from the remains of Yundi Palace, shouldn't it really give a dead vine? Maybe it works? After being put away, El Yu Ming continued to move up. After a while, another monster appeared. This time, there were four monsters from Wu Zong's fivefold predecessors. Wu Zong's five weights are three levels higher than El Yu Ming's, giving El Yu Ming great pressure. Boom! El Yu Ming did not hesitate and broke his blood. What he broke was not the Kowloon bloodline, but the second bloodline. An ancient stone monument emerged. On the stone monument, the fog was misty and mysterious. Afterwards, the stone monument did not enter El Yu Ming's body, and El Yu Ming's power increased dramatically. Previously, El Yu Ming seldom broke out of blood, not because he didn't want to break out, but the time when the Kowloon blood broke out was too short, only a few breaths. But now that the second bloodline has been awakened, there is no longer this problem. At the time of Wu Zong realm, the time for the bloodline to erupt was raised to an hour, which was enough to fight recklessly. When the blood broke out, El Yu Ming was so strong that he was as strong as a rainbow rushing towards the four monsters. Bump! He pulled out a shot and slammed with a monster. With a loud roar, he shot back with strength. Roar! The other three monster beasts again killed El Yu Ming. Good to come! El Yu Ming Chong Xiao, holding the Jin Yeo gun, rushed up. On the town demon gun, the wind and fire were shrouded, and between the waves, it was extremely fast and at the same time, bursts of hot intentions broke out, and the lethality was extremely amazing. Boom! Boom! The roar kept ringing, and El Yu Ming did not let the blood stiff in the process. Ha ha, happy! El Yu Ming's eyes glowed, completely immersed in the war. He also deepened the integration of wind and fire. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. The second blood broke out, and El Yu Ming felt that there was endless power in his body. Every shot of the gun seemed to have a stone tablet melted into the gun, making El Yu Ming's every move, every style, and power very terrifying. Bump! 
one shot swept out, that is, a monster was shot. The four monster beasts, like four balls, were constantly blown away by El Yu Ming. After about a hundred strokes, the four monsters broke apart. These monsters, although not as powerful as the real monsters, are not much worse. It seems that I am now fully exploding and should be able to compete with ordinary Wuzong five-fold pre-warriors. El Yu Ming had a rough judgment about his strength. After all, in every big realm, the leap in strength is different. Then El Yu Ming walked forward, and in front of him, there was another cluster of light. This time, it was still a secret book. El Yu Ming opened it and couldn't help being overjoyed. The situation is determined and the prefecture is superior in quality. This is a prefecture-level practice. Kung Fu is different from martial arts. Kung Fu is the root of the martial arts. Only good Kung Fu can keep practicing and making breakthroughs. Good exercises, the speed of cultivation is faster, the true qi produced by the cultivation is more condensed and strong, and it can be cultivated to a higher level. A practice can create a sect. Like the Xian Yuan Sword School, the Zhen Zone practice is called Xian Yuan Sword Skill. A prefecture level superior skill is many times more precious than a martial art that is also superior grade. Prefecture level quality is much more precious than prefecture level quality. L. Yu Ming overjoyed to put it away. Then, continue upward. Soon after, eight monsters from Wuzong's five peaks appeared in front of L. Yu Ming. Roar. A beast roared and rushed to El Yu Ming like a wind. Humanity Palm El Yu Ming burst out with a big palm, and the huge palm print collided with this monster. Boom! El Yu Ming's body shuddered and was backed off repeatedly by a huge force. The monster was only a few steps behind. The power of Wu Zong's five-fold peak monster has surpassed El Yu Ming. Blood Stiffness As soon as his thoughts moved, El Yu Ming let Golden Eye stalemate his hands. The eight monsters of Wu Zong's five peak peak, El Yu Ming must not be able to beat it, it is better to let blood stiffness shot. Roar. The blood stiff roared, rushed forward, his claws waved continuously, and his claws caught out. Sigh. The monster of the eight headed Wu Zong was Hong Peak, like a rag, was torn apart by blood stiffness and disappeared invisible. There is nothing strange about El Yu Ming. He has long discovered that the level of golden eyes and blood stiffness is Wu Zong Qi Zhong, which is extremely powerful. It is not easy to deal with Wu Zong's five heavy monsters. After killing the monster, El Yu Ming moved forward easily. In front, there is still a light group waiting for him. This time, it was a wooden box. El Yu Ming opened the wooden box and found a strange piece of metal lying inside. Is this heavenly fire and gold? After carefully recognizing, El Yu Ming felt a big shock in his heart, and then he was ecstatic. Tian Huo Liujin is a treasure of heaven and earth, very rare, and the main material for forging fifth level spirit soldiers. The fifth level spirit soldier, but is known as the king spirit soldier, the weapon dedicated to the king of war. This precious metal, even the king of martial arts, was jealous. Haha, <laughs> sent it, really sent it. El Yu Ming laughed and put away with joy. Here are the ground level high level exercises, as well as heaven and fire, and I really look forward to what else ahead. El Yu Ming was very much looking forward to it. With blood stiffness, continue upward. In front, a figure stood there, standing with his hands down. Yang Liuji. The last two roads finally converged, and El Yu Ming and Yang Liuji finally met together. I didn't expect that someone really could come up. It seems that he has some skills. Now, I'll give you a chance to roll back from the same path immediately. I can go around you and not die. Yang Liuji carried his hands on his back and looked down at the landing clan, his tone was very domineering. Which green onion do you count? I'll give it back to you, Ma Shanun, or you will die. El Yu Ming sneered. Yang Liuji's complexion instantly dimmed, and he said, I promise, you will regret it because of this sentence. 
the voice was cold, flooded with cold killing opportunities. L. Yu Ming smiled lightly, step by step, and walked up slowly. When L. Yu Ming was near the intersection of the two roads, a monster came out of that place. A total of sixteen, each exuding a terrifying breath. In the early period of Wu Zong's sixth fold, the sixteen monsters were all in the early period of Wu Zong's sixth fold. Roar! Sixteen monster beasts roared to the six poles of Xiang Yang. Dead! Yang Laihuji drank coldly and waved his fists. A sun appeared in the sky, and a terrifying, hot energy burst. The monster monster burst into contact and dissipated into a little rain of light. L. Yu Ming's eyes shrank slightly and the genius on Yun Emperor's list was indeed a powerful horror. The monsters in the early stage of Wu Zong's sixfold were completely crushed. Bump! Bump! Sixteen monster beasts, like fireworks, one after another, burst in the air, and the light and rain were gorgeous. Now, know the gap between you and me, but now I want to go, it's too late. After the Yang Laihuji killed sixteen monsters, his eyes were as bright as electricity, staring at the landing sound, and striding toward the landing sound. Who said I'm leaving, I'm really self-righteous. I've beaten my pet first. L. Yu Ming sneered, then waved his hand. Roar! The blood stiff roared out. This is... When Yang Laihuji saw the true appearance of golden eyes and blood stiffness, his eyes narrowed, and then he punched out. Fisting force condensed a sun, and froze towards the golden eyes. Boom! The fiery punching force collided with the golden-eyed blood-stiff claws. Vigor raged in all directions, while the golden-eye blood-stiffness and Yang Laihuji's body both trembled, with seven or eight steps in hind legs. Haha, <laughs> it seems that you are nothing more than that, even one of my pets can't beat it. L. Yu Ming laughed. But he was shocked secretly. The cultivation of Yang Laihuji should be the early stage of Wu Zong's fivefold, but his combat power cannot be judged by cultivation at all, at least he can fight across two levels. Go to hell! Yang Laihuji was shaken, his eyes burst into endless rage, his hair fluttered, and his hot breath filled. The fire potential, and the fire potential is very strong, is stronger than L. Yu Ming's fire potential. I'm afraid that the fire of the Yang Six Pole is about to reach completion. L. Yu Ming was a little surprised. Big Sun Fist! Yang Lu roared greatly, and the whole person radiated a bright light, like a sun. Boom! Boom! He blasted several punches in a row, and each punch was shot by a sun. One by one the sun froze towards the golden eyes. The golden eyes blood stiff roared. The whole body was full of blood, the claws were pulled out, the nails were blood red, and the claws were sharp, as if they could tear the space. Bump! Bump! Continuous impacts sounded, roaring continuously. The scene was extremely shocking, as if one sun after another went out in the air, like the scene of the end. The golden eye blood roared stiffly, it was not afraid of death, and it was invulnerable. It was extremely powerful. Although it was Wu Zong's seventh level, its combat power was not comparable to ordinary Wu Zong's sevenfold. After dozens of strokes, the golden eye blood stiffness began to prevail. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Hateful. Yang Laihuji roared in his heart, the attack was more violent, but it was useless. The golden eye blood stiffness was not as good as the sword and the gun, and the fire and water did not invade. The Yang Laihuji's fierce punch fell on the golden eye blood stiffness. It didn't feel at all. On the contrary, it is the six poles of the Yang. It is necessary to avoid the claws of the golden eyes and blood stiffness everywhere. If you are not careful, you may be torn. Laugh. After more than ten strokes, the golden eye blood stiffened and caught it on Yang Laihuji. Yang Lu tried hard to avoid it, but still left several scars on his body, blood flowing. Roar! The golden eyes were stiff with blood, and made a violent roar, 
and the crazy Xiang Yang six poles flew away. Yang Laihuji's face was extremely ugly. Damn, boy, sooner or later, I want you to die without a burial place. Yang Laihuji's angry long roar, then pulled his legs and rushed down the mountain. Slow walk, don't send. L. Yu Ming also waved his hand and smiled. This caused Yang Laihuji to almost fall over, and his whole body shivered, almost spitting out old blood. In a blink of an eye, Yang Laihuji disappeared in front of him. At the foot of the mountain, more than a thousand people were waiting quietly. Who will come down first? Everyone was thinking about this problem. Maybe that kid will never come down. Some people laughed, thinking that L. Yu Ming would probably die in the hands of Yang Laihuji. Damn fellow, you can't die in the hands of Yang Laihuji. Xian Yanqing whispered. Although he knew that L. Yu Ming had golden eyes and blood stiffness, but he didn't know what to do. At this time, there was an involuntary expression of worry in her eyes, even she didn't find it. Someone is down. Suddenly a cry of exclamation sounded, and many people were shocked in their hearts, and their eyes could not help glancing at the eighth road. No one on the eighth road. Everyone trembled in their hearts and looked at the first way. Yang Laihuji, covered with blood, gloomy face down the first road. Wow! There was an uproar suddenly, and more than a thousand people were stunned. The first to come down was actually Yang Laihuji, and he was injured. Did he lose or win? Everyone was guessing that perhaps Yang Laihuji had already beheaded L. Yu Ming and won the final reward. But the next performance of Yang Laihuji makes people know that Yang Laihuji has mostly lost. He stood at the foot of the mountain, looking at the top of the mountain coldly, his face extremely ugly. This expression is obviously defeated. Everyone took a breath, and even the six poles of Yang were defeated. Where is the other party sacred? On the mountain road, L. Yu Ming didn't know this. After watching Yang Laihuji leave, L. Yu Ming turned and walked up. Ahead, the road has reached the end, and at the end of the road, there is a bright cluster of light. A Cheats is floating in the light group. A Cheats again. L. Yu Ming's eyes lit up. I have already obtained the prestige exercises at the prefecture level, but now there are cheats. Is it a cheat of heaven? L. Yu Ming's heart began to heat up. Stretching out his palm, he took a breath and the cheats fell into his hands. The surface of the cheats is actually filled with a ray of blood, strangely extreme. Open cheats and take a look. All body fighting body, body training, the strongest can cultivate nine grade flesh body. L. Yu Ming was violent in his heart, and then he was ecstatic. It is actually a physical exercise method, and it can also cultivate nine ranks of flesh. This is a priceless treasure, which is more precious than the heaven level martial arts. Haha, <laughs> I'm worried about looking for a bodybuilding exercise. L. Yu Ming laughed. Then I can't wait to look over. But haven't seen a few pages yet, the world suddenly shook. What happened? L. Yu Ming's face changed. Buzz. Suddenly, a beam of light enveloped L. Yu Ming. L. Yu Ming felt a whirlwind, and then disappeared on the mountain road. At the same time, a beam of light also appeared at the foot of the mountain, covering everyone. Not only at the foot of the mountain, in the remains of the entire Yundi Palace, the remaining youths were shrouded in beams of light. Shrouded by a beam of light, the figure disappeared in the next moment. A moment later, outside the Yundi Palace, in the vast mountains close to the Blood Devil's Cave, a beam of light suddenly appeared. The beam of light spread out, revealing the figure inside. All our young people who entered the ruins of Yundi Palace. Come out, come out, ask about the situation. Look at what treasures are inside. Among the vast mountains, those old people shouted. L. Yu Ming felt a whirlwind, and when he appeared again, he found that he was between two mountains. The golden eyes were stiff and came out, standing beside him. In the sky, silhouettes flew, flying around. Little debris, get out and die. Suddenly, 
a loud roar spread across the vast mountains, the Yang Six Pole, he roared, standing high in the sky, killing cold. What's the matter? Who is going to kill Yang Liuji? Many senior figures are puzzled. After inquiring with other youths, they realized that in the remains of Yundi Palace, Yang Liuji had suffered a great loss. The older generations were shocked, but they did not expect to take the practice of Yang Liuji, and they actually suffered a big loss in the hands of other young generations. Damn, dare to take the treasure from Tian Jiao, my dairy fu, it. Find out the little miscellaneous, let him understand the end of our big day house. Some of the elders in Dea Fu shouted and breathed like a mountain. A group of fools. In the mountains and forests, L. Yu Ming's contemptuous pouting, and then with the golden eyes and blood stiffness, ran away in the direction of the blood area demon cave. He had an appointment with Xian Yanqing before, and when he came out, he hurried to the blood devil's cave. He had to cross back from the blood domain demon cave to the sun empire, because if he wanted to bypass the blood domain devil cave, the journey would be more than ten times longer. The people of Dea Fu have hardly seen him. Where can I find him? El Yuming rushed across the mountain smoothly and came to the blood demon cave nearby. In front, the dark red mist filled, hazy. A graceful figure stood there, Xian Yanqing had arrived. Let's go in. El Yuming shouted, with golden eyes and blood stiffness, rushed in without hesitation. Xian Yanqing followed. At the next moment, El Yuming and others appeared in the blood demon cave. Looking around, I didn't see the stone door last time. El Yuming took out the town demon order, and the town demon order glowed. Soon, a loud roar came, and the demon's tall figure ran from the blood mist. Roar! Golden Eye's blood roared stiffly, all green hairs stood upright, standing in front of El Yuming, looking at the running blood demon, his eyes actually showed fear. Bump! The blood demon stopped not far away, brought a gust of wind, and looked at the golden eyes with blood stiffness. Okay, all right. El Yuming smiled, and a thought passed to Jinyan's blood stiffness, letting it relax. Golden eyes stiffness relaxed. Let's go up. El Yuming smiled and jumped on the back of the blood demon. Then Xian Yanqing and golden eye blood stiffness also leapt on the blood demon's back and the blood demon roared loudly and ran towards the distance. This direction, contrary to the direction of the Blood Zhao Empire, should be the direction leading to the Sun Empire. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Xiao Qing, there is one thing I want to tell you. On the back of the blood demon, El Yu Ming suddenly said to Xian Yanqing. What's up? Xian Yanqing said coldly. Regarding El Yu Ming's call to Xiao Qing, although she hated the tickle of her teeth, she apparently defaulted. I've seen your sister. El Yu Ming said. What? Xian Yanqing's pupils shrank suddenly, a glare of hatred and determination flashed in his eyes. What did she say to you? Xian Yanqing stared at Landing Ming and asked. She asked me to bring you a sentence so you don't always want to surpass her, because it is a waste of time, it is impossible. El Yu Ming originally brought Xian Yanjun's words to Xian Yanqing. Sure enough, it's so self-righteous. After hearing this, Xian Yanqing gritted his teeth, his eyes showing a decisive look, saying, isn't it the natural blood of the king level? What's so great, sooner or later, I will step on her foot. El Yu Ming heard the words and couldn't help but touched his nose. This chick really likes to step on others' feet. At the same time, he was secretly shocked in his heart, listening to the meaning of Xian Yanqing's words, Xian Yanjun was actually born with the blood of the king, which was terrifying. Born to be a royal bloodline means that the first bloodline of awakening is the royal bloodline. There is no doubt that this kind of person is a rare demon in the world and a terrifying talent. No wonder that Xian Yanjun was so powerful at the time. The six warriors of the Grand Martial Arts practiced only one inscription to attack Wuzong of the Shadow Wolf Pavilion. 
Liu Yuming even suspected that Xian Yanjun did not use his full strength at all. What kind of sister is this, what is the origin? The talent is so amazing. It seems to be very different. L. Yu Ming secretly curious. But Xian Yanqing didn't say it, and he didn't ask. The blood demon fell into silence on his back, and left in the direction of the Scorching Empire. The Scorching Sun Empire, outside the Blood Area Demon Cave. The four figures were there, and these four people were what Chu Chong Kong told him to stay here. Is he really arrogant? I blame the two little kings and bastards. The innocent Lao Zi is staying in this place where the bird is not shit. It has been more than ten days. Died inside. A burly man scolded uncomfortably. Although entering the Blood Devil's cave will surely die, but the Master of the Sky is also just in case. Let's keep it for another month. After a month, if there is no movement, we will leave. Said a grey-haired old man. He was the highest among the four, reaching Wu Zong's fourfold. Well, I really hope that the two little kings and are not dead. In that case, I will make them regret coming to this world. The burly big man grumbled. But at the next moment, his pupils suddenly widened, revealing incredible colors. The same is true of the other three. In the Blood Devil's cave, the blood mist overflowed, and out of the blood mist, three figures emerged. Who is El Yuming and Xian Yanqing? After more than a day of running, the blood demon carried them, and finally came to the border of the blood domain demon cave on the side of the raging empire. There is no stone gate here. Instead, when you see a light gate and step into the light gate, you will naturally leave the blood area demon cave. However, the blood demon can't follow them away, but the golden eye blood stiffness is possible. The golden eye blood stiffness is not a thing in the blood domain demon cave. To L. Yu Ming's surprise, as soon as he bleeds into the devil's cave, he meets the few people from the Ten Fang Jian school. Ha ha ha, these two little kings and are really not dead? Okay, 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 just let me take them, torture them well, and let them tell the secret why they didn't die when they entered the blood devil's cave. The burly big man laughed, his eyes filled with chill, and Wu Zong's double breath broke out, pressing against L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing. You want to know? Okay, come here, I will throw you in, you don't know. L. Yu Ming smiled faintly. It's stupid to die when you die, and it's really stupid to kneel for me. The burly man strode forward and pressed L. Yu Ming with a palm. Although L. Yu Ming's combat power is good, he is Wu Zong's double. He is confident enough to suppress L. Yu Ming with one palm. But the result was completely beyond his expectations, L. Yu Ming lightly extended a hand, grabbed his palm. At the same time, a strong and extreme qi came into his palm to destroy the decay and defeat his qi and poured into his arm. Click. There was a sound of bone fracture in his palm, and then, it was his arm, his muscles exploded, his bones broke and shattered into scum. Ah! The burly man screamed like a pig, and all the tears came out in pain. Bump! L. Yu Ming kicked and kicked in the danchen of the burly man, directly shattering the cyclone in his danchen, abolishing the cultivation of the burly man. The burly man screamed in despair. It's so unpleasant to call him, don't you want to know why I didn't die when I entered the Blood Devil's cave? Go in and see for yourself. After saying that, L. Yu Ming shook his arm and threw the burly man into the Blood Devil's cave. No. The burly man shouted in despair but his figure disappeared in an instant. Bold, die. At this time, the remaining three talents of the Ten Fangjian faction reacted and shouted one by one, with shock and incredible colors in their eyes. With the double strength of the burly Han Yuzong, there is no resistance in L. Yu Ming's hands. This is only a few days. How could L. Yu Ming become so strong? It's you who died today. The Ten Party Sword faction, starting with you, should charge a little interest first. L. Yu Ming's eyes were cold, and he strode toward the remaining three. Crazy, little beast, don't think that you can kill Wu Zong Duo, you can just wanton in front of the old man. 
I want you to know that there is a huge gap between Wu Zong Duo and Sis Hong. The white haired old man roared violently and his bloodline exploded, raising Wu Zong's fourfold strength to the extreme. Call out! He slashed with a sword, a blank sword chi, slashed toward the landing. Is it? L. Yu Ming sneered and punched out. Boom! A terrifying fist burst out of L. Yu Ming's fist, pierced the void, and slammed into the vast sword energy. Bump! Jian Qi instantly collapsed, and the rest of the fist fell unscathed, bombarding the old man. The old man screamed and vomited blood, and his body flew back thousands of kilometers. How could it be so strong? This person is unbeatable. I have to run away quickly and report this to Master Kong. The white-haired old man showed an incredible look, turned and ran. The other two saw L. Yu Ming punching the white-haired old man. He was terrified and turned and flew away. Want to go? How is it possible? Die. L. Yu Ming drank coldly and struck two punches in succession. Boom. Boom. Two fists punched the void and slammed towards the two. The two men were only Wu Zong's heavy practice, and they couldn't resist it. Two screams sounded and the two were directly hit in the air. Then L. Yu Ming stepped on the void and chased towards the old man. After a few breaths, he chased behind the old man. The old man shouted and fought to counterattack, but it was useless and was bombed by L. Yu Ming. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. L. Yu Ming urged the blood of Zhulong to up, engulfing the blood of the white haired old man. Then the figure flickered and the storage rings of several others were taken away by L. Yu Ming. While taking away the storage rings, they also swallowed all the blood. The four strong masters of the Ten Fangjian school, who were killed by L. Yu Ming after three times, five divisions, and two were cleaned up. This is probably not what Chu Chong Kong dreamed of. Go! L. Yu Ming smiled faintly, and with Xian Nianqing and golden eyes blood stiffened into the sky turned into a rainbow of light, and flew to the imperial capital quickly. While flying, L. Yu Ming refined his blood. Look at whether the second bloodline can upgrade the level by swallowing the essence blood. L. Yu Ming's thoughts moved all the energy refined from the Zhulong blood vein to the second blood vein. Suddenly, the second bloodline was engulfing energy frantically, L. Yu Ming felt that the three silver chakras were shining, and the strength of the second bloodline was increasing. Really useful, the level of the second bloodline can also be improved. L. Yu Ming was ecstatic. Against the sky, two against the sky. The Zhulong bloodline can actually swallow the essence blood and upgrade the level of other bloodlines, which is amazing. The level of his awakened bloodline is not important anymore. What is important is that as long as the blood is swallowed, his bloodline can be infinitely improved. At the moment, L. Yu Ming transferred all the remaining energy essence to the second bloodline. Two Wu Zong are one heavy, one Wu Zong is double, and one Wu Zong is four. Together, the energy is too strong. If the Zhulong blood veins are swallowed, I am afraid that the Zhulong blood veins will escalate in an instant, which will attract Xian Yangqing's attention. The blood of Zhulong cannot be exposed. However, although these sperm blood is strong, for the second blood, it is still a lot of money, and it is difficult to upgrade the second blood. King level third level bloodline, if you want to upgrade, you need energy essence, terrifying. Xian Yanqing seemed to feel that L. Yu Ming was a little strange, but just glanced at random, and he didn't care anymore. The two went all the way to the emperor. Taking the two men's current cultivation practices as the imperial heir, the speed is not faster than before, but it is only a little more than half a day. The emperor is already in sight. The two returned to the imperial capital and drove away the star palace. Before L. Yu Ming had learned with Wan Li transfer notes, L. Yu Yuntian had returned to the imperial capital safely and was in the star palace. L. Yu Ming can't wait to see L. Yu Yuntian. Tian Yun, you really appeared. Just as L. Yu Ming and others were about to arrive at the Palace of Stars, a loud shout suddenly came out, 
and the sound of breaking the sky sounded, and two young men appeared in front of Al Yu Ming. It turned out to be you, and I really have patience. I have been here like a dog, and I have worked hard for you. Seeing the two young men, Al Yu Ming's mouth twitched a sneering smile and sneered. These two young people were the two genius disciples who had rushed into Zheng Xin Palace and wanted to kill Al Yu Ming. They later threatened to block Al Yu Ming outside the Star Palace. The two are still here. What are you talking about? You are dead. The two young men were furious, and two powerful breaths rushed out of them respectively. The breath of the second peak of Wuzong came out like a mountain. All the people nearby were alarmed. What's going on? What happened? That's two gold-level disciples of the Ten Fang Sword School. Hey? The other side is Tian Yun. I know. More than half a month ago, Ten Fang Jian sent two disciples to the Star Palace, trying to kill Tian Yun, but finally failed, and was blocked by the elders and royal masters of the Star Palace. The disciples of the school threatened to intercept Tian Yun outside the Star Palace. Actually there is such a thing? Now Tian Yun is out of the General Star Palace, he is finished, there will be no reason to join the Master of the Star Palace. Tian Yun is in danger. Around the place, countless people were attracted by the movement here, surrounded by all kinds of discussions. Tian Yun, you should never say what you said just now. Since you said that just now, your tragic ending has been doomed. Today, I let you know what pain is and what death cannot be. One of the disciples of the Ten Fangjian sentiment was extremely gloomy, and the murderous body burst out like a substance. L. Yu Ming dare to say that they are dogs? Damn, this is absolutely ten thousand damn, who are they? The golden class disciples of the Ten Swords sect, the arrogant of heaven, have always been held up. When did anyone dare to say so? Don't be sloppy, if you want to start, hurry up, if you don't, just let Lao Tzu roll, how far? L. Yu Ming scolded. The people watching around all were stunned. This sky is too strong. How dare to blame the genius of the Shi Fangjian faction? This is a few young guru. Very powerful. Many senior figures must be respectful in front of them. Respectfully. Tian Yun, where did he come from? I think Tian Yun is out of this, knowing that he will die, it's better to scold for joy. I think so too, it must be so true. People around are talking. Kill, 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 Tian Yun, I'm going to kill you and feed your body to the dog. A ten party sword sent young people to roar, already completely unable to bear the anger in his heart. Laugh. The war sword shook, a horrible swordman's gleam, sparkling and dazzling, dazzling toward the landing. Rewind, rewind. Others around him were horrified and retreated quickly, because this sword was so terrifying, if it was swept by the aftermath, it would be injured or killed. But L. Yu Ming stood upright, standing there motionless. Beside him, Xian Yanqing and Jin Ye were blood stiff, and stood there, motionless as if not seeing it. Stupid, Tian Yun they are already scared stupid. Many people shouted in their hearts and came to this conclusion. Seeing that Jian Mang was about to be cut off from L. Yu Ming's head. At this moment, L. Yu Ming stretched out his palm, his palm glowed, and a long spear condensed out. Boom! Jian Mang slashed on L. Yu Ming's condensed spear, bursting into a roar. Later, Everyone saw that L. Yu Ming's figure was motionless, and even the clothing corner didn't float up. With the spear condensed in his hand, he firmly blocked Jian Mang. The crowd was stunned. Blocked, L. Yu Ming blocked the sword of the youth of the Ten Fang Jian school so easily. How could this be possible? Did the youth of the Ten Fang Jian school use their full strength? The youths of the Shi Fang Jian school almost projected their eyes and turned their hearts over. Others don't know, he knows it best in his own heart. He has put all his strength into the sword just now. The last time, L. Yu Ming was under his sword and fled in embarrassment, without the power to fight back. How long is it now? L. Yu Ming could easily block his sword, 
how is it possible? This is your strength? There is no change at all, it is really disappointing to stand still. A slightly taunting voice came from L. Yu Ming's mouth. Immediately. L. Yu Ming's spear shook, the gun body shook, and a terrifying force erupted. What? The youths of the Shifangjian school screamed, their bodies flew out like cannonballs, and they crashed into dozens of walls in a row, before they stood firm, but blood sputtered in their mouths. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Boom! The earth and the earth were shaking, like a sun bursting in the sky, terrifying waves sweeping in all directions. It can be seen on the ground that where the two of the air intersect, a visible air wave erupts, rapidly spreading out, and covering the entire imperial city in an instant. At this moment, all the strong men of the imperial capital were shocked, and their eyes turned to the fierce battle between El Yuming and Chu Chong. Boom! After shaking, the two figures flew back quickly, each standing back for thousands of meters. Have equal shares. Wow! In an instant, the whole room exploded, and there was a lot of noise. El Yuming was actually able to face Chu Changli head to head, and he was equally divided. How is it possible? How is this possible? You tell me, am I blind, what I just saw is not true. You trademark are blind, I'm not blind, I saw it too. God, Tian Yun was only a real warrior more than half a month ago. Only half a month later, he could actually fight Chu Changli. How is this possible? Is this too crazy? Why didn't he live in vain before? Everyone's nerves seemed to be in disorder, and they yelled indiscriminately to vent their shock. Because it was so shocking. This, this, this guy. Hua Qi was speechless and almost speechless. And beside him, several royal elders were also dumbfounded. Damn, damn, Tian Yun, you it! Chu Changli shouted. He is long in autumn and talented in heaven, but he has been dormant for more than twenty years. His purpose is to smash through the sky. As a result, he did it. With one shot, he defeated Ling Yanqi, one of the six masters. He enjoys this scenery very much, he has an ambition, he has to go all the way up step on other geniuses under his feet, and even replace the autumn sky. But now, he is actually blocked by the sky clouds like ants, which makes his reputation a little imperfect. Sin is unforgivable, absolute sin is unforgivable. Boom! Chu Changli flashed blood, and a tiger rushed out. This fierce tiger has long wings on its back. Around the tiger, there is a silver chakra, dazzling. King level blood. Tian Yun, I am the blood of the king level, the king born, not to die. Chu Changli shouted, the breath was very strong, Jian Guang cut to El Yu Ming again. Born king. There was a sneer in the corner of El Yu Ming's mouth, and then his body shook and blood rushed out. Then, a huge stone monument emerged. On the steel, three silver chakras, almost blind the eyes of others. Heaven, Earth, what do I see? Three silver chakras. The king level third bloodline is actually the king level third bloodline? How is it possible? Demon, real demon. The crowd around him finally calmed down and turned upside down again. Everyone uttered an incredible roar. Hua Qi changed from stunned into a last bitter smile. He has overestimated El Yu Ming as much as possible, but every time, he found that he was wrong, he always underestimated El Yu Ming. No, no, this is impossible. Chu Changli's eyes almost burst, and he screamed unbelievably. Boom! El Yu Ming's long rifle blocked Chu Changli's swordman, and then looked at him with a sneer, saying, What's impossible? It's just the third level blood of the king level, what's the matter? What's so surprised? You? just a frog at the bottom of the well. But beside him stood a demon of a seven-level bloodline of the king level. El Yu Ming didn't really think that the third-level bloodline of the king level was any great. Kill, kill, 
how about the blood of the king level 3? Still die today. Chu Changjai shouted, and his jealous heart was going crazy. In his heart, Tian Yun, a ants like thing, actually awakened the blood of the third level king, two levels higher than him. Unforgivable, he must kill El Yuming and cannot tolerate El Yuming living in the world. Just now, he was smug and proud of the natural king, overlooking El Yuming. But in the blink of an eye, El Yuming broke out of the blood of the third blood of the king. His blood is compared with El Yuming, that is garbage. This is Chi Kyuakuo's own fight on his face, which makes him more likely to kill El Yuming. Buzz. The sword of war shook, and the swords of the long autumn fighters were united, slamming towards the landing. El Yuming's spear shuddered and killed Chu Changli. Boom. Boom. The two fought fiercely together. It must be said that Chu Changli is indeed very powerful, far more than other young strong men of his generation. The practice of Wuzong Triple Peak. His momentum has become great, and he is also practicing submarine martial arts at the ground level, and has already reached the fourth level. The cultivation method should also be the ground level lower grade skill, plus the king level first level bloodline, full of power, let alone the warrior of the same level, even the warrior of the four peaks of Wuzong, he can be slashed in one move, he can completely cross two levels, and Wuzong was Hong peak warrior war. El Yuming is not easy to win when Xiu is behind by more than one level. Moreover, El Yuming did not perform prefecture level martial arts. He must contend with the trend of wind and fire, and with the help of Chu Changli, hone the trend of wind and fire, and let the trend of wind and fire be fully integrated as soon as possible. Boom! Dozens of tricks passed in a blink of an eye, and El Yuming gradually fell. After all, he didn't exhibit prefecture level martial arts, and suffered a big loss in this respect. Tian Yun is about to lose. It seems that after all, Chu Changli is stronger, but Tian Yunnan and Chu Changli's battle to this point is already terrifying. Tian Yun's bloodline level, given time, may not be able to surpass Chu Changli. Those who watched the battle all around could not help but express their opinions. Among the crowd, Hua Qi showed concern. Several elders, wait a minute, if Tian Yun loses, no matter what the price is, you must save Tian Yun. Hua Qi secretly heard several royal elders. The eighth prince is at ease, and his subordinates are desperately trying to keep Tian Yun's son safe. Several royal elders said. In this way, Hua Qi felt a little more at ease and continued to watch the war. Ha ha, Tian Yun, die. The autumn is long and fierce, and the momentum is like a rainbow. The amazing and splendid sword gas is constantly slashing out vowing to cut El Yuming under the sword. At this moment, El Yuming was deaf to the outside world. He was completely silent in his own world, silent in the world of wind and fire. It's about to come, it's almost there, it's almost there, the wind and fire will be fully integrated, it's almost. El Yuming glowed in his eyes, the spear in his hand was swaying, the speed was getting faster and faster, and the space was all gun shadows, and each gun shadow became more powerful. In a blink of an eye, it was dozens of tricks. Suddenly, El Yuming felt a shock in his heart. He suddenly felt that the trend of wind and fire reached a point, and when it reached this point, the trend of wind and fire completely merged together. Successful. El Yuming was ecstatic. Buzz. El Yuming's spear shocked, the trend of wind and fire merged, and a terror wave broke out, destroying Chu Changli's sword light. Call out! Immediately, the spear shook and punctured like a real dragon, and the wind and fire merged and burst out. Bump! Chu Changli screamed, and his body was shot and flew out, flying thousands of kilometers away. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. How could this be? Chu Changli stood at an altitude thousands of meters away, vomiting blood violently, and gave an incredible roar. All around, countless people watching the game are incredible. How is this going? 
Just now Ming Chu Changli has taken the upper hand. Victory is a matter of time. How did Tian Yun suddenly break out, and Chu Changli was hit by a single stroke, causing serious injury? Did Tian Yun have been hiding strength just now? Haha, <laughs> Chu Changli, thank you very much, thank you for the sparring just now, let me practice into a martial art. L. Yu Ming laughed. What? Countless faces watched each other, then suddenly. L. Yu Ming was just using Chu Changli to practice a trick. Everyone was really speechless. In the face of such geniuses as Chu Changli, L. Yu Ming was actually relying on each other's cultivation. It was really crazy. The craziest thing is that he actually succeeded in cultivation. Ah, Tian Yun. Chu Changli screamed in the sky, and then a few mouthfuls of blood spewed out. These mouthfuls of blood were completely angry. Insult, this is Chiguo's insult. Chu Changli felt his anger was almost going to break through his chest. What's the name of a ghost? It's your pleasure to let me practice with your help. L. Yu Ming stepped into the air and sneered lightly. Isn't Chu Changli crazy? I am more crazy than you. Boom. Then, L. Yu Ming took it off with a shot. The situation of wind and fire merges naturally, and the power of terror erupts. Bump. Chu Changli's sword gas was instantly defeated, and the guns kept on firing on Chu Changli. Bump. Chu Changli was like a ball. He was shot and flew out. His body almost burst apart. He vomited a lot of blood, and he was covered with blood. Rolling, completely rolling. The situation of wind and fire is completely integrated, and the power is so strong. L. Yu Ming secretly lamented. The power of the fusion of wind and fire has greatly exceeded L. Yu Ming's own expectations. L. Yu Ming estimated that the power of the combination of wind and fire should be equivalent to the sixth level of subordinate martial arts skills. After the potential is completed, it is the comprehension, the natural potential of heaven and earth, and the natural meaning of heaven and earth, which contains too many mysteries. I am still only touching a trace of fur. In the future, I must work harder in this area. L. Yu Ming thought. The combination of the wind and fire trend is called the wind and fire killing. It is a killing move that I realize by myself. With the deepening of the understanding of the wind and fire trend, I may be able to create a set of my own. Martial Arts L. Yu Ming's eyes showed a look of great expectation. What? Chu Chong roared violently and turned to run. But L. Yu Ming stepped out a few steps and caught up with him. Call out. Call out. Several shots were swept out and pumped on Chu Changli. Chu Changli screamed. His bones didn't know how many pieces he had broken. There was silence in the audience. Chu Changli was not Tian Yun's opponent at all. This was a one sided battle. Tian Yun, stop, this battle ends here. I admit that your strength is indeed slightly better than me. Chu Changli shouted. Stop it. Don't you forget that we made it, but the battle between life and death will never end. L. Yu Ming sneered and walked towards Chu Changli step by step. Chu Changli used his last strength and backed desperately, yelling, No, you can't kill me, Tian Yun, I warn you, I am a peerless genius of the Ten Party Sword School and I am destined to become the pinnacle in the future. If you kill me, the ten-party sword faction will never let you go. It's ridiculous, you and I are in a life and death battle, regardless of life and death, the two sides will not be held accountable. This is the martial law. If the ten-party sword faction is pursued because of this matter, it is a broken martial law, and the world's martial arts practitioners are enemy. I'd like to see if your ten-party sword faction has this ability. L. Yu Ming responded with a sneer. At the same time, he approached Chu Changli quickly, and his body burst into a biting murderous opportunity. No, Tian Yun, you can't do this. I tell you, if you really killed me, no one can protect you. Don't think that the royal family can protect you. I tell you that the royal family will be destroyed sooner or later. Sooner or later, 
the Scorching Empire will be unified. Then, the Scorching Empire will have no place for you. Chu Chenghao shouted and tried to threaten El Yu Ming. Really? That's the future, kill you first. El Yu Ming sneered, approaching Chu Changli, reaching out his palm, and grabbing Chu Changli. Chu Changli was seriously injured and dying, without any resistance, El Yu Ming was holding his throat. He was struggling violently, with horror and despair in his eyes. Just now, didn't you say that I wanted to understand what despair is? You should understand now. El Yu Ming looked at Chu Changli coldly, slightly mockingly. Just now, Chu Changli arrogantly said to El Yu Ming, let him understand what despair is, now he understands it himself. No don't kill me, I beg you, please. Chu Changli desperately called out a sentence. He was really terrified and desperate. All the masters of the Shi Fangjian faction hurried back to the Shi Fangjian faction to discuss a major event. Those who stayed in the imperial capital belonged to him the strongest, so no one came to rescue him at all. Coming, it's useless. But he doesn't want to die. He is a peerless genius. He has a great future. He really doesn't want to die. At this moment, he regretted very much why he wanted to provoke El Yu Ming. Now, he understands the truth, some people can't afford it. But now I understand that it is too late. Begging me now, it's too late. In El Yu Ming's eyes, there was a hint of indifference, and then his true energy burst. Bump! Chu Changli burst into the air. El Yu Ming secretly manipulates the bloodline and devours Chu Changli's blood. Of course, El Yu Ming will not let go of his storage ring. Quiet. At this moment, it seemed that the entire emperor was quiet. Chu Changli was actually killed and killed by Tian Yun. This genius, who had just risen and was about to rank among the seven heroes of Liege, was just killed. Too strong, this Tian Yun, too strong. It's really a ruthless person. Chu Changli was killed. I'm afraid that the top management of the Ten Fang Sword School is going crazy. How about going crazy? Tian Yun and Chu Changli are in accordance with the rules of martial arts. Even if you don't know how to intervene, you can come in secret. That's true. In the imperial capital, countless people are talking excitedly. Of course, some people lamented that the path of martial arts is so cruel. If you are a genius again, you might die in the hands of a stronger genius. The fall of one genius represents the rise of another genius. From now on, there will be one more genius in the Scorching Empire. That is, Tian Yun. Really killed Chu Changli. On the edge of Huachi, a few elders of the royal family are still unbelievable. This is his style. Huachi smiled bitterly. Uh. El Yu Ming's figure appeared on the edge of Huachi and said, Go go to the Palace of Stars. After being delayed for so long by several people from the Ten Fangjian factions, El Yu Ming can't wait to see El Yu Yuntian. Hua Qi nodded, and now, El Yu Ming, Xianian Qing, and Golden Eye Blood Stiffness followed Hua Qi and went to Jiangxin Palace together. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. When El Yu Ming saw El Yu Yuntian again, it was in an extremely secret partial hall of the Star Hall. Now, El Yu Yuntian has changed into a new robe, shaved his beard, and combed his hair neatly. A pair of sword eyebrows straightened into the temples. When El Yu Yuntian was young, he was originally a rare beautiful man, but just above El Yu Yuntian's nose bridge, there was a scary scar that extended all the way to his lips, ruining the beauty. But El Yu Yuntian didn't care, just stared at the landing song, and looked carefully. Minger, you have finally grown up, and you have become a famous genius. It is my son El Yu Yuntian, haha. Halfway, El Yu Yuntian laughed, very satisfied. During this time, Hua Qi had told him all about El Yu Ming's deeds. Hearing El Yu Ming's achievements, he was extremely excited and gratified. But El Yu Ming's nose was sour, 
the tiger's eyes were tearful, and he shivered, Daddy, who is it? Who did it? I must pay him ten times the price. He had already checked Liu Yuntian's body in detail just now. In addition to a scar on his face, Liu Yuntian was even more serious in his body. The veins of the whole body are broken, and no one is intact. In this case, let alone cultivation, even ordinary people are not as good. It's hard to imagine what kind of suffering Liu Yuntian has suffered in these years. Liu Ming felt a horrible murderous opportunity coming out of his chest. Liu Yuntian pondered for a while, and said, Ming Er, still that sentence, you must not be impulsive, and you can't use your mind until you have absolute strength. Dad, rest assured, Ming Er knows. Liu Ming said, but his fists were tightly held together. Okay. Dad told you, all this was done by Chu Chong Kong. Liu Yuntian sighed. Autumn Sky, it really is him. Liu Ming growled, then said, Why? Dad, why does Chu Chong Kong do this to you? Because the Emperor Wu treasure. Liu Yuntian said, At that time, Chu Chong Kong was not the first of the six heroes of the Scorching Sun, but he was already a young genius full of genius. I don't know the reason. He knew that I had news of the Emperor's treasure, so he secretly sent people. I shot and captured me. I have been interrogating me all these years and want to get the news of the Emperor's treasure from my mouth. Haha, <laughs> he dreams, how can I tell him? It's just in vain. Autumn Sky, I will make him pay a painful price. L. Yu Ming whispered, his voice was very cold, and immediately said, the Emperor Wu treasure? Why did he think his father knew the news of the Wu Emperor treasure? I do know the news of Emperor Wu's treasure. Liu Yuntian smiled. What? Liu Ming was shocked. Haha, I also learned about the Emperor Wu treasure's treasure, but I have been prepared for it. I have left the news about the Wu Emperor's treasure to you. Liu Yuntian laughed. Leave it to me. Liu Ming was a little dazed. Is that the bronze pendant? L. Yu Ming asked. No. L. Yu Yuntian smiled and said, The string of bronze pendants was also accidentally obtained by me. I found it interesting. I always carried it with me and left it to you. The news of the emperor's treasure is actually in the star sword. Star sword. L. Yu Ming was stunned, and then his hand moved, and the star sword appeared in his hand. Liu Yuntian was overjoyed, took the star sword, looked closely, and then handed it to Liu Ming again, saying, Minger, yes, the news of the Emperor Wu treasure, I am sealed in this star sword, this star sword, there is a key to open the Emperor's treasure, and there is a map. You can get it from the Ming refiner later. When you reach a certain point, you can go to the Emperor's treasure and get a chance. Actually in the star sword. L. Yu Ming secretly sighed. Minger, how has your mother been all these years? At this time, L. Yu Yuntian asked, but his voice shivered. Dad, mother is very good, just these years, thinking about you all the time. L. Yu Ming said. That's good, all these years, I'm sorry for her. L. Yu Yuntian sighed. Dad, rest assured. The royal family has secretly sent someone to pick up the mother. Soon, our family will be reunited. Liu Ming said. Liu Yuntian's eyes also showed a look of anticipation. Dad, don't worry, even if I walk through thousands of mountains and rivers, I must find an elixir to cure your wounds and make you re-enter the path of martial arts. Liu Ming said firmly. Ming Er, you just have this kind of heart but to cure my injury, it's easy to talk, no need to force it. Liu Yuntian sighed. He has been injured for many years and his veins are completely broken. He has no hope of reporting himself, but in his lifetime, he has been satisfied to see Liu Ming and Li Ping. But Liu Ming's eyes were firm. There is no shortage of gods and continents, like vast expanses of smoke and boundless endless treasures. Legend has it that some treasures can even regenerate people's broken limbs and live to death. As long as you get that treasure, 
heal Liu Yuntian's veins, and remove the scars on her face, that is not a trivial matter. No matter how difficult it is, I must get it. Liu Ming vowed secretly. Afterwards, he had a long talk with Liu Yuntian. After talking for hours, Liu Ming left here. No matter whether he wants to avenge Liu Yuntian or he wants to heal Liu Yuntian's injury, he can't do without strong cultivation, he must keep practicing. Autumn sky, you and me, endlessly. Liu Ming's eyes revealed Ling Xian's murderous opportunity. After returning to the room, Liu Ming walked cross-legged, thinking carefully about the direction behind the cultivation. At present, his main cultivation direction has several aspects. One is the breakthrough of the real Dragon War. He obtained Xiao Long bone beads from Xian Yanqing, as long as he got another auxiliary material called Hanliang liquid, he can break through the fifth layer of War Dragon's true secret, and has six times the strength of ordinary qi. The other is the cultivation of all spirits. As long as the flesh is cultivated to the fourth grade, then you can start to practice god-level martial arts, and Zhulong walks the sky. Okay, go buy a cold spirit liquid first. Liu Ming got up and walked towards the city of Fang. Cold spirit liquid is just an auxiliary material, not particularly rare. After turning around in Fang City, Liu Ming successfully purchased one. Returning to Jiangxing Temple and entering the Supreme Temple, Liu Ming took out Jiao Dragon Bone Beads and Cold Spirit Liquid and began to practice. First refining Jiao Dragon Bone Beads, and then reconcile with Cold Spirit Liquid. Half a day later, Zanlong's real secret broke through smoothly and reached the fifth floor. The turbulent true energy runs in the meridians, vast and endless. Liu Ming's combat power has improved a lot. If I practiced the Dragon War True Secret to the ninth floor and had ten times the true energy, I don't know how powerful it is. Liu Ming is very much looking forward to it, hoping that he can practice the Dragon War recipe to the ninth level as soon as possible. With ten times the true energy, between the same level, Liu Ming really has no opponent, unless the other party is also practicing god-level exercises. Now, count it. Liu Ming took a long breath and then waved a handful of storage rings on the ground. It was during this time that the enemy was killed. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. In the remains of the Yundi Palace, although not many people he killed, but there were many people killed by his opponents. Which one did he kill? So he sorted out the storage rings and there were more than 200. More than 200 storage rings, many of them are young geniuses of the great martial arts masters, but there are also dozens of storage rings that belong to the strong Wu Zone. There is even a storage ring for a peerless genius like Chu Changli, the Blood Zhao 50 Supernova Zhao Hong. The wealth inside makes Liu Ming look forward to. Do not know, startled. Even if Liu Ming was prepared, he was stunned. The spirit crystals, piled up like a mountain of spirit crystals, are put in a storage ring and can't be loaded. There are a total of 55.56 million spiritual crystals. More than 50 million yuan? What a horrible number is this? Let Liu Ming froze for a while. Resisting the ecstasy, Liu Ming used several storage rings to put away the Lingjing and looked at other things. Spirit soldiers, more than 4,000. There are more than 12,000 strains of all kinds of spirits and herbs. But most of them are not very advanced, reaching the fourth level, very few. There are also various recipes of martial arts and martial arts, more than 200, various refining materials, piled up like a mountain. Scent, scent, and Liu Ming scent it completely. With so much wealth, in addition to the five major sects, the Imperial Sun, and the Imperial Family, there are other small forces that are estimated to be ruined, don't they have so much? Liu Ming secretly sighed. Half an hour later, Liu Ming packed all the items with storage rings one by one and put them away. Then, with a move, the cheats of Wan Ling's battle body appeared in Liu Ming's hands, and Liu Ming turned to study carefully. An hour later, 
L. Yu Ming closed the cheats. All souls are so terrifying and so mysterious. L. Yu Ming marveled. Wan Li fighting body, refining the spirits of the world, refining the spirits of all spirits, blending into the flesh, and constantly enhancing the strength of the flesh. All spirits, as long as there are spiritual things between heaven and earth. For example, all kinds of spirits and medicines, or all kinds of metal materials and minerals containing spiritual essence, can be refined into spirits and cultivate the flesh. Even living creatures can be called horror. It is worthy of being able to cultivate the flesh to the ninth grade, and it is really overbearing. L. Yu Ming was amazed and excited. Later, L. Yu Ming closed his eyes and began to understand. For three days in a row, L. Yu Ming was comprehending Wan Ling's body. Tens of thousands of miles away from the imperial capital, there is an endless stretch of mountain like a fairyland. Here is the location of the Shifangjian School, Shifang Mountain. At the highest point of Shifang Mountain, a dozen people sat in a large hall. Everyone just sat there casually, but exuded breath like mountains and seas, vast and unpredictable. Chu Wuyang, the head of the Shifangjian faction, sat at the highest place, his face extremely gloomy. The atmosphere in the hall is extremely depressed. Bump! Suddenly, a cold-faced old man slapped the table heavily and shouted, Tianyun boy, sin worthy of death, dare to kill me the peerless hero of the Ten Swordsmanship, Master, please allow me to personally shoot and kill Tianyun. Inappropriate. Another voice sounded, Tianyun and Changli are a showdown between life and death. Countless people in the Emperor have seen it. If they kill Tianyun in this way, they may cause the anger of the martial arts world. Then we can send a killer to assassinate. The old man with a cold face said. Tianyun is small, and our plan is the big one. I think that one Tianyun cannot affect our plan. The man said again. There was silence again on the court. Half sounding, Chu Wuyang said, according to our plan, as long as everything goes well, Tianyun will not escape to death, killing the heroes of my Ten Sword Sword School, it is impossible to live in the world, but temporarily let go let go. Now, let's discuss the specific details of the matter. Chu Wuyang spoke, and there was no objection. Next, they began to discuss a major event. In the Supreme Shrine, L. Yu Ming learned about the three-day war of the spirits, and three days later, he opened his eyes. Immediately, as soon as the hand moved, a second-level spirit grass appeared in the hand. Lian. L. Yu Ming whispered, then, the true qi in his body, according to the law of the spirits of the spirits, had a wonderful shock, and a breath of sorrow diffused from L. Yu Ming's palm, wrapping the spirit grass. After a few breaths, the spirit grass disappeared and was refined into a strange gas, which entered L. Yu Ming's body. This is the spirit of all spirits. As soon as the spirit of all spirits entered L. Yu Ming's body, he penetrated into L. Yu Ming's body. L. Yu Ming could clearly feel that his physical body was becoming stronger. Although this range was not large and small, it was indeed becoming stronger than ordinary cultivation. The physical method, how many times faster? Wonderful, wonderful. L. Yu Ming was amazed, and his eyes were full of excitement. At the moment, another third-level spirit grass was taken out, and it began to turn into a spirit of all spirits to enhance the flesh. In the next three days, L. Yu Ming kept refining the spirit grass to improve his flesh. In three days, he refined no less than 200 spirit grasses. Finally, the flesh broke the limit and reached the four-grade flesh in one fell swoop. The fourth grade of the flesh is amazing. L. Yu Ming can change his musculoskeletal structure and shape almost at will. Even after being injured, the muscles will automatically wriggle to close the wound and heal quickly. Muscles are like steel wires, bones are like steel, and their veins are wide and flexible. L. Yu Ming's can explode unscrupulously. This is also a big improvement for his combat power. The flesh has reached the fourth grade, and finally it is possible to start practicing Zhulong. 
Al Yuming could not wait to take out Zhulong to take a walk and start to understand. The coercion in the cheats has already caught Al Yuming. But a moment later, he closed Kowloon and walked, frowning. Because it is totally confused, I do not know where to start. God level martial arts, it is too difficult to practice. God level martial arts are completely different from the four levels of martial arts of heaven, earth, mystery, and yellow. God level martial arts, there is no first level, second level, and so on. God level martial arts are very special. Each kind is unique between heaven and earth. There will be various differences, which is difficult to explain. Take Kowloon Skywalking, for example, Kowloon has nine steps. Every time you practice into a step, the power will become stronger and stronger. Step by step, the power will be superimposed. If you cultivate into nine steps, step out of nine steps, the power is superimposed, you can break mountains, you can break through the heavens, and the power is terrible. Jolong walks through the sky. As long as you practice into the first step, you can exert all the power of the first step. At the same time, with the enhancement of cultivation, the power will be stronger and stronger when you exhibit it. It's a pity that it's too difficult to cultivate into it. El Yuming has learned for a while, but has no clue. It seems to be slowly realized, as long as I spend more time thinking, I don't believe that I can't practice successfully. El Yuming gritted his teeth and thought to himself. Next, after enlightening for a while, Zhulong began to practice the spirit of the soul. There are countless spirits and medicines on his body, and he is not worried about the cultivation without spirits. After practicing Wan Ling's body for a few hours, El Yuming condensed a figure on the third platform to fight against him and practice martial arts. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. After no years of practice, El Yuming retired for a month. In a month, his physical progress was the fastest. After using up to 3,000 strains of various grasses, El Yuming's flesh reached the fifth grade in one fell swoop. However, after reaching the fifth grade, using some first level and second level spirit grass cultivation, the effect is already very poor, only the third level spirit grass, there is a little effect, the fourth level spirit grass is better. However, there are not many plants in the fourth level spirit grass. El Yuming still has more than 8,000 spiritual grasses under him, but he feels that even after all these 8,000 spiritual grasses have been refined, he can't cultivate his flesh to six grades. The more advanced the flesh, the more horrible the energy required. Also, after reaching the Wuzong realm, the understanding of martial arts is much faster. After a month of hard work and continuous battles with himself, El Yuming's martial arts progressed rapidly. Gu Dun was able to cultivate to the sixth level in one fell swoop, and he can condense six ancient shields at a time, which greatly strengthened his defense. And the three palms are the second palm of successful cultivation in one fell swoop, the beast palm. With a palm shot, a huge beast palm has been blasting out, which is stronger than the human palm. The reason why the progress is so fast, the third platform is indispensable. Of course, this was paid for more than 600,000 spirit crystals. Now, with El Yuming Guizong's double cultivation, he wants to condense a figure exactly like him. Every time, he needs 10,000 pieces of spirit crystals. Each time, it can last for six hours. The consumption is extremely amazing. If El Yuming had more than 50 million worth, it really could not be consumed. At this time, El Yuming's strength can be said to reach its peak. Although his cultivation practice is still in the early stage of Wuzong's second stage, but now he is required to fight Chu Changli, he can kill Chu Changli in one move. On the other hand, Li Ping arrived at the imperial capital half a month ago and met El Yu Yuntian. The two met each other, and the natural warmth was infinite, staying together every day, not willing to separate. During this time, Xianianqing has been retreating hard. The golden eyes were blood-stiff, 
and El Yu Ming let him lie dormant in a place, hidden and unmoved. On this day, Hua Qi hurriedly found El Yu Ming and brought an amazing news. The Yunyu Empire sent a million troops to attack the Lai I Empire. The Ghost Sword Sword sect in the north has already asked the Scorching Empire for help. The two armies of the royal family at the northern border also sought help from the royal family. For a time, the Scorching Empire shook. Although the Yunyu Empire has been in constant friction with the Burning Sun Empire, there are still very few attacked by a million troops, and there are not many times in history. El Yu Ming, this time the royal family will send an elite army, and some young strong men who have been secretly cultivated by the royal family, go to the north, on the one hand, Yang I royal reputation, and on the other hand, experience these young strong men. However, you also know that all geniuses are arrogant and rebellious, and they do not obey each other. The father and emperor want to choose one person to be the head coach of this army, and at the same time they will serve these strong young men think about it, only you are suitable. Hua Qi said to El Yu Ming. I. El Yu Ming was shocked. Yes, there is no more suitable person than you. I don't hide from you. Some of these young strong men are geniuses in the Hall of Stars, and some are secretly captured by the royal family and sent to the Blood and Dynasty. Cultivation, one eye above the other, ordinary people simply have no way to subdue them. Hua Kai's explanation of Rai smile. But the father emperor said that he will not force you, if you don't want to go, he will find someone else. Hua Qi rode. Go, why not? El Yu Ming smiled. After being closed for so long, he just wanted to go out and hone, and the battlefield is undoubtedly the best place to hone. El Yu Ming, did you agree? That's great. I went back and told my father and emperor that if there was no accident, I would leave in two days. Hua Qi overjoyed. El Yu Ming nodded, and immediately Hua Qi left. I will say goodbye to my father and mother too. Later, El Yu Ming came to El Yu Yuntian's residence. After hearing the news, El Yu Yuntian and Li Ping did not object. The warrior must go through a series of life and death trials to get to the top, Minger, you can go. El Yu Yuntian is very supportive. At that time, El Yu Yuntian was a El Yu family, but in order to pursue martial arts, he often went out and wandered around, only to inadvertently discover the secret of the emperor's treasure. Minger, on the battlefield, you are extremely dangerous. You must be careful. Although Li Ping did not oppose it, he was inevitably worried and cautioned seriously. Dad, mother, you can rest assured that Ming Er will be fine. El Yu Ming said with a smile, reassuring the second elder. Soon, two days passed. Two days later, El Yu Ming walked toward the martial arts school of Jiangxin Temple with golden eyes and blood stiffness, because today the army gathered here. El Yu Ming, you never want to leave me alone. Xian Yanqing appeared beside El Yu Ming. Xiao Qing, why? Can't you bear me? El Yu Ming smiled. Who can't bear you? I'm afraid you ran away or died on the battlefield, so who am I going to settle accounts with, and how can I step on you? Xian Yanqing snorted. Haha, come with me, but I heard that it is cold in the north, and you have to warm my bed at night. El Yu Ming laughed and walked forward. Warm you big head ghost, think of beauty. Xian Yanqing's violent voice spread, and the two moved away. The head of the martial arts school of Jiangxin Dian stood in a row of sergeants wearing armor. These sergeants, tall and burly, all exude a strong breath and aura. At a glance, you know that all are elite warriors, veterans who have been baptized in war. There are 20,000 troops. The sun shone on the armor of the 20,000 troops, flashing a cold luster. Dozens of people stood at the top of the martial arts school. Most of them are young people in their 20s, and each one has a strong and strong breath. The worst is also the training of the master martial artist Zhu Zhong. There are 10 young people. The breath of the body is as strong as the mountains, and they are clearly the strong men of the Wuzong realm. 
seven of these ten people are the strongest in the Hall of Stars, which is equivalent to the Golden Class Disciples of the Five Major Gates. And the remaining three people, the breath is the most powerful, and there is a haughty look faintly between Gu Pan. They were the geniuses sent by the royal family to the Great Sun Palace of the Blood Zhao Empire. In the middle, standing is the Emperor of the Sun Empire, Hua Zhengxing. At Hua Chengxing's edge, it is Hua Qi. Your Majesty, who is our coach? Why is it not here yet? It's a big shelf to let His Majesty wait here. Shouted a young man who was uncomfortable practicing in Daifu. Yes, in this way, I don't see His Majesty in my eyes at all. In my opinion, I simply removed his post and let Brother Huaying take over as the coach. Another young man who practiced in Daifu followed suit. He said that Huaying was a young man wearing a golden robe and the last young man to practice in Daifu. This man is extraordinary and magnificent, and has the spirit of a king. He is a member of the royal family, but he is not an heir, but a side branch. However, the talents are extremely terrifying, and they are the geniuses that have been rare in China for nearly a hundred years. They were paid attention to by the emperor very early and sent to the day afoot to practice. Now they are unfathomable. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Hua Ying stood with his hands down, extraordinary temperament, and a faint arrogance in his eyes. At the same time, there is a hint of anger. Originally, he thought that this time the coach was none other than unexpected, but gave it to others, which made him very uncomfortable. Your Majesty, I suggest that Brother Hua Ying should be replaced as the coach. Brother Hua Ying has a deep understanding of the art of warfare and cultivated to a high level. He will definitely lead the army and win a hundred battles. The young man previously saluted Hua Zhengxing and proposed. Hundreds of battles? A big tone, and I don't know where the guy came from. It's ridiculous that I wanted to get involved in the position of coach. Some of the seven Wuzong strongmen in the Hall of Stars dissatisfied and sneered. The royal family has always been headed by the Hall of Stars. Seven of them are the strongest in the Hall of Stars. Where did the three boys come from? Once I want to get involved in the position of coach, how is it possible? How could the young strong in the Hall of Stars agree? Boy, what are you talking about? The young man who had always advised Hua Ying to be the coach was sinking and looked at the crowds in the Hall of Stars. His name is Gao Li, and he has a very good relationship with Hua Ying. Did you not hear what I said? I said that he was not qualified to be a coach. To be a coach, it was also the genius of my Hall of Stars. The man in the Hall of Stars continued to speak. Genius in the Hall of Stars? Haha, <laughs> I laughed to death. A few rubbish-like things, I dare to call myself a genius. It's ridiculous. Gao Li laughed disdainfully. Why do you say who is rubbish? Today, I will let you know how powerful I am. The young man in the Hall of Stars roared, a powerful breath burst out, and strode towards Gao Li. Want to do it? Just what I want. Gao Li's figure flicked toward him, and he punched out. This punch is as powerful as a mountain, and a powerful force spreads out. The youth in the Hall of Stars also shouted and took a slap. The palms of the fists intersect and the youths in the Hall of Stars screamed. They flew like shells, fell heavily on the ground, and vomited blood. Wuzong Duo The youth in the Hall of Stars shouted. Hey, Wu Wuzong is one of the most important people, and he wants to do it with me. It's really dead. Gao Li said coldly. During this process, Hua Zhengxing did not stop him, and looked on with cold eyes. This result, he had expected, as long as he did not die, he would not control. Now, you are dissatisfied, just do it. Gao Li was extremely arrogant and glanced at everyone in the Hall of Stars. Everyone in the Hall of Stars looked ugly and couldn't help looking at the young bald man in the middle. This bald-headed young man was the first master of the Hall of Stars, Wu Zong's second-level cultivation. 
I will meet you for a while. The bald-headed youth stepped forward, standing against Gao Li. Boom! There is nothing to say, the war broke out directly. It must be said that Gao Li is indeed very powerful. Although the bald youth is at the same level as him, he is not an opponent at all. Hey, really it's a bunch of garbage, don't admit it. You can only say that you haven't seen the world, haven't seen the geniuses of big powers, think you are in a corner, and have a little achievement, you are complacent. It's really a small eye, like this, how can I improve? Gao Li shouldered his hands and looked down at the crowds in the Hall of Stars, scolding in a tone that the elders taught the juniors. Damn! How come these guys come out, how are they so strong? Everyone in the Hall of Stars, with a flushed face, shouted in his heart, suffocated. Ha ha! Gao Li sneered disdainfully and said, Brother Hua Ying is many times stronger than me. With him as the coach, why are you dissatisfied? Of course I am not convinced. A guy who stayed in a big country for a period of time, thought he was a genius, and ran back to Yao Wiangwe, what is the qualification to be a coach? At this moment, a faint voice sounded. Who? Gao Li's face was instantly ugly and dying. Hua Ying's face also sank. Hua Qi, after hearing this voice, flashed a beam of joy. The master of this voice is of course El Yu Ming. El Yu Ming carried his hands on his back, followed by Xian Yanqing and Golden Eyes, and walked step by step towards this side. Boy, who are you? Dare to talk to me like this? Gao Li's eyes were gloomy. Tian Yun, it is Tian Yun. El Yu Ming hadn't spoken yet. Those young strong men in the Star Hall couldn't help but exclaimed. El Yu Ming smiled and said, Who am I? I am the coach this time. When you see the coach, do you not kneel and salute, don't you understand military law? Head coach? You are the head coach? You are ridiculous, ridiculous, I don't agree. Gao Li yelled, then turned to salute Hua Zheng Xing, shouting, Your Majesty, this time the coach is not the same as Xiao Kei, how can such a Mao be served? I don't agree. Hua Zhenxing's face was calm and he couldn't see any expression. He said, Tian Yun is the person the Emperor likes. What's wrong with it? Your Majesty, the position of the coach is not the same as the small one. The capable is the best. If you let an incompetent be the coach, it will hurt these tens of thousands of soldiers. Gao Lideo. I agree that Tian Yun is the coach, Tian Yun is the coach, I serve. Suddenly, a young man from the Hall of Stars shouted. I also agree that Tian Yun is the coach. I agree, I serve. Other youths in the Hall of Stars also spoke one after another. Some time ago, Tian Yun killed Chu Changli and was extremely powerful. They can be said to be convinced. But Gao Li and others had just returned from the Blood Zhao Empire and had never heard of Tian Yun's reputation. At this time, Gao Li's face was extremely gloomy and coldly said, A group of frogs at the bottom of the well, have not seen a real genius, they can only put waste on the same day. Afterwards, he looked at El Yu Ming and said, Boy, I want to be the coach, but I want to be really capable. I want to see, what skills do you have? With words, a strong momentum filled his body, slowly approaching El Yu Ming. There is so much nonsense, hurry up, or you will have no chance. El Yu Ming said with a smile. Arrogance. Gao Li was furious, shouted, and punched El Yu Ming with a punch. Powerful punching power almost penetrated the void. With this punch, he used his full strength, and it is bound to give El Yu Ming an unforgettable lesson. But El Yu Ming ignored his punching power and stepped out one step, the ground was cracked, and El Yu Ming's figure instantly appeared in front of Gao Li and kicked out. This foot kicked directly on Jialai's stomach. Bump! Gao Li screamed and was kicked directly by El Yu Ming. He flew thousands of kilometers away and hit a huge rock heavily. The audience was stunned. Including heroes in the Hall of Stars, there are 20,000 troops on the scene. 
Although they knew Al Yuming was strong, the visual effect was really amazing. Wu Zong's double genius was kicked directly by Al Yuming. This is the practice in a big country? Genius who has seen the world? Isn't it good? Al Yuming slowly folded his feet, said lightly. Poof! Hua Qi couldn't help but smiled for a while. Some people in the Hall of Stars almost laughed. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. But Hua Ying was the opposite. He clenched his fists tightly, his eyes showing fierce light. Bump! He walked out in one step, and a violent gas like a beast erupted on his body. The terror was boundless and vast. Wu Zong triple, and Wu Zong triple. Tian Yun, isn't it? You just evaded Gao Li's attack just by yourself, and when Gao Li was caught off guard, she won the game. What is remarkable, in my opinion, is just a mean and shameless method, otherwise, with your Wu Zong's secondary cultivation, how can you seriously hurt Gao Li? Hua Ying stared coldly at the landing, and cried. Oh, is it so? El Yuming smiled faintly, too lazy to explain. But this is not in my hands, and I will not let you know what is the real strength. In Hua Ying's eyes, there was a strong self-confidence. His talent is indeed very high. At the age of 25, he has already practiced to the late period of Wu Zong Triple. Even in the genius-like Blood Zhao Empire, he is also a top genius, only weaker than the Blood Zhao 50 supernova. In the Scorching Empire, among the younger generation, in addition to the six Scorching Scorching Suns, he did not believe who was his opponent. Therefore, he did not put El Yuming in his eyes at all. Three strokes. Within three strokes, I will defeat you. If I can't defeat you, why not let you be the coach? Hua Ying carried his hands on his shoulders and was very proud. El Yuming shook his head and smiled, then slowly extended a finger. One move? Haha, <laughs> it seems that you are not very confident in yourself, do you think I can defeat you in one move? Hua Ying laughed. No, you misunderstood. El Yuming shook his head and said, I mean, I will defeat you in one move. What? What did you say? You defeated me? Ha ha ha. Hua Ying froze for a moment, thought she had heard it wrong, and burst into a crazy laugh. One move defeated me? The six heroes of the Raging Sun were here, so I didn't dare to say that. You have a big tone. I want to see, how can you defeat me? Boom. On Hua Ying, a breath of terror erupted, and a sword rose into the sky. At the same time, his bloodline also broke out, a silver chakra, dazzling. Hua Ying, the awakening of the second bloodline is actually a bloodline of the king level, which almost has the potential of the six heroes of the burning sun. Cut. Hua Ying held the war sword in both hands and raised it high. A giant sword that was 100 meters long condensed out and stood between the world. The 20,000 troops at the scene were frightened. Want to fight? Fight so many ways, what's the use? El Yuming pouted, then shot with a palm. A huge beast claw, condensed out of the sky, directly pressed towards Hua Ying's condensed giant sword. This beast claw, more than 20 meters long and wide, like a hill covered with black scale armor, looks very unbearable. The second palm of the three palms, the beast palm. Bump! The giant sword condensed by Hua Ying collapsed under the palm of the beast like a bubble. Beast claws kept on casting, and continued to press toward Hua Ying. How could this be? Hua Ying uttered an incredible roar, and the war sword kept chopping up, spurting his sword, and slammed towards the beast claws. But there was no slight effect. After a rush of sword spirit, the beast claws continued to push down against Hua Ying. Bump! A burst of dust filled Hua Ying directly by the beast's claws and blasted into the ground. At half beep, the animal's claws disappeared. I saw a beast palm print that was 20 meters long and wide on the ground, while Hua Ying was lying in the palm print, twitching all over, 
and foaming in his mouth. It is miserable. This is El Yu Ming's mercy, otherwise a slap is enough to shoot him into puree. Good. Tian Yun is invincible. After a long silence, the audience suddenly heard a loud drink. El Yu Ming looked away, and actually saw Ming Feng in the army. The roar just now was given by Ming Feng. Beside Ming Feng, who is not Pearl and Ming Cheng. Tian Yun is invincible. Ming Feng continued to shout, and then Pearl and Ming Cheng shouted. Soon, other people seemed to be infected and shouted. A 20,000 strong army exploded in a roaring sky and shook the sky. Finally, even the geniuses of the Hall of Stars shouted. L. Yu Ming raised his hand and the audience suddenly fell silent. You, this time, thanks to the love of your majesty, let me be the head coach of this army, and I will swear here, as long as you believe me, I will do my best to lead everyone to make contributions. L. Yu Ming's clear voice spread throughout the audience. Contribute to meritorious service, establish meritorious service. 2,000 troops roared. On the high platform, Hua Zhengxing was stroking his beard and watching the landing, his eyes showed great admiration. How could this be? How could this be? At this time, Hua Ying and Gao Li had struggled to get up, but in their eyes, it was unbelievable. Okay, Gao Li, Hua Ying, step forward and listen. Hua Zhengxing suddenly shouted. His Majesty! Hua Ying and Gao Li bowed to salute. Now, Tian Yun is the coach, do you agree? Hua Zhengxing asked. I, serve. The two hesitated before answering. El Yu Ming could see that the two were persuaded, but they might not be convinced. But El Yu Ming didn't matter. The two of them didn't care about him. Okay, since that is the case, then rectify the armaments and set off immediately. Hua Zhengxing announced. Soon after, 20,000 troops, each riding a tall blue-scale horse, left the imperial capital and headed north. A large army of 20,000, connected into a long dragon, stepped across the earth and thundered. El Yu Ming also rode on a tall and magnificent green-scale horse, riding on the front, next to it, followed by Xian Yanqing and Golden Eye Blood Stiffness, as well as the three Ming Cheng siblings. Behind them are young geniuses such as Hua Ying. Ming Cheng, why did you follow? On the way, El Yu Ming asked curiously. Because the general of Mochizuki City is our father. Ming Feng rushed. No wonder. El Yu Ming suddenly. The place they want to support on this trip is Mochizuki City. Although the royal family is weak, the land bordering the Yunyu Empire in the north is a military power. The royal family still has two powerful legions to guard it and obey the royal family. One army is the Janayu army, and the other is the Genbei army. The two legions are elite, the armies of a hundred battles, each of which has a hundred thousand troops, which is one of the few elite legions in the royal family. Ming Cheng and Ming Zhu, their fathers, are the generals of Janayu army, Ming Ming. This time, the million-strong army of the Yunyu Empire struck, of course, the Ghost Moon Sword sect. The Janayu army and the Genbei army were also affected and engaged in a fierce battle with the Yunyu Empire. The Janayu army struggled and asked the royal family for help. This time, El Yu Ming and they were to support the Janayu army. Therefore, the three Ming Cheng siblings naturally followed. Along the way, Ming Cheng's three brothers and sisters were very worried for fear of what happened to their father. When the army is walking, it can't be compared with El Yu Ming's imperial flight, its speed is many times slower. From the imperial capital to Mochizuki City, it takes at least a month. Because www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandao as soon as possible. Soon, 25 days passed. These 25 days, come and come, they came all the way to Han's Han. In front, there is Qin Li Han's Han, as long as you cross this Qin Li Han's Han, you will reach Mochizuki City, and there are still four or five days away. We go into the mountains, and then camp camp. El Yu Ming gave the order. 
20,000 troops marched toward Hans Han. Tens of miles later, I found a flat place to camp and settle down, and then had dinner. As night fell, thousands of miles of cold mountain, there were constant beast roars. L. Yu Ming let some people patrol and some rest. Late at night, between thousands of miles of cold mountains, there were more than twenty figures leaping hurriedly. More than twenty people, all dressed in black robes, were in a horrible manner, like ghosts and ghosts in the mountains at night. Soon, more than twenty figures appeared not far from L. Yu Ming's army, looking out at the barracks. According to the news, this time the royal family sent by the scorching sun are all young strong men, and the general of the army is also a young man, but a peerless genius named Tian Yun. As long as Tian Yun and some other young geniuses are killed, this army, even if it is obsolete. Several black robes discussed together. It is said that Yun Nai was a genius of the same rank as Ljalaihuja, he will give it to me. On a black robe, a black robe embroidered with a golden moon is humane. The others nodded, this golden moon black robe, but the strongest among them. Go, let's get closer. Jinyu black robe waved his hand, more than twenty people with him, like ghosts, toward the barracks. They did not emit any breath, nor did they make any noise while walking. Silent. Stopped a kilometer away from the barracks. One of the tents exudes Wu Zong's triple breath, that person should be Tian Yun, I will kill him, you will assassinate others. Jin Yu Black Robe ordered. The others nodded, and in the moonlight, their figure actually dimmed and disappeared silently. Jin Yu Black Robe has the fastest body shape, and easily passes through layers to reach a tent. In this tent, a young man sat cross-legged. This young man was none other than Hua Ying. Among many young strong men, his cultivation ranks the highest, reaching the third stage of Wu Zong, Jin Yu Black Robe people naturally regard him as L. Yu Ming. Genius? Die. The murder in the eyes of the Jin Yu Black Robe flashed through, and a slender black sword appeared in his hand. The person and the sword turned into a black lightning bolt, stabbed toward Hua Ying. Hua Ying, who was training cross-legged, suddenly felt a terrible death drape over him, his body covered with sweat. Not good. Hua Ying's spiritual consciousness is extremely sensitive. He used this to avoid the killing many times. Even so, he was one step late. Boom! The long sword pierced his shoulder, and the blood was scattered, Hua Ying roared and there was a goshawk above his head. This was his bloodline. The goshawk's wings flew quickly, and his figure retreated backward. A little skill, I can avoid the sword I'm going to kill, but I'm still dying. Jin Yu Black Robe sneered, and as a ghost, he killed Hua Ying. At the same time, in another tent, L. Yu Ming suddenly opened his eyes. In front of him, the tent split open suddenly, a dark sword light, piercing towards his eyebrows, the speed is extremely fast. Wu Zong's double killer. L. Yu Ming's eyes flickered, his figure was still, his right hand was suddenly swung out, and a spear spun out instantly, stabbing forward. It's a lot faster than the killer. How come? The killer was horrified, and it was too late to escape. Puff. L. Yu Ming's spear pierced his heart directly, and the killer was blown out. Uh. L. Yu Ming broke through the tent and appeared at high altitude. Several screams were heard in the barracks, and some young masters were assassinated. There are also young strong men fighting with the killer. L. Yu Ming glanced over and saw Xian Yanking's figure flashing in the sky, and behind her, a body was left. Looking again, he saw that Hua Ying was chased and killed by the Jinyue hits and was in danger and could be killed at any time. Golden Eye, kill. L. Yu Ming gave orders to Golden Eye Blood Stiff and Golden Eye Blood Stiff roared, rushing towards the killers. L. Yu Ming waved his hand, a spear appeared, and then flicked out, the spear turned into a flash of lightning, and shot toward the Golden Moon Black Robe. At this time, the Jinyue Hits had approached Hua Ying, and the cold murderous opportunity enveloped Hua Ying. Hua Ying was cold all over. 
he had a feeling that he would die under the sword of Jin Yu Haibao in the next moment. This feeling almost suffocated him, he shouted in his heart, No, I can't die, I can't die, I want to revitalize the Hua family. But he was stabbed with a sword just now, and the horrible sword gas penetrated into his body constantly, and he felt a sense of weakness coming from him. The Jin Yu black robe approached instantly. Dead. Jin Yu black robe sneered, stab at Hua Ying. This sword is faster than the previous one extremely sharp and unstoppable. Hua Ying couldn't stop it. Do not. Hua Ying shouted, despair in her heart. At this time. Call out. A beam of electricity came out of the air, and it was almost to the extreme. This is a long spear, a spear formed by condensing true energy. When. The spear pierced the long sword of Jin Yu's black robe and gave a violent shock. The figure of Jin Yu black robe shuddered, and the body flew to one side uncontrollably. L. Yu Ming's figure moved, and the next moment he passed by Hua Ying and went towards the Jin Yu black robe. Hua Ying gave L. Yu Ming a very complicated look. Just now, L. Yu Ming saved him. Who are you? The Jin Yu black robe gave a deep roar. The strength of L. Yu Ming's move just beyond his expectations. With his Wuzong Liuzhong's cultivation practice, he was shocked and shocked him. Tian Yun. L. Yu Ming replied faintly. The pupils of Jin Yu Haibao suddenly contracted, and said in a deep voice, So you are Tian Yun. You know me? Are you from the Yunyu Empire? L. Yu Ming's eyes moved and asked. How do you know you? I am here to send you back to the West today. Jin Yu Black Robe sneered. The sound of the sword sounded, and the swords of others became one, turned into a sword light, and sang to the landing. Call out! L. Yu Ming's spear shook, and one shot forward. The body of the gun is wrapped in the wind and fire, and the wind and fire are completely integrated. Bump! The spear collided with Jian Guang. A strong shock wave emanated, and then the Jinyu black robe groaned, and flew backwards like a shell. How could it be so strong? While flying backwards, the Jin Yu black robe shouted. He could see that L. Yu Ming was only Wu Zong's second cultivation practice, and he, but Wu Zong's sixth cultivation practice. But it turned out that Wu Zong drove him twice, how could this be possible? There is such a thing in the world? Jin Yu black robe was horrified. Because www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Hua Ying is also terrified. How horrible the Jin Yu black robe is. He just experienced it firsthand, which is not what he can rival. He can avoid an assassination, which is already a gift. But now, the Jin Yu black robe was actually slammed by L. Yu Ming, which was too strong for him. L. Yu Ming no matter what other people think. He struck out the Fei Jin Yu black robe, and stepped out, rushing towards the Jin Yu black robe. At the same time, a palm shot. Boom! In the sky, a huge beast palm blasted down towards the golden moon black robe. Jin Yu black robe people roared and tried their best to resist, but it was useless, crushed by the beast's palm, and the body fell towards the speed. By this time, L. Yu Ming had arrived. The spear entrained with the wind and fire spurted out, and a shot pierced the heart of the golden moon black robe. The Jin Yu black robe uttered a desperate roar before he died. He couldn't even dream of it. L. Yu Ming actually became like this. Isn't the news he received the same level as the six heroes of Lai? But the six heroes of Liuri, except Chu Chong Kong, most of them are equivalent to Wu Zong's five-fold peak combat power, and he is Wu Zong's sixth heavy and was easily killed by L. Yu Ming. Does this return to him as the fighting power of the six heroes of the Burning Sun? This is almost approaching the power of Yundi List genius, right? This was the last thought of the Jin Yu black robe before he died, full of unwillingness and doubt. Swallow. Killing the Jin Yu black robe, L. Yu Ming controls the blood of Jolong, devouring the blood of the Jin Yu black robe. The Jolong bloodline began to madly refine refined blood. On L. Yu Ming, 
the nine red chakras flashed away, very fast, no one else found. Yes, nine red chakras. Previously, in the remains of the Yundi Palace, he got nine parts of the fourth level six-fold monster monster blood, equivalent to Wuzong six-fold, some time ago in the imperial capital, has been completely refined by El Yu Ming, completely converted into blood energy. Jufen is equivalent to Wuzong's six-fold blood, how terrifying! Directly raise the Jolong bloodline to the ninth level of the ordinary level, and then take the next step, the bloodline of the king level. But wanting to be promoted from fan level to king level is difficult, I don't know how much blood is needed. Uh. While El Yu Ming refined his blood, he killed in other directions. In that direction, a double killer of Wu Zong was fighting a young man, who was a genius in the Hall of Stars. Call out! El Yu Ming rushed out and stabbed. The killer had no resistance, and was killed. His blood was swallowed up by the blood of Jolong. At this time, there were screams from time to time elsewhere. The golden eyes were blood stiff and invincible. With a flashing figure, a killer was torn. After a while, seven killers died in the golden eye blood stiff hand. Xianian Ching is not too bad. In her hand, the killer is hard to resist, and her head was cut off inexplicably. Four people died in her hands. Withdraw, withdraw. The other party's strength is too strong, and it does not match the news received. The remaining ten killers screamed in panic and wanted to retreat. Where to go? Kill them. The army was disturbed, and countless army rushed out towards the dozen killers. Since you are here, don't want to go. El Yu Ming floated high in the air, killing waves. Immediately. Call out. Call out. El Yu Ming waved his hands in succession, condensing out one spear after another. On each spear, the wind and fire fused together, condensed into a ray of flame, and shot towards the escaped killers. What? What? Continuous screams were issued. Unstoppable, unstoppable, the remaining killers, the strongest is only Wu Zong Triple, no matter what means are used, useless penetrated by the long gun shot by El Yu Ming, nailed to the mountain. In a blink of an eye, the remaining dozen or so killers were all killed, and none were spared. The audience, the twenty thousand troops, and the strong young men all calmed down at once, and then a loud roar broke out. The general is invincible, the general is invincible. The twenty thousand army roared, and in the middle of the night, it was particularly loud, and those monster monsters that quake did not dare to speak. At this moment, 20,000 troops took El Yu Ming's heartfelt oral administration, and El Yu Ming's supernatural power subdued them. On the other side, Hua Ying looked at Landing Nehru incomparably complicated, then immediately gritted his teeth and flew towards Landing Nehru. At the same time, Gao Li and a young man who was still practicing in Dea Fo went to the landing together. El Yu Ming looked at the three with some surprise. Brother Tian Yun, no, General, before, I was eye catching and offended the General, but I didn't expect this time that the General was not presumptuous, and saved my life. Mountain, down the oil pan, the General will only say one word, Hua Ying will never quit. General, brother Hua Ying means what I mean. General said, Gao Li vowed to obey. Me too. Gao Li and another youth also shouted. This time, El Yu Ming's strength completely subdued them and shocked them. El Yu Ming's combat strength is too strong, want to kill them, turn things between hands. Before, they still offended El Yu Ming that way, and were afraid when they remembered it. Moreover, El Yu Ming's cultivation is the second of Wu Wuzong, who has such a combat capability, which is simply incredible. They understand that they are too far away from El Yu Ming, and they cannot catch up in their lifetime. They were convinced of El Yu Ming by mouth. You're welcome, since I am the general of this army, you are in this army, and I have an obligation to keep you safe. El Yu Ming glanced at them and said in a deep voice. General is generous, I can't wait. Hua Ying sighed. Okay, 
now check it out to see how many people were lost. L. Yu Ming waved his hand and commanded. Yes. Hua Ying hurriedly clenched his fists and turned to look. After a while, there will be results. Eleven young men of the great martial arts realm died, and three young men of Wu Zong's weight. This is a huge loss. You know, these are the geniuses secretly cultivated by the royal family. The future talents are now dead. Most of the others were injured. Yu Nu Empire. El Yu Ming whispered, the murder in his eyes flickered. At the same time, he raised the alertness. The Yu Nu Empire is best known as the killer. The killers of the Yu Nu Empire are very famous among the 36 kingdoms of the Yundi. Those killers lurking in the dark are frightening and the most headache. Next, El Yu Ming increased the number of patrols, and at the same time sent out golden eyes and blood stiffness, patrolling around. Anyway, golden eyes was stiff and tireless, and it was perfect to go around. El Yu Ming returned to the tent and refined those blood. Just now, the blood of those killers was all swallowed by El Yu Ming looking for a chance. Of the more than twenty people, only a few are martial artists in the realm of great martial artists. The others are all martial artists with more than one weight in Wu Zong. The blood of these people gathered together, very huge. However, after the Nine Dragon bloodline was promoted to level 9, the refining speed was greatly enhanced. Soon, the engulfed blood was completely refined into the nourishment of the Nine Dragon blood vessel. However, it is still the ninth level of ordinary level did not promote the king level. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. That night, it was very calm. Early the next morning, the army was promoted and moved on. Over the next four days, El Yu Ming strengthened his guard every day, but no killer of the Yunyu Empire came. Soon, we will be in Mochizuki City. According to the three siblings of Ming Cheng, we can reach Mizuki City in just a few hours. Rumble. Suddenly, the earth rang loudly, and the earth trembled faintly. What happened? On one side, Ming Feng's face changed. There are a lot of iron rides running. It looks like there are definitely a lot of them. Hua Ying frowned. Hua Ying is familiar with the art of war, and he is very accurate in judging wars. Did my dad send someone to pick us up? Ming Feng was happy. Impossible, judging from the voice, at least there are more than 5,000 soldiers and horses. In this situation, how can it be possible to send so many people to pick us up? Hua Ying refuted. Stop. El Yu Ming waved his hand and the army stopped. Immediately, El Yu Ming rose into the sky, hidden in a dark cloud, and looked forward. A dozen or so miles ahead, there was a long line rushing along the mountain road. Everyone was riding a huge wolf, and at a glance, the number was definitely more than 5,000, or even close to 10,000. Among them, there is a flag embroidered with a cloudy moon on one side and a wolf embroidered on the other. The Army of the Yunyu Empire El Yu Ming's face changed slightly. Immediately landed and fell, we'll see it again. What? How did the army of the Yunyu Empire appear here? Has the Moon Moon City been broken? Ming Feng exclaimed. Father. Pearl's voice trembled, full of worry. I don't think so. Judging from the number of people in this army and the direction of the march, most of them are going around and want to sneak into the Moon City. If I guess correctly, the Moon City is estimated to be in a war at this time. Once the army arrives, the Jinayu army of Mochizuki City will be enemies. Hua Ying analyzed. El Yu Ming looked at Hua Ying indifferently, but he did not expect his analysis of marching wars to be quite complete. We lowered our voices, traveled secretly, ambushed in front, and annihilated this army. El Yu Ming waved his hand and gave the order. Immediately, 20,000 armies dismounted, led the horse, and ambushed on a hillside two miles away. The hillside is covered with weeds and small trees, with a height of two meters. People and horses walk in and can't see it at all. 
below the slope, there is a slightly flat mountain road. When El Yuming had hidden them, the army of the Yunyu Empire was approaching. Ao! Ao! A wolf howl sounded, the earth roared, and a large army came running. Every sergeant is tall and burly, wearing iron armor, carrying a bow and a sword. Under the crotch, there is a black wolf, the wolf is two meters high, the roar is constant, and the fierce air is filled. This is the famous Blue Wolf Army of the Yunyu Empire. Hua Ying's face changed slightly. El Yu Ming's expression was also moving, and he had heard of the wolf core of the Yunyu Empire. The territory of the Yunyu Empire is mostly endless grasslands and plateaus, on which countless monsters and beasts are bred. Therefore, the cavalry of the Yunyu Empire is very famous. According to the different mounts, it is divided into multiple legions, such as the Blue Wolf Legion and the Blood Moon Monster Tiger Legion. The fighting power is very powerful. Rumble With the howling of the wolf, the troops in front of the Blue Wolf Legion rushed across the mountain road below. El Yuming didn't do it. It's not yet time. After the number of people rushed over, it is best to try again. Soon, the wolf corps rushed over more than half. Kill. At this moment, El Yuming gave a loud cry. Rushed down first. Kill. Kill. A large army of 20,000, straddling the blue scale horses, shouted one after another, rushed down from the hillside, the momentum was like rainbow. Not good, enemy attack. The Blue Wolf Army screamed in succession. Kill. El Yuming shouted and rushed down the hillside in an instant, condensing a giant gun that was hundreds of meters long and swept out. Bump. Bump. Suddenly, there were dozens of Blue Wolf cavalry, with iron armor and mounts, swept away by El Yuming. Flesh, bones, and splashes were everywhere, and even those armor exploded into fragments, bursting out pierced through the sergeant armor of other Blue Wolf regiments, and died. In one shot, El Yu Ming killed more than 50 armored sergeants. Kill. El Yu Ming swept the gun again, and more than 50 sergeants were killed. Swallow. El Yu Ming controls the blood of Zhulong. His left palm, like a vortex, emits a powerful force of engulfment, and all the essential blood is swallowed by El Yu Ming. Although most of these sergeants are warriors in the warrior realm, there are some warriors in the warrior realm, and there are only a few warriors in the warrior realm. And the blood of those wolves. Hey! A drop of essence blood was swallowed up by El Yu Ming, and it was madly refined. Kill! At this time, the army on the hillside had also arrived, cutting off the wolves' core into several pieces, and encircling and suppressing them. The scene caught in a dogfight. Damn it, die. More than a dozen powerful generals in iron armor rose into the air and slammed them towards the landing. Obviously, this is all Wu Zong strong in this army. Good to come. El Yu Ming rushed up, and Hua Ying and other strong Wu Zong also greeted him. El Yu Ming stared at Wu Zong's five-level master at first glance. This person should be the strongest in this army. Bump. El Yu Ming swept it out with a single shot. This five-strong general of Wu Zong, his armor was exploded, and his big mouth coughed up blood and flew back. This person is too strong to be invincible. The frightened soul has all flew, and he will run away when he turns around. But, the next moment. Puff. A long gun pierced his heart and killed him. El Yu Ming devoured his blood and turned to kill others. More than a dozen Wu Zong strong men were simply not enough to kill them, and they were killed cleanly by them shortly. Then, they killed the Blue Wolf Iron Rider. Kang Lang Iron Ride, the number of people was originally small, about 10,000 people, plus El Yu Ming they were ambushed, naturally took the advantage, waiting for El Yu Ming and their Wu Zong to join, it was a one sided battle. An hour later, the battle has ended. More than 10,000 Blue Wolf Iron Horses were killed, and the corpses covered the mountains and forests. Count the casualties. El Yu Ming ordered to continue, while waiting to refine his blood. 
soon, the blood flashed on his body, and all his blood was refined. Still not promoted. L. Yu Ming sighed. At this time, the number of casualties has come out. 2,009 people were killed and thousands injured. This number made L. Yu Ming's heart tremble. It was unexpected that L. Yu Ming killed so many people in battle. Blue Wolf Iron Ride, too strong. Beside, Hua Ying sighed. In this battle, they were in a raid, and the number of people was twice that of the other party. With the help of these Wuzongs, they actually killed more than 2,000 people. It can be seen how strong the fighting strength of the Blue Wolf is. If it is a head-to-head -head battle, these elite royals brought by L. Yu Ming are not opponents at all. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. The main reason is the mount. The skin of the wolf is hard like iron, and it is fierce and abnormal. It runs like the wind. The blue scale horse can't compare with it. Many of the sergeants killed in this battle were torn by the wolf. Hua Ying explained. How about the other's blue wolf, how much have we captured? L. Yu Ming asked. Not many, these blue wolves have long been tamed by the Yunyu Empire with mysterious methods. They will not surrender at all, and will only fight to the end. We have managed to capture a hundred, but we simply cannot use them. Hua Ying explained. L. Yu Ming frowned. Set off. After a moment, L. Yu Ming led the army and continued to set off. There is nothing to think about. L. Yu Ming does not believe that the armies of the Yunyu Empire are as elite as the Blue Wolf Corps. If they are all so elite, the Scorching Sun Empire will be destroyed long ago. The number of such elite troops should not be large. The army was drawn and hurried towards Mochizuki City. At this time, Mochizuki City may be experiencing a war, they must rush over to support as soon as possible. They did not guess wrong, Mochizuki City was really fighting kill. To the north of Mochizuki city is an endless prairie. On the prairie, the two armies are fighting fiercely. On one side is the Janayu army, with a total of 80,000 people, all colored cavalry, magnificent like a mountain. On the other side, there is a large army of Yunyu, with only 50,000 people. Of these 50,000 people, there is an army that is particularly eye-catching. Because every cavalry's mount is a Blood Moon Monster Tiger. This is the Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion of the Yunyu Empire. This Blood Moon Monster Tiger army has 10,000 people. The Yunyu Empire takes the 10,000 Blood Moon Demon Tigers as the front, and cooperates with the other 40,000 ordinary cavalry, and the Janayu Army 80,000 Army, fierce confrontation on the endless prairie. Hundreds of thousands of iron riders, running on the grassland, the earth is shaking. The powerful and terrifying atmosphere condenses, disturbing the wind and clouds, and the clouds in the sky explode and are rolled, which is difficult to converge at all. Kill. The shouts shook the earth and the two steel torrents collided fiercely. Suddenly, the murderous rush to the sky, all kinds of true madness, the screams of each other fluctuated, the blood was scattered, and the smell was pungent. When? When? The sound of the collision of steel echoed through the grassland. After a while, the two steel armies rushed by, leaving behind a body. Adjust the direction, fast. In front of Janayu Jun, a big man in his fifties roared. He had a burly body and had all his hair. It looks very similar to Ming Cheng. He is the commander general of the Janayu army, the father of Ming Cheng's three siblings. Ming Ming. Boom. Boom. The 80,000 army, led by Ming Ming, drew a huge arc on the grassland and quickly turned around. On the other side, under the leadership of the general, the army of the Yunyu Empire also made a quick U-turn. The two armies stand against each other. Break armor arrow, let go. Ming Meng shouted. Nearly 80,000 Taikai took off their armored bows and bent bows to shoot arrows. The densely pierced armored arrows shot at the overcast army. Shoot! The Yunyu Empire also shoots out overwhelming arrows. 
After shooting the armor-piercing arrows, the two armies ran forward and rushed towards each other. Ah! The arrow fell, the screams of the people, the roar of the mount screamed, and a group of people turned their horses back and forth, and people were continuously shot and killed. This is an armor-piercing arrow that can penetrate thick armor and has great power. If an ordinary person is shot with an arrow, the whole body will burst apart directly. Tens of thousands of people shot arrows together, even the strong Wuzong, did not dare to carelessly, a careless, will be consumed by the dense armor-breaking arrows to protect the body Qi, shot through the defense, and died in a fate. Therefore, ordinary Wuzong strong men are not invincible in the face of a huge army. Once the legion formed a battle front, it was not impossible to kill the strong Wuzong. Such things have happened in history. After shooting a round of armor-piercing arrows, the two sides collided again. The first to bear the brunt of the two generals. Kill! Ming Meng shouted, holding a two-meter-long sword, and chopping it out, it seemed that the world and the world would be split open, slashing towards the enemy general. Ming Meng's cultivation practice has reached the peak of Wu Zong's sixfold, and is a general of a hundred battles, and his combat power is extremely powerful. But the general of the Yunyu Empire, Xi Wei is no weaker than him. Similarly, the cultivation of Wuzong's six peaks, with a spear in hand, the space is shaking between waving. When the two took a trick to form a strong storm, the iron ride near them was directly rolled up by the storm and flew hundreds of meters away. Ha ha ha, Ming Meng, today, I will definitely destroy the Yu army in your town and look down on the moon city. The enemy general laughed. You are clamoring every day, is it useful? Ming Meng sneered. But in his heart, he had a bad hunch. A dark wolf army of the Yunyu Empire has never appeared, which has made Ming Meng at ease. Kang Guo Legion, don't look at it, only 10,000, but the combat strength is too strong, cannot help. Although he left 20,000 towns of Yuejun to defend in Mochizuki City, he still had no idea. Ha ha! The enemy general laughed and made several moves with Ming Meng. Over a hundred thousand troops passed by, leaving behind a body. Roar! Roar! The sound of the tiger roared, and the ten thousand blood moon demon tiger army of the Yunyu Empire was extremely powerful. Every time, it could bite the Jinayu army's iron riding phalanx together. After several collisions, the Jinayu army lost thousands of iron riders. Ming Men's heart is bleeding, but Jinayu Jun spent countless years of hard work. It took decades to build a strong army. For the few powerful legions of the royal family, losing one can make Ming Meng. Heartache. Kill. The Meng Meng hair must be spread out, like a lion. Rumble. Just then, in the direction of Mochizuki City, there was a violent roar. The earth was shaking. Ming Men's complexion changed greatly. Finally come. The enemy general laughed. King Wolf Army, is the Wolf Army, you let the Wolf Army detour from Han's Han, just want to sneak attack on the Moon City. Ming Men's complexion changed, and he roared. Ha ha, yes, but now I know that it is too late. Are the 20,000 troops you left behind the opponents of the Blue Wolf Army? The enemy general laughed. Ming Men's face was extremely gloomy, and at this time, he was in a dilemma. If he leads the army to return, the local will definitely lead the army to chase from behind, and then the Blue Wolf Army will face the headache, and the two sides will hit back and forth, and the Jinayu Army is in danger. But if you don't save it, can Mochizuki City block the attack of the Blue Wolf Army? Rumble. The sound of vibration is getting closer. Ming Men's complexion became more and more ugly, while the generals of the Yunyu Empire became more and more cheerful. Ha ha, today, I must set my sights on the Moon City, and then use my army to break through the scorching capital of the sun, hey? What's the matter? The Yunyu Empire general began to laugh arrogantly, very cheerfully, but his face changed immediately. Because that army did not attack Wanjiahu City, but rushed towards the army of the Yunyu Empire. 
Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandeo as soon as possible. Between the smoke and dust, you can see that this army is riding not a blue wolf at all, but a strong blue scale horse. The army of the scorching empire. The eyes of the Yunyu Empire general suddenly swelled, revealing an incredible look. How could the army of the Lai Empire appear here? Where are the wolves? Where did you go? This newly emerged army is naturally El Yuming and them. Kill. El Yuming took the lead, holding a gun in one hand, killing like a wave. 18,000 troops followed, stab at the armies of the Yunyu Empire like a sharp knife. Kill. The sons and daughters of Janayu Jun, join me in killing the debris of the Yunyu Empire. How could Ming Meng miss this opportunity, immediately burst into roar, and the voice spread throughout the audience. Kill. 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 Everyone in the Janayu army roared, followed Ming Meng, and rushed towards the Yunyu army. The Yunyu empire looked very ugly and shouted, there are not many enemies coming, but less than 20,000, and we are all elite in battle, and 10,000 people are enough to block them. Immediately the Yunyu Empire divided 10,000 iron rides and rushed towards the landing army. Remember, block them and wait for the Blue Wolf Iron Ride to kill them all. The General Yunyu roared, and his voice spread throughout the audience, encouraging morale. Ha ha ha, you said that the Wolf Iron Rides, it is them. El Yuming laughed, waved his hand, and a storage ring flew forward. Then, the storage ring glowed and the heads of the grey wolf and the human head fell to the ground. That's the head of the blue wolf iron rider. So many, are all the wolves and iron riders, all beheaded. Suddenly, the army of the Yunyu Empire caused a commotion. The so-called wolves and iron riders, 10,000 troops, have all been beheaded by us, so you should not expect them. El Yuming shouted and rushed towards the other party at the same time. Impossible. The general of the Yunyu Empire shouted, and it was really hard to believe that 10,000 wolves were riding. El Yuming's words made the army of the Yunyu Empire very suspicious. Some soldiers didn't use their arms as hard. Kill. At this time, El Yuming led the 18,000 army and had collided with the other party's 10,000 army. Demon confuses the people, kill. The opponent was led by a five pronged Wuzong big man shouting, slashing towards the landing. Dead. El Yuming burst into a scream, the spear pierced, the knife was broken, and the spear pierced directly from the other person's throat. Bump. The guns kept killing more than a dozen people in the back before they disappeared invisible. El Yuming rode a green scale horse and rushed past. Behind them, Xianian Ching, Golden Eyes, Blood Stiffness, Hua Ying, Gao Li and others followed closely, swept the army of 18,000, and rushed to the speed. Kill. The scorching sun's momentum was like a rainbow, led by El Yu Ming, and immediately tore the enemy's formation into a big mouth. The 10,000 army of the Yunyu Empire is not such a strong army as the Kang Guo Legion. Its strength is comparable to that of El Yu Ming's army, and naturally it is difficult to block El Yu Ming's edge. Moreover, the morale of the Yunyu Empire is low, and the number is small. It is not an opponent of the Scorching Sun Army. In a moment, it has already been washed away. On the other side, Ming Yang led Zhen Yue Jun, who was entangled in the other party, and also had the upper hand. The whole army is dispatched. Ming Meng heard a long roar and spread it into the city of Wanjiu. Rumble. Suddenly, in Mochizuki City, a large army rushed out and killed towards this side. It was the 20,000 troops that Ming Meng had left behind. As a result, the Yin and Yu Empire was sung on all sides, and morale was even lower. Retreat, retreat. The Yunyu Empire general roared, very anxious. He knows that today's defeat has been decided. If this continues, I am afraid that the whole army will be wiped out. The Yunyu Empire general led the powerful Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion and slammed forward. Suddenly, the Janayu army led by Ming Meng was washed away. 
rush out. The Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion took the lead, and other armies followed, retreating frantically. The army that fought with Liu Ming lost their helmets and abandoned their armor, and they ran wildly. Kill! Liu Ming shouted and led the army to chase down. On the other side, Ming Meng also led Jinayu Jun to pursue. On the way, the Yunyu Empire left behind a large body of corpses. Half an hour later, Liu Ming and other talents received their troops. In this battle, the 50,000 troops of the Yunyu Empire only fled about 20,000, and killed 30,000 in the war. The Jinayu army seized countless materials. It can be described as a great victory. An hour later, the two armies met on the grassland outside the city of Mochizuki. Father! Father! The three siblings of Ming Cheng rushed towards Ming Ming. The three of you didn't practice well in the imperial capital. How did you come back? Ming Meng sneered, scolding. Ming Zhu threw out her tongue and made no sound. Ming Feng grinned and said, Dad, we heard the Yunyu army besieging Wanjiahu city. That was very anxious. As the son of Daddy, how could he not fight against the strong enemy with Daddy? We naturally have to come back with Daddy. Well, you are kind of filial. Ming Men's face was a little better nodded. Also, this time, the royal family sent a large army to support, but the leader is Tianyun, we naturally have to come back together, so we can introduce it to Dad. Ming Feng said again. Tianyun? Could it be that Tianyun, who slashed the ten square swords and sent Tian Jiao to the sky? Ming Meng suddenly heard the name of Tianyun, and said quickly. Tianyun has seen General Ming. At this time, Liu Ming came up and clenched his fists. You are Tianyun, haha, really is the dragon among people, admire, admire. Ming Meng laughed and clenched his fists, very polite. General Ming is very polite, this time Tianyun is led to come and fight against the Yunyu Empire with the general. If there is anything you don't understand, please ask the general to give advice. Liu Ming said politely. Where do you dare to act? When you come, you wiped out the core of the wolves of the Yunyu Empire, and defeated the army of the Yunyu Empire in one fell swoop. I should learn from you. Also, don't call it General Yes, call me Brother Ming, haha. <laughs> Ming Meng said with great pride. Brother Ming. Liu Ming looked strange and glanced at Ming Cheng and others. I saw Ming Cheng, Ming Zhu. Ming Feng three people's faces stiff there, dumbfounded. Liu Ming called Ming Meng the eldest brother, wouldn't they be a generation younger than Liu Ming, then what should Liu Ming be? Uncle? The thought of this made the three of them crazy. Haha, <laughs> well, then I will call you brother Ming. Liu Ming agreed very indifferently, the one who laughed was cheerful. The three Ming Cheng brothers and sisters, on the other hand, were completely opposite. But Liu Ming and Ming Mengli ignored them and laughed toward Mochizuki City, preparing for a big banquet, celebrating the victory just now, and welcoming Liu Ming and others. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. In the next three days, the army of the Yunyu Empire did not move, and the Moon City was quiet. To the north of Mochizuki City is the direction of the Yunyu Empire, and to the west is an endless plateau. This plateau has complex terrain, boundless grasslands, and mountains. Tread! Tread! The ground shook, Liu Ming took Xi Nianqing, Hua Ying and other hundreds of people, and Ming Meng took 3,000 guards to gallop on the grasslands on the plateau. This plateau is usually used as a training ground for the Jinayu army. There are many monsters and beasts. Roar! Liu Ming saw that a group of mad lions with about hundreds of heads, all covered with Jin Can Can, saw Liu Ming's army, roared and ran away. Soon after, I saw a group of thousands of black cows, 2,000 meters high, running wild on the grassland. There are many monsters and beasts on this plateau. If you can capture and set up a large army, how strong should you be? Riding on the green scales, 
Al Yu Ming smiled. Tian Yun little brother, you are right, but the monsters on this plateau are unruly, and the number of the same ethnic group is not very large. It is too difficult to form a tens of thousands of iron riders. If you use different ethnic groups, it is difficult to train uniformly, and the combat effectiveness is not high. Ming Meng explained with a smile. El Yu Ming nodded, he also understood. For example, the kind of mad lion is not worse than the blood moon monster tiger in a single way, but it is unfortunate that it is difficult to catch tens of thousands of mad lions. And it is also a terrifying difficulty to try to tame this wild monster's obedience. Everyone galloped on the grassland, and saw all kinds of monsters along the road, some single actions, some in droves. Roar! Suddenly, there was a roar in front of him, the fierce anger filled. Step on! Then, I heard a group of mad lions, giant bears and other monsters rushing here. All the monsters showed a panicked expression in their eyes, terrified. Ao! The sound of howling wolf spread from behind, and then El Yuming and others saw a dozen blood shadows and ran towards this side. If you look closely, it is not a blood shadow, but a dozen giant wolves with huge bodies. These giant wolves are extremely long and strange. Each head is more than 2 meters long and 4 meters long. It is blood red and covered with blood red scale armor. Even its legs are covered with scale armor. There was only a fiery red hair at the neck, like a flame. Ao. A mad lion was chased by a giant wolf, but there was no resistance, and he was directly overturned by a paw, and then bit off the neck of the mad lion. What a mighty giant wolf, so strong. El Yuming glanced and admired. This is the red blood scale wolf. The dozen or so red blood scale wolf, the least of which is equivalent to the seventh heavy martial arts master, and even two Wuzong one heavy, absolutely ran out from the depths of the plateau. Ming Meng also had some marvels. Roar! Roar! At this time, the monsters in front of them saw El Yu Ming and evaded them from both sides. But a dozen red blood scale wolves stopped in front of El Yu Ming and others. They watched the land and screamed at them, roaring constantly, without any trace of wanting to escape. This kind of red blood scale wolf, as a mount, is definitely the best mount. El Yu Ming looked at dozens of red blood scale wolves with great interest, and said. Yes. This kind of red blood scale wolf, according to legend, has the blood of a dragon, it is invulnerable, and it is like a wind, and it is infinitely powerful. It is definitely a superb mount. If there is a tens of thousands of red blood scale wolf army, it will be invincible. Invincible. Unfortunately, the red blood scale wolf may really have the dragon blood veins, very proud, unruly, and want to tame them. It is extremely difficult, even if they are subdued with strength, they will not succumb to death. The blood scale wolf coveted, but after all these years, it was helpless. Ming Meng explained. Oh. El Yu Ming was a bit disappointed. He had wanted to form a strong army. Humph, just a beast, I don't believe it can't be tamed. Hua Ying snorted coldly, dissatisfied, and then rushed out of the figure rushing towards the red blood scale wolf. Roar! A dozen red blood scale wolves roared, rushed to Hua Ying and launched counterattacks. Go away! Hua Ying drank coldly and threw a few punches in a row. Bump! Bump! Some red blood scale wolves in the Grand Martial Realm were blasted out, rolled over a dozen times on the ground, and then climbed up, shaking the dirt on the body, nothing happened. The two monsters of Wuzong's heavy weight only took more than ten steps. Instead, Hua Ying himself, his body swayed. Good guy, such a strong force, see me not taming you. Hua Ying shouted, rushed up, and punched continuously. How did Hua Ying cultivate that these red blood scale wolves naturally lost their strength and were blasted out? Hua Ying recognized a heavy red blood scale wolf from Wuzong, riding on it and wanted to tame it. Roar! The red blood scale wolf shouted earth and earth, as if dignity was being insulted, 
violently thundering, his body shaking and beating madly. At the same time, a hot flame erupted from his body and enveloped Hua Ying. Kneel down for me! Hua Ying screamed, broke out, and suppressed the red blood scale wolf. Hua Ying Wuzong's triple cultivation, coupled with the blood of the king level blood, exploded in full force, like a mountain pressed against the back of the red blood scale wolf. The red blood scale wolf kept roaring, but still could not resist, and was crushed down. But it didn't succumb, keep struggling, keep roaring, it was terrible. Succumb to me or you will be killed. Hua Ying yelled. Roar. The response to him was the roar of the red blood scale wolf. Hateful. Hua Ying continued to suppress. After a while, Hua Ying himself was sweating, but the red blood scale wolf still did not succumb. Sure enough, it's reckless. L. Yu Ming sighed, but also secretly regretted that this kind of red blood scale wolf, not to mention too strong, as long as there is a part equivalent to the martial arts realm to form a large army, it will be terrifying. Ao. At this moment, a tremendous roar rang out, two blood lights rushed from a distance, incredible speed, a few breaths, before Hua Ying, one of them rushed towards Hua Ying. Hua Ying was shocked and punched out. Boom! With a roar, Hua Ying stepped back a dozen meters. Only then did he see clearly, and two red blood scale wolves appeared on the field. These two red blood scale wolves were very magnificent and a full circle larger than the other red blood scale wolves. The equivalent of Wu Zong Triple. L. Yu Ming whispered. What's going on? What's going on today? There are so many red blood scale wolves of Wu Zong level. Normally, red blood scale wolves of Wu Zong level are hiding deep in the plateau. How come they came out today? Ming Meng was extremely surprised. Roar! Two Wu Zong triple red blood scale wolves roared, staring at landing Ming and others. Then he roared and turned towards the plateau. Other red blood scale wolves followed. L. Yu Ming, how about we bet? At this time, Xian Yanqing came out and looked provocatively at L. Yu Ming. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Betting. L. Yu Ming froze. Yes, take these two red blood scale wolves, these two red blood scale wolves of Wu Zong, we are each one, to see who can tame first, who tame who wins first, losers. To promise the winner how about one condition? Dare you gamble? Xian Yanqing turned his eyes and said. As soon as the words came out, everyone around looked at them with interest. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing stood together as if they were golden boys and girls, and since the emperor's capital, Xian Yanqing followed L. Yu Ming. Others naturally thought that the relationship between them was not normal. At this time Xian Yanqing proposed to bet with L. Yu Ming, Others naturally thought it was a kind of alternative flirting between young couples. Aside, Ming Zhu looked at Xian Yanqing, who was so handsome, and sighed softly in her heart. She thought that perhaps only a peerless beauty like Xian Yanqing could deserve L. Yu Ming. The distance between her and L. Yu Ming is too far, and in the future, it will be farther and farther away. After a sigh, Ming Zhu hid her heart in her heart, a smile on her face and looked at L. Yu Ming. Don't you dare! L. Yu Ming smiled. Okay, let's get started. Xian Yanqing showed a hint of slyness, and his figure changed into a rainbow of light, chasing toward the red blood scale wolf. L. Yu Ming smiled, moved in the same figure, and walked away. Go, let's go, and see. Ming Meng and others chased away on horseback, but after a while, they couldn't see the figure of L. Yu Ming. Forget it, let's wait for them here. Ming Meng Dao. The others nodded and waited here. The scary blood scale wolf was running on the grassland at a terrifying speed, but after L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing's urgent pursuit, it took a while to catch up. Uh. As soon as Xian Yanqing moved, he flew at Wu Zong triple red blood scale wolf. Roar. The red blood scale wolf shouted, and with a squirting mouth, a pillar of fire spewed out, 
rushing towards Xian Yanqing. But Xian Yanqing waved his hand, a palm print shot, the fire column was broken, Xian Yanqing easily stepped on the back of the red blood scale wolf. Roar! The red blood scale wolf suddenly went mad, making a furious roar, and his body shook wildly, trying to fall Xian Yanqing. But Xian Yanqing burst into anger and formed a terrible pressure, and suppressed toward the red blood scale wolf. But the red blood scale wolf roared and did not yield. On the other side, L. Yu Ming also stepped on the back of the red blood scale wolf, Yun Gong suppressed it. But again, the red blooded wolf went mad and did not succumb. In fact, L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing wanted to kill these two red blood scale wolf, it is not difficult, it is very simple. But what they want is not to kill, but to tame. In this case, they cannot exert too much force, otherwise the red blood scale wolf will be killed to the town at once. You can only use appropriate strength to suppress the red blood scale wolf and grind away its ferocious air, so that you can slowly tame it. This is a process of consumption. Roar! Roar! Two Wuzong triple red blood scale wolf, roaring constantly, leaping continuously, wanted to throw off El Yuming and Xian Yanqing, but the two stood steadily on the back of the red blood scale wolf. In this way, the two red blood scale wolves abandoned the other red blood scale wolves, while roaring, while going towards the depths of the plateau. The red blood scale wolf is too fast, and what mountains and rivers, like a flat ground, pass by. Soon, it crossed a thousand miles. Here, the grasslands have disappeared, replaced by endless plateaus, mountains. Two red blood scale wolves roared continuously, leaping between the mountains and forests. Soon after, they traveled thousands of miles into the plateau. Ao! Ao! Suddenly, a wolf howling came and echoed with two red blood scale wolf. Hearing the howling wolves around, the two red blooded wolves looked like chicken blood, screamed louder and roared continuously. Ao! Ao! All around, the wolf howling was more intense, coming from all directions. Then, tall and majestic figures appeared from all directions. Red blood scale wolf, red blood scale wolf appears around. Each red blood scale wolf looked at Landing Ming and Xian Yanqing with anger, roaring constantly. So many red blood scale wolves, is this a wolf den? L. Yu Ming moved. Around the wolf howl, L. Yu Ming looked around and found that most of the red blood scale wolf are second level monsters, which is equivalent to the level of martial arts. Only a small part is the third level monster level. So many red blood scale wolves, how can they be used as mounts to form a large army? L. Yu Ming couldn't help but get hot. Ao! Ao! At this moment, two wolf howls suddenly sounded, these two wolf howls, shaking through the sky. After the two wolf howls sounded, all the other red blood scale wolves were silent, there was no sound. And within a few tens of miles, other monsters and animals also dare not breathe and are extremely silent. That is. At the next moment, L. Yu Ming saw that on the highest mountain, two red blood scale wolves came out. These two blood red scale wolves are extremely burly. They are three meters high and covered with fiery red scale armor. They are polished like fire jade. They are crystal and translucent, and there seems to be a slight flame jumping out. A very powerful breath erupted from the bodies of two red blood scale wolves. 4 level 6 level peak monster, is equivalent to Wuzong's 6 level peak. L. Yu Ming looked suddenly. Wu. At this time, the other red blooded wolves made a humming sound, prostrate their predecessors, and seem to welcome the king's arrival. These two blood red scale wolves, are they the wolf kings of this group of red blood scale wolves? L. Yu Ming thought about this possibility with a move. Depending on the situation, it should not be wrong. Roar! Roar! Two red blood scale wolves appeared, and two roars suddenly broke out, four claws and one kick, rose into the air, and rushed to the landing Ming and Xian Yanqing. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing did not dare to carelessly, broke out with all their strength, and greeted them. Boom! 
boom. With two roars, El Yuming and Xianianqing were both shot away. Good strength, this Red Blood Wolf King, although it is a 4 level 6 level peak monster, but its combat strength is definitely not comparable to that of a general 4 level 6 level monster. It also has at least a 4 level 7 level monster. El Yuming grimaced. Roar. Roar. Two red blood scale wolf kings roared, and rushed towards landing Ming and Xianianqing. The two fought against it. But as soon as he played, Xianianqing fell into a disadvantage and was completely out of control. El Yuming is a little better, but is also at a disadvantage. El Yuming's current fighting power, the warrior of Wuzong's six-fold warrior, has no problem at all, and can even kill it, but it is too far away from Shan Guizong's sevenfold, and it is not even at all. Bump. Bump. After several strokes in a row, El Yuming's muscles tremble, his body recedes, and he is in the wind. Bump. On the other side, Xian Yanqing was shot and landed on the edge of El Yuming, with blood flowing from the corner of his mouth. But she did not say a word, and did not run away. It seemed that El Yuming did not go, and she did not go either. She was very stubborn. Roar. Two red blood wolf kings roared and surrounded El Yuming and Xian Yanqing. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. Xiao Qing, why don't we leave here first? El Yuming said. There are two wolf kings here. Today, it is impossible for them to tame the red blood scale wolf. No, I don't believe I can't tame it. Xian Yanqing said stubbornly. El Yuming was speechless, and the chick was getting angry again. It's just fake wolf kings. Look at them in front of real wolf kings. Dare you arrogant. Xian Yanqing snorted coldly, and then her hands were sealed. Immediately, Xian Yanqing exuded layers of black light, and the black light diffused. Slowly, the black light actually condensed a silver giant wolf in the air. Xiao Yu serious? El Yuming exclaimed. El Yuming is familiar with this silver giant wolf. At the beginning of the ancestral remains of the Dong Ai nationality, El Yuming and Xian Yanqing alone got half the beast soul of Xiao Yu Sirius. Later in the Battle of the White Tigers, El Yuming merged half the beast king soul, slashed El Yu Yunxian, and fought against Duan Mulan. He is extremely familiar with this silver giant wolf. Unexpectedly, Xian Yanqing now condensed this Xiao Yu Sirius. However, El Yuming can see that this does not seem to be the spirit of the beast, but has been condensed. It is a manifestation of the practice method, and serious breath has weakened a lot. Ao. Xiaoyu Tian Luo made a terrifying wolf howl, and a great coercion came out. Although only half, although it has been condensed, but Xiaoyu Sirius was a real demon king, real king, and the authority of the superior, very powerful. Wu. Countless red blood scale wolves uttered a whine, prostrated their heads deep down, and looked at the sky howling Sirius in awe. Xiaoyu Sirius is silver and white, standing high in the sky, extremely powerful, and constantly roaring. Slowly, some red blood scale wolves of the level 4 monster level also creeped down. Roar! Roar! However, the two red blood scale wolf kings constantly roared and looked at the skies Xiao Yu Sirius. Although they were a little afraid, they did not succumb. And, in the eyes, the fierce light shines, it seems that he will come to El Yuming and Xian Yanqing at any time. It seems that the two wolf kings are difficult to tame. El Yuming thought. Ao. Xiao Yu Sirius in the air, and howling in the sky, filled with a dazzling silver light. At this moment, El Yuming's body could not help emitting a silvery light, and then, the silvery light was in the air, actually condensing a huge Xiao Yu Sirius. What happened? El Yuming was shocked. Is it because I merged the soul of Xiao Yu Sirius before, and there are traces of Xiao Yu Sirius remaining in my body? At this time, Xian Yanqing's half of Xiao Yu Sirius was excited and showed up. El Yuming thought suddenly 
thinking of this. Only this explanation can make sense. L. Yu Ming condensed Xiao Yu Sirius on his body, but also looked up to the sky, and a mighty coercion spread out. The bodies of other red blood scale wolves lie completely on the ground, and some of them are of low rank, even trembling. Even a few fourth level red blooded scale wolves lie down honestly and dare not move a little. Only the two red blood scale wolf kings roared constantly, but in his eyes, there was finally a trace of fear. At this time, the Xiaoyu Sirius above Xian Yang King's head, and the Xiaoyu Sirius above El Yu Ming's head, actually merged into a bigger Xiaoyu Sirius. Ao! This Xiaoyu Sirius growled, exuding the mighty king's coercion. It was a kind of natural coercion against the wolf clan. The bodies of the two blood-blooded wolf kings began to tremble, with fear in their eyes. Xiaoyu Sirius stood in the air and looked down at the two red blood scale wolf kings. There seemed to be a slight displeasure in his eyes. Wu! Two red blood scale wolf kings, finally afraid, prostrate to the ground and whine, just like two domestic puppies. Tame! El Yu Ming was overjoyed. Ao! Xiaoyu Sirius made a roar, and the bodies of the two red blood scale wolves suddenly shivered. They stood up tremblingly, climbed to El Yu Ming and Xian Yan Qing, and fell down obediently. It really is. El Yu Ming whispered, rejoiced in his heart, and moved, riding on the back of a red blood scale wolf king. The scarlet scale wolf king has no trace of resistance, honestly. On the other side, Xian Yan Qing also rode another red blood scale wolf king, and that one, too, was honest. El Yu Ming glanced and found that Xian Yan Qing was only the mother. El Yu Ming, the male, is no wonder that they are two wolf kings. Ha ha, Xiao Qing, a male and a female, just a pair, just like you and me. El Yu Ming laughed. Who is with you, you think of beauty? Xian Yan Qing sneered and gave El Yu Ming a glance. El Yu Ming grinned straight, he was just kidding, and didn't care. At this time, Xiao Yu Sirius in the air shouted for a long time, and turned into two rays of light again. They fell into the bodies of El Yu Ming and Xian Yan Qing and disappeared. The powerful coercion between heaven and earth also disappeared. Roar! Two red blood scale wolf kings growled and stood up. However, they did not go crazy, did not resist, and seemed to be completely tamed. Perhaps, Xian Yan Qing and I still have the breath of Xiao Yu Sirius, so we can calm down these two wolf kings. El Yu Ming guessed. Immediately patted the red blood scale wolf king, said, Call your men, call them all, follow me. Roar! Roar! The two red blood scale wolf kings are very well behaved and emit two long screams, spreading for dozens of miles. The other red blooded wolves whined and gathered from all sides. Finally, all around, densely packed, stood the red blood scale wolf. Over the mountains and the wild, I can't see my head at a glance. So much. El Yu Ming was a little dazed, followed by a strong ecstasy. El Yu Ming looked at it carefully and found that there were more than 8,000 red blood scale wolves in the mountains and the wild. 8,000 heads, and most of them are second level monsters, and there are a small number of third level monsters, even four level monsters, with dozens of heads. Level 4 monster, but it is equivalent to the Wuzong level warrior. Scent, scent. El Yu Ming roared in his heart. What's so happy? Don't forget. This time I was able to tame the red-blooded wolf, and I lost everything. If you were, I would have run away long ago, coward. Aside, Xian Yan Qing pouted, quite disdainfully. Yes, yes, thanks to you. El Yu Ming is in a good mood and does not care about Xian Yan Qing. This time you bet, you lost, willing to gamble to lose, you will not be fooled. Xian Yan Qing said. Hey. Taming the Wolf King, I also have credit, okay, how come even if I lose? El Yu Ming said. What's your credit, if it's not me, where do you have the opportunity to tame the Wolf King, do you want to be fooled? If you are fooled, 
I will preach the things you blamed everywhere in the barracks. Xian Yanqing gritted his teeth. In the end, L. Yu Ming could only compromise and promise Xian Yanqing one condition. What conditions? Say, as long as it can be done, I will not refrain. L. Yu Ming said. It's not time yet, it's time, I will naturally tell you. Xian Yanqing showed a sly smile, riding the red blood scale Wolf King, and walked away. L. Yu Ming followed the Wolf King. L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing took the lead, followed by more than 8,000 red blood scale wolves, and went back and forth. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. On the grassland 2,000 miles away, Ming Ming, Hua Ying and others were waiting anxiously. Why haven't they been back for so long, General? What will happen? Gao Li frowned. It shouldn't be. The general's cultivation is taken, unless you encounter the existence of Wu Zong 8th and above, and Wu Zong 8th and below, even if the general is not enemies, it will be fine to escape. Hua Ying rode. But in his eyes, there was a flash of worry. Since they completely turned to L. Yu Ming, they naturally thought of L. Yu Ming everywhere. And Ming Ming, Ming Cheng, and others were also anxious in their eyes looking at L. Yu Ming where they were going. Rumble. At this moment, the earth rumbling and shaking, as if there were thousands of horses running. Ming Men's complexion changed abruptly and shouted, No, there are a large number of monsters and monsters coming here. This is a beast tide. Follow my orders, set up and prepare to fight. As soon as the voice fell, the three thousand guards brought by Ming Meng opened their positions, and their long bows were ready for battle. Rumble. The vibrations are getting stronger and stronger, as if there are many giants running. Ming Men's complexion became more and more serious. Ao. Ao. At this time, a huge wolf howling came from the direction of the deep plateau, and the roaring sound passed through the clouds. No, this is the cry of the red blood scale wolf. How come there are so many red blood scale wolf? Tianyun brothers, what about them? Ming Meng shouted. Others' faces also changed greatly, listening to the sound, I don't know how many red blood scale wolves, but it is certain that these people are definitely not enough, how to fight this? Retreat, retreat, rush back to Wanjia city first. Ming Meng shouted. Go. Turn around one by one and rush back. Ah? That is the general and the girl Xian Yanqing. Suddenly, a loud cry rang out, a young man from the Hall of Stars. What? Ming Meng and others hurried to look over there. At the end of the earth, an endless red appeared, which looked like a fiery sunset in the distance. Take a closer look, where is the sunset, it is clearly a strong red blood scale wolf. At a glance, the ground is full of red blood scale wolves, overwhelming. A strong and extreme qi is diffused between heaven and earth. Some timid people began to tremble involuntarily. In front of the endless red blood scale wolf, there are two tallest red blood scale wolf, breathing sky. On each of the two red bloods, one person sat. It is L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing. Really Tianyun brothers and Xie girl, but what's going on? How did they ride on the red blood scaled wolf? Ming Meng looked dazed. Are they being chased by the red blood scale wolf? Isn't it possible? The two red blood scale wolves they ride on the general look the strongest breath, but there is no resistance. Have they tamed the red blood scale wolves? Tamed? Impossible. Some young and powerful people such as Hua Ying are talking. Ao. Ao. At this time, L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing's red blood scale wolf king made two roars. Then, the speed of the red blood scale wolf in the mountains and the field slowly slowed down, and finally, they slowly paced and walked towards Ming Ming. This, this, is the red blood scale wolf king? Isn't the red blood scale wolf king tame, how is this possible? Ming Men's eyes widened, his mouth widened, and his face was incredible. And those who were originally Mochizuki City, 
also opened their eyes, opened their mouths, and stared at them in a daze. At this time, El Yu Ming and Su Xianianqing had arrived not far away. Brother Tian Yun, have you tamed these two red blood scale wolf kings? Ming Meng asked in a daze. Ha ha, brother Ming Meng, it was a lucky success. We chased the two before. We didn't expect to chase the old nest of the red blood scale wolf. When we met these two scale wolf kings, we were lucky to tame it successfully, so we ordered the wolf king to order, bring this nest of red blood scale wolves. El Yu Ming explained. Fuck, lucky. Ming Men's lips were trembling, and he was pulling his beard vigorously with one hand. Until now, he was still shocked, like in a dream. The three thousand guards he brought were not much better. They thought they were dreaming. Taming the red blood scale wolf king? But never heard of who succeeded? It's good now, El Yu Ming succeeded as soon as he came, and brought back a nest of red blood scale wolves. Brother Tian Yun is invincible. Ming Feng responded very quickly, yelled, and ran to El Yu Ming, said, Brother Tian Yun, can you give me a red blood scale wolf as a mount? After a few days of entanglement, the three siblings of Ming Cheng still decided to make their own relationship with El Yu Ming, no matter what their father and El Yu Ming called, otherwise, they really called Uncle El Yu Ming. Of course, you can choose one yourself. El Yu Ming smiled. Thank you brother Tian Yun. Ming Feng was overjoyed, and immediately chose a red blood scale wolf with three levels and six weights, and hurried up. Roar. As soon as Ming Feng rode up, the red blood scale wolf made a furious roar. Roar. At this moment, El Yu Ming slapped the wolf king under the hips, and the wolf king made a roar. Immediately, the red blood scale wolf immediately came down honestly and made a whine, Ren Ming Feng rode. Ha ha, let's go. When Ming Feng shot the red blood scale wolf, the red blood scale wolf immediately roared, rushed out like a wind and ran back again after a while. Ha ha, cool, cool. Ming Feng laughed. This leaves others no longer. General, give him one. Hua Ying shouted. General, I want one too. Other young people shouted. Choose yourself. El Yu Ming waved his hand. Hua Ying and others were overjoyed. Several of them are all Wuzong martial arts, naturally selected at the fourth level. Hua Ying picked a four-level fourfold, which is equivalent to Wu Zong's fourfold. Others also picked the right one. For a while, the wolf howl continued, and the red light jumped on the grassland, and they all tried the new mounts. It's so cool, this is the real mount. With such a mount, the enemy is beheaded, like a bag. Hua Ying and others laughed. Ming Meng looked enviously. In his capacity, he was embarrassed to ask Al Yu Ming for an explanation. Brother Ming Meng, this one is for you. Al Yu Ming waved his hand, and the tall and burly red blood scale wolf stepped forward, exuding a strong breath on his body. This is a red blood scale wolf with four levels and five levels. Among the wolves, only two wolf kings. Tian Yun brothers, this, how am I so sorry? He was embarrassed in his mouth, and his eyes had fallen straight on the red blood scale wolf, which could no longer be removed. Brother Ming Ming, what's so welcome with me? Take it for a ride. El Yu Ming laughed. Okay, then I'm welcome. Ming Meng was overjoyed, hurriedly jumped on the red blood scale wolf, and controlled the red blood scale wolf to run a large circle, the smile on his face could not be turned away. Go. Go back to the barracks. El Yu Ming waved. Suddenly, more than 8,000 red blooded scale wolves followed the landing with a mighty sound and drove towards the military camp of Mochizuki City. Along the way, Ming Men's 3,000 guards looked at the red blood scale wolf with great envy. But they knew that they belonged to Jinai Yujun, not El Yu Ming, and they certainly didn't have a share. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. When El Yu Ming returned to Mochizuki City, they naturally caused a great sensation. 
the entire Mochizuki city was shaken. The Yu army of 100,000 towns was shocked and envied. The 18,000 troops under El Yu Ming are extremely excited. They knew that the red blood scale wolf would definitely be assigned to their heads. Sure enough, starting the next day, El Yu Ming set out to select the 8,000 strongest sergeants from the 18,000 army, and each was assigned a red blood scale wolf. In the 8,000 troops, everyone's training is above the Nineth level of the samurai. Among them, 2,000 people were cultivated as martial arts realm, and about 100 people were cultivated as martial arts realm. 8,000 people formed a red blood scale wolf iron rider. The people assigned to the Red Blood Scale Wolf were elated and excited. Strong mounts mean that their fighting power is stronger. On the battlefield, they not only have a greater chance of surviving, but also have the opportunity to kill the enemy and make achievements. They were very grateful to El Yu Ming and thanked Dade. Many people even secretly vowed to follow El Yu Ming to death. The people who are not assigned to the Red Blood Scale Wolf, although somewhat envious, are not jealous. They knew that the Red Blood Scale Wolf was not assigned because they did not cultivate enough. And El Yu Ming is a peerless genius, a famous empire, and his future is boundless. They secretly vowed to follow El Yu Ming well and work hard, and there will always be benefits. El Yu Ming did not expect that this move would make the army under him more convincing to him and also make him more prestigious. Two days later. Rumble. On the prairie, a red-blooded scale wolf whizzed past, swept like a violent wind, and the atmosphere was shocking, stirring the situation. El Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing ride at the forefront, and Ren Feng Feng roars, hitting his face, but the fine light in El Yu Ming's eyes is getting brighter and brighter. The man's big husband, commander of the iron-blooded army, vertical and horizontal battlefield, meritorious service, beauty is beside. What could be more exciting than this? Ao. Ao. The wolf howling, the 8,000 iron rides, whizzing past, the other monsters on the grassland saw that they were all frightened and dared not stay in the slightest. In the distance, Ming Meng led the army and looked shocked. In the face of such power, most of the Jinayu army showed horror and fear. Who can stop such a large army? Ming Meng sighed. Unfortunately, the number is too small, there are only 8,000 troops, and each knight is repaired too low, otherwise, it may become a strange army against the Yunyu Empire. Next to Ming Ming, a lieutenant sighed. Yes, the Yunyu Empire is like the Bloody Moon Demon Tiger Legion and the Blue Wolf Legion. There are 100,000 people. If they are dispatched together, Tianyun's 8,000 Red Blood Iron Rides are not opponents at all. Another lieutenant general also sighed. Don't ask for too much. 8,000 red blood iron rides are comparable to the 100,000 ordinary army. For me, Wangjiu City is a good thing. Ming Meng Dao. In the next few days, there was no movement over the Yunyu Empire. El Yu Ming took the red blood scale wolf iron ride and practiced on the grassland, running in the tacit understanding between the sergeant and the mount. In a blink of an eye, five days had passed. Eight thousand sergeants, and the red blood scale wolf, had run in quite well. On the sixth day, a news came suddenly. The Genbei army, three thousand miles away from the Moon Moon City, sent an urgent message to the Jinayu army for help. They suffered a crazy attack by the Yunyu Empire army. General Ming, things are urgent. I lead the Red Blood Iron Rider and go to help first. Among the military camp accounts, El Yu Ming and Ming Meng and others were discussing this matter. El Yu Ming directly proposed to lead the Red Blood Iron Rider to rescue first. The Genbei Army is another strong army in the north of the royal family. It complements the Jinayu Army and depends on each other. Once the Genbei Army is destroyed, the Jinayu Army is also in danger. Therefore, the Genbei army is in danger and they must be rescued. The red blood iron riding is the fastest, and the first is the most suitable. Okay, the Tianyun brothers go first, and the Genbei army will arrive later. Ming Meng Dao After a while, 
the red blood iron rides out of the barracks like a wind and heads towards the town of Genbei where the Genbei army is located. The journey of 3,000 miles is only four hours under the red blood iron riding. Red blood iron riding, can run tens of thousands of miles a day, it is possible. When El Yuming and them were on a grassland a hundred miles away from the north of the town, they saw countless people fighting. At least more than 100,000 people fought together and shouted to kill Zhen Tian. Blue Wolf Legion, Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion El Yuming saw at a glance that there were two legions in the Yunyu army, each with about 10,000 people. They were extremely powerful, and they were launching a violent impact on the Genbei army. There are about 60,000 or 70,000 people in the Genbei army, surrounded by large regiments of the Yunyu Empire, and constantly rushed to death. The smell permeated the whole grassland. Kill. El Yuming roared, riding with Xianianqing at the forefront, rushing towards the 10,000 wolves army. Ao Ao. Obviously, the Lang Wolf Corps also found El Yuming and others to gather their forces and rushed towards the landing Ming. But halfway through, the Wolf Corps screamed in horror. What's that? Oh my god, it's a red blood scale wolf. How is it possible? Really red blood scale wolf, a large army of red blood scale wolf. In the wolf's army, countless people looked at the front in horror. Ao. Ao. The red blood scale wolf roared, his eyes red, and he rushed forward. Wu. Kang Wolf's mount, Kang Wolf, uttered a whine of fear, and the speed became slower and slower. Damn, rush, rush, don't be afraid. The general of the Kang Guo Legion roared, and the sword in his hand cut the skin of the Kang Wolf, and blood flowed. Others have learned to cut the skin of the Grey Wolf one after another. The Grey Wolf was injured and the murderous hair was great. It restrained the fear and rushed towards the red blood iron riding. Kill and annihilate this blue wolf army. El Yuming roared, full of murderous opportunities. He led the army out, and the first time he encountered was the wolf core. In that battle, they attacked secretly, and they had an advantage in numbers. They also killed 2,000 people. El Yuming was very worried about this. This time, when he saw another blue wolf iron rider, he naturally killed Ling Xian. Kill. The Red Blood Iron Riders were in the same mood as El Yuming, and screamed and rushed up. Bump! The two armies finally collided together. However, the seemingly powerful Kang Lang Iron Rider, when faced with the Red Blood Iron Rider, was as fragile as tofu. As soon as the two armies were in contact, the Kang Guo Taikai was torn into two halves, and the screams continued to form. Roar! The red blood scale wolf was extremely fierce. He roared and shot a paw, tearing the blue wolf cavalry with the blue wolf, and tearing it into two halves. For a moment, the Kong Wol Iron Rider's formation was rushed past by the red blood iron rider, torn in half, chaotically, leaving thousands of corpses. Kill. El Yuming turned around, 8,000 red blood iron riding followed him, and rolled into the remaining blue wolf iron riding. This is a battle without suspense, the difference in combat power is too great, it is a one-sided slaughter. Ah, escape. Help, don't kill me. Go away. In the Blue Wolf Iron Ride, the wailing sounds were together and miserable. Because www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Wandeo as soon as possible. Swallow. L. Yu Ming controls the blood of Jolong and the power of terrible devouring is attached to his left palm. His left palm is like a black hole, and the rolling blood is swallowed by El Yuming. The place he rushed through, whether it was human blood or blue blood, was swallowed and continuously refined. This time, El Yuming divided half of his energy to improve his cultivation. Although the single wolf is not very strong, but it wins in large numbers. His practice is slowly improving. Kill. Kill. Red blood iron riding, shouting to kill Zhen Tian, constantly harvesting the life of the blue wolf iron riding. The movements here naturally alarmed the war on the other side. 
the wolf core is about to be destroyed, and our reinforcements are here. A roar came from the Genbei army. The army of the Yunyu Empire was shocked. Send troops to reinforce the Blue Wolf Iron Ride, hurry! There was a commander general shouting. Suddenly, an ordinary Iron Rider of 20,000 people rushed towards the landing. Kill, destroy them! L. Yu Ming shouted and rushed towards the 20,000 army. Other Red Blood Iron Rides followed. At this time, 10,000 wolves were almost wiped out, only a few hundred people remained, and they fled in fright. Red Blood Iron Riding, reformed a sharp sword-like formation, rushed towards the enemy. This time, it was one-sided, and as soon as it touched, the enemy's 20,000 Taikai collapsed. The Red Blood Scale Wolf yelled, the opponent's mount trembled, and its combat power was greatly reduced. The claws of the Red Blood Scale War, and several cavalry were torn. Without resistance, it was still a massacre. Reinforcement, fast signal, request reinforcement. In the Yunyu Empire army, there was a roar of anger and corruption. Then, fireworks flew into the sky, forming a round of cloudy moon. The fierce fighting continued, and the Red Blood Scale Wolf came into battle for the first time, showing unparalleled combat power. Facing several times the enemy, the opponent's battle line was easily torn apart, and the opponent's cavalry was slaughtered. The corpses are everywhere, the real corpses are everywhere. During the war, L. Yu Ming's Xiaowei actually broke through, reaching the middle of Wu Zong's second stage. Rumble. Soon afterwards, a deafening vibration sounded between heaven and earth. In the distance, the tiger roared, it was the Blood Moon Demon Tiger. The overwhelming Blood Moon Demon Tigers rushed towards this side. There are 20,000 Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legions, plus the previous 10,000, Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legions, and there are 30,000 people. Kill, annihilate the Red Blood Scale Wolf Iron Ride. Headed by the Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion, it is a general wearing a blood red iron armor. This body is extremely burly, holding a mace, and his breath is as thick as a mountain. A strong breath, this is the breath of Wu Zong Kishong. L. Yu Ming's eyes moved, revealing a trace of dignity. Kill. Without hesitation, L. Yu Ming led 8,000 Red Blood Iron Riders and killed 20,000 Blood Moon Demon Tigers. The two armies are getting closer and closer. Boy, die. The blood armor shouted, and the mace in his hand smashed towards the landing. Rumble. The mace smashed through and the space screamed violently. Golden Eye. L. Yu Ming's thoughts moved, and beside him, Golden Eyes and Blood stiffened and greeted the blood armor. Boom. Boom. The Golden Eye blood stiffness and the blood armor general battled together, roaring constantly. Call out. L. Yu Ming stabbed with one shot, and the wind and fire merged and erupted. Bump. A Wuzong master with five weights was directly pierced into the heart by L. Yu Ming and fell to the ground. L. Yu Ming rushed by, swallowed his essence and blood, and quickly refined it. Then the rifle swept across, the lance of a hundred meters long was swept through, dozens of Blood Moon Demon Tiger Iron Ride was detonated, flesh and blood armor fragments, scattered all over the ground. Kill. The two sides are in battle, together. Fighting is extremely tragic. Boom. Boom. Golden-eyed blood roared stiffly, fearing death, and furiously attacked the blood armor general. For a time, general blood armor fell completely downwind. Beast rode palm. L. Yu Ming blasted out with a palm, a huge beast palm, blasted toward the blood armor general. Heavenly demon handprint. Not far away. Xian Yanqing also blasted out several palms in a row, and the black ink-like handprints also blasted towards the blood armor general. Bump. Bump. Although the blood armor general was extremely brave, he could not stand the violent attack of the golden eyes and blood stiffness, coupled with the siege of L. Yu Ming and Xian Yanqing, the body suddenly violently spit, vomited blood and retreated backward. But golden eye blood stiffness would not miss this opportunity. Fighting up, 
the ten fingernails were sharper than the war sword, and instantly tore the blood armor general's armor into pieces. El Yuming rushed up and devoured his blood. This is the blood of Wuzong's sevenfold martial arts, which is really amazing. El Yuming's continuous refining and cultivation, Xi Wei began to improve crazy. The general was killed. Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion, someone shouted. The generals of the Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion were killed and their morale was greatly reduced, while the blood of the Red Blood Iron Rider increased their morale. General Tianyun is invincible, General Tianyun is invincible. The Red Blood Iron Horse roared and rushed towards the enemy. The trade-off, slowly, the Scarlet Tiger Legion, began to collapse. Fighting on the battlefield, the victory is only a few centimeters. Once it collapses, it is defeated. Kill. Red Blood Iron Riding almost killed Red Eyes, and rushed towards the other party crazy. Hold it, hold it. In the Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion, a lieutenant general roared, attempting to withstand the attack and defeated the defeat, but everything was in vain. The Blood Moon Demon Tiger Legion was defeated. Boom. Boom. There was a roar in the distant sky. Okay. El Yu Ming's eyes looked like electricity, and he looked over there. There is also a fierce battle in the high air, which is more than a dozen miles away. There is a battlefield for masters, because the wars there are all strong men above the level of Wu Zong. There are forty or fifty people fighting in the sky. El Yu Ming found that among them there were strong figures of the Swan Yuanjian faction and some strong figures of the Ghost Moon Sword sect. Others, no doubt, are masters of the Yunyu Empire. That is, Kai Huyu. In the crowd, El Yu Ming suddenly saw a familiar figure, that was Kai Huyu. Obviously, after so long, Kai Huyu has reached Wu Zong realm. Hua Ying, Qi Xie Tai Qi will be given to you for the time being. Suddenly, El Yu Ming shouted loudly and came out from afar. Hua Ying froze, although he didn't understand the reason. He immediately responded, Yes. On the battlefield, as long as you obey. Okay, I will leave it to you. El Yu Ming said. There is no suspense in the war here, and Hua Ying knows the way of unifying the soldiers and gives it to him, El Yu Ming is at ease. Golden eyes, go. El Yu Ming moved from the body of the red blood scale wolf king, and flew towards the high altitude in the distance. Golden Eye's blood stiffness immediately followed El Yu Ming. The journey of more than ten miles came in an instant. Who? As soon as El Yu Ming arrived, a master of the Yunyu Empire stared at him. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Emperor Long Dao as soon as possible. The one who came to kill you. El Yu Ming was too lazy to talk nonsense with the other party and stabbed him. Wind and fire kill. This man has only Wuzong Sangzi's cultivation practice, and he can't resist El Yu Ming's attack. He was assassinated in the air with a single shot. Immediately, El Yu Ming looked away and analyzed the battle situation. Most of the masters of the Scorching Empire came from the Xian Yuan Sword faction and the Ghost Moon Sword sect, which was obviously at a disadvantage. At a higher altitude, there was a violent roar and a strong breath filled down, which belonged to Wu Zong's seventh martial artist. Not far away, Kai Huya hid a white dress, her body exudes a cold breath, and between the waves, the cold is pressing, and everything is frozen. I haven't seen it for a while, Kai Huya is more beautiful, curvaceous, and her body is fuller, but her beautiful face is extremely cold, even colder than the breath she exudes. Judging from Kai Huya's breath, Kai Huyu has reached the early stage of Wu Zong's second stage, and cultivation is progressing fast, and even El Yu Ming is shocked. And her opponent is a master of Wu Zong triple, but Kai Huyu is completely suppressed. Absolutely cold. Kai Huyu took a light drink, his hands waved, and endless chills appeared. His opponent roared loudly, but the next moment, he turned into an ice sculpture. Kai Huyu shot it with a palm and the ice sculpture broke into pieces. A Wuzong triple warrior was easily killed by Kai Huyu. Little bitch, 
find death. At this moment, a sharp noise sounded, and a bright sword light assassinated Kaiyu. Kaiyu's face changed and her figure flashed quickly before she avoided the sword light. The light flashed, and in front of Kaiyu, a white-haired old Ou appeared, and he looked at Kaiyu calmly. Little bitch, die. Lao Ou made a cold cry, and the sword light flashed, killing Kaiyu. Wu Zong fivefold. This old Europe has five levels of cultivation practice, the sword is bright and extremely sharp, and it will completely suppress Kaiyu in a while. Get up. Kaiyu drank, her body sparkled with blood, an adult form, but the figure of the unclear facial features emerged. The figure was extremely cold and seemed to be completely composed of ice. At the same time, around this figure, five silver chakras flashed away. But it was still seen by Lao Ou and L Yu Ming. L Yu Ming was shocked when he was the fifth bloodline of Wang level, the second bloodline of Kai Yu's awakening. But when I thought about it, I felt normal again. Kai Yu's first bloodline is originally a very powerful natural ice bloodline in a special bloodline, with a level of up to eight. The second blood of the awakening is powerful, that is normal. But the old OU was frightened, and then shouted with a terrible face, Dead, dead, never leave you alive. In the shouting, accompanied by the horror of the sword gas rushing towards Kai Yu. After the blood broke out in Kai Yu, the fighting power increased a lot. Although it still fell down for a time, it will not lose at half past one. But at this moment, a figure in black robe appeared not far from Kaiyu, staring coldly at Kaiyu. Dead. Suddenly, this man in black robe started, with a black sword light in his hand, assassinating Kaiyu. There are actually Wuzong's fivefold cultivation practice. It's you who died. When the black robe appeared, L. Yu Ming had already hurried away. At this time, he drank coldly and swept out. When the spear was drawn on the long sword of the black robe, and the long sword shook sharply, almost bursting apart. Who? The black robe was shocked, and his figure quickly receded. The one who killed you. L. Yu Ming stepped out and killed him. Boom. Above the spear, the wind and fire are entwined making the spear extremely fast and extremely explosive. Bump. The black robe was swept directly on the body with a scream, and his body burst apart. Now, L. Yu Ming only needs one move to kill Wu Zong's five heavy warriors. The blood of Zhulong is running, consuming the other's blood. Suddenly, L. Yu Ming's body trembled, and his cultivation practice broke through again. Reached Wu Zong's late second stage. The blood he swallowed was too rich, and there is still a large part of it that has not been refined. Kill. Cultivating as a breakthrough, L. Yu Ming was more powerful, and his body moved, and he appeared next to the old O. Yu who was fighting with Kai Yu. Old O. Yu screamed in horror, trying to avoid it, but everything was in vain. At the next moment, there was a big transparent hole in his chest. Killed in one shot, L. Yu Ming held a spear like a of war. You. Kaiyu watched the landing song, and his heart shook suddenly. Do not know why, she saw El Yu Ming, feel very familiar. Although her appearance is completely different, she is too familiar with that temperament. For a time, she was stunned. Why? Little girl, don't even know your young master. El Yu Ming came to Kaiyu and smiled slightly. Upon hearing this, Kaiyu's body shuddered suddenly, and her beautiful eyes suddenly widened, looking straight at the landing song. Little. Master? Is it really you, is it really you? Kaiyu's eyes were filled with mist, and tears rolled in his eyes, very excited. Little girl, not who I am. L. Yu Ming stretched out his finger and scraped at the tip of Kaiyu's white and tender nose. Kaiyu shivered excitedly and tears shed directly, saying, Young master, young master, Kaiyu finally found the young master. If it wasn't for a war here, she would have fallen into L. Yu Ming's arms. At the beginning, she was taken to a secret place by her master, 
retreat to practice hard, and the cultivation progress was extremely horrible. But then she ended her practice and returned to the Xian Yuan Sword School, but she heard the news of a lightning bolt. L. Yu Ming killed the Bei Wei Yuan, killed many people in the Duan Mia family, and was finally forced by the Duan Mia family. He withdrew from the Xian Yuan Sword faction and disappeared. This news, for Kai Huyu, is a thunderbolt. If it wasn't for her master to stop, she had already entered the Bei Wei Yuan. During this time, she walked through thousands of mountains and rivers without any news about L. Yu Ming. If it is not forgotten her master's kindness, she also voluntarily withdrew from Xian Yuan Sword School. This time, she came here to support the Gihu Daezong with the masters of the Xian Yuan Sword School.